swallowed star. Chapter 151 to Chapter 200 Have fun reading as well as listening. Hey guys! Can I trouble all of you for a moment? Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button so you won't miss new audiobook updates. That's all. Thank you. Chapter 151, Spirit of Nature Translator, Translation Nation Editor, Translation Nation What did you say, even Vanina's voice changed tone. No doubt about it, Spirit of Nature, followed Liao. Oh, God. You said that you already discovered twelve spirits of nature? You're not joking are you? Vanina, all the way in Paris headquarter city, was already so excited that she could barely contain herself. She clearly understood what this spirit of nature was, and clearly understood just how much it was worth. This thing was definitely more attractive than a floor covered in gold. Hiding in the distance, Luo Feng, whose head barely above the ground, also frowned as he heard this, what's a spirit of nature? He's never heard of this before. Vanina, this misty island is extremely peculiar. There aren't any monsters living on it, but there are spirits of nature. Just before, I've already discovered three plants that seem to resemble spirits of nature. Those plants almost heavily injured me. And just now, I discovered nine spirits of nature's in willow trees. Just like this, I've already discovered twelve of them, and I definitely believe that there are over twelve spirits of nature on this entire misty island. There'll definitely be more, followed Liao, once we move all of these spirits of nature away, we'll be rich. Just one spirit of nature is worth a ton. Don't even talk about its price, talking about its price is insulting the spirit of nature. This treasure. No power is willing to sell it. Spirits of nature and plants like willow trees are special. The thousand-year willow heart that everyone knew about back then was actually the core of a willow tree spirit of nature, followed Liao, according to what I know, that willow tree only had a diameter of one meter. And here, there are nine willow trees, with the thinnest one having a diameter of one meter. The biggest one has a diameter of over three meters. Even regular willow trees with large diameters exist. But once a willow tree develops a spirit of nature, they are different from regular ones. These spirits of nature have spirits, so they are capable of simple attacks and defense. The more powerful the spirit of nature is, the more it's worth. If I was just a bit slower just now, I would have died to the biggest willow tree spirit of nature. Thankfully I had my black god set's transformation powers, continued Li Yao, that thousand year willow heart back then has two benefits after using it. One, it can greatly improve the life force of one's cells, increasing the body's regeneration speed by many times. Two, body fitness level will also leap up. And that's just a thousand year willow heart. I estimate that the willow tree in front of me that has a diameter of over 3 meters, has a 10,000 year willow heart. Just this one willow tree king is a priceless treasure. I've been an advanced level war god for a long time now. If I use the 10,000 year willow heart, I might be able to make a breakthrough with its miraculous powers and therefore become an existence surpassing the war god level, Li Yao was extremely excited, however. I am not this willow tree king's opponent. Of course, to obtain the willow heart, you have to cut down the willow tree. And these willow trees with spirits will definitely resist. Li Yao already felt threatened from his previous, short engagement. Nine willow trees with spirits of nature, and a willow tree with a diameter of over three meters? Vanina was completely stunned. This cake is too big, we can't finish it ourselves, said Li Yao seriously, and I feel like this misty island is extremely mysterious. For nine willow trees possessing spirits of nature to be born in one location, too incredible. This misty island. Definitely has more spirits of nature. Some might be even more powerful than this willow tree king. Vanina in Paris headquarter city also understood. That this cake was indeed a bit too big. The two of them can't finish it. Vanina, tell your family of this news and find some strong people to come, requested Li Yao, it would be best if you got some powerful people with black god sets or powerful spirit readers. The weakest of them has to at least be a regular advanced level war god. The others aren't even qualified to participate. The reputation of the vulture scorpion couple was too infamous. Other than a few people who they risked their lives with back in the day, they don't have many friends. Instead, they have many enemies. So. When faced with this incredible island of treasure with so many spirits of nature, they have to rely on the Paulinus family for help. The Paulinus family, one of the core families of the HR Alliance, has their own powerful war gods and have good relations with other powerful war gods. Naturally, the Paulinus family possesses much more power than the Vulture Scorpion duo. I understand. But Yao, I'll give the credit to Candace, said Vanina. No problem, the credit is useless for me anyway. Or would the Paulinus family allow me to become their head, scoffed Vulture Liao. An outsider has no way of gaining any sort of power in the Paulinus family, so there's no point in giving him the credit. Oh H yeah, gasped Vanina, would that Luo Feng be able to recognize the spirits of nature? And contact the Dojo of Limits? Nope. Li Yao sneered, that Luo Feng arrived at this misty island way earlier than I did. If he was able to recognize the spirits of nature and then contact the Dojo of Limits, the people from the Dojo of Limits should have arrived ages ago. Furthermore. 
How many spirits of nature have appeared in history? Most of them are forcefully taken away by Hong, Thunder God, and the five great countries. Because of that, very few people know about spirits of nature. Only a few experienced war gods know about this. Regular fighters don't have a clue about this at all. How old is that Luo Feng? All he does is train, so how would he ever learn of such obscure information? After seeing Vulture Li Yao hang up, Luo Feng, who was a few hundred meters away, silently went back underground. Li Yao, oh Li Yao. I didn't know before. But, you just told me yourself. Luo Feng returned to the black cave under the rocky layer. With a little light from his tactical communications watch and his amazing eyesight, Luo Feng was able to clearly see everything in the cave. Thousand Year Willow Heart Two functions, increases regeneration and body fitness level greatly, Luo Feng was surprised. Just this bit of information was quite stunning. A portion of dragon blood can raise body fitness level too. It's hard to say which one is more effective. Dragon blood, or a thousand year willow heart. Increased regeneration. Just this is enough to make people go crazy. Your entire body benefits from regeneration. Take for example one of the emperor level monsters, the earth dragon. Even if someone cuts a part of its body off, it'll swiftly grow back at a rate visible to the naked eye. This is regeneration. For those with powerful regeneration capabilities, even if their organs become heavily damaged, they can completely recover in half a minute. If their arms break, they'll quickly become unscathed in a short bit. The livelier your cells are, the faster your regeneration becomes. The Thousand Year Willow Tree, sure is amazing. According to what Li Yao said, that Willow Tree King could be containing a 10,000 year willow heart. Luo Feng lowered his head and looked at his tactical communications watch. Through his tactical communications watch, he got on the web and quickly entered the fighter discussion boards in the Home of Limits. Luo Feng wanted to enter the Warlord discussion boards to look up information. HM. How come the War God discussion boards are lit up? I can enter the War God discussion boards now. Since he has been bitterly training for the past few months, Luo Feng didn't know that. Ever since he entered the top 50 for the first time on the Black Dragon ranking, the Dojo of Limits automatically gave him more permission, thus allowing him to enter the War God discussion boards. Actually, the chief instructors of the Dojo of Limits headquarters in various headquarter cities also can enter the War God discussion boards. Some people aren't war gods, and yet have the right to enter the war god discussion boards. Luo Feng now had permission too. I'm surely able to find lots of information in the war god discussion boards, after entering, Luo Feng quickly inputted, Spirit of Nature, via voice and then searched the threads. Beep. With its cell phone-like display, the tactical communications quickly listed a few threads. There were actually 28 threads all describing the spirits of nature. Even though very few people knew about spirits of nature, a few introductions about it can still be found in a war god discussion board. It seems like people have different viewpoints about the origin of the spirits of nature, Luo Feng browsed each of the 28 threads one by one. Some people said that the spirit of nature is a special mutation. Other people said, spirits of nature came to be by absorbing the natural energies in space. And some people even said that there were spirits of nature in the past. But after industrialization destroyed nature too much, the spirits of nature disappeared. Now that the monsters are spread across the world as a result of the Grand Nirvana period, the natural environment is in a much better condition. The sky was blue and the clouds were white, and spirits of nature were born. Of course, these viewpoints aren't the same. However, one thing is certain. After a plant develops a spirit of nature, it isn't threatening as long as you don't approach it. And every spirit of nature contains nature's essence, which has special functions, Luo Feng looked at a few boards introducing spirits of nature. Thousand Year Willow Heart, Emerald Grass Dew, Armored Spirit Jewel. However, all of these treasures are taken up by the five powerful countries, the two dojos, and the HR Alliance. Barely any war god fighters have these. According to what it says here, the Thousand Year Willow Heart is even better than a portion of Dragon Blood at raising body fitness level. And it also increases regeneration speed, Luo Feng sighed. A portion of Dragon Blood is worth 80 billion, so what about that Thousand Year Willow Heart? No wonder the five powerful countries and the two dojos are all fighting over it. And right now, there are spirits of nature on this misty island, and a lot of them. Holy. Paris Headquarter City, a wide, technologically advanced meeting room. The floor was made out of black marble and the golden conference table was around 10 meters long. There were a total of five black chairs with extremely delicate engravings on them. And right now, on these five chairs, sat five old people. Four old men and one old woman. Suddenly. The sound of someone's footsteps echoed around the conference room, like water dripping from a fountain. The five people looked towards the main door. There here, the white, old man with silver hair smiled as he sat on the main seat. A mysterious person who was covered in a black robe walked forward step by step. And beside him was a savage, burly brute who was carrying a shield on his back and a gigantic blade in one hand. The other person beside him was a man who was extremely pale and skinny. He had two daggers on his waist. The three of them entered the conference, making the entire room a bit gloomy. The leading black-robed man's eyes were as deep and dark as the sea. The five old men immediately stood up from their seats as they welcomed these three powerful people. 
Chapter 152, 10% Profit Translator, Translation Nation Editor, Translation Nation Catalan, my child, we're going to have to bother you this time, the silver-haired, white old man who held the Paulinus family's power, smiled as he spoke. The black-robed man in front slightly bowed, Uncle, after hearing the message you sent, I immediately brought my two good friends here. This guy here. Is the world-famous, Blood Shadow Ethan, as he spoke, the skinny white man to his side slightly bowed. And this one here, is also my good friend, Great Bear, Kata, said the black-robed man. The savage brute slightly bowed. We'll have to trouble you too, smiled the silver-haired old man, Catalan, do you still need some other people? The people in the family. Anyone else will just come to die. The black-robed man interrupted the Paulinus family's chief sentence as he said discontented, humph, even Vulture Li Yao couldn't get the spirit of nature on that misty island. The danger of this trip is obvious. The war gods the family is paying and the war gods in the family aren't good enough. His words were arrogant. He clearly looked down on the other war gods in the family. But the one speaking these words were. Phantom Demon, Catalan. Out of all the powerful war gods on earth, Phantom Demon, Catalan was definitely one of the most powerful ones. Even the Dojo of Limits and the Thunder Dojo have tried everything they could to get Phantom Demon Catalan to join them. However, Catalan was part of the Paulinus family, so of course he couldn't join them. However, one undisputable fact is that, Phantom Demon, Catalan is a major reason why the Paulinus family has their current position in the HR Alliance. Uncle, there's no time to waste. Twelve minutes have already passed since I received your message, said the black-robed man, I'll depart to Australia immediately. All right, I'll be waiting for the good news here in Paris, said the silver-haired man. The other four old people all had smiles on their faces. Whoosh. Catalan immediately turned towards the exit and walked out with the other two super-powerful fighters. If it wasn't for Catalan's relationship, it would be extremely difficult for the Paulinus family to invite Great Bear, Kata, and Blood Shadow Ethan. As they watched Catalan and the others leave, the five old people stayed silent for quite a long time. Chief, Catalan is only bringing his two good friends there. This way, we won't even know how many spirits of nature they'll obtain in the Misty Island. When that happens, Catalan might take most of them for himself and only give a portion to the family, a bald old man couldn't help but to say. The silver-haired old man's eyes were dark as he said indifferently, take them for himself? Catalan is our family's most brilliant child. The stronger he becomes, the stronger our Paulinus family becomes. If he wanted to become the chief, he could have became the chief three years ago. Remember, don't hold anything from Catalan. Doing so would just hurt a powerful person's pride, said the silver-haired man slowly. The other old people remained silent. In just a moment. Whoosh. A completely black, disc-shaped fighter jet swiftly ascended and departed Paris headquarter city. It quickly became a flowing black light as it disappeared into the horizon. One of the three hazardous regions, the continent of Australia. The Misty Island. The cave under the rocky layer deep underground. It's about time. Luo Feng lowered his head and looked at his tactical communications watch, around an hour and thirty minutes has passed since Li Yao contacted Vanina. Ninety minutes. Li Yao, I gave you guys a whole ninety minutes, that should be enough. It's time to contact the Dojo of Limits. Luo Feng lowered his head and looked at his tactical communications watch. He had a special number which he used to communicate with the inner part of the Dojo of Limits. He retrieved his rewards through this number, and he also uses this number if there's anything important to tell them. Indeed. He's going to contact the Dojo of Limits. Initially, when he heard Li Yao's conversation, he thought about taking all the treasure for himself. However, after reading the threads underground, Luo Feng understood one thing. Even if he can obtain the spirits of nature, he doesn't have the power to keep them. An advanced level war god isn't able to hoard such an incredible amount of spirits of nature. If he's too greedy, the consequences will be dire. Furthermore, he isn't even Vulture Li Yao's opponent in an upfront battle. Once Li Yao finds someone even more powerful to help him, Luo Feng's chances lower even more. Not only does he not have the ability to get the treasure, he might lose his life when faced against so many powerful fighters. So after thinking carefully, the best course of action is to Notify the Dojo of Limits. The Dojo of Limits is one of the largest powers on Earth. Once they send some fighters, they'll definitely be able to get the treasure on this island. And the Dojo of Limits is extremely fair, so they'll definitely give Luo Feng a bit of the treasure, since he was the one who found the Misty Island and gave them the information. Otherwise, how would the Dojo of Limits convince the public? Although he has decided to contact the Dojo of Limits, the timing is extremely crucial. If Luo Feng notifies the Dojo of Limits straight away, the fighters of the Dojo of Limits will arrive earlier than the helpers from the Paulinus family, since the Dojo of Limits headquarters is in Western Asia's Hongming headquarter city. If that happens, not only will the HR Alliance receive nothing, they also wouldn't dare to fight with the Dojo of Limits. And when that happens, Li Yao will definitely escape in fear, which means Luo Feng wouldn't be able to use the Dojo of Limits. The best situation is, let the people from the Paulinus family arrive first and allow them to search hard for the spirits of nature on this misty island. 
The spirits of nature aren't so easy to obtain. As shown by Luo Feng and Vulture Li Yao's struggle with the Willow Tree King, obtaining the spirits of nature is extremely difficult. The people from the Paulinus family will struggle and fight with the spirits of nature. And during that time, the people from the Dojo of Limits will arrive. When that happens, the Dojo of Limits will definitely make the Paulinus family give up some stuff. 90 minutes? Is 90 minutes not enough time? Luo Feng looked at the number on his tactical communications watch, I can't let the fighters from the Dojo of Limits arrive earlier than the fighters from Europe. Just to be safe, Luo Feng waited another 30 minutes. It's about time. This entire island is covered in thick mist, so searching the entire thing will be quite troublesome. One day might not even be enough for such a task, Luo Feng lightly tapped a button on his tactical communications watch he made the call. Two hours after Li Yao's phone call, Luo Feng dialed. Beep beep. Hello, a low voice carried over. Hello, I'm Luo Feng from the elite training camp, said Luo Feng. What do you need? The low voice was absolutely emotionless. Luo Feng reported, it's like this. I discovered large amounts of spirits of nature on a mysterious island in the continent of Australia. Twelve spirits of nature have been discovered on this island so far. There's also a willow tree with a diameter over three meters that also has a spirit of nature. Spirit of nature? The low voice gave a slightly surprised, eh, and then said, very good, finding a place like this. According to the distribution rules of the Dojo of Limits, the person who discovers the location of the treasure, once confirmed, can go to the dojo and receive 10% of the profit. The people who go to fight and harvest, according to the rules, earn a total of 30% of the profit. The rest of the 60% goes to the dojo. Please send me the coordinates of the Misty Island, continued the low voice. The call soon ended after Luo Feng answered some questions. Who would have known that rules were formed for these kinds of situations already? 10% goes to the person who discovered the location. 30% to those who come and get it. The rest to the dojo? Luo Feng nodded his head, 10%, is good enough. Just 10% of those 9 willow trees would get me a thousand year willow heart, and I'll probably end up getting even more. One hour later. Luo Feng quietly popped his head out from a bush, HM? Where's Li Yao? It was currently night time, the thick mist was everywhere. Even though the 9 willow tree spirits of nature caused the mist in the area to lighten up a bit, even Luo Feng could barely see past a distance of 200 meters. And the image of Li Yao was not within that distance. I'll just wait slowly, since they definitely will come back here, half of Luo Feng's head was above the ground as he watched the nine willow trees in the distance. Slowly waited. His spiritual force spread out to a 100 meter radius, cautiously watching his surroundings. After a while. Rumble. Sonic booms rang in the sky, and Luo Feng quickly turned his head towards the sky. At this time, a disc-shaped fighter jet was hovering in the skies of the Misty Island. As it hovered, its hatch directly opened. Whoosh. 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 Black-robed Catalan, the savage man Kata, and the skinny man Ethan. The three of them directly jumped down from midair, and they swiftly fell towards the ground. The Paulinus family's people are here, Luo Feng let out a smile. And when the Paulinus family's people arrived at the Misty Island, a purplish-red triangular jet fighter was currently soaring through the night sky at an unbelievable speed, leaving behind a mixed-up stream of air in its path. Inside the triangular jet fighter. There were only two people in this jet fighter, and both of them were passengers. Out of the two people in the plane, one of them was extremely handsome. Even though he was wearing his battle uniform, he seemed to be out of this world. His face seemed to reveal that he was only around 30 years old, but his two eyes were as deep as the sea. He always had a smile on his face and seemed to be quite relaxed. He was one of the five big investigators, Investigator Lu. The head actually sent you out too, looks like he's really taking this island seriously, Investigator Lu looked at the person beside him. The mysterious person beside him also had a battle uniform on. But he was wearing a golden mask. Investigator Lu, if you take all of the spirits of nature on this island away, you can take all of the 30%, the golden masked person's voice was low, I don't care about these. Unless I really have to. I won't do anything. But once I have to take action, we're going to have to split that 30%. Investigator Lu couldn't help but to be overjoyed as he heard this. He's actually willing to give him all of the 30% if he doesn't do anything, isn't that too foolish? Those are spirits of nature, something even Hong takes seriously. Huh, no worries, I doubt there's anything I can't deal with on that island, smiled Investigator Lu. He, an existence surpassing the war god level. After following Hong for so long, he has many tricks. There are barely any places on earth that can give him any kind of trouble. Boom. The fighter jet headed towards the continent of Australia with alarming speed with two of the strongest fighters on earth riding in it. Chapter 153, Thousand Year Willow Heart. Translator, Translation Nation. Editor, Translation Nation. Luo Feng listened closely and indeed heard a rumbling noise. That's probably the sound of the Paulinus family's people landing on the ground after jumping out the plane, assumed Luo Feng. At the same time, he retracted his spiritual force, shortening it from a 100 meter radius to just a 30 meter radius. 
Powerful fighters like advanced level war gods can sense the spiritual force that scans across them. Suddenly, Luo Foam heard a faint sound of people talking coming from the mist far away. Catalan, up ahead is where the nine willow tree spirits of nature are, Li Yao's voice carried out of the mist as he spoke English fluently. Spirits of nature usually aren't that powerful. Li Yao, how come you can't deal with them, a gloomy sound rose. As they talked, they walked out of the thick mist. Luo Foam squinted as he looked through the gaps of the grass. In front of the group was someone in a black robe. He looked quite peculiar. Li Yao was talking beside him, and he was clearly being respectful. Behind the black robed man was a big savage brute and a white, skinny man. The savage brute and the skinny man didn't lower their heads in front of Li Yao at all, which clearly showed that they weren't afraid of Li Yao. Looks like the black robed man is the head of these four people, thought Luo Feng to himself. The images of the four people in the distance became clearer and clearer. Deal with it? That willow tree king has a diameter of three meters. Back then, the willow tree that had the thousand-year willow heart only had a diameter of one meter. This willow tree king is much more powerful than that willow tree. In particular, its dark golden branches are extremely tough. Once someone gets caught in it, even if it's me, they'll definitely die. Li Yao pointed to the nine willow trees that had the spirits of nature in the distance, over there. Li Yao and the others, at around a distance of 120 meters away from Luo Feng, walked towards the nine willow trees. Since it was nighttime, there was lots of mist. And Luo Feng only popped half of his head out of the ground and was in a bush, so even Li Yao, Catalan, and the others didn't notice Luo Feng's presence. Only the four of them are going to go up against the willow tree king? Luo Feng watched silently. These four people want to cut down the Willow Tree King, probably not too realistic. When Li Yao and the others were around 50 meters away from the nine Willow Trees, the Savage Brute said lowly, Li, you said all of these Willow Trees have spirits of nature? If you don't believe me you can go closer, sneered Li Yao. Catalan, said Li Yao seriously, look there, at the Willow Tree in the center of those nine trees. It's the largest and also the most powerful one. Its dark golden branches are long enough to cover all of the other Willow Trees. Because of that, I couldn't even attack the other Willow Trees. Catalan examined closely, where are the dark golden branches? Look, they're tied around the trunk, pointed Li Yao. Oh, Catalan also felt that this willow tree king was unusual. This willow tree only has one type of attack, it strangles its target to death with its branches. Its tree trunk can't move and its roots are absorbing nutrients underground, so they can't attack, said Li Yao, same as that willow tree that had the thousand year willow heart from back then. Catalan nodded, there are two ways to kill this willow tree king. The first way, is to get rid of all of its roots. The second way, is to cut apart the trunk. Li Yao also nodded as he heard this, yeah, but. Its dark golden branches are 200 to 300 meters long and can sink into the ground to protect its roots. And such a large willow tree probably has tons of roots, so getting rid of all of them is probably harder than cutting down the trunk. 200 to 300 meters long? Catalan slightly frowned. Catalan stayed silent for a bit. Hua. Catalan's black robe instantly disappeared and revealed a black battle uniform set within. Many daggers were placed on the trousers of his battle uniform set, twelve of them in total. And on his back was javelin after javelin. There were six javelins on his back, as if he was wearing a shield made out of javelins. He has a black god set. Luo Feng, who was observing from afar was shocked. There's only explanation for Catalan's black robe's sudden disappearance. The black robe was made out of a transformed black god set. The black god set can transform into all sorts of different shapes based off of the user's will. His weapons are the javelins and daggers. Luo Feng slightly frowned. At the moment, Catalan's face was ice cold. The sight of the silver javelins and the black daggers caused one to shiver. Even Li Yao slightly squinted his eyes on the side. Leave the Willow Tree King to me. Catalan's voice was cold as he commanded, I'll attack the Willow Tree King. Li Yao, Keita, Ethan, you three go in from the side and attack the other Willow Trees. Remember, your safety is the most important thing. After I get the Willow Tree King's full attention, you guys give everything you have and cut down the other Willow Trees. Understood, the savage brute licked his lips. Okay, Ethan slightly nodded. All right, Li Yao nodded. Catalan slightly smiled in response. Chi Chi. His entire body was swiftly covered in a black coating. Instantly, the black coating instantly covered his entire body, including his face. In other words, Catalan's face was completely black too. His eyes, nose, and mouth were all sealed. You can say that Catalan isn't afraid of any piercing attack from anyone below the level of existences surpassing the war god level. Spirit readers don't even need their eyes to fight, Li Yao sighed as he witnessed this scene. All right, let's begin. Catalan's voice carried out. Whoosh. Catalan rushed towards the Willow Tree King like lightning. He was so fast that he was within 10 meters of the Willow Tree King in a blink of the eye. The Willow Tree King started angrily attacking. The large number of Willow Tree branches that virtually covered the sky and ground crazily swarmed around Catalan, and the dark golden Willow Tree branches quickly joined the battle. Whoosh. 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 
Vulture Li Yao, Blood Shadow Ethan, and Great Bear Kata left behind after images as they teamed up and charged towards a willow tree that had a diameter of around 1.8 meters. A black, flowing light extended on Li Yao and Ethan's bodies, covering them completely. Clearly, the both of them had black god sets. Because they had black god sets. The two of them didn't use any shields. Three of the four have black god sets. Luo Feng was shocked as he watched from a distance. It's not that black god sets are common on earth, but that the war gods who dared to come here are all at the top. Even Li Yao was heavily injured, so would anyone inferior to Li Yao dare to come? There are barely any people on this earth that own black god sets, and each of them have astonishing strength. Is that Catalan a spirit reader? Luo Feng's eyes were completely widened. All that could be seen. Was a dagger in each of Catalan's hands and, at the same time, there were nine daggers hovering behind him. Chi Chi. The branches were breaking quickly. The flying daggers easily cut through branch after branch. Soon enough, large amounts of dark golden willow tree branches covered Catalan. Catalan, whose entire body was covered by the black god set, didn't use his eyes to fight. Rather than his eyes, he uses his spiritual force that was spread out to a 100 meter radius to observe his surroundings. The dark golden branches aren't easy to mess with, thought Luo Feng to himself from afar. Indeed. Chi Chi, the hovering nine daggers struggled to cut through the dark golden branches. Humph. Catalan used the daggers in each hand in his extraordinary speed, P.U. 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 And cut a few dozen dark golden branches in one breath. Right when he did that, he instantly charged out of the encirclement. This scene shocked Vulture Li Yao, and completely and absolutely stunned Luo Feng in the distance. Those dark golden branches are extremely tough. After I cut through one, I immediately retreated and went underground, Luo Feng was stunned. He knew exactly how tough those dark golden branches were because he fought with them before. Even Li Yao can't cut through a few dozen in a moment. How powerful are those daggers in his hands? Oh yeah, the daggers controlled by his spiritual force seem to struggle with those dark golden branches. It looks like his spiritual force isn't much stronger than mine, thought Luo Feng to himself, but, those two daggers in his hands are way more powerful. This shows that he probably can bring out an astonishing amount of strength through his force exertions. Advanced war god levels, especially those at the peak of the advanced level, have fist strengths of around 400,000 to 500,000 kilograms. With force exertions of 2x to 3x multipliers, their fist strengths can reach a million kg. And what if the multiplier reaches 5x to 6x? His fitness level is probably at the advanced level war god level, and his force exertions are high. Adding his spiritual force to that, Luo Feng nodded to himself. With his body's power and his spiritual force added together, stunning results can be produced. At the exact instant he charged out the encirclement and approached the Willow Tree King. Open. The daggers in his hand cruelly slashed into the trunk of the Willow Tree King. Chi Chi the daggers were only able to slash through 6 to 7 cm before stopping. Little drops of green fluid slowly seeped out of the trunk's wound. Boom. The originally spread out dark golden branches that were after the other people were finally enraged. Nearly 10,000 willow tree branches crazily danced as they surrounded Catalan from every direction. Whoosh. Catalan ferociously charged outwards as he swung his hands at the same time. Whoosh. Whoosh. The two black arms suddenly enlarged, giving Catalan a pair of 7 to 8 meter long black arms. Both of his black hands held daggers as they swung towards the willow branches. As if they were opening a door, the 7 to 8 meter long black arms directly split apart the willow tree branches into two sides. Whoosh! Catalan instantly dashed out. Even though the dark golden branches immediately wrapped around the black arms, the black arms instantly slipped out of the large amounts of dark golden branches like noodles. Alright, the trunk is quite tough. Catalan stood around 100 meters away from the willow tree king. He walked around the other willow trees and, while doing so, a silverish gray javelin appeared in his hand. Breakthrough! Catalan's face was fierce as he let out a roar. He held the silverish gray javelin with one hand and his entire body instantly turned into the shape of a bow. His right arm's biceps bulged through the black skin. On the tip of the silverish gray javelin were some screw threads. He then threw it like lightning while sprinting. Whoosh! A stream of lightning. A rotating stream of lightning. That javelin was indeed rotating as it flew. The large amounts of dark golden branches wanted to block it, but the javelin was way too fast, probably surpassing Mach 10. Only three dark golden branches managed to touch it, and then the stream of light stabbed into the Willow Tree King's trunk. Buzz, as if drilling through a wooden plank, it blew up ferociously. Chi Chi. The entire javelin sank into the Willow Tree King's trunk, and a little bit of the tip of the javelin even popped out of the other side. Catalan's Phantom Eye and Phantom Strike, just what you'd expect from his two world-famous ultimate moves, Li Yao couldn't help but to tremble a bit, combining his body's power and his spiritual force to create an attack like a phantom demon. Incredible. The power of this attack might even barely reach the level of the existences surpassing the war god level. Luo Feng gasped as he watched from afar. He never would have thought that. Such powerful war gods could exist. 
Catalan Slash with his dagger just now couldn't even cut through 10 centimeters, and the Willow Tree King's diameter is 3 meters. But now, Catalan's javelin actually managed to pierce through the entire trunk. Messed up. Too terrifying. Rumble, the entire Willow Tree King started shaking crazily and, at the same time, the dark golden branches started crazily dancing as they surrounded Catalan. Attack the other Willow Trees, roared Catalan. Okay. Vulture Liao, Great Bear Keda, and Blood Shadow Ethan all surrounded a Willow Tree on the side. Without the help from the Willow Tree King. This Willow Tree with a diameter of only 1.8 meters had no chance against these three powerful fighters. Only after a few seconds, boom, the gigantic Willow Tree fell. Take the Thousand Year Willow Heart Liao, Keda, and Ethan simultaneously smashed the trunk. Boom. Wood chips flew up and a heart moving green piece flew up with them. It's the Thousand Year Willow Heart Liao and the others were overjoyed. Luofoam also saw that green thing. Since Li Yao and the others weren't attacking the trunk anymore and were charging at the green thing, one could conclude, that's the Thousand Year Willow Heart. Furthermore, Luofoam had already seen a photo of the Thousand Year Willow Heart on the War God discussion boards. A Thousand Year Willow Heart that can raise fitness level and regeneration, and it's a spirit of nature from a willow tree with a diameter of 1.8 meters. Luofang's eyes let out a light that has never been let out before. That's mine. Whoosh. The formless spiritual force instantly extended. It extended so quickly that its speed was comparable to teleportation. The spiritual force instantly wrapped around the Thousand Year Willow Heart. As it wrapped around, Luofeng's spiritual force naturally invaded the area where Catalan's spiritual force was spread out, so Catalan found out. Whoosh! With the spiritual force, it instantly retracted. The green thing instantly flew towards Luofeng. Spirit Reader Catalan's spiritual force discovered Luofeng's spiritual force. However, it still took him a very short time to react to the fact that there's a spirit reader here. And right in that short instant. The green light was only 80 meters away from Luo Fong. Retract, Catalan also tried to pull it back using his spiritual force. Pung. The two formless spiritual forces collided. Whoosh. The green light immediately flew into the bush where Luo Fong was, and Luo Fong immediately dug underground as fast as possible. Thousand Year Willow Heart. Li Yao, Keda, and Ethan all charged over. Catalan also flew over. The four powerful fighters stood on the grass as they looked at the inconspicuous hole in front of them. The Thousand Year Willow Heart was stolen, Keda and Ethan were enraged. How come there are still people here? Catalan looked towards Li Yao with anger, and he's a spirit reader. His spiritual force is probably nearing the advanced level war god level. It's Luo Feng, it's Luo Feng, followed Li Yao. Luo Feng, he's. That Luo Feng from the elite training camp, asked Catalan. Yes, yes, it's him. He has a grudge with me. Truthfully, I came here to chase after him, but I didn't think I would be able to discover all of these spirits of nature, replied Li Yao. Catalan's face wasn't looking good at all. Catalan, you're a spirit reader too. You can probably catch him. Go underground to chase after a spirit reader who's basically an advanced level war god? Catalan sneered as he glanced at him, you think that spiritual force is that easy to train? All these years, my body fitness level has been at the peak of the advanced level war god level, but my spiritual force has been improving extremely slowly. When Catalan was young, he had his growth period as a spirit reader. When Catalan reached the beginner war god level spirit reader level, it stopped. After that, he had to train by himself. Sadly. Training spiritual force is many times harder than training the body. After all these years, Catalan's fitness level has already reached the peak of the advanced level war god level, but his spiritual force is only at the peak of the intermediate level war god level. However, his spiritual force and his strength combined gives him incredibly horrifying strength. Which is how he got the name Phantom Demon. Go underground to chase a advanced level war god level spirit reader? Even existences surpassing the war god level won't say such a thing, Catalan commanded, now, Keda, patrol the area and don't allow that person to come near again. Li Yao and Ethan, you two and me will swiftly get rid of these spirit of natures. Yes. Everyone nodded, and Li Yao could only clench his teeth as he held his anger in. Not good, Catalan's face changed, that Luo Feng must have heard what we said before, so he knows that these are all spirits of nature. He'll definitely contact the Dojo of Limits. Dojo of Limits? Everyone's face changed dramatically, and Catalan glanced at Li Yao with anger. Hurry, the Dojo of Limits will probably need at least three hours to get here. But to be safe, let's all hurry up and gather the spirits of nature and leave within two hours, commanded Catalan, no matter how many we get, we definitely have to leave within two hours. Yes. At this time, Li Yao didn't dare to say anything more, everyone was in a panic. Luo Feng, who was digging underground with astonishing speed, continued to dig past the rocky layer. Thousand Year Willow Heart, Luo Feng grasped the Thousand Year Willow Heart with extreme passion and excitement. Chapter 154, The Dark Golden Ball, Shattered. Translator, Translation Nation. 
Editor, Translation Nation. Luo Feng pierced through layer after layer of rock as he continuously dug down, completely surpassing the depth of the original cave where he originally rested. He kept digging down as if his life depended on it. After Luo Feng digs past an area, the dirt and rock that was separated will automatically close itself. Because of this, it was hard to discover Luo Feng's tracks. That Catalan is extremely powerful. I should keep digging deeper so it'll be harder for him to find me. Luo Feng kept digging down. Wait. When I fought over the Thousand Year Willow Heart, my spiritual force met with Catalan's spiritual force. His spiritual force seemed to be slightly weaker than mine, after Luo Feng thought of this, his speed unconsciously slowed down. Pung. Around 2000 to 3000 meters underground above an underground river, an image broke through the boulders and directly fell into the dark, underground river. P.U. Luo Feng leaped up and landed on a rock beside the dark river. There's actually a river like this so deep underground, Luo Feng stood on the rock as he looked around the dark river. It was quite black and turbulent. The river was around 15 to 20 meters wide and there was basically nowhere to stand on in this entire tunnel where the river flowed. There doesn't seem to be any water type monsters in this underground river, Luo Feng didn't find any. I wonder where this river leads to. Luo Feng stood on the rock as he looked around and then shook his head. He then smashed into the rocky wall beside him. To Luo Feng, those rocks were as soft as tofu. After smashing open a huge hole, three black throwing knives led the way in front and Luo Feng quickly opened up a cave that was around 20 to 30 meters away. This cave was only 20 to 30 meters away from the underground river. Thousand Year Willow Heart, Luo Feng opened up his clenched left hand and looked at the green egg-shaped crystal. This green crystal structure was quite odd. It seemed as if there was a green liquid rippling inside the crystal. The sight of this Thousand Year Willow Heart was stunning. Luo Feng felt refreshed as he held this crystal. The Thousand Willow Heart can increase regeneration and fitness level. For Luo Feng right now, this is probably the best treasure. Even if you give him something even better. It'll be a waste to Luo Feng, because Luo Feng isn't that far away from the peak of the War God level. Even if you give him a 10,000 year Willow Heart. Luo Feng will still stay at the peak of the War God level. From the peak of the War God level to an existence surpassing the War God level. To cross over this one step. Extremely difficult. This is also why quite a few people are stuck at the advanced level War God level. How do I use this thousand year Willow Heart, thought Luo Feng to himself, that post said you eat it, but. Is that really true? Maybe that post was lying. The Thousand Year Willow Heart itself was extremely tough. Even a sharp blade would have trouble destroying it, you can eat something like this? If you consume dragon blood, you'll die. And what about this Thousand Year Willow Heart? Luo Feng slightly frowned. It's a good thing he got this treasure, but he at least needs to know how to use it. If he uses it incorrectly, then he might bring about a disaster instead of a blessing. After hesitating, Luo Feng lowered his head and looked at his tactical communications watch and then called a number. Beep beep beep. Suddenly, Hello, low voice rose. Hello, I am Luo Feng from the elite training camp, replied Luo Feng. This number is indeed the number he used to contact the insides of the Dojo of Limits. Whether to just contact them or to ask for his rewards, he used this number. And now that he doesn't know how to use the Thousand Year Willow Heart. After thinking a bit, he decided to ask. After he uses it, his strength will fly up, so the Dojo will definitely know he used it. If so, then there's no need to hide it, since he stole it from someone else anyway. What do you need, asked the low voice. I want to ask, how are you supposed to use the Thousand Year Willow Heart, asked Luo Feng. The other side went silent. Luo Feng couldn't help but to worry. After a while, the sound came, the crystalline outside of the Thousand Year Willow Heart is extraordinarily tough. The liquid inside is the thing you want. To use this, you pierce through the outside and then drink the liquid inside. Beware. Do not swallow the crystal part. Luo Feng let out a sigh of a relief, good thing he asked. The post in the War God discussion board only said consume it, but didn't say how to consume it. If he foolishly swallowed the entire crystal, he would have been in trouble. You'll feel extremely comfortable while consuming it and there will be no pain at all. As for how much your strength improves and how long it takes to improve, it's different for everyone, the low voice slowly continued, anything else. No, thanks mister, said Luo Feng. Mister, the low voice let out a rare laugh. Beep. The call ended. Yay, under the weak light coming from the tactical communications watch under the dark cave, Luo Feng's eyes were flashing like never before. My current strength isn't too far away from Li Yao with his black god set. However, after using the thousand year willow heart, Luo Feng was extremely excited. Ever since his astronomical bounty was released, he never dared to relax. The pressure caused him to bitterly train, and he never relaxed for even a bit in the elite training camp. Maybe, the vulture scorpion couple is one of the reasons why he was able to get into the elite training camp and receive a gigantic reward like a portion of dragon blood. If they didn't give him any pressure, why would Luo Feng train so hard? Vulture, Scorpion, in the future, you two will fear me like I once feared you, with a thought from Luo Feng. Who? 
The green egg-shaped crystal floated in the air in front of him. At the same time, Luo Feng's SS grade throwing knife drew across an arc as it directly stabbed into the surface of the green egg-shaped crystal. Puchi. The tough crystalline outside was directly pierced through under Luo Feng's deliberate attack. Gugu. The liquid inside slowly flowed out from the crystal. However, this green liquid that was full of life was controlled by Luo Feng's spiritual force and made to hover in front of him. Come. Luo Feng opened his mouth, whoosh. This heart-moving essence of the thousand-year willow heart that was filled with limitless vitality directly flew into Luo Feng's mouth under the control of his spiritual force. Even though the entire crystal was about the size of an egg, the essence inside could probably only fill up a small cup. He swallowed it all in one gulp. The essence flowed down his esophagus, which brought about a cool, relaxing feeling around his entire body. It felt so good that it even seemed like his soul was shaking. Feels good. The mysterious guy from the phone call said that there won't be any pain at all when consuming the thousand-year willow heart and will instead feel great. Looks like it's true, Luo Feng lay in the rocky cave without moving as he clearly felt the changes undergoing in his body. Luo Feng definitely won't be able to forget the pain he went through when using the dragon blood. Of course Luo Feng would be extremely happy when he can raise his strength without going through a painful experience. So comfortable. I can feel the changes in all the tendons, muscles, and bones in my body, Luo Feng lowered his head and, using the small amount of light coming from his tactical communications watch, saw the small yet startlingly fast vibrations on his skin with his naked eye. During this vibration, black stuff seeped out of the pores of his skin. This feeling was quite magical. His entire body felt cool. At the same time, it felt like all his skin and muscles had left their bones and went out of control. He could only feel the slight, incessant vibrations, as if it was a massage. And in Luo Feng's body, the limitless vitality in the essence of the thousand-year willow heart virtually instantly combined into every single part of Luo Feng's body. This vitality caused amazing changes in the cells of Luo Feng's bones and muscles. It was as if a small seedling was growing into a tree that could reach the sky. At this moment, the countless number of cells in Luo Feng's body were undergoing startling changes. His genes were soaring to perfection as they abandoned the useless parts and recombined themselves. This process was extremely fast, and the genes that absorbed a bit of the thousand-year willow heart changed in a special way. Their liveliness was increasing rapidly. With this liveliness, Luo Feng's entire body was improving extremely quickly. His tendons seemed to have completely transformed, and his skin and muscles were still changing dramatically. And yet, this process didn't give Luo Feng even the slightest bit of pain. Luo Feng only felt relaxed, very relaxed, as if he was receiving a massage. In his realm of consciousness. In his limitless realm of consciousness, the dark golden ball was currently rotating rapidly as it let out energy. The realm of consciousness was filled with mist and, in this never-ending mist, large amounts of liquid were being produced, as if they were drops of dew. This rate of improvement has never been heard of before. Luo Feng's fitness level was improving. And, as a result, his spiritual force crazily increased as his body was able to handle more. Luo Feng's fitness level went from the lowest level of a beginner level war god level, fist strength of around 64,000 kilograms. Average beginner level war god level, fist strength of around 96,000 kilograms. Peak of the beginner level war god level, fist strength approaching 128,000 kilograms. Intermediate level war god. Going up step by step. Right when his fitness level reached the intermediate war god level, the dark golden ball in Luo Feng's realm of consciousness rapidly expanded, and then, crack crack crack, the entire dark golden ball cracked open. Countless amounts of spiritual force directly flowed out as it filled the entire realm of consciousness. A fitness level of intermediate level war god level can practically withstand the maximum amount of spiritual force available to war gods. His spiritual force increased rapidly. Luo Feng's fitness level continued to rise. After his transformation finally ended, Luo Feng quietly lay in the cave beside the underground river that was around 2,000 to 3,000 meters below the surface. The Dark Golden Ball. Shattered. Ever since his awakening, his future as a spirit reader was limitless. He has always been worrying about how long his Dark Golden Ball will last for. Keep in mind that many spirit readers end their growth period when they reach the advanced level warlord level or the beginner level war god level. Spirit readers with growth periods that can sustain them to the advanced level war god level can practically be counted on one hand. My Realm of Consciousness. Luo Feng sank into his realm of consciousness. Before, when he was barely an advanced level war god level spirit reader, his realm of consciousness were filled with a few droplets. And now, in the infinite realm of consciousness, the mist spread all the way to the horizons. Rumble, a raging liquid current was flowing in Luo Feng's realm of consciousness like a galaxy. The amount of spiritual force contained within it was absolutely amazing. A few dark golden pieces could be seen within this spiritual force liquid galaxy. Chapter 155, War God Luo Feng. Translator, Translation Nation. Editor, Translation Nation. In the cave that was 2,000 to 3,000 meters below the surface, Luo Feng opened his eyes as he lay. This transformation only took around half an hour, Luo Feng lowered his head and checked the time on his tactical communications watch. His face full of filth couldn't help to let out a smile. 
Half an hour ago, he was an extremely powerful fighter in the circle of war gods, but there were still people like Phantom Demon, Catalan who were more powerful than him. But now. Boom. Luo Foam randomly threw out a punch and caused the air to explode. A random punch is comparable to my punches in the past with force exertions. My body fitness level is at least intermediate level war god level right now, and maybe even advanced level war god level. Luo Foam could only rely on his hazy feeling. He's sure that he's at least an intermediate level war god, but would need a machine to test whether or not he's at the advanced level war god level. He can't be too sure about his fitness level. But, he can be absolutely and positively sure about his spiritual force. Peak of the war god level. A spirit reader at the peak of the war god level, Luo Foam didn't doubt this at all. His flowing, roaring galaxy in the realm of consciousness contained way more spiritual force than he had before. Keep in mind that he was already at bottom of the advanced level war god level before. After improving so much, of course he'll be at the peak of the war god level. Powerful. A feeling of unrivaled power. One thing that's known by all is that spirit readers at the peak of the war god level are invincible in the war god level, Luo Feng let out a smile, alright, I'll wash up first and then check out Liao, Catalan, and the others. I'll also end my grudge that I've been having with Liao all these years. Whoosh. Luo Feng went along the tunnel as he charged towards the rock beside the underground river. He used his spiritual force to float a gigantic ball of water in front of him as he swiftly cleaned his entire body and his battle uniform set. Time to go. In just three minutes, Luo Feng ferociously soared up. Rumble he broke past layer after layer of rock as he swiftly charged towards the surface. It was still night time in the misty island, mist emanated everywhere. P.U., after charging out the surface. There are sounds of people fighting over there. Luo Foam smiled as he walked over step by step, he was indeed headed towards the direction of the nine willow trees, who would have thought that they still haven't been able to cut all the willow trees down in half an hour. The place where he popped out of was at least 1000 meters away from the nine willow trees. However, on the extremely silent island, the crazy attacks of Catalan, Liao, etc. produced sonic booms, which made it easy for Luo Feng to find them. Oh! Luo Feng looked closely. As of now, eight out of nine willow trees have fallen and the thousand-year willow hearts have been taken out of their split trunks. The only one remaining was the willow tree king. The willow tree king with a trunk that's over three meters in diameter. There were already six javelins stuck in the main trunk of the willow tree king. The willow tree king had hundreds of dark golden branches surrounding the six javelins. Catalan's six javelins are all inside the Willow Tree King's trunk, Luo Feng watched from afar. After his transformation, his sight improved by a lot, at least 2x better than before, the javelins are stuck in the trunk and are wrapped around by the dark golden branches, so it'll be hard to retrieve them. And the three people with black god sets, Catalan, Liao, and Ethan, were currently crazily attacking. The Willow Tree King's trunk is damaged and weakened, hurry. Catalan, who had some traces of blood on the side of his mouth, yelled. The daggers in his two hands crazily danced. The dark golden branches were much slower than before, so Catalan slashed through a huge amount of dark golden branches. However, there were just too many. Break, roared Li Yao. Yaya. Ethan crazily howled. As if a whirlwind was closing into the Willow Tree King, large amounts of dark golden branches broke. The trunk was damaged and the speed and power of the branches were clearly weakened by around 60 to 70 percent. Only their toughness remained. After weakening so much, Catalan, Li Yao, and Ethan just need time to break all of those dark golden branches. Even though these branches are long, liquid will leak out of them once they're cut. When this happens, their power lowers and become even weaker than regular branches. Hurry, while we still have time, Catalan's eyes flashed as he yelled in a hurry, after cutting down this willow tree king, we still need to go get the other spirits of nature. Okay. Understood. Li Yao and Ethan were giving all they had as they cut down branch after branch. As for Kata, he was still patrolling the area. But because of the night and the mist, Kata had a difficult time discovering Luo Feng, who was hiding in a bush over 200 meters away. Huh, broke them, broke them all. Huh. There was lots of laughter. Even though there were so many dark golden branches, they couldn't stand against the crazy attacks of three advanced level war gods. Finally, all of the dark golden branches were broken, liquid leaking out of each of them. The damaged dark golden branches were weakened greatly, so they no longer posed a threat to the advanced level war gods. Attack the trunk. Cut it down. Catalan, Li Yao, and Ethan crazily charged. Kata, come, yelled Catalan. Coming, the savage brute Kata also excitedly charged over to help. The gigantic willow tree king with a trunk of over 3 meters in diameter couldn't fight back at all. Since it couldn't move, it could only let the four humans attack it. After pulling out the six javelins, Catalan started crazily cutting at the places the javelins pierced. Clearly, attacking from the inside makes it easier. After they cut over and over again, the toughness of the willow tree king's trunk seemed to lower. Chi Chi, the large amounts of willow branches started withering swiftly. The entire trunk of the willow tree king started rapidly losing its vitality. Even the naked eye could see how quickly it was losing its life. As it lost its life, its defensive capabilities clearly weakened. Boom. 
The entire Willow Tree King slowly fell over. The gigantic Willow Tree King smashed into some trees and plants beside it, and with a rumble, it fell onto the ground of the Misty Island. Ha! Huh, finally succeeded. Hurry, find the 10,000-year Willow Heart, Catalan and the others were extremely excited. They spent over 10 times more effort to cut down this one Willow Tree King than to cut down all the other 8 Willow Trees combined. Luo Foam has already observed for over 10 minutes in the distance. Hee <laughs> hee. Good thing my transformation only took 30 minutes so I could see them cut down the Willow Tree King in time, Luo Foam let out a smile, the people from the Dojo of Limits haven't arrived yet, but no problem. After his transformation underground, Luo Feng's strength improved greatly. Right now, he desperately wanted to test his skills. The rumbling wouldn't stop. Those group of people were currently slashing at the trunk of the Willow Tree King. Hurry, hurry, and find it, Catalan and the others wanted to find the 10,000-year Willow Heart in the trunk. Hmm. Catalan's spread out spiritual force felt someone enter. He couldn't help but to be shocked as he turned his head. What was seen 100 meters away was Luo Feng in his battle uniform carrying his shield and holding a ghost blade. He slowly walked out of the mist of the night as he headed towards them. Keita, Ethan, and Li Yao also discovered this. Luo Feng. Li Yao's eyes immediately bursted with ferocity. Long time no see, Luo Feng smiled as he looked at Li Yao. Catalan looked at Luo Feng as he sneered. With his accented Chinese, Luo Feng? If you hid underground, with your abilities as a spirit reader, even I wouldn't be able to catch you. And yet you surfaced, how foolish. Great Bear Keita and Blood Shadow Ethan also sneered. Nobody in Catalan's trio is weaker than Li Yao. The three of them with Li Yao, with this combination of four. Fear Luo Feng? Or could it be that you used the Thousand Year Willow Heart and became a spirit reader at the peak of the advanced level War God level, sneered Catalan. He was a spirit reader, so he was clear, spirit readers were rare in the first place, and most spirit readers' growth period only lasted them to the advanced level Warlord level. It would be quite good to last until the beginner level War God level. Intermediate level War God level spirit readers were quite rare. As for advanced level War God ones, they could be counted on one hand. A spirit reader that rapidly grew until the peak of the War God level? Even if you look across the entire world, you would find one. Or two. Nobody knows. Thanks for helping me cut down the Willow Tree King, smiled Luo Feng, that saved me a lot of effort. Boom. He left behind an afterimage as he charged towards the Willow Tree King. Kill him, roared Catalan. Luo Feng. Li Yao roared as he charged first with his blades in both hands. There seemed to be a burning fire in his eyes. Whoosh. 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 Six throwing knives. Like six black lightning bolts, even Li Yao couldn't dodge them under this distance. But why would Li Yao dodge? He was completely covered in black and only his eyes and nose were slightly revealed. With his ability, he definitely wouldn't allow anyone to hit such a small target. The Black God Set Even Emperor level monsters have difficulty piercing through the Black God Set. The only way to kill a War God wearing a Black God Set is with impacts. Even if you can't pierce through the Black God Set, the force of impact can shatter the target's organs. Rumble Six throwing knives all hit Li Yao. Luo Feng, who was at the peak of the advanced level War God level, possessed incredible and horrifying strength. After using the Dragon Blood back then, the Fist Strength testing machine displayed that his throwing knives had a force of impact of around 220,000 kilograms. And now, the force of impact of one throwing knife surpassed 500,000 kilograms. One throwing knife, over 500,000 kilograms. Six throwing knives. Added together, is over 3 million kilograms. Spirit Reader's advantage reside in their peculiar attacks. However, at the peak of the advanced level War God level, just the pure force of impact has reached an incredible point. This is basically the strength of someone with a fist strength of 500,000 kilograms with a 6x multiplier of a fighter at the peak of the War God level. Boom. Li Yao was blown off his feet and flew backwards at a startling speed. At the same time, he smashed into Blood Shadow Ethan behind him and even tumbled a few times in the air as he flew a few hundred meters away. Whoosh. 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 The six throwing knives that were as fast as lightning and as heavy as mountains smashed Phantom Demon Catalan, whose face was full of shock, away. Humph. Luo Feng landed beside the willow tree trunk and his six throwing knives crazily smashed the trunk. The trunk already lost most of its vitality and was extremely weak, so it quickly blew up. A green thing with hints of gold flew up and was immediately wrapped around by Luo Feng's spiritual force as his spiritual force retrieved it. Chapter 156, Attacking a Turtle Translator, Translation Nation Editor, Translation Nation this was an oval-shaped crystal that was as large as a fist. Inside the crystal flowed some green stuff with hints of gold in it. Just looking at it would move one's heart. 10,000-year Willow Heart. Luo Feng slightly smiled as he swiftly put the 10,000-year Willow Heart into the pockets of his battle uniform. Li Yao. You're not getting away. Luo Feng laughed loudly. Boom. 
The sound of a sonic boom rose, and Luo Feng charged at an incredible speed towards the place where Li Yao landed. As of now, Luo Feng's maximum speed was around 500 meters per second. Once he adds his spiritual force that's at the peak of the war god level, Luo Feng's speed can reach up to 700 meters per second. In the distance. Li Yao, Catalan, Keita, and Ethan were running like mad. That Luo Feng is chasing after us, Catalan's face changed. Luo Feng, Li Yao was extremely regretful. He never would have thought that Luo Feng, who he could have squished like an ant in the past, would grow to such a point so quickly. Li Yao hurriedly said while sprinting, Catalan, the four of us can cooperate and get rid of this Luo Feng. Sorry. Catalan slightly smiled and then signaled with his eyes towards Keita and Ethan. The three of them have been through who knows how many battles together, so of course they understood what Catalan meant. Whoosh. 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 Phantom Demon Catalan, Blood Shadow Ethan, and Great Bear Keita. These three powerful fighters made a sharp turn to the left at virtually the exact same time as they sprinted away. They split up with Li Yao in an instant. Keep in mind that their speed is over 600 meters per second, so by the time Li Yao even reacted, the distance between them was already over 500 to 600 meters. And Luo Feng was already coming. Bastards, bunch of idiots, Li Yao cursed in his heart. And Luo Feng was approaching extremely quickly. This Luo Feng, this Luo Feng speed, is actually a bit faster than mine, Li Yao grieved as he clenched his teeth. Catalan and the others started slowing down after splitting up with Li Yao. Phew, Catalan let out a sigh of relief. That Luo Feng really did go after Li Yao and not us, Catalan looked behind him and spoke in English. His spiritual force strived to release to a distance of 150 meters and discovered nothing. Blood Shadow Ethan sneered on the side, that Li Yao was looking for it. The sonic booms in the quiet night were especially obvious. Catalan, how come we aren't helping Li Yao, frowned Great Bear Keita. Help him, why would we help him, scoffed Catalan. After that, he became serious, Keita, even if we wanted to help him, we can't. You need to understand that Luo Feng is definitely a spirit reader at the peak of the advanced level war god level, an invincible existence in the advanced level war god level. Great Bear Keita and Blood Shadow Ethan looked at Catalan with surprise. Ethan couldn't help but to say, Catalan, even you aren't his opponent. For my Phantom Strike, a spirit reader just has to slightly push my javelin to the side with his spiritual force, thus breaking the move. As for my Phantom Eye, this is a type of attack using spiritual force. Luo Feng's spiritual force is stronger than mine, so not only will I not be able to injure him, I'll just end up injuring myself, Catalan's face wasn't looking good. Then if we work together, followed Great Bear Keita. Yeah, let's all go for it, Ethan's gaze turned cold. Against a spirit reader, numbers don't mean anything, Catalan slightly shook his head, I've already confirmed that this Luo Feng is a spirit reader at the peak of the advanced level war god level. Don't mess with him in the future. Okay, Keita and Ethan slightly nodded. Let's use our time to get some more spirits of nature and then leave with our fighter jet, said Catalan quietly, remember, we don't have to walk too quickly. Don't make too much noise, or else Luo Feng might come after us when he hears us. Keita and Ethan nodded seriously. Catalan sighed to himself, another invincible war god has appeared in the circle of war gods. An invincible war god is a special title given to a powerful fighter in the circle of war gods. Catalan's position in the circle of war gods is extremely, extremely high, much higher than Li Yao's. However, he hasn't received the title of Invincible War God. And even though Vulture Li Yao has a Black God set, that's only good for defending. If your attack power is lacking, you don't have the right to be named Invincible War God. Rumble, plants shattered in the places Li Yao passed, who was sprinting as fast as he could. Escape. There was only one word on Li Yao's mind, escape. Ever since he suffered the attack of Luo Feng's six throwing knives, Li Yao was clear of the distance between him and Luo Feng. Even Phantom Demon Catalan ran away from Luo Feng, so what can Li Yao do other than run? Li Yao. Luo Feng's body was like a mirage and his eyes were like lightning. Die. Six black lights instantly shot out from Luo Feng and flew way faster than Luo Feng and Li Yao's sprinting speed. These six black lights instantly covered the distance between them, which was less than 50 meters. Before Li Yao even had the chance to dodge, the six throwing knives smashed into him. Each throwing knife was like a small mountain. Each throwing knife had an astonishing amount of piercing power. The black membrane on Li Yao's body slightly sank, but wasn't pierced by the throwing knives. However, the horrifying force of impact from the six throwing knives wasn't to be taken lightly. Rumble, Li Yao was blasted away but swiftly started sprinting away again. He actually used this force of impact to increase the distance between him and Luo Feng. What's going on? Seeing how the distance between them just increased, Luo Feng's face changed, adding the first time I attacked him, this is the third time. Three attacks. How is this Li Yao not dead? Or at least on the ground from his injuries. Six throwing knives, each one with a force of impact of over 500,000 kilograms. Six throwing knives, over 3 million kilograms in total. And he attacked Li Yao with this horrifying force three times. Even the most powerful war gods would turn into a pile of meat after getting hit with such a force three times. Yet, Vulture Li Yao was still sprinting as fast as he could, his speed not even dropping in the slightest. 
Could it be? Could it be because of his black god set? Is the black god set that great? Luo Feng frowned. Thankfully I have my black god set, or else I would have died already, a bit of blood could be seen at the side of Li Yao's mouth as he sprinted as fast as possible. However, his powerful body was swiftly recovering. Li Yao only needs a bit of time to recover most of the injuries he receives from Luo Feng's attacks, so all the way until now. Li Yao only spit out a few mouthfuls of blood. The defensive capabilities of the Black God set is incredible. No wonder even Emperor level monsters can't pierce through it and can only rely on impacts, thought Li Yao to himself. The Black God set was extremely mysterious. The material it's made out of is extremely tough. Its toughness means that no matter how sharp a weapon is, it'll never be able to pierce through. And not only this. Any force of impact, after being transferred through the Black God set, will weaken by 90%. In other words, after going through the Black God set, only 300,000 kilograms of the original 3 million kilograms actually hits Li Yao's body. And this 300,000 kilograms is spread out across Li Yao's entire body. If a force of impact of 300,000 kilograms was focused on a single spot, it would gravely injure an advanced level war god. But once it's spread out across the entire body, then Li Yao doesn't care anymore. There is a saying. Other than existences surpassing the war god level, emperor level monsters, and laser cannons, there is nothing that can kill a war god wearing a black god set. This is praising the miraculous defensive capabilities of the black god set. Of course, there are some exaggerations here. For example, Li Yao almost died when he was stuck under the lake because he couldn't breathe. In conclusion, the defensive capabilities of the Black God set is incredible. The six throwing knives hit Li Yao once again. This time, Li Yao didn't use the force of impact to run in a straight line, but used it to make a sharp turn instead. And Luo Feng, who has been chasing for a while, thought that Li Yao would keep running in a straight line, so he continued to charge forward. By the time he came back, the distance between the two of them has already surpassed Luo Feng's spiritual forces range because of their amazing speed. Humph. Luo Feng was mad. But Luo Feng was clear. He landed six blows on Li Yao but wasn't able to kill him. This black god set sure is amazing. Even though I can beat this Li Yao, killing him is trouble, thought Luo Feng to himself. I'll make a net when I go back. A SS grade net. I'll use my spiritual force to control the net and catch this Li Yao. Humph, if I can't kill him, then I'll tie him up. When that happens, I won't give him anything to drink or eat. I'll even throw him into water and kill him like that, thought Luo Feng to himself. There was no other way. He could only rely on this simple method. Tie him up and either starve him to death or suffocate him. As for killing a war god with a black god set up front, even Luo Feng can't do that unless they take off their black god set. This Li Yao sure is sneaky, not making any sound at all, Luo Feng listened carefully and tried to find his tracks by a sound. Whoosh! Luo Feng leaped into the air and stepped onto his shield. He instantly flew up to an altitude of 100 to 200 meters. He looked down from above and spread out his spiritual force while listening closely. Boom. A weak sound carried from afar. HM. There's a sound. Luo Feng's eyes flashed and, with a thought, instantly flew over there. He drew across an arc as he landed. At this moment, Phantom Demon Catalan, Great Bear Keda, and Blood Shadow Ethan were currently surrounding two golden yellow weeds as they swiftly dug the dirt beneath them. Hey, what are you guys up to? A sound rose. Phantom Demon Catalan and the others' faces changed. They turned their heads. Luo Feng, who was standing on his shield, slowly descended as he smiled at Catalan and the others. Phantom Demon Catalan and the others cursed in their hearts, wasn't this Luo Feng supposed to be chasing that Liao? Even if they made some sounds, they shouldn't have attracted Luo Feng. They didn't want to make any sounds at all, but how can you not make any sounds when fighting with spirits of nature? Go, howled Catalan. The three of them immediately sprinted away. Humph, that Liao has a black god set, so I can't attack a turtle with its head tucked in. Two out of the three of you have black god sets, but after all. One of you don't, Luo Feng's gaze locked onto the savage brute, Great Bear Keda, and let out a smile. Whoosh. He directly chased after Great Bear Keda. Chapter 157, Existence Surpassing the War God Level. Translator, Translation Nation. Editor, Translation Nation. Luo Feng, Luo Feng. This large, savage brute Keda yelled in his accented Chinese. Whoosh. Luo Feng also stopped out of surprise as he stood beside him. He looked at this famous Great Bear Keda with interest, you're not going to run away. Great Bear Keda laughed helplessly as he said in his accented Chinese, Luo Feng, my, my strength, isn't comparable to yours. I, admit defeat. I, am willing to give, all the, spirits of nature, to you. He he, Luo Feng smiled out of surprise. This Great Bear Keda sure is interesting. But Great Bear Keda was laughing bitterly inside. When he talked with Phantom Demon Catalan, he learned that Luo Feng was already a spirit reader at the peak of the advanced level war god level, a fighter worthy of the title Invincible War God. A fighter at this level can shake the higher-ups of any area with just one word. And if he wanted to kill Keda? 
Six throwing knives can instantly blast Great Bear Kata into mush. Kata didn't have a black god set. Good, I know that you have two spirits of nature in your bag. Hand them over, smiled Luofone, I won't kill you. Okay, Great Bear Kata wasn't shocked that Luofone knew how many spirits of nature he had. With his spiritual force, could Luofone not know what treasures Great Bear Kata had? Catch, Great Bear Kata took out the 2000-year Willow Hearts and directly tossed them towards Luofone. Good, Luofone smiled as his spiritual force wrapped around both thousand-year Willow Hearts and placed them next to his 10,000-year Willow Heart. In the pocket of his battle uniform. Great Bear Kata slightly smiled, then I'll be going first. If you ever go to Europe and need something, you can come find me. We better have some drinks next time in the Virtual Spaces Palace of War Gods, after saying that, Great Bear Kata swiftly left. Quite passionate aren't you? Luofone laughed. The Virtual Spaces Palace of War Gods? Luofone knew. That anyone with the title of War God on Earth can join the Palace of War Gods. This Palace of War Gods was built by fighters like Hong and Thunder God back then. Now he learned that the Palace of War Gods is actually in the Virtual Space. Wise Kata handed him both of the thousand-year willow hearts he had, so Luofone was in quite a good mood. Above the Misty Island. Luofone stood on his shield at an altitude of 200 meters in the sky as he looked down on the entire Misty Island. At the same time, his spiritual force extended and tried to find Li Yao. This Li Yao sure can hide carefully. He isn't making any sound at all. My spiritual force can't find him either, Luofone frowned as he stood on his shield, his face was quite helpless. Suddenly. Hmm. Luofone turned his head over. In the distance, a blazing red light swiftly flew over from the horizon, as if it was an asteroid. In the dark night, this blazing red light was quite conspicuous. Whoosh. The blazing red light stopped in front of Luofone, and it turned out to be a white man with curled, brown hair in a battle uniform set. While this white man hovered in the air, the air around him seemed to twist. A bit of fire was burning on his body. The man in fire looked at Luofone and spoke in English, Who are you? Luofone was shocked. Fire on his body? Flying? This is definitely an existence surpassing the war god level. I'm Luofone, from the Dojo of Limits, Luofone stood on his shield and slightly bowed in midair to show his respect. Luofone? This man in fire slightly nodded and then ferociously yelled, Catalan, the four of you come out. His vigorous voice swiftly carried around the entire island. Whoosh. 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 A bunch of sonic booms immediately sounded around the entire misty island. Soon enough, Luo Feng's spiritual force discovered the four people gathered below, Phantom Demon Catalan, Vulture Li Yao, Blood Shadow Ethan, and Great Bear Kata. Representative Far. Representative Far. The four people below respectfully gave their greetings. Phantom Demon Catalan and the others looked towards the fighter coated in flames in the night sky and were startled. Right after Luo Foam stole the Thousand Year Willow Heart, Phantom Demon Catalan immediately contacted his teacher. His teacher contacted existences surpassing the War God level. But who would have thought? That someone would arrive so quickly. I just happened to be training myself in the continent of Australia. Right when your teacher contacted me, I rushed here as fast as possible, Representative Far, who was coated in flames, smiled as he said, How goes your spirit of nature harvest? Representative Far. Li Yao yelled in English, the most valuable 10,000-year willow heart we found was stolen by this Luo Feng. He also stole 3,000-year willow hearts. In the night, Luo Feng's face slightly changed as he hovered in midair. Luo Feng, Representative Far looked towards Luo Feng and his eyes became cold, hand over the 10,000-year willow heart and the 3,000-year willow hearts. Whoosh! Luo Feng turned and ran. Want to run? Representative Far instantly turned into a flowing red light as he chased. Even though Representative Far was an existence surpassing the War God level, all War Gods and existences surpassing the War God level were members of the Palace of War Gods. There are rules in the Palace of War Gods. One of those rules is that, unless they have a good enough reason, existences surpassing the War God level are not allowed to kill War Gods. Furthermore, Luo Feng comes from the Dojo of Limits. Existences surpassing the War God level all over the world wouldn't easily mess with the Dojo of Limits. Even though he won't kill anyone. Representative Far definitely needs to retrieve the 10,000 year Willow Heart. Hmm. The face of Representative Far, who transformed into flames, suddenly changed as he accelerated. However, the distance between him and Luo Feng didn't shorten, but lengthened instead. As I thought. Luo Feng couldn't help but to let out a smile as he rapidly flew forwards and turned his head back, this Representative Far's flying speed isn't as fast as mine. When he flew over here just now, I felt that his flying speed was around half of my maximum speed. And now, it seems that even when he goes all out, he's still slower than me by quite a bit. Boom. Representative Far, whose body was surrounded by flames, rapidly descended to the Misty Island. Li Yao and the others were shocked. Looks like Representative Far wasn't able to catch Luo Feng. Hurry, we'll split up and search for spirits of nature. If you can't deal with something, contact me immediately, yelled Representative Far. Yes. 
Catalan and the others immediately sprinted into the depths of the misty island. While sprinting, Liao couldn't help but to ask, Catalan, how come Representative Far couldn't catch up to Luo Feng? Existences surpassing the war god level are way more powerful than war gods, said Catalan lowly, however. In midair, they have nowhere to use their power. If they sprint on the ground, they are astonishingly fast. As for flying. Even though existences surpassing the war god level can fly, their flying speed is way slower than their speed on land. Liao, Keita, and Ethan came to a realization. Back when Luo Feng stole the first thousand-year Willow Heart, Catalan has already said. Even existences surpassing the war god level wouldn't chase an advanced level war god level spirit reader underground. Indeed. Existences surpassing the war god level are extremely powerful. But within reason. If they were on land, they could catch Luo Feng in an instant. But in the air? Their powerful legs have nothing to run on, so they can only rely on their special ability to fly. Even though they fly quickly, even faster than some spirit readers, they're still slower than spirit readers at the peak of the advanced war god level. Luo Feng turned back and hovered at an altitude of 300 to 400 meters above the misty island, his spiritual force spread out. Boom! The air suddenly shook and a purplish red light stopped in the air above Luo Feng in a blink of an eye. It was indeed a purplish red triangular fighter jet. In terms of appearance, this streamlined triangular fighter jet was virtually the same as the one Hong rode on last time, only the color differed. Voila! The hatch opened automatically. Two shadows flew out and the fighter jet's hatch automatically closed as it just hovered in midair. The Dojo of Limits fighter jet, Luo Feng's face let out some joy. Your Luo Feng. The two shadows hovered beside Luo Feng. One of them had long, flowing hair and always had a smile on. He gave off a feeling of a calming, nice breeze. As for the guy hovering beside him, he was as cold as ice and as steady as a mountain. He had a golden mask on. Luo Feng greets the two investigators, Luo Feng bowed. How's it going down there, asked Investigator Lu. Luo Feng replied, Investigator, one of the existences surpassing the war god level from the HR Alliance, Representative Far, just arrived a few minutes ago. As for the Willow Tree Heart. There are 9,000 year Willow Hearts and one 10,000 Willow Heart. Six of the thousand year Willow Hearts are in their possession. I consumed a thousand year Willow Heart earlier and took two thousand year Willow Hearts and one 10,000 year Willow Heart. Investigator Lu let out a smile as he slightly nodded, 10,000 year Willow Heart? Not bad. Boom. At this time, a flowing red light approached from below, it was indeed Representative Far. Representative Asterisk Lu, Far looked at Investigator Lu. When he saw the golden masked man on the side, he let out a face of surprise. Representative Far, all the spirits of nature on this misty island. We'll go to the Dojo of Limits. You don't have any objections right, said Investigator Lu calmly. The flames on Far's body bursted ferociously as he yelled with anger, Investigator Lu, don't cross the line. We discovered this misty island first. You guys didn't discover it first, I did, Luo Feng cut in, you can ask Catalan, Li Yao, and the others to confirm. Indeed, Luo Feng was actually the first one to come to this misty island. After that, he purposefully turned on his tactical communications watch to lure Li Yao here. If Li Yao didn't come, then Luo Feng wouldn't have recognized those treasures. Ha, huh, hear that, smiled Investigator Lu, our side discovered it first. Humph, Investigator Far sneered, nobody owns this misty island. Why would we hand it over to your dojo of limits? If you guys aren't all talk, then let's fight over them fairly. Whoever finds the spirits of nature, gets to keep it. Investigator Lu smiled at Representative Far as he heard this. He went silent for a moment and then nodded, I accept. Chapter 158, Huge Commotion Translator, Translation Nation Editor, Translation Nation Representative Far froze. Luo Feng was surprised too. Keep in mind that this entire misty island was full of mist and visibility was low here. And for things like spirits of nature, there are times where it would be hard to recognize one even if it was right in front of you. Whoever finds more gets to keep more. Why would this Investigator Lu accept such conditions? It's up to you, Investigator Lu looked towards the Golden Masked Man. Okay, the Golden Masked Man slightly nodded. Whoosh. He flew into the distance and hovered above the Misty Island. Afterwards, the mysterious Golden Masked Man extended both of his hands and closed his eyes. A formless, special power spread towards every direction with him at the center, as if a radar was emitting radio waves. This process lasted about 5 to 6 seconds. Whoosh. Like a bolt of lightning, the mysterious Golden Masked Man directly flew into the Misty Island. This scene shocked Luo Feng and Representative Far, who were still in midair. Usually, searching for spirits of nature with all this mist was an extremely difficult task. If the spirits of nature don't attack, then they would be hard to recognize even if they're right in front of you. So there isn't much of an advantage for existences surpassing the War God level in searching for spirits of nature. But why? Does Investigator Lu seem so confident in letting this mysterious Golden Masked Man take action? Representative Far, just keep me company here. It'll be easier for you and it'll be easier for me, Investigator Lu glanced at him. Representative Far just sneered as he continued to hover in midair. 
Representative Farr didn't have any special methods to help him search for spirits of nature, so it would be better for him to just stay here and keep Investigator Lu with him. Suddenly, four shadows raced below and one of them even soared into the air. Luo Feng observed carefully and saw that the one who flew up was indeed Phantom Demon Catalan. A black light extended below Catalan's feet and seemed to take the shape of a petal. Phantom Demon Catalan's feet stepped on those black petals as he hovered in midair. Representative Far, Representative Far, Catalan said out of anger and resignation, we were digging up an unknown spirit of nature, but it was stolen right at the most important moment. The opponent was too fast and powerful. He was probably in existence surpassing the war god level, so the four of us couldn't fight back at all. Representative Far's face changed as he heard this. As for the spirits of nature that Li Yao discovered earlier, they were already taken by the time we arrived, yelled Catalan again. Huh. Investigator Lu laughed loudly as he heard this. Representative Far's face turned green as he heard this. And Luo Feng was absolutely flabbergasted. Damn, that mysterious golden masked man has an ability where he can easily find spirits of nature in all this mist. Usually, spirits of nature are extremely hard to identify if they don't attack. Investigator Lu, I wonder which of the three royal guards he is? Ice Mountain, Representative Far's face was green, who would have thought that the head of the dojo's three royal guards have such special abilities? You're quite smart. He is indeed Ice Mountain. Investigator Lu slightly smiled, however, is this worth getting surprised over? Everyone has different abilities after breaking through the War God barrier and becoming an existence surpassing the War God level. Your ability is just fire. And Ice Mountain of the Three Royal Guards has an ability you would never even dream of. There are five big investigators under Hong of the Dojo of Limits. But, other than the five investigators, few people know. That Hong has three Royal Guards. These three Royal Guards have been following Hong with all their body and heart since a long time ago. They are absolutely loyal. Hong also guides these three Royal Guards and assists them as much as possible. All three royal guards are existences surpassing the war god level. People say that the five big investigators are horrifying. But more fighters are afraid of these three royal guards. Other than Hong, nobody knows who they are. People only know their nicknames, which are, Beast, Ice Mountain, Allure. Royal guards? Luo Feng was stunned, not investigators. Young man, investigator Lu smiled as he glanced at Luo Feng, Hong is not as simple as you think he is. The three royal guards below him are all existences surpassing the war god level. And each of the royal guards, under Hong's teachings, have extraordinary strength. Otherwise, why would the world's powerful countries and organizations all fear Hong so much? Luo Feng froze. One person, single-handedly raised three existences surpassing the war god level. Holy. Rumble. Who? It was all black below. Sonic boom after sonic boom carried from the mist-covered island below. The sounds of attacks landing on a plant. Clearly, these sounds were caused by that royal guard. In midair. A shield created out of a breeze covered Luo Feng and Investigator Lu. Investigator? Luo Feng looked at Investigator Lu with shock. Just a small trick so Representative Far won't be able to hear us, smiled Investigator Lu, let me introduce myself. I'm Lu Ha. The head's rating of you is quite high, saying that you're one of the top spirit reader geniuses on earth. After consuming a thousand year willow heart. What level did your spiritual force reach? Luo Feng hesitated. Peak of the advanced level war god level, said Luo Feng. Investigator Lu took in a breath as he looked at Luo Feng with disbelief on his face. He couldn't help but to say, how old are you? 19 years old, answered Luo Feng. 19 years old, peak of the advanced level war god level spirit reader, Investigator Lu couldn't help but to shake his head as he started laughing, I've always heard how powerful the geniuses from the legends are. During the Grand Nirvana period, the head and chairman thunder god only took a few years to become existences surpassing the war god level. I've also seen a few that only took a short two to three years to become war gods at the peak of the advanced level war god level. But... It's my first time seeing a 19-year-old peak of the advanced level war god level spirit reader, Investigator Lu's gaze towards Luo Feng softened quite a bit. Why is the Dojo of Limits powerful? Unity. Raise up geniuses to strengthen the Dojo and not worry about the young ones surpassing the old ones. On Luo Feng's path of a fighter. He's been taught and helped by instructor Jiang Yan, chief instructor Wu Tong, envoy Yang Hui, teacher Jiang Fang, and others. They tried their best to guide and advise Luo Feng, which was why he was able to grow so successfully. His talent is important, but so is his environment. Very good, Investigator Lu smiled as he nodded, with your strength, you can already be nicknamed Invincible War God. A spirit reader at the peak of the advanced level War God level, hee <laughs> hee, this is quite a challenge. They seem to fly quickly and are quite peculiar underground, making it hard for people to chase after them. Luo Feng couldn't help but recall the scene that previously unfolded. Representative Far, couldn't catch him in midair. But don't get too cocky. You're invincible within War Gods, but once you encounter an existence surpassing the War God level, it won't be so easy. Every existence surpassing the war god level has a special ability, Investigator Lu lightly smiled, and everyone has different strengths. For example, I fly much faster than Representative Far. Luo Feng nodded. 
That mysterious golden masked man is one of Han's three royal guards, Ice Mountain. He's actually able to easily find large amounts of spirits of nature. Investigator Lu carefully reminded Luo Feng that he can't let his guard down. There are tons of existences surpassing the war god level that can get rid of Luo Feng. Show me the 10,000 year willow heart, said Investigator Lu. Investigator Luo Feng took out the 10,000 year willow heart. Investigator Lu took it and looked at it. The flowing green essence with hints of gold inside the oval shaped crystal caused Investigator Lu to squint. He nodded, this 10,000 year willow heart is definitely something special. I have a feeling that this one 10,000 year willow heart is more important than 10,000 year willow hearts. Luo Feng let out a smile as he heard this. Isn't that right? Cutting down nine willow trees is who knows how many times more easier than cutting down a willow tree king. The 10,000 year willow heart in the willow tree king is definitely something special. But a treasure like this cannot be consumed without care. We have to show the head to figure out how to use it properly, said Investigator Lu seriously, if a treasure isn't used properly, it'll take lives. One year there was a guy who consumed a certain treasure and his body directly blew up because of it. Luo Feng nodded. You can die from eating too much food. This 10,000 year willow heart is much better than a thousand year willow heart so, without absolute confidence, Luo Feng wouldn't foolishly eat it. Anyways, Luo Feng, you've done something big this time, said Investigator Lu, reporting the location of the Misty Island gets you 10%. And you also obtained the 10,000 year willow heart, so that counts as helping us get the treasure. When the time comes, we'll give you more. And now you're a spirit reader at the peak of the advanced level war god level. The head will probably organize something for you. There's no need for you to stay in the elite training camp, smiled Investigator Lu, why would the head not use someone as talented as you? There might be a huge reward for you. The head isn't a stingy person. Investigator. Luo Feng was a bit worried. Hmm, Investigator Lu looked at Luo Feng, speak. I just want to ask the Investigator. I don't know if the head would be willing to reward me with a black god set, asked Luo Feng. Investigator Lu froze, this kid sure doesn't hold back. After the battle on this misty island, Luo Feng really wanted a black god set. The effect of this black god set is too amazing, way better than a SS grade battle uniform set. Actually, Luo Feng still hasn't officially obtained the title of war god. The law says he still isn't a war god. Technically, Luo Feng can continue to stay in the elite training camp and get first place over and over again. Wouldn't he obtain gigantic rewards this way? And also obtain the black god set? If I stay in the training camp, I'll have a chance to get it, clowned Luo Feng. You kiddo, you're already invincible in the war god level and you still have the face to fight over with those kids, Investigator Lu didn't know whether to laugh or cry, however, I really can't decide over the black god set. We'll have to see what the head says when we return. Investigators rarely interact with students. Investigator Lu took the initiative to introduce himself and to talk to Luo Feng. He wanted to get to know Luo Feng. Who would have thought that Luo Feng would act like a kid even though he's an invincible war god, a figure that can shock an area of the earth. Oh wait. Luo Feng is only 19, so he actually is a kid. Boom. In the night, the entire Misty Island shook, which shocked Luo Feng, Investigator Lu, and Representative Far. Let's hurry up and go, a loud sound rang. The golden masked man came back in a rush, whoosh. In the distance, a black purplish vine that had a diameter of 20 centimeters shot towards him. With just a glance, you couldn't tell how long the vine was. With just the light coming from Representative Far's fire, the naked eye could see a length of 500 to 600 meters, there was still an unknown length in the distant mist. As if a vine that stretched across the heavens and the earth. This vine was like a tentacle that stretched across hundreds of meters, and was still rapidly extending as it wrapped towards the Golden Masked Man. The Golden Masked Man's bag was completely bulged up as it clearly held large amounts of spirits of nature. Chapter 159, Return to the Headquarter City Translator, Translation underscore Nation Editor, Translation underscore Nation, Chacha Train This vine. Luo Feng was absolutely shocked when he saw it. The black purplish vine that extended from the distant mist seemed infinite. It was like a rumbling, gigantic python that chased after the escaping Golden Masked Man. P.U. P.U. The Golden Masked Man had blades that were as thin as a cicada's wing in each hand, as if they were transparent ice blades. They cruelly collided with the approaching black purplish vine. Immediately, shockwaves visible to the naked eye flew in every direction. The trees below that seemed to touch the sky were all smashed into pieces by these shockwaves. Even Vulture Li Yao, Blood Shadow Ethan, and Great Bear Keda were running in a panic. If they accidentally get caught up in this fight, they'll instantly die. What? Luo Feng was shocked. Under the attack of the two ice blades, the black purplish vine that had a diameter of 20 centimeters was barely cut open a depth of 1 centimeter. However, this wound instantly healed in virtually a blink of an eye. Let's go, Investigator Lu pulled Luo Feng. Luo Feng didn't resist and immediately flew into the distance with Investigator Lu. As for that black purplish vine, it was busy chasing after the golden masked man with everything it had, so it didn't have time to chase after Luo Feng and the others. Get on the fighter jet, yelled Investigator Lu. Whoosh. 
The purplish red triangular fighter jet that was hovering in the distance directly flew over and opened its hatch. Whoosh. Whoosh. Investigator Lu and Luo Fong flew into the triangular fighter jet like two lights. Inside the triangular fighter jet was darkness. Luo Fong and Investigator Lu looked out the hatch while the fighter jet flew away, creating distance between them and the black purplish vine. Walla. The hatch closed. Display Ice Mountains Battle, ordered Investigator Lu. Chi. A video instantly appeared in the dark cabin, which was indeed displaying the battle that was currently happening above the Misty Island. This video was much more clear than what the naked eye could perceive. In the video, the Golden Masked Man was the only person left in the air above the Misty Island. And he was still being chased by that vine. The Golden Masked Man was as fast as lightning as he escaped. P.A., a sky-shattering sound. The vine actually whipped like a whip. That dark purplish vine that was over 1,000 meters long whipped ferociously. When it retracted and then extended, it caused an amazing sonic boom. Even after the sound went through the hatch of the plane, Luo Feng felt like a bomb just blew up next to his ears. Such a long vine can whip people, Investigator Lu couldn't help but to sigh, if Ice Mountain gets whipped, it's over. Investigator Lu, are we just going to watch? asked Luo Feng. They're all part of the Dojo of Limits. Are they just going to watch their ally get attacked? Luo Feng, Royal Guard Ice Mountain strength is even a bit higher than mine. And his escaping abilities are much better than mine. He's a Royal Guard of the Head, so the Head has taught them various methods to keep their lives. If I go? I'll just make things worse, Investigator Lu wasn't in a rush at all, don't worry, this one vine still can't, not good. Investigator Lu's face changed dramatically. Luo Feng also took in a deep breath as he stared at the display. Rumble. In the video, the entire misty island rumbled. Another black purplish vine that you couldn't see the end of swiftly extended out of the mist. Now there are two black purplish vines. No. The entire misty island rumbled as a third black purplish vine that seemed to stretch across the land extended out of the mist. A fourth vine. A fifth vine. The naked eye couldn't tell how long each vine was, but they were definitely over 1000 meters long. And each vine had a black purplish color and had a diameter of 20 centimeters. They were all extremely tough. Even existence is surpassing the war god level. Can't do anything against them. Big trouble, Investigator Lu's face turned green. Above the Misty Island, the vines that pierced through the heavens were like the tentacles of the Misty Island. They crazily danced from every direction as they surrounded the Golden Masked Man. The Golden Masked Man was extremely fast. One movement of his body could move him across a distance of a few hundred meters. With this, he should be able to shake off the vines easily. However, the vines themselves were too peculiar. They could freely twist and move. They moved so quickly that they left behind tons of afterimages, not allowing the Golden Masked Man to escape at all. At this moment. In the video, the six vines crazily danced in the air above the Misty Island. The Golden Masked Man barely dodged each of their attacks. According to the computer's calculations, each of these vines has a length of over 1,600 meters. Their extending, retracting, and moving speeds are over 1,000 meters per second, Investigator Lu's face wasn't looking good, their toughness is comparable to an average Emperor-level monster. The worst part is, they have extraordinary regeneration capabilities, their wounds can heal instantly. Luo Feng silently watched. The six vines in the video were working together perfectly. As they attacked over and over again, they naturally and quickly forced the Golden Masked Man into a corner. Boom! What, Luo Feng and Investigator Lu were both flabbergasted. Under the attacks of the six black purplish vines, the extremely tiny Golden Masked Man instantly transformed into a white light. He was extremely fast and virtually instantly escaped the area where the six vines were attacking. This white light was currently flying towards the triangular fighter jet with amazing speed. Voila! The hatch opened. The white light slowed down and became a human's image. It charged into the hatch, which closed right after. Return to HQ, yelled Investigator Lu. Whoosh! The purplish-red triangular fighter jet immediately turned into a purplish-red light as it disappeared into the horizon. The only things left were the black-purplish vines that were crazily dancing above the misty island, as if they were enraged. Inside the cabin. Ice Mountain, are you okay? Investigator Lu assisted the Golden Masked Man. The Golden Masked Man sat on the chair with his eyes closed, his breath was weak. He said lowly, no worries, Lu Ha, I'm not going to die yet. I just used my forbidden essence move, which damages the body too much. I need to go back and rest for a while this time. Investigator Lu finally let out a sigh of relief. Ice Mountain, what forbidden move, can you teach me? Investigator Lu couldn't help but to ask. It's not that he doesn't understand the rules, but the speed Royal Guard Ice Mountain displayed when escaping was just too startling. Even though he doesn't have any strength to fight back afterwards. This move is definitely a lifesaver. You? I spent nearly five years giving various treasures and wealth to the head. Only after that did the head spend quite a bit of time creating a life-saving move for me based off of the characteristics of my essence. Ice Mountain glanced at Investigator Lu, the characteristics of your essence isn't the same as mine, so you can't learn it. Investigator Lu shook his head helplessly. 
He understood too. If you supply enough wealth and treasure to the head, the head will help his subordinates create a special move. However, something like that takes up a lot of energy and time, so the payment required is also startling. I just got this universe level auto jet, which costed me quite a bit of money, investigator Liu couldn't help but to shake his head. Auto jet? Luo Feng couldn't help but to say, this fighter jet doesn't need any crew members and can move by itself? Way too advanced, he's never seen any fighter jet like that. Furthermore, Luo Feng completely experienced how advanced this fighter jet's AI was just now. Yeah. This is the universe level auto jet. Just the materials required to build this is uncountable, investigator Liu couldn't help but to get a bit proud, during crucial times, I can control it to block emperor level attacks. Even an emperor level monster can't destroy this fighter jet. The materials it's made out of are way better than the ones in a SS grade weapon. Luo Feng was dumbfounded. Isn't that too much? A fighter jet's materials are better than a SS grade weapons? Luo Feng has finally experienced for himself how extravagant the existences surpassing the war god level are. However, that vine attacks by wrapping around its target, so my auto jet won't be able to do much against that, investigator Lu shook his head. After that, he smiled as he glanced at Luo Feng, Luo Feng, according to you've done this time, you'll definitely receive a huge reward, which would be enough to buy a universe level auto jet. Maybe. You can even buy the highest level, prehistoric level, auto jet. A prehistoric level auto jet, got that? That's the jet that the head rides on. Its defense is incredible and it even has a laser cannon on it. Luo Feng remained silent. He's not that dumb. This time's harvest is clearly gigantic. A thousand year willow heart is more valuable than a portion of dragon blood, and what about a ten thousand year willow heart? Adding to that, Royal Guard Ice Mountain has a huge bag of spirits of nature. He'll definitely receive an incredible amount of money. Would he waste all of that money to buy a fighter jet? Ice Mountain, how's this time's harvest, investigator Lu couldn't help but to ask. As if he's feeling slightly better, Ice Mountain opened his eyes and took a glance, huge, very huge. Investigator Lu couldn't help but to ask, I count as a contributor this time too right? Humph, all you did was hold back that representative far, said Royal Guard Ice Mountain lightly, the harvesters of a Spirit of Nature mission only receive 30% of the total wealth. If I sugarcoat it, you'll barely be able to get 5%. Luo Feng got the 10,000 year willow heart and 2,000 year willow hearts, so he'll barely get 5% too probably. I get 20%. Investigator Lu said nothing. He indeed didn't really do anything. A 10,000 year willow heart and 2,000 year willow hearts only gets 5%, Investigator Lu couldn't help but to ask. What do you know? Royal Guard Ice Mountain laughed lightly, just from what I harvested, there are 92 spirits of nature. Over six of them are more valuable than the 10,000 year willow heart. Luo Feng and Investigator Lu both took in a breath. That amount of wealth is staggering. This misty island sure is a treasure island, giving birth to so many spirits of nature. The most valuable thing is that vine, Royal Guard Ice Mountain brought his voice down, I first sensed how much energy that vine had before attacking it, but who would have thought that I only sensed a small portion of it. The entire vine is over 2000 meters long. Furthermore, I estimate that the vine is only a part of a certain spirit of nature, since there were six vines chasing after me in the end. So, there is an incredible spirit of nature on that misty island, said Royal Guard Ice Mountain quietly, that's where the largest treasure is. When I ran away, I sent the scene of battle to the head. The head will probably personally move out for this. The head will personally move out? Investigator Lu and Luo Feng both nodded. Indeed, if those six black purplish vines were merely a part of a certain spirit of nature, then the misty island's most powerful spirit of nature isn't a presence that's easy to mess with. Chapter 160, Hong and the Long Vine. Translator, Translation Nation. Editor, Translation Nation. On the wasteland beside the lake surrounding the Misty Island. Vulture Liao, Phantom Demon Catalan, Great Bear Keda, and Blood Shadow Ethan. The four of them looked towards the Misty Island with a bit of fear in their hearts. Representative Far, who was hovering in midair beside them, also looked towards the sky above the Misty Island where the six black purplish vines that pierced the heavens danced crazily. Just what are those things? How are they so powerful? Way too horrifying. Even an existence surpassing the war god level can't beat it. Vulture Li Yao and the others talked quietly. They were all stunned and scared. If Representative Far didn't bring them away and if the black purplish vine wasn't only concerned with chasing after that royal guard, Ice Mountain, the four of them probably wouldn't have been able to escape. Whoosh. Representative Far landed. Thank you, Representative Far, Li Yao came up and thanked. The other three also thanked him. Representative Far looked towards the four and commanded without emotion, Give me the spirits of nature you guys found. Catalan, Li Yao, and the others froze. Hand over the spirits of nature? Catalan and the others worked hard to get these spirits of nature together. However, since they were afraid that Luo Feng would call the people from the Dojo of Limits, they also requested for existences surpassing the War God level. Once they ask for help, the spirits of nature they obtain will naturally be divided. Just like how Luo Feng handed over his 10,000 year willow heart and his 1,000 year willow heart. 
However, one difference is, that Royal Guard Ice Mountain basically got all of the spirits of nature on the island. And Representative Far didn't even get one. This way, Catalan and the others are at a disadvantage. Hmm, Representative Far frowned. Bring them out, commanded Catalan. Even though they didn't want to, Li Yao and the others could only hand out the spirits of nature they had. Six thousand year willow hearts and two spirit herbs. Don't worry, I'll redistribute them based on contribution, said Representative Far coldly, the fighter jet you guys came in is over there. Are you guys going to go back to Europe or wait here for the other representatives? Catalan invited quite a few representatives through his teacher. All existences surpassing the war god level are representatives of the Palace of Wargod's committee. We're not in a rush, smiled Catalan. Yeah, no rush, followed Li Yao. How could they miss a chance to watch a few existences surpassing the war god level battle against spirits of nature? After a long time, a flowing light finally appeared in the sky as it swiftly approached. It hovered in the air not too far from Representative Far. This was a disc-shaped fighter jet that was completely black, and its hatch just opened. Whoosh! 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 Three images flew out. Judging from their skin color, two of them are American or European while one of them had slightly darker skin, like someone from South America. The three of them smiled as they flew towards Representative Far. The four of them were indeed four existences surpassing the war god level. Teacher, Catalan flew over. Look, behind. Behind. Liao, Catalan, and Keita, who were still on the ground, were all shocked as they pointed towards a blood-red-colored triangular fighter jet that was hovering behind the disc-shaped fighter jet. Walla. The hatch opened. What? The four existences surpassing the war god level were all stunned as they looked at the person who arrived. The stars scattered across the night sky seemed to have all disappeared. In this point of time, only one person seemed to exist, a man with black, short hair, a black jacket, and black trousers. After meeting his gaze, one's heart completely freezes up and gives up all thoughts of resisting. He is the only deity in this entire world. Including Representative Far, the hearts of these four existences surpassing the war god level were all shaking. We greet the first chairman, Representative Far and the three others slightly bowed as they hovered in midair. The person who came was indeed Hong. The world's strongest fighter, the first chairman on the palace of war gods. The indisputable number one on earth. I discovered your fighter jet previously and guessed you guys were coming here, so I didn't rush to get ahead, the black-haired man's voice was calm, I won't bully you guys. I'll give you guys one chance. You guys can attack that misty island however you want and keep what you get. If you guys fail, then hurry up and leave. Hong's voice was cold. It had a sense of superiority in it. But indeed, Hong's position since the Grand Nirvana period has been at the indisputable peak. If the presidents and leaders of the five great countries get their power from the country themselves, then Hong's power comes completely from himself. Just him, is comparable to an entire country, and maybe even more. His authority has already surpassed the restrictions of the normal world. So. He was glorified. All the countries on earth cooperated with him and helped him expand his dojo of limits. Truthfully, Hong actually can count as a deity-like existence. One huge reason why humanity has been able to last until now is because of Hong's uncoverable efforts. Thank you, first chairman, the four existences surpassing the war god level slightly bowed. And then. Whoosh. 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 The four of them turned into four flowing lights as they flew towards the distant misty island. The black-haired man just hovered in midair as he silently waited. This is Hong. Catalan, Li Yao, Keita, and Ethan all looked towards Hong with passion. The existences surpassing the war god level they so praised like Representative Far and the others remain completely calm, and even a bit prideful, in front of the chairman of the HR Alliance. However, in front of Hong, these four representatives become extremely respectful and behaved like children. Praise. Catalan, Ethan, Li Yao, and Keita adore Hong from the bottom of their hearts. Hong represents the limits of humanity, the peak. Five minutes later. The rumbling noises sounded continuously on the misty island. For flowing lights swiftly flew back as they hovered below Hong. Each of the four of these existences surpassing the war god level seemed to have been slightly injured. Either that, or their face was pale, or had a bit of blood trickling out the side of their mouths. All of them were scared. If they didn't listen to Representative Fard describe how horrifying those vines were and, as a result, carefully went along the edge of the island, then one or two of them might have died instead of just receiving some small wounds. First Chairman, the four of them slightly bowed. The black-haired man glanced at them. The four of them bowed again and then directly flew towards the disc-shaped fighter jet. No matter what, they won't approach that misty island anymore. That vine's vitality is too much. Whoosh. The black-haired man directly flew towards the misty island. The blood-red-colored triangular fighter jet behind him also followed. Above the misty island. The black-haired man looked down from above like a deity. The eight endless vines that were just ambushed by the four existences surpassing the war god level were dancing in fury, causing the entire misty island to shake, as if an earthquake was happening. Oh, the black-haired man's eyes flashed. Whoosh. 
He directly descended, which caused the black purplish vines to sweep towards him, hoping to strangle the black-haired man to death. Hmm, the black-haired man extended his right hand, his powerful right hand. P.U. As if someone was grabbing onto a pair of chopsticks, the black-haired man actually grabbed onto the endless vine. Even though the vine had a diameter of 20 centimeters, it couldn't escape the black-haired man's grasp no matter how much it twisted and turned. Buzz, the gigantic black purplish vine crazily turned. Sadly. To no avail. Black purplish, with such power, the black-haired man's left hand took the shape of a blade and lightly drew across. A wound with a depth of 10 centimeters was instantly cut open on the black purplish vine, but just after 2 or 3 seconds, the wound completely disappeared. Rumble. It couldn't escape, so the entire misty island shook ferociously. Vine after vine extended out of the mist, each of them over a length of 2,000 meters. 1, 2, 3. 8, 9. There should be 16 total, the black-haired man let out a smile. He let all the black purplish vines charge at him. The surrounding 100 meter radius of the black-haired man suddenly sank into an infinite darkness. Once the black purplish vines entered this dark area, movement became extremely difficult, as if they were in mud. Yep. The black-haired man grabbed a vine and observed it like a studying scientist, it matches the information in the archaeological ruins perfectly, the cloud contact vine. Our Earth actually has cloud contact vines too. The black-haired man let out a smile, this Luo Feng sure is a star of luck. I've earned a ton this time. I guess I'll give him some good stuff when we're giving him a portion of the spirits of nature. Paris Headquarter City In a quiet bedroom, Li Yao grabbed a bottle of red wine and lay on the sofa as he gulped it down. Soon enough, over half the bottle was finished. Yao, you don't have to be so depressed just because of this time's failure, anxiously said Vanina in Chinese on the side. Li Yao ignored her and finished the bottle in one breath. After that, he grabbed towards another bottle of red wine. Yao, Yao, Vanina hurriedly took away the bottle of red wine. There's no hope, no hope, Li Yao glanced at Vanina and then laughed at himself like he was drunk. What do you mean no hope? You just failed this time. Failed to harvest the spirits of nature, failed to kill Luo Feng, stop yelling about no hope, Vanina was enraged, Yao, we've been through so much together, but I've never seen you lose your morale like this. How come this time you become like this? Li Yao's voice was low as he said powerlessly, that Luo Feng, he's already a spirit reader at the peak of the advanced level war god level. What? Vanina was shocked. Vanina only knew that this time's operation was a complete failure from the phone call. She didn't know that Luo Feng became so powerful. Peak of the advanced level war god level, so what? Vanina clenched her teeth, we've been through more difficult situations. As long as you can become an existence surpassing the war god level, wouldn't dealing with him become an easy task? It's not the same. It's not the same, Li Yao shook his head, the dojo of limits has earned a ton of spirits of nature. I personally saw the golden masked man carrying a bulging backpack. Luo Feng will definitely get quite a bit. At that time, he can exchange the spirits of nature for some treasures. Adding the dojo of limits support to that. Barely any people on earth are willing to help us deal with him. As for killing him, he can just dig underground with his spiritual force. Even if I become an existence surpassing the war god level, I might not be able to catch him. Furthermore, am I even able to become an existence surpassing the war god level? Li Yao's face was looking bad. Authority, power, he's going to be completely surpassed by Luo Feng. Chapter 161, Reward Translator, Translation Nation Editor, Translation Nation Hongning Headquarter City, Elite Training Camps Jiangnan Pagoda Dawn, the day was bright. Luo Feng was standing on the balcony and facing east. A few days ago I was on the wastelands of the continent of Australia and being chased after Li Yao. Now I'm casually waiting here alone, awaiting the summons of the head, Luo Feng let out a smile. After Luo Feng came back with Investigator Lu, Investigator Lu arranged for Luo Feng to live at the training camp. All the other students in the training camp were undergoing their life and death adventure, so Luo Feng was the only official student left in the training camp. What Luo Feng had to do now? Was wait for the head summons and receive his gigantic reward. The Dojo of Limits had a very startling harvest this time. Even Investigator Lu was quite excited just to get 5%, so one could imagine what a startling amount of wealth Luo Feng would receive. Towards the sun, Luo Feng looked east. Right now, the clouds in the sky were colored in a fiery red. Even though the sun hasn't shown itself yet, the rays of light shining through the clouds were heart-movingly beautiful. I thought I could live here for up to two or three years, or maybe even longer, Luo Feng leaned against the railing of the balcony as he sighed, looks like, I'll be leaving. Evening. A man and a woman in black swiftly arrived at the courtyard of Jiangnan Pagoda. Knock, 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 they knocked. Who is it? Luo Feng came out of his room and opened the door. The man and woman in black outside seemed to be around 30 years old. Both of their eyes were full of life, and the slightly short woman with layered hair smiled, Student Luo Feng, the head has summoned. Please follow us. The man on the side looked towards the youth in front of him with curiosity. A personal summons from the head is quite rare. The head? Luo Feng was joyful. 
So fast, he just came back for a day and the head already wants to see him. Looks like it's time to receive his reward. Okay, let's go, Luo Feng nodded and followed the two. They quickly arrived at the main entrance of the elite training camp as they walked along the familiar road. A black, elegant limousine with a length of over six meters was parked there. A woman in black went forward and opened the car door, student Luo Feng, please get on. Luo Feng got in the car. The car's interior was as spacious as a space shuttle, it was extremely elegant and comfortable. The car slowly moved. The people in the car could barely feel any shaking. The man in the black uniform sat beside the driver's spot while the woman in the black uniform sat next to Luo Feng. Twenty minutes later. Chi, the car stopped. Student Luo Feng, we have arrived at HQ, smiled the woman in the black uniform. Luo Feng got off the car and couldn't help but to take in a breath as he looked at the building in front of him. Holy. What was in front of him was a gigantic spaceship-like structure that was at least 10,000 meters long. It was around 100 meters high and there was a huge door that was a few dozen meters wide for people to go in. And surrounding this gigantic spaceship structure were large amounts of armed forces. Security here was clearly strict. This is the real headquarters of the Dojo of Limits? Luo Feng gasped as he looked at the spaceship in front of him. Very few people have seen the Dojo of Limits HQ and there aren't any relevant photos online either. A blue light shot out from the spaceship and surrounded Luo Feng. Beep. Student Luo Feng, please enter, rang the electronic sound. The woman in the black uniform beside Luo Feng said, Student Luo Feng, only the higher-ups with huge amounts of authority are authorized to enter. If you do not have permission, you will be killed by the defense system. Student Luo Feng, you should hurry and enter. Luo Feng nodded as he walked over. The huge door to the spaceship that was a few dozen meters long was silverish white. How come I feel like this spaceship-like structure is an actual spaceship, thought Luo Feng to himself, but a spaceship that's over 10,000 meters long. I really haven't heard of anything like this before. Without thinking any further, he swiftly passed through the door and entered the interior of the headquarters. In the hallway, a man and a woman both in blue robes smiled as they greeted, Student Luo Feng, please follow us. Basically everyone in the interior of the headquarters were wearing blue robes while a rare few were in red robes. This is the resting area. Student Luo Feng, please rest here for now. The head will summon you later, smiled the white woman in the blue robe as she spoke fluent Chinese. After that, she obediently left. There were already two people in the resting area. I greet Investigator Lu, Luo Feng slightly bowed, Mr. Ice Mountain. Huh, Luo Feng, sit, smiled Investigator Lu. The Royal Guard Ice Mountain glanced at Luo Feng. He was cold and said nothing. The head has returned from the Misty Island and immediately summoned the three of us. It's probably about dividing the profits from the Misty Island, smiled Investigator Lu, Luo Feng, looks like your reward this time isn't going to be small. In terms of reward, Investigator Lu probably isn't going to get as much as Luo Feng. Luck, I just happened to come across that Misty Island, followed Luo Feng. Luck is also a part of skill, smiled Investigator Lu. Royal Guard Ice Mountain stayed silent on the side. Suddenly. Ice Mountain, the head calls, a sound rang from a black man in a red robe standing out the door. The summons have begun. Luo Feng and Investigator Lu's spirits were brought up. Okay, Ice Mountain stood up. He still had his golden mask on as he followed the black man in the red robe away. Ice Mountain sure is going to earn a ton this time, Investigator Lu couldn't help but to sigh. After that, he looked towards Luo Feng, Luo Feng, your reward isn't going to be small this time either. At that time, the head will probably give you a chance to exchange for some treasures. You better grab onto that chance and exchange for some treasures you need. Exchange for treasures? Luo Feng froze. Yeah. Investigator Lu nodded as he smiled, a lot of spirits of nature were harvested this time. Technically, some of the spirits of nature will be given to you. But who would need so many spirits of nature? The best treasure is the one that suits you the most. You can use the spirits of nature to exchange for some rare treasures from the head. These treasures can't be bought with money. Oh. Luo Feng's eyes flashed. You'll know at the time, Investigator Lu slightly smiled, but who knows. Whether or not the head would be willing to bring out the truly valuable treasures. After saying that, Investigator Lu didn't say another word. Momentarily. Investigator Lu, the head calls, it was the same red-robed black man. Luo Feng, I'll be going first, Investigator Lu slightly smiled as he followed the red-robed black man away. Luo Feng was the only person left in the resting area. Luo Feng waited silently. Ten minutes later, the red-robed black man came back to the door, Luo Feng, the head calls. It's finally my turn. Luo Feng took in a deep breath and then stood up. He followed the red-robed black man as he walked through the hallway. Soon enough, he arrived outside a quiet room. The red-robed black man slightly bowed and then left. Luo Feng, come in, an ice-cold voice rang. Yes, head, Luo Feng met Hong before so he knows his voice. The guest room was empty and black. There were only two cushions in there. The black-haired man sat cross-legged on a cushion as he pointed towards the cushion in front of him, sit. Yes. 
Luo Feng went forward and sat on the cushion. In front of Hong, the formless pressure caused one to lower one's head subconsciously, unable to bring up the slightest thought of resistance. This is probably what an ant does in front of a legendary dragon. When faced with the difference in power, there's nothing else to do but to lower your head. The black-haired man's gaze toward Luo Feng had a bit of warmth to it as he spoke, you have played a large role in reporting the Misty Island's location. Reporting the information gives you 10% of the spirits of nature. And when harvesting, you also played a role, so you can get another 5%. In other words, you can get 15% total. It's really 15%, thought Luo Feng to himself. Keep in mind that the Golden Masked Man harvested a full 92 spirits of nature. With Luo Feng's 10,000-year willow heart and 2,000-year willow hearts, there's a total of 95 spirits of nature. 15% of this number is definitely an incredible amount of wealth. The 1,000-year willow heart can only count as an average thing in that group. And 1,000-year willow heart is more valuable than a portion of dragon blood. It's entirely imaginable how much money 15% is worth. So. The black-haired man waved his hand. She she. A 3D hologram suddenly appeared in the black guest room. In this 3D hologram appeared the images of 12 spirits of nature. Some of these 12 spirits of nature are more valuable than others, but in total, it's about 15% of the 95 spirits of nature, the black-haired man's voice was cold as usual, these 12 spirits of nature are yours. 12. Luo Feng looked towards the 3D hologram. Within the 12 was a thousand-year willow heart, which Luo Feng recognized. As for the 11, he actually wasn't able to recognize a single one. You can carefully examine the value of these 12 spirits of nature, right when the black-haired man's voice finished, a huge amount of words appeared beside each spirit of nature, which explained the uses of each spirit of nature. Luo Feng had extremely good eyesight, so he could read them clearly. Thousand Year Black Crow Root, boil it into 3 kilograms of medicine and drink 100 grams every day. After drinking, your body fitness level will soar up and your skin will become extremely tough. 100 Dew Grass. No matter what kind of injury or poison, you can immediately recover after chewing and consuming it. Each spirit of nature had a special function. The most absurd spirit of nature out of the twelve could actually raise one's body fitness level six to ten times, with a limit of peak of the advanced war god level. Some of them stunned Luo Feng. But Luo Feng was also quite curious. How could the head easily know the usage and effects of each type of spirit of nature? And they even have all sorts of names. Head, did the thousand-year black crow root actually grow for a thousand years? Luo Feng couldn't help but to ask out of curiosity. Dumb. The black-haired man couldn't help but to smile a bit, I just named them randomly. I'm Chinese, so I just gave them names that Chinese people would like. How long has it been since the Grand Nirvana period? I haven't even lived that long, so names like Thousand Year and Ten Thousand Year are just exaggerations, just to let people know how amazing the effects of these spirits of nature are. Luo Feng nodded. Spirits of nature, for someone like you who has reached the peak of the advanced war god level, aren't that effective, said the black-haired man, so, I'll give you a chance. To use those spirits of nature to exchange for treasures you need. Chapter 162, Exchange Table Translator, Translation Nation Editor, Translation Nation A chance to exchange for treasures? Luo Feng's eyes flashed. He previously received Investigator Lu's reminder. In the black room. The black-haired man waved his hand. Beside the original 3D hologram that displayed the 12 spirits of nature appeared an even larger 3D hologram. There were many categories in this 3D hologram like, instruction manual, auto jet, battle uniform, weapon, spirit medicine, and many others. Under each category were many 3D holograms. All sorts and types of treasures could make one dizzy. On this exchange table are 62 different treasures for you to exchange, said the black-haired man. Spirit medicine category, Luo Feng didn't look at anything else as he stared at the spirit medicine category. He looked down and saw many different types of spirit medicine, at least 10 different kinds. Each of them had amazing effects, there's no elixir of life. What Luo Feng cared about the most was an elixir of life, the elixir of life that could let his brother stand up again. Elixir of life? The black-haired man, Hong, looked at Luo Feng with shock after hearing this. He shook his head, Luo Feng, every single thing on this exchange table would sell for an astronomical price if put in human society. Many powerful countries and organizations can't get these treasures no matter how much money they are willing to spend. How could the elixir of life enter this exchange table? Luo Feng froze. The elixir of life doesn't have the right to be in this list. You want the elixir of life to let your brother stand up again? The black-haired man pointed at the twelve spirits of nature in the hologram. Did you see the effects of the hundred grass within the twelve spirits of nature you received? As long as you chew it and consume it, it can cure any type of injury. Naturally, your brother would be able to stand up again. Luo Feng looked carefully. 100 Dew Grass. No matter what kind of injury or poison, you can immediately recover after chewing and consuming it. Okay, Luo Feng's eyes were shining. Don't tell me you plan to give this 100 Dew Grass to your brother, said the black-haired man in shock. Yet Luo Feng nodded. Huh. The black-haired man laughed. 
He hasn't laughed like this for a very long time, Luo Feng, in terms of value, this hundred dew grass is worth 10x more than the elixir of life. If you use the hundred dew grass to exchange for elixirs of life from the American government, they'll probably be willing to give you 10 elixirs of life in exchange. And you were thinking of using a hundred dew grass just to let your brother's legs grow out again? What a waste of the effects of the hundred dew grass, the black haired man shook his head. The hundred dew grass was such a valuable spirit grass. Good steel should be used on the edge of a blade, the hundred dew grass shouldn't be wasted like this. In another one or two months, the American government will hold an auction for the elixir of life. At that time, just join the auction, commanded the black haired man, don't waste spirits of nature. Luo Feng blinked twice. The hundred dew grass. Was worth 10x more than an elixir of life? Look clearly, the black haired man waved his hand. Beep. A price label immediately appeared beside the hovering hologram displaying the 12 spirits of nature. They were, 2 stars, 2.5 stars, 3 stars. Respectively. Each spirit of nature had a price. The lowest one was, 1.5 stars, and the highest one was, 5 stars. In total, they were 36.5 stars. This is. Luofone was a bit confused. This is the value of the spirits of nature you received, the black-haired man's face was calm, on this earth, many treasures cannot be valued with money. Nobody would foolishly sell a treasure for some Chinese or American dollars. That's dumb. If you want to exchange, then you exchange for goods. Luo Feng nodded. Indeed, he has never seen a place that sells almost any of the items on this exchange table that Hong has given him. In other words, you can't buy them even if you have the money. For example, there isn't any place that sells the Black God set. Stars are a unit that I randomly set, said the black-haired man. Luo Feng nodded. Their value is set by my confirmations. Look again, the black-haired man pointed beside the holograms exchange table. Suddenly, prices appeared beside every item on the huge holograms exchange table, 1 star, 1.5 stars, 3 stars, 2 stars. The prices were different, but most of them were around 2 stars. The black-haired man had a mysterious smile on as he looked at Luofone, you have 36.5 stars worth of spirits of nature. You can exchange for any item here as long as your total doesn't exceed 36.5 stars. After that, the black-haired man remained silent as he let Luofone examine carefully. On the exchange table, Luofone saw the auto jet category in a glance. Emperor level auto jet, 2 stars. Universe level auto jet, 15 stars. Prehistoric level auto jet, 60 stars. The prehistoric level is actually that expensive, Luo Feng thought that he was extremely rich after receiving this time's reward, but he couldn't help but to curse after seeing the prehistoric level auto jet. Holy, this price is way too incredible. No wonder Hong is the only person in the dojo of limits with a prehistoric level auto jet. Time to look at the battle uniforms. Luo Feng didn't look at anything else. He first examined the battle uniforms. The best one was the Black God set. Black God set, 5 stars. The Black God set is quite expensive, thought Luo Feng to himself. But at least it was within an acceptable range. Head, I'll buy this Black God set, Luo Feng looked towards the black haired man. The black haired man looked towards Luo Feng and said, the Black God set, is very special. There aren't that many Black God sets on earth. Only those who succeed in entering an archaeological ruin can receive a Black God set. And everyone only has one chance to enter, so even I can't get more than one black god set. Because of this, there aren't that many black god sets on earth. Luo Feng, my dojo of limits has a rule. Those who directly receive a black god set must go to an archaeological ruin after some period of time to get another black god set. And they must sell that black god set to my dojo of limits, said the black haired man, Hong. Luo Feng understood in his heart. Everyone only had one chance to receive a black god set. So if the dojo of limits uses the black god set as an award, then once they give it out, their stock lowers. Naturally, they'll need to get another one to make up for it. This way, they can keep the supply flowing. If you want to buy this Black God set, I'll give you two choices. 1. Spend 5 stars to purchase the Black God set. Your mission is to enter an archaeological ruin in the future and obtain another Black God set. After that, sell it to our dojo of limits. We won't change the price. 2. Receive a Black God set for free now and then enter an archaeological ruin in the future. Receive another Black God set and give it to our dojo of limits for free. Luo Feng's eyes flashed as he heard this. I pick the second option, said Luo Feng without hesitation. If he can get it for free now and make it up later to the dojo of limits, it's like a loan without interest. Only dumb people won't pick that option. Huh, how smooth, the black-haired man let out a smile, Luo Feng, you're extremely talented. Our dojo of limits always rewards the talented. However, you've earned a lot this time, so I didn't give you any extra rewards. Giving you the second option for the black god set should count as a small extra for me. Luo Feng smiled. Even though he has to get another black god set in the future to return, he at least has more stars to spend on more treasures. Head, all of these treasures are making me dizzy. I hope the head can recommend one of them for me, said Luo Feng. How can his judgment compare to the heads? The head understands these treasures very well. 
Ha. Huh. The black-haired man, Hong, couldn't help but to laugh cheerfully. He was being kind to Luo Feng not only because of Luo Feng's talent, but also because of the cloud contact vines. The cloud contact vines, to Hong, are even more valuable than prehistoric level auto jets. Hong talked to Luo Feng so much because he was in a cheerful mood. Very well, the black-haired man looked at the exchange table, most of the instruction manuals are ultimate moves for existences surpassing the war god level, so there's no point in buying them now. I recommend you purchase the spirit reader basics, which costs 3 stars. I'll buy it, nodded Luo Feng. Luo Feng was a bit shocked when he initially noticed that the spirit reader basics costs 3 stars. Why is it so expensive? Keep in mind that a portion of dragon blood is only worth 1 star in this exchange table. As for spirit medicine, there's no need for you to buy that either. Your body has consumed a portion of dragon blood and a thousand year willow heart, so a lot of their effects are hidden in your body. You just have to train and your strength will rise, the black haired man, Hong, continued, as for the other treasures, there is one that is extremely suitable for you. As for the rest, just randomly pick some. Luo Feng's eyes flashed. He bought a black god set and the spirit reader basics, and according to what Hong said, there is another item that is extremely suitable for himself. Which one? Luo Feng couldn't help but to say. If you are able to pick it, then you have good luck. If you can't, then that's that, the black-haired man, Hong, didn't give any more tips. Luo Feng mindlessly stared at the exchange table. Who knows which one is suitable for himself? A treasure that's suitable for himself? Treasure? If Hong isn't willing to give any more hints about it, then it must be very valuable. Yeah, it's probably an expensive one, Luo Feng looked carefully, not at the goods, but at the prices. The most expensive thing on the exchange table was the, prehistoric level auto jet, for 60 stars. After that is an instruction manual that teaches the ultimate move Phoenix Wing Strike to existences surpassing the War God level, which costs 36 stars. The third most expensive one is a weapon called Soaring Shuttle, which costs 30 stars. The one in fourth is also an ultimate move, called the Lightning Spark Flint, priced at 25 stars. According to what the head said, those ultimate moves aren't of any use to me right now. And according to the conversation between Investigator Lu and Royal Guard Ice Mountain, ultimate moves are based off of the characteristics of an individual's essence. I can't afford the most expensive one, the prehistoric level auto jet. Then, this soaring shuttle? Luo Feng carefully examined the introduction to the soaring shuttle. The introduction was short, it was simply. Soaring shuttle, a weapon suitable for spirit readers to control, since it conserves spiritual force. Most of the weapons in the weapons category were for spirit readers, since Hong provided all these treasures for Luo Feng to exchange. The introductions were simple. If it wasn't for the price, one wouldn't even notice the soaring shuttle. So expensive, 30 stars. Luo Feng was a bit unwilling, since his 12 spirits of nature are only 36.5 stars in total, and just a soaring shuttle is 30 stars. Head, Luo Feng clenched his teeth as he looked towards the black-haired man, Hong, I'm going to purchase the soaring shuttle. The black-haired man, Hong, let out a face of shock, it was actually chosen by you. Tell me, how did you pick it? The head wasn't willing to tell me anything, so it must have been a unique treasure, which means that it would be expensive. So I looked at the most expensive items one by one. When Luo Feng said that, the black-haired man, Hong, beside him couldn't help but to start laughing, I was a bit stingy. Looks like you were meant to be with this soaring shuttle. The true value of this soaring shuttle is way more than 30 stars. One day, when you become an existing surpassing the war god level, its true power will become clear. However, even for you right now, it's the most suitable weapon. Hong, because he got the cloud contact vines, decided to add the soaring shuttle into the exchange table. Or else. Why would he add the soaring shuttle in there? And considering the fact that Luo Feng's spirits of nature add up to a total of 36.5 stars, he decided to price the soaring shuttle at 30 stars. Chapter 163, Examiner. Translator, Translation Nation. Editor, Translation Nation. Thank you, head, said Luo Feng. The head personally said that the true value of the soaring shuttle is way greater than 30 stars. Keep in mind that a portion of dragon blood, worth 80 billion, is only one star. With that, one can imagine how valuable the soaring shuttle is. Of course. You can't actually compare the two like that. Because, once it gets to a certain point, money is just a number. Powerful fighters like Hong and Thunder God definitely wouldn't exchange treasures for money. They would only exchange such treasures for other treasures. Use it properly. I hope it will be able to shine in your hands. Okay, until now, you've picked a soaring shuttle for 30 stars, the spirit reader basics instruction manual for 3 stars, which comes to a total of 33 stars. Your spirits of nature are worth 36.5 stars, which is to say, you have 3.5 stars left to exchange the black-haired man, Hong, pointed towards the hologram with the exchange table, tell me, which one will you pick? Luo Feng looked carefully. For armor, he has the black god set. For a weapon, he has the soaring shuttle. As for spirit reader training, he has the spirit reader basics, so he isn't really missing anything. The prehistoric level auto jet is good, but sadly, it's too expensive. Luo Feng sighed. As long as you're a fighter, who doesn't want a cool fighter jet? Hmm. 
When Luo Feng glanced over the auto jet category, his eyes flashed, Emperor level auto jet 2 stars. This is pretty good. It's not too expensive, just 2 stars. And the armor of the Emperor level auto jet is quite powerful. It even has AI, which makes it way better than those regular disc shaped fighter jets. Even though it's just 2 stars, an astronomical amount of money is still required to buy it. Very few war gods can afford this lowest level auto jet. Its capabilities, Luo Feng looked at the screen carefully. Beside the Emperor level auto jet was a basic explanation. The Emperor level auto jet, the AI system controls the jet, and the jet itself can defend against any horde leader level monster's attack. Its maximum speed is Mach 10.6. Not bad, Luo Feng nodded to himself. Most airplanes wouldn't say they are able to defend against any horde leader level monster's attack. Saying this means that the airplane's toughness nears the level of an Emperor level monster's defense level. However, that Investigator Lu's universe level auto jet is able to defend against Emperor level monster's attacks. His jet is not as powerful. But it's still powerful. A maximum speed of Mach 10.6 means that it can travel over 10,000 kilometers in an hour. Most Emperor level monsters probably won't be able to catch up to this auto jet. Most importantly, this thingy has AI, which means you don't even need to get a pilot. Quite convenient. I'll buy this, the Emperor level auto jet, said Luo Feng. Okay. The black haired man took a glance and then nodded, you've exchanged 35 stars, what else do you want? Luo Feng looked a bit and then smiled as he shook his head, nothing else. Out of my 12 spirits of nature, the cheapest one, the thousand year black crow root, is only worth 1.5 stars. I'll just keep that for myself. As for the other 11, I'll exchange those, this way, Luo Feng is only left with the thousand year black crow root spirit of nature. Of course, he also has the four things he exchanged for, spirit reader basics, black god set, soaring shuttle, and the emperor level auto jet. And he even got the black god set for free. Okay, the black haired man, Hong, waved his hand, which caused the two big 3D holograms to completely disappear, making the room dark once again. Head, asked Luo Feng respectfully, I want to ask something. This thousand year black crow root is supposed to be boiled into 3 kilograms of medicine. After that, we consume 100 milligrams every day. I want to know. Is it okay if we give some of it to regular people? They aren't fighters, so should they drink a smaller portion? The black haired man, Hong, looked at Luo Feng deeply before saying, it's okay if you split it for others to drink. However, the effects of the medicine won't be as great that way. As for regular people, they can consume 100 milligrams every day without a problem. Luo Feng was overjoyed as he heard this. What do we boil the medicine with? Does it make a difference? Continued Luo Feng. No difference. It's okay to even use water, said the black haired man, no need to ask anymore. The thousand year black crow root comes with an in-depth manual. Luo Feng nodded. The room became quiet again. The black haired man, Hong, stared at Luo Feng. While being stared at by Hong, Luo Feng felt like he didn't have any more secrets, as if the gaze can see through his soul. The black haired man, Hong, said coldly, Luo Feng, with your peak of the war god level strength, there's no need to stay in the elite training camp anymore. Yes, nodded Luo Feng. I'll give you two paths, the black haired man Hong said without pausing. Ever since he signed the contract at Investigator Wang's, it showed that. From then on, Luo Feng is a member of the Dojo of Limits. Of course, the higher ups are arranging a job for him. 1. Stay in Hongning City and enter the Special Ops Squad. Or maybe in the future you could apply to become a teacher in the training camp too, or some other position. 2. Go to another headquarter city and become an examiner, the black haired man, Hong, quietly looked at Luo Feng, your choice. Luo Feng froze. Pick seriously. These two choices are extremely important to you, said the black haired man, Hong, seriously, staying to defend and being sent off to missions are the two paths of a war god in the Dojo of Limits. Once you choose, it'll be extremely difficult to change your choice in the future. Unless you have a breakthrough and become an existence surpassing the war god level. You'll have special rights when you become an investigator. Just like a job in an enterprise, it'll be hard to switch after choosing between two jobs. Staying? Being sent off? Luo Feng paused for a bit. Once he chooses, he'll be stuck in a certain place for quite a while. I wish to return to Jiangnan Headquarter City and take the position of examiner there, said Luo Feng respectfully. Jiangnan Headquarter City? The black-haired man, Hong, nodded, the current examiner of Jiangnan City isn't a local, so according to the rules of the Dojo of Limits, those from their hometown have priority. The position of examiner is a position with a lot of authority. The number of examiners in the Dojo of Limits of each headquarter city can be counted on one hand. Usually, one must receive the title of, Advanced War God, and be quite famous to have the right to become an examiner. To become a chairman, beginner war god and intermediate war god would be enough. The minimum requirement is, beginner war god. To become a chief instructor, the minimum requirement is advanced warlord. From the requirements, one can tell. The differences in the three positions. In Jiangnan City, the chairman and the three chief instructors of the Dojo of Limits Limit Hall are the big heads on the surface. Examiners control the weapons, and examiners with a lot of authority can even fire a chief instructor directly. And assign a new chief instructor. 
or they can request the dojo of limits to fire the chairman. Of course. Examiners don't have the right to fire a chairman directly. And examiners. Take direct orders from the highest level in the dojo of limits. Just one investigator doesn't have the right to fire an examiner. They'll have to go through a round table conference to decide on that. At a certain point, examiners have a gigantic amount of authority and are one of the strongest people in an area. To become an examiner, your title has to at least be, Advanced War God, said the black-haired man, Hong, what you need to do now is to receive an Advanced War God title. Yes, said Luo Feng. From his battle score, Luo Feng is still a beginner warlord. Of course, in terms of actual strength, he's already an invincible war god. When you achieve the title of Advanced War God, you'll automatically become an investigator, said the black-haired man, Hong, I want you to go to Jiangnan Headquarter City and take up your position. Yes, answered Luo Feng. Dojo of Limits, World Headquarters. From the entrance of the mysterious, gigantic space shuttle-shaped structure, Luo Feng walked out with a red-robed white man. Mr. Luo Feng smiled the red-robed white man, look there. That auto jet over there is yours. Oh. Luo Feng turned his head and saw a deep blue-colored triangular jet on the empty area beside them. The surface of the entire jet plane was beautiful and was practically a work of art. The length of the plane was around 20 meters long and the width was around 10 meters long. The entire plane seemed quite sturdy and tough. This auto jet is mine, Luo Feng couldn't help but to feel a bit prideful. Which man of this age doesn't want to have their own fighter jet? And fighter jets are extremely expensive, so even within the circle of war gods, only a select few have purchased them. Mr. Luo Feng, since you haven't used this auto jet before, there'll be a system confirmation process in the beginning, smiled the red-robed white man, please follow me. They arrived next to the jet. A dreamy, blue light shot down as it enveloped Luo Feng. Suddenly, voila, the hatch swiftly opened and only let out a small sound. Mr. Luo Feng, only you can enter now, I cannot enter, the red-robed white man stood beside and had trouble hiding the admiration in his eyes, after entering, the confirmations are automatically done by the AI system. Mr. Luo Feng just has to stay inside the plane. After a while, Mr. Luo Feng will understand everything. Luo Feng nodded. He stepped into the plane. The seats in the plane were extremely elegant. Sitting inside a plane like this was a pleasure. Voila. The hatch closed. Various lights lit up the interior of the entire auto jet, making it quite dreamlike. At the same time, an electronic sound rang, Hello Master. I will immediately display the controls of this Emperor level auto jet, after saying that, a hologram appeared at the front of the cabin. In the hologram appeared diagram after diagram that were all easy to understand. They explained in detail how to control this plane. Beep. A red light shot towards the tactical communications watch on Luo Feng's left wrist. As it connected with the tactical communications watch, it began to install the long distance auto jet control system in the watch. A moment later. That was quite simple, it's all done by the AI so I don't have to worry about anything at all, Luo Feng let out a smile. I'll name you, number one, Luo Feng randomly gave a name. Yes, master, rang the electronic sound. At the same time, a silver, locked case popped out of the floor of the cabin. After it completely appeared, the hole on the ground completely closed again. The electronic sound continued, this case was left for the master by the dojo of limits. After hearing this, Luo Feng's eyes flashed. This must be the case where the black god set, soaring shuttle, and the other items were placed in. Chapter 164, Soaring Shuttle Translator, Translation Nation Editor, Translation Nation Luo Feng's fingers drew across the locked case and it opened automatically. On the very top was a manual. Luo Feng opened it up and couldn't help but to smile, this manual is quite detailed. The Black God Set, Soaring Shuttle, Instruction Manual, and Spirit of Nature all have detailed explanations. HM. There are only three of those items here. The Spirit Reader Basics Instruction Manual isn't here. Luo Feng lowered his head and started looking through the items in the case. Indeed, there were only three packaged goods, the Soaring Shuttle, the Black God Set, and the Spirit of Nature. There wasn't even a Spirit Reader Basics Instruction Manual here. How come there's no instruction manual? Luo Feng carefully read through the manual. The manual explained that the Spirit Reader Basics Instruction Manual was top secret, so the physical instruction manual won't appear. If you want to learn it, there's only one way, enter virtual space and read the instruction manual in there. Holy. He has to enter virtual space just to learn from his own instruction manual, this is being way too careful. It must be extremely important, or else the head wouldn't resort to doing such a thing, thought Luo Feng. After that, he yelled at the air, Hongming Headquarter City Map. After Luo Feng spoke, a hologram suddenly appeared in front of him, which displayed a detailed map of Hongming City. The map size could be freely adjusted by Luo Feng. Soon enough, he found a spot on the map. Besides confirming locations via the map, he could also use his voice. As long as the AI system can confirm the location. Destination, Elite Training Camp, Luo Feng tapped with his finger. Whoosh. The dark blue colored triangular fighter jet swiftly ascended, which attracted the attention of quite a few people at the Dojo of Limits headquarters. 
Quite a few of them were admiring the jet. However, they couldn't tell that this was an auto jet just from its appearance. In fact, many people on Earth don't even know about auto jets. The price difference between an auto jet and a regular fighter jet is extremely huge. The sky was dark and the elite training camp was very quiet. All the war god teachers in the elite training camp didn't have much to do, since all the students were undergoing their life and death adventure. So many war god teachers left the training camp to go back home or to walk and relax themselves near scenic locations. Only a rare few of them stayed here. The student's life and death adventure month was also the month where the war god teachers are on break. Silence. Whoosh. A deep blue color triangular fighting jet descended like a phantom. While it descended, the hatch opened and Luofone carried the silver case as he leaped out like lightning. As for the triangular fighter jet, it slowly descended and then shut its hatch. After that, it didn't move again. Eh, how come there's a fighter jet here? No idea, where'd it come from? Two workers at the elite training camp looked at this triangular fighter jet in shock. To be able to enter this training camp, they must be someone with special rights, or an advanced level war god, or even an existence surpassing the war god level, the two workers couldn't handle it and started observing this fighter jet from the side for quite a while. Even the family members of the war god teachers still remaining in the training camp noticed this fighter jet. But nobody knew whose it was. Since the fighter jet descended too suddenly and Luo Fong dashed out too quickly. Only the patrol squad at the front gate was barely able to see a shadow fly out the plane. Jiang Nan Pagoda Second Floor, Study Room. The silver case was already opened, and inside was just the packaged Black God set and the Soaring Shuttle. As for the Spirit of Nature, Luo Fong left it in the auto jet, since he'll be returning to Jiang Nan Headquarter City soon. The auto jet is a very safe place to leave his Spirit of Nature. Using the Black God set sure is simple, Luo Fong looked at the manual. After a human wears the Black God set, it'll automatically seep into your skin and absorb some of your fresh blood. After it absorbs some fresh blood, the Black God set will undergo a transformation, causing the Black God set to become extremely synchronized with the human body. Like the skin on your body, it'll follow your every thought. The Black God set was placed in a case that was only 20 centimeters long that was made out of a pure white plastic material. RIP! Luo Fong tore off the plastic. Inside the case was a black glove that seemed Tsutia sturdy. If I didn't read the manual, I definitely wouldn't be able to imagine that this thing is the Black God set, Luo Fong let out a smile. The Black God appears in all types of forms. It might appear as a glove, or a vest, a hat, pants, or even a ring. However, no matter what it looks like, there's no difference. Since you can freely transform it after you wear it. The Black God set, Luo Fong picked up the black glove, took in a deep breath, and then fit it onto his left hand. Luo Fong waited silently. At first, he didn't feel anything at all. After a full 30 seconds, his left thumb seemed to have been pierced by a needle. Chi the entire black glove started boiling like water. The black droplets were shaking. At the same time, Luo Feng's five fingers, palm, and the back of his hand were all in pain. Thankfully, the pain wasn't too intense. The naked eye could see. The red color seeping into the black droplets. Countless black droplets wrapped around Luo Feng's left hand. When the red color merged into the black droplets, the black droplets seemed to have undergone some transformation. This entire process lasted for about 15 minutes before it stopped. HM. How magical. Luo Fong could feel the wind blow past with his left hand. Yes. This black glove was like the skin of his body, just like a part of him. Change, change, change. Luo Fong stared at the black glove. Instantly, the black flowing light swiftly spread out as it continuously covered Luo Fang's entire left arm. At the same time, parts of the black flowing light broke off and directly covered his right arm. And it even it spread out towards his two feet, legs, neck, and every part of his face. Too amazing, Luo Fong walked to the mirror nearby and looked at himself. Beneath his clothes, his entire body was covered in a layer of black skin. Even his face became black. Only his eyes, nose, and mouth were revealed. Throwing knife. Luo Fong picked up a SS grade throwing knife and slashed at his own arm. However, as if he just slashed against an extraordinarily tough piece of leather, not even a mark was made. Change, with a thought from Luo Fong. A black cape appeared on his body, and then a black suit. Change. A black hat appeared on his head, and then it turned into a helmet, and even a black tie. During the night. In the wilderness around 300 kilometers away from Hongning headquarter city, the night wind blew and a black flowing light pierced the sky. Feels good. Luo Fong was in midair and was standing on a shuttle asterisk shaped object. It was a silverish gray color and stripe shaped with two pointed ends. The middle was slightly wider and thicker. Its length was 81 centimeters and its two pointed edges were extremely sharp. The wide center was 27 centimeters wide. The entire object was a bit thin and had very densely packed markings all over it. Whoosh whoosh. While he rapidly flew, the horrifying currents in the air actually went along the packed markings, forming streams of air. The streams of air formed by the countless markings oddly merged together. 
They went along Luo Fang's body, forming a streamlined shield visible to the naked eye. This was a shield completely made out of air. When flying, the faster you go, the more air resistance you encounter. But the soaring shuttle that Luo Fong is riding on creates currents of air that form a perfect streamlined shield, causing the resistance to lower to a startling point. Whoosh! Like a flash of black lightning, Luo Fong flew above the wilderness with no worries at all. This soaring shuttle sure is a great treasure. Luo Fong was extremely excited. After riding on the soaring shuttle, my speed more than doubled. Luo Fong compared the time it took to fly the same distance on his shield and on his soaring shuttle. It took him 2 minutes and 32 seconds on his shield but only 1 minute and 12 seconds on his soaring shuttle. After that, Luo Fong went out of his way to find a place that was around 10 kilometers long to test his speed. According to the results of my tests just now, my maximum sprinting speed is around 720 meters per second. If I don't use any spiritual force and only rely on my two legs, I can sprint at 561 meters per second. And if I fly on my shield, my speed is around 618 meters per second. Spirit readers or existences surpassing the war god level usually sprint faster than they can fly. When sprinting, 1, you can still use your spiritual force to assist you, and 2, you can use the power of your two legs. Existences surpassing the war god level fly via special abilities. On the ground, they can still use their special abilities and also their two legs. If I fly on the soaring shuttle, my speed reaches an astonishing 1300 meters per second. Tonight, Luo Fong came to the wilderness to, first, hunt for a high level horde leader level monster. Before, he already hunted a golden ape, so now he just has to hunt one more high level horde leader monster. That way, with the materials of two high level horde leader level monsters, he'll be able to attain the title of, advanced war god. And his second objective is to test the power of his, soaring shuttle, in the wilderness. He has already tested one part of the soaring shuttle speed. Even if I fly on my shield, some existences surpassing the war god can't catch up to me, like that representative far, Luo Fong was in high spirits, and on my soaring shuttle, my speed reaches an astonishing 1300 meters per second, increasing one speed by just a bit is extremely difficult. With his legs, he can go up to 561 meters per second. With his spiritual force working on his shield, he flies at 618 meters per second. But even if you combine the two, it only becomes 720 meters per second. Clearly, the faster you go, the more air resistance you encounter. And now, Luo Feng's speed shot up to 1300 meters per second in an instant. Even existences surpassing the war god level can only reach such speeds if they are on the ground. Once they fly, first not mentioning 1300 meters per second, just reaching the speed of 1000 meters per second? Probably, difficult. 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 Thankfully, Hong isn't a spirit reader and also got the cloud contact vines. Otherwise, he probably wouldn't be willing to give such a treasure to Luo Feng. Now to test its attack power. Luo Feng descended and then landed on the ground. The flying shuttle hovered in front of him. With a thought. Whoosh. Six blade shards detached themselves from the soaring shuttle. Each of these blade shards were curved and extremely thin. According to the manual, each of these blade shards are quite powerful and are extremely suitable for spirit readers to use. Oh yeah. The manual also said that the entire soaring shuttle can disassemble, with a thought, Luo Feng tried doing so. Suddenly. Whoosh, the soaring shuttle instantly spread out into pieces. The densely packed thin and small blade pieces hovered in midair. 365 blade pieces in total. The entire soaring shuttle was made out of this special material. The soaring shuttle was forged via special means using these 365 blade pieces. Chapter 165, Palace of War Gods. Translator, Translation Nation. Editor, Translation Nation. Dawn of the Second Day. The cars weaved through the busy streets of Hongning Headquarter City. Inside a six-wheeled Hummer. There was lots of space inside and, other than the front row, the back row was like a resting lounge. There were soft couches and a refrigerator. Yet, a super gigantic backpack took up an enormous amount of space in this car's resting lounge, and Luo Feng sat alone on the couch. After spending an entire night in the wilderness, Luo Feng became more familiar with the soaring shuttle. At the same time, he also found a high-level horde leader-level monster and killed it. Maybe. For the usual advanced level war god, hunting a high level horde leader is extremely difficult, since the high level horde leaders escape too quickly. There are also countless monsters following the horde leader. However, Luo Feng's speed on his soaring shuttle greatly exceeds the high level horde leader's speed. With no chance to escape, Luo Feng killed it directly. The monster materials are all prepared. I'll first go get the title of, advanced war god Luo Feng looked at the tactical communications watch on his wrist, hello, Luo Feng dialed. Hello, mister. This is the limit skyscraper, would you like to make an appointment, a soft sound rose. Chinese was used first, and then English was used to repeat the sentence. Luo Feng said directly, I want to speak to one of your directors. I want to sell monster materials. Usually, the managers handle the business, explained the receptionist. The price of this business will exceed 10 billion Chinese dollars. After saying this, the other side slightly paused. Soon after, Mr. When will you arrive? 
Fifteen minutes later, answered Luo Feng. I still don't know your name, the receptionist started making records. Luo Feng. I have made an appointment for Mr. Luo Feng to meet Director Zhang in fifteen minutes, the receptionist's attitude clearly changed by quite a bit, since the price of the monster materials exceeded ten billion Chinese dollars. Keep in mind that this is the Dojo of Limits, not the HR Alliance. The HR Alliance usually has high prices compared to the Dojo of Limits. Even though the Dojo of Limits prices are lower by quite a bit, you receive contribution points. On the Dojo of Limits side, usually only high-level horde leaders sell for over 10 billion Chinese dollars. For someone to sell monster materials of this level, could they be normal? Limit Skyscraper, a skyscraper that was 88 floors tall. It was one of the signature buildings of Hongming City. As the headquarters of the Dojo of Limits, Hongming City has many fighters from the Dojo of Limits. Of course, the flow of people in the Limit Skyscraper is also gigantic, and tons of them were drinking and hanging out at the bar in the lobby of the first floor. Mr. Luo Feng. Two women wearing suits greeted Luo Feng at the door. Let's go, Luo Feng was wearing his black battle uniform and was holding a backpack that was around two meters tall with one hand. With the two receptionists guiding him, he passed the lobby and went inside an elevator. What a guy, that backpack was at least two meters tall. Just how many monster materials were stored in there? Languages of all types sounded. The backpack of a fighter was indeed layer by layer. If you unlock all of them, then the backpack could store a ton. However, very few people store that many materials. Inside the elevator. Backpack? Luo Feng held onto that black backpack with one hand and couldn't help but to smile. This actually wasn't the backpack that he purchased before, but... A backpack formed by the Black God set. Like Phantom Demon Catalan, he's too lazy to use a backpack or battle uniform since he has a Black God set. Ding. The elevator door opened, floor 32. Under the guide of the female receptionist, they entered a spacious living room. Inside the living room sat a woman who seemed to be around 40 years old. Hello, Mr. Luo Feng, my family name is Zhang, smiled the female named Zhang. Voila. Luo Feng directly pulled open the lock on the backpack and poured all the monster materials inside into a pond beside him. This caused the female named Zhang to freeze a bit, but after she saw the materials that poured out, she couldn't help but to take in a deep breath, because there were three obvious sharp spikes that stood out from the pile. There were still some hints of blood on those spikes. Komodo T. Rex asterisk, the woman named Zhang couldn't help but to gasp. You leave first, the woman named Zhang waved her hand at the receptionist. The receptionist works here, so of course she knows a lot about the different types of monsters. After she heard Komodo T. Rex, she couldn't help but to look at Luo Feng with shock. Yes, director, the receptionist responded and then left. The spikes of a Komodo T. Rex? From its color and size, it's probably a high level horde leader, the woman named Zhang couldn't believe this. The Komodo T. Rex is one of the most horrifying high level horde leader level monsters. Most people on earth called it T. Rex because they could find traces of it from the Komodo. The Komodo T. Rex is probably one of the various mutations of the Komodo dragon from before the Grand Nirvana period. And it's one of the most horrifying mutations. Those three spikes are the spikes on the Komodo T. Rex's spine, its most valuable part. Any monster with the name Dragon in it is not to be trifled with. Most advanced level war gods cannot kill a high level horde leader level Komodo T. Rex. Deal with the materials here, Luo Feng frowned, I still have things to do. Yes, Mr. Luo Feng. Soon enough, the woman named Zhang started using her apparatus to examine each of the materials. After examining, the woman named Zhang was flabbergasted. She never would have thought that the two high-level horde leader-level monsters would be the Komodo T. Rex and the Golden Ape. Both of them are considered to be extremely horrifying within the high-level horde leader level. Help me reset my battle score and reconfirm my title, reminded Luo Feng, I killed those two high-level horde leader-level monsters by myself. To become an advanced level war god, you have to hand over two of the most important materials of two high-level horde leader-level monsters. And you have to kill those monsters by yourself. Barely any war gods would lie about this, since lying does them no good. There isn't any benefit in attaining a powerful title if you don't have the strength to back it up. For example, your true strength has to be recognized by the higher-ups of the Dojo of Limits to attain the title of Examiner. You can't just get the title of Examiner from your own title. Okay, the woman named Zhang nodded. But was filled with amazement at the same time. Too crazy. Even if he wanted to get the title of Advanced Level War God, he could just go for a weaker high-level Horde Leader level monster. He actually got a Komodo T. Rex and a Golden Ape, the woman named Zhang was stunned. Mr. Luo Feng. The woman named Zhang said respectfully, the Golden Ape is 8 billion Chinese dollars and 4 million contribution points. And the Komodo T. Rex is 12 billion Chinese dollars and 6 million contribution points. So in total, Mr. Luo Feng will receive 20 billion Chinese dollars and 10 million contribution points. Luo Feng nodded. Actually, selling the materials to the Dojo of Limits doesn't net him a good price. For example, the Golden Ape would be worth 12 billion if sold to the HR Alliance. And the Komodo T. Rex can rival the Steel Armor Dragon, so it could reach a price of 18 billion. In other words, 
he could get a total of 30 billion if he sold the materials to the HR Alliance. And here, he only gets 20 billion. Of course, he gets 10 million contribution points, making Luo Feng reach a 4-star contribution rank in an instant. Since I've become an examiner and have lots of authority now, I can't let my contribution rank be too low. A 4-star contribution rank should be able to get me through, thought Luo Feng to himself. As for 10 billion? Maybe money is hard for other advanced level war gods to make. Even Luo Feng had a very hard time killing the Golden Ape back in the continent of Australia. As for the other horde leaders, he failed to kill them many times. At that time, he was already a spirit reader nearing the advanced level war god level. Which could count as an invincible war god. If he didn't have his soaring shuttle, then Luo Feng's kill rate would be lower. And now? Invincible war god. With the soaring shuttle. Killing high level horde leaders is really easy. However, on the manual was also Head's reminder, Luo Feng still remembered that there was a phrase on the manual in the box that contained the soaring shuttle, Black God Set, and the Spirit of Nature. Do not kill too many high-level horde leader level monsters in the same area, for it could cause that area's emperor level monster to go after you. Mr. Luo Feng, 20 billion Chinese dollars has been transferred to your fighter account, and your contribution rank also rose to 4 stars, the woman named Zhang sat in front of a notebook and tapped on the wireless keyboard. After that, she smiled towards Luo Feng, after becoming a war god, people usually join the palace of war gods and receive a consciousness sensor. However, the people from the Palace of War Gods will send some people to test Mr. Luo Feng's strength. Luo Feng glanced at the display. On the display was Luo Feng's information. On the row of rank was War God Level, Advanced. There was also a popped up box at the bottom, which contained the words. Palace of War Gods Application, Evaluating. In just a few seconds. The woman named Zhang remained smiling, Mr. Luo Feng, people from the Palace of War Gods will come today. It will not be long. Beep. An ear-piercing sound rang. Hmm. Luo Feng and the woman named Zhang looked over. On the display of the notebook appeared another pop-up, Palace of War Gods Examination Qualified. How did he pass without anyone coming to assess him? The woman named Zhang was shocked. She has been a director for a long time but has never witnessed anything like this before. However, she has heard that. Some powerful fighters are recognized by the Palace of War Gods Committee and will pass without having to take the test. However, such cases are rare. The recognition of the committee, what does that signify? Every representative of the Palace of War God's highest committee is in existence surpassing the War God level. Mr. Luo Feng, someone will bring all the stuff to this skyscraper, smiled the woman named Zhang. Okay, Luo Feng wasn't in a rush. Moments later. The room to the living room opened automatically. Three men in suits walked in, and one bald man of Asian descent carried a metal box as he handed it over to Luo Feng respectfully, War God Luo Feng, welcome to the Palace of War Gods. You shall receive a consciousness sensor helmet for free. With this consciousness sensor helmet, regardless of location, anyone who puts this helmet on can directly enter the virtual space. Consciousness sensor helmet, of course Luo Feng was familiar with it, he used it during his time at the training camp. After becoming a war god, everyone receives their own helmet. As a member of the Palace of War Gods, you will have many special rights. Of course, with these special rights come special responsibilities, the bald man in front handed over the metal box, after war god Luo Feng enters the virtual space via the consciousness sensor, you will understand all the special parts about the Palace of War Gods. Thank you, Luo Feng smiled as he took it. His finger drew across the lock, beep, the metal box directly opened, revealing the dark blue helmet within. How nostalgic, thought Luo Feng to himself. Goodbye, everyone, smiled Luo Feng as he put the metal box into the black backpack that he was carrying with his left hand. He carried the backpack and directly walked out. As he walked out the door, he quietly said to his tactical communications watch, Number 1, come pick me up at Limit Skyscraper. Time to go home. Jiangnan Headquarter City. Luo Feng headed towards the elevator. At the same time, that dark blue jet flew away from the elite training camp and headed towards Limit Skyscraper to pick up Luo Feng. Chapter 166, Return to Jiangnan. Translator, Translation Nation. Editor, Translation Nation. Above the Limit Skyscraper was a descending, dark blue auto jet, which surprised quite a few fighters who were entering and exiting the skyscraper. Whoosh! Luo Feng easily and swiftly leaped into the air, as if he was a relaxed bird. This one leap was a few dozen meters high. Of course, his spiritual force aided him in this. Under the gazes of the fighters at the limit skyscraper whose jaws have dropped, Luo Feng, who was around a few dozen meters high, flew inside the automatically opened hatch. Voila! The hatch closed. Luo Feng sat comfortably inside the plane. The light reflecting off of the various components inside the plane appeared quite dreamy. Number one, return home, said Luo Feng. Luo Feng already told the AI system that, home, was Mingyu Sector in one of the eight parts of China's Jiangnan headquarter city, Yangzhou, city. 3D hologram, activate, said Luo Feng. Whoosh. Suddenly, a 3D hologram appeared in front of Luo Feng, which portrayed the skies outside. Luo Feng could see the weather and whether or not there was a flying monster horde. 
Jiangnan Headquarter City, Yangzhou City, Mingyu Sector. Even though it was dawn, Mingyu Sector was extremely lively. A lot of people were gathered in front of Limit Hall. Old Luo, your son's really coming back today? Didn't Old Luo's son head over to the dojo of Limit's headquarters and say that he wouldn't be back until New Year's? Why would I lie to you guys? My son just called me not too long ago and said he would be home in about half an hour, laughed Luo Hongwa. As of now, Luo Hongwa's face was extremely red and seemed to be way more energetic than before. Since he used to be a laborer, he always had to lower his head in front of other people. Now, he's a lot more confident. And also has a lot more free time. Not right, shouldn't Luo Feng be undergoing his life and death adventure right now? Wu Tong was confused, maybe there was a mistake. No. My son never lies, bragged Luo Hongwa. Gong Xian Lan was also chatting with a group of housewives. In Mingyu sector, no matter whose family's fighter returns, there will usually be a lot of people to welcome them. Because. A fighter's path is a dangerous path where your brain hangs on your belt, who knows when you would lose it. For example, if Luo Feng let his guard down in the continent of Australia, he would have been blown away by Li Yao's laser cannon. So. Whenever a fighter returns, everyone in the sector is extremely happy. Luo Feng's parents told a few people they were on good terms with about Luo Feng's return. Not right, Wu Tong was confused. As a chief instructor, he knows quite a bit about the training camp. August is the month of the life and death adventure, so students shouldn't be returning home. There are only two possibilities, one, the student was expelled or disqualified. Two, the student graduated early. But Luo Feng only went for half a year. How come he's back already? Hello, Luo Hongguo picked up his phone and let out a face of joy, you'll be here soon, five minutes. Alright, alright, your family is all waiting here. There are quite a few uncles and aunts here in the sector too. Luo Feng should have notified us earlier about his return, laughed a housewife, our family's old Chen is always talking about Luo Feng. If he knew that Luo Feng was coming, he and brother Zhang wouldn't go to class today. Chen Gu and Zhang Ku are brothers that have experienced life and death with Luo Feng. They've been through grave situations together. Watch the cars at the gate, he'll probably be here soon, smiled Gong Xi and Lan. For Luo Feng to arrive so quickly, he probably took a plane during the night, a group of people were discussing. A lot of people thought that Luo Feng rode on a passenger plane to the main city sector, and then rode a train from there to Yangzhou. After that, he transfers again to a car. And returns home. Suddenly. Everyone look. What's that in the sky? Quite a few people awaiting Luo Feng in the small sector looked towards the sky with shock. A dark blue light drew across the sky and stopped above Mingyu sector. Since it was quite high up, the naked eye could only see a tiny spot. They could barely make it out, a triangular-shaped dark blue fighter jet. Descend. The dark blue triangular fighter jet slowly descended. As it descended, its size naturally increased and became clearer to the naked eye. How come this fighter jet is over here? I saw one last time at the main city sector, a disc-shaped one. This one is quite weird. Mingyu sector's fighters discussed with their families. And, Wu Tong, whose position is the highest here, watched carefully. Suddenly, his face changed, it's a fighter jet from HQ. Whoosh. The dark blue triangular fighter jet slowly descended onto a grassy area deep within the sector. With a length of over 20 meters, one could only see its beauty, luster, and curves up close. A disc-shaped fighter definitely can't hold a candle to this. Voila. The hatch opened. A youth wearing jeans and a casual shirt stepped out the hatch while carrying a huge backpack. Luo Feng. It's Luo Feng. It's actually him, suddenly, the various families in the sector that were staring at the mysterious fighter jet rushed over. Luo Feng immediately spotted his parents within the crowd and couldn't help but to smile as he walked over. A group of people passionately greeted. Dad, Luo Feng walked over. Feng, Luo Hongguo grasped Luo Feng's hand, but looked towards the fighter jet to the side, hurry, they brought you all the way here. Hurry and let them off so we can thank them. Chief Instructor Wu Tong also smiled as he walked over. He lowered his voice as he said, Luo Feng, they spent all their time and effort to bring you here, so don't just carelessly make a scene as you walk out alone. Hurry and tell the person who brought you here and the pilot to come out and sit for a bit. Even if they don't, we still have to thank them. To Wu Tong, not just your average person could call out a fighter jet from HQ. Thank them? Luo Feng froze. How would he thank them? Should he tell Uncle Wu and his parents that there's nobody inside? Many people on Earth don't know about the existence of auto jets. This is a plane I bought, said Luo Feng. Bought? The surrounding crowd was shocked. Luo Feng's parents and his brother Luo Hua all froze. As of now, buying a private jet is at least 100 times harder than it was before the Grand Nirvana period. Keep in mind that even many rich people can't afford to ride on a large-scale commercial plane. One can imagine just how few people can buy a fighter jet. Only an extremely small amount of war gods can do such a thing, and they usually buy regular disc-shaped fighter jets. Uncle Wu, I'll treat you to some drinks later, Luo Feng smiled as he greeted the surrounding people. After that, he returned home with his parents and brother. Soon, the news of him becoming an examiner will spread. 
So even if he says he bought this plane himself, nothing much will happen. The various families of Mingyu sector, including Wutong, were frozen for quite a bit. Holy shit! A kid like Luo Feng bought a fighter jet? And not the common disc-shaped fighter jet? Quite a few people couldn't get their heads over this information for quite a while. Not right, if the plane is parked here, how come the pilot isn't coming out, after quite a while, someone finally reacted. And by that time, Luo Feng already returned home. Jiangnan Headquarter Main City Sector, inside the dojo of Limits Headquarters. Chairman Zhou Zhengyong was sitting on a couch in a room. A cup of tea was placed in front of him. Examiner Lu, Zhou Zhengyong smiled as he held his cell phone, I've bothered you quite a bit during your stay here at Jiangnan Headquarters City all these years. Thank you for all your help these years. Once you leave, the Thunder Dojo will probably be a bit more powerful than our Dojo of Limits here at Jiangnan City. You said the new examiner? Zhou Zhengyong laughed bitterly, how should I know how powerful the new examiner is? Whether or not he can compare to the one at the Thunder Dojo. The notification hasn't arrived yet. It'll probably come soon. Zhou Zhengyong smiled, I'm in the office. I'll know immediately when the notification arrives. Alright, when I go to headquarters in the future I'll definitely meet up with examiner Lu. After that, Zhou Zhengyong hung up. Just yesterday, he learned that examiner Lu was going to be sent back to world headquarters. It's just that the notification of the new examiner isn't arriving. And just now, which is the dawn of today, examiner Lu received the official notification. However, examiner Lu himself already left on a passenger plane last night. Now that examiner Lu is gone, I wonder who the new examiner is going to be, thought Zhou Zhengyong to himself. Knock. 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 The sound of knocking rang. Come in, said Zhou Zhengyong. The door opened and three people came in. They were precisely the three chiefs of the Dojo of Limits headquarters at Jiangnan City, Zhu Gutao and the others. Chairman, we just received notice of examiner Lu's departure. I wonder who the new examiner is, the shortest of the three chiefs, a skinny man who was wearing a white collared shirt, frowned. I don't know either, the notification hasn't arrived yet. Zhou Zhengyong shook his head, that examiner Lu was quite comfortable here. He never even bothered with our matters and just devoted himself to his training, so everybody got along well. And examiner Lu is also extremely powerful. Once we run into some problems, he can easily deal with them. The government respects him too. This new examiner. Will the new examiner be like steel-faced Bao Zheng? Zhu Gutao couldn't help but to ask. Steel-faced Bao Zheng was the nickname the chairman and chiefs of that time gave to the examiner at that time. When steel-faced Bao Zheng was an examiner, he fired six chiefs and even kicked out a chairman. Which caused everyone who came after that to be filled with worry. Don't know, Zhou Zhengyong shook his head. The other three chiefs were filled with worry too. As for authority, examiners can easily fire chiefs in any position below that without even asking for the opinion of the higher ups. Once they actually get to it, they can even get rid of a chairman. Beep! Zhou Zhengyong walked towards the notebook beside him. The notification arrived. Yelled Zhou Zhengyong. The other three chiefs ran over too, their hearts filled with worry as they looked towards the notebook screen. With a click, the notification opened. Luo Feng. Home is, Jiangnan Headquarters City's Yangzhou City. Strength Evaluation. Invincible War God? The chairman and the three chiefs exchanged glances. It's, it's. That little kid we sent to the elite training camp back then? Zhou Zhengyong couldn't help but to ask, he was still filled with disbelief, Invincible War God? Chapter 167, Meeting Luo Feng. Translator, Translation Nation. Editor, Translation Nation. How is that possible? The three chiefs on the side couldn't believe this. Look at his information, yelled the skinny man. The big four of the dojo of Limits headquarters stared. His ID is 426123203806083211, followed a burly, tall chief, he was born on June 8, 2038, which is to say, he's only 19 years old this year. A 19-year-old examiner? 19 years old? Chairman Zhou Zhengyong and Zhu Gutao and the others exchanged glances. All of a sudden, everyone went silent. If seeing Luo Feng and Jiangnan Headquarters City's Yangzhou City could make one suspect that it's just a person with the exact same name, everything was cleared up after seeing the identification number. Since everyone has their own unique ID number. This message came from the Dojo of Limits World Headquarters, so they must have went through a series of procedures, there's no way they accidentally wrote the wrong person's name. It's really Luo Feng. It's really him. The chairman and the three chiefs were all in different moods. Zhu Gutao had a bit of joy hidden in his heart right now. When he just found out about Luo Feng's talent, Zhu Gutao helped Luo Feng a bit. Originally, he was just randomly expanding his connections, but who would have thought that in just one year, Luo Feng would become his superior? He's only 19 years old, how did he become a war god, and an invincible war god, at that, the skinny man was quite confused. You son, laughed Zhu Gutao, stop thinking about it. There's definitely no problem with what's written here in the notice. 
Now this is troublesome, frowned the burly brute, the new examiner is only 19 years old. Since he's so young, he's probably not the calm and collected type. Young people act on their emotions. Maybe one of us would get fired out of his rage if we accidentally offend him. Younger people indeed have a temper problem compared to older people. Yeah, the others, including Zhu Gutao, nodded. Don't worry too much, smiled Zhou Zhenyong, young people having bad tempers isn't good for us, but... Young people aren't mature yet, so they aren't as adept with dealing with people and work. If we just compliment him a bit, he'll be happy. And those old people are sly as sly can be, so it's hard to make them happy. The other three chiefs nodded. So everybody put your heart into this. This Luo Feng is from Jiangnan, Zhou Zhengyang's expression became serious as he said seriously, according to the rules, these positions give priority to locals. And this Luo Feng is an invincible war god, and also a local, so after he becomes an examiner, he'll be staying in this position for a while. The other three chiefs understood that even if a new examiner appears at headquarters, they definitely won't be arranged to come to Jiangnan headquarter city. Because, this Luo Feng of Jiangnan headquarter city is a local and an invincible war god, so who has the right to take his spot? If this Luo Feng doesn't make a breakthrough, he'll probably stay in this position for a few dozen years. And once he makes a breakthrough, he'll become an existence surpassing the war god level, an investigator. His position will become even higher and can fire me, a chairman, with just a phrase. So we have to make him happy. Said Zhou Zhengyong seriously. Whether or not Luo Feng makes a breakthrough, he'll always be above them. And since Luo Feng is a local, he'll probably be staying in Jiangnan headquarter city for quite a while. Since they'll be working under Luo Feng, of course the four of them have to make Luo Feng happy. Don't worry, chairman. We understand. None of us are dumb, said the three chiefs. Very good, nodded Zhou Zhengyong, I'll give Yangzhou City's Mingyu sector a call. Hello. Zhou Zhengyong took out his phone and dialed, Wu Tong, the Luo Feng from your sector. What? As Zhuo Zhengyong listened to Wu Tong's recount, his face kept changing. Zhu Gutao, Yu Sun, etc. all listened carefully too. They were barely able to hear the words, Fighter Jet, and Luo Feng. After a moment, the call ended. What happened, Chairman? The three people looked at Zhou Zhengyong. Chairman Zhou Zhengyong let out a smile, Luo Feng, just now, arrived at Mingyu Sector in a triangular fighter jet. And that Luo Feng even said. That he bought that fighter jet himself. He bought it? He just became an examiner, how could he afford it, the burly brute couldn't help but to say. Who cares how he bought it, Zhou Zhengyong's face sunk as he yelled, Old Wang, keep in mind that from now on, Luo Feng is an examiner. He is the one with the most authority in our dojo of limits here in Jiangnan headquarter city. So watch what you say and stop saying he, he, he. If you make Luo Feng unhappy, one word can make you lose your position. The burly brute was a bit shocked and then laughed, Chairman, I just didn't have time to process this yet. We still don't know about this Luo Feng's temper, so watch yourselves, Zhou Zhengyong commanded, everyone prepare yourselves. Twenty minutes later, we'll ride on a fighter jet and meet the examiner in Yangzhou City. Yes. Responded the three chiefs. Yangzhou City's Mingyu Sector, Luo Feng's home. Luo Feng's family was happily eating breakfast around the dining table. However, the originally lively scene changed because of one phrase from Brother Luo Hua. Bro, you said you aren't leaving anymore? How come? asked Luo Hua. The world headquarters appointed me as examiner of the Dojo of Limits headquarters at Jiangnan Headquarter City. Luo Feng's words made his father, mother, and brother go silent. Father Luo Honghua couldn't help but to ask, Feng, this examiner position sounds like it's pretty big. How big is it? Even Mother Gong Xian Lan was curious. In the small sector, the positions they talk about the most are the chairman and the three chiefs. As for examiners, who everyone almost never sees, they are rarely talked about. Dad, Mom Luo Hua just recovered from his shock on his wheelchair as he excitedly said, it's an extremely big position that has even more authority than the chairman. In all of Jiangnan headquarter city, on the dojo of Limit side, they are number one. Bigger than the chairman? Luo Honghua and Gong Xian Lan froze. They were just regular civilians. Even though they had a son who was a fighter, the chairman of Jiangnan headquarter city's dojo of Limit's headquarters was definitely a figure with a lot of authority. Keep in mind that to become a chairman, you have to be a war god. You also need a ton of connections to be able to get into this spot. And our son? Has more authority than such a figure? Feng? Luo Honghua and Gong Xian Lan looked towards Luo Feng. Yet Luo Feng nodded. The fighter jet I brought back this time, said Luo Feng, costs more than 100 billion, and you can't buy it just with money, to help his parents clearly understand his current level of authority, Luo Feng directly told them the price of his fighter jet. Indeed, money isn't enough to get this emperor level auto jet. For example, the home of limits and the HR alliance doesn't sell auto jets. The special discounted price for high-ranking people in the Dojo of Limits, like examiners, still reaches up to a price of 180 billion. 
If other countries or powers want to purchase it, the dojo of limits wouldn't even sell it for 200 billion. Keep in mind that these auto jet things can only be produced by the dojo of limits. Over 100 billion? Luo Honggua and Gong Xian Lan were shocked again. Holy! How much money does the richest person in China have? Keep in mind that Benina's astronomical bounty of 100 billion caused countless fighters on Earth to go crazy. One can imagine, even for the richest people in the world, how breathtaking an amount of 100 billion is. As for people who lived in rental homes like Luo Honggua and Gong Xian Lan. Astronomical number. Although usually, even an invincible war god can't afford such a thing. Luo Feng got lucky and made a killing out of the spirits of nature found on the misty island. Or else who knows when he would be able to afford it, and would be willing to pay such an amount of money for an auto jet. Oh. Gong Xian Lan and Luo Honggua blinked a couple times before they recovered. Feng, just how much authority do you have? And how much money? Luo Honggua asked a dumb question. Authority and money? Authority? How should I say this? Luo Feng didn't know how to explain. Invincible war gods, other than the existences surpassing the war god level, are the strongest fighters. They have an astonishing amount of authority. As for money. For someone who has a soaring shuttle like Luo Feng, hunting horde leader level monsters is extremely easy. Horde leader level monsters are his money making machines. The only problem is. That he can't kill too many horde leaders in the same area, or else he'll anger that area's emperor level monster. Don't ask stuff like that. Can an old guy like you even spend 100 billion? Gong Xian Lan scolded as she laughed. Phone Gong Xian Lan couldn't help but to say, I have something I need your help with, look. Mom, if you have anything, then just say it, followed Luo Phone. Gong Xian Lan sighed, back then, me and your dad went through the Grand Nirvana period. At that time, me and your dad were still young. During the Grand Nirvana period, human society rumbled and countless people died. Me and your dad became orphans at that time. Luo Honggua also recalled the events of those years on the side. The Grand Nirvana Period The saddest time of humanity. All human cities were attacked and entire countries were eradicated. I had so many cousins. Said Gong Xian Lan. Gong Xian Lan and Luo Honggua were born while the one-child policy was still in effect, so they were both the only child. However, their parents had many brothers and sisters, which led to them having many cousins. When we were escaping, we couldn't worry about anything else. Who had the time to search for their relatives? Gong Xian Lan shook her head as she sighed, and the Grand Nirvana period experienced unforeseen chaos. Tons lost their homes and identification. There were way too many who lost their parents and became orphans. Me and your dad's name were registered by ourselves. That period was way too chaotic. By the time the construction of a headquarter city and the rebuilding of the country stabilized everything, ten years passed already. Me and your dad were living in rental homes, so of course we didn't have the time and money to search for our relatives. After becoming an orphan, their feelings towards their relatives strengthened. Luo Honggua and Gong Xian Lan have always wanted to search for their relatives. They had so many relatives back then, so some must still be alive. However, without enough power, they had no way to search. Even a family with a fighter doesn't have that ability. Dad, Mom. Luo Feng nodded seriously, don't worry, I'll search for all our relatives. This is the first thing he's going to do as an examiner, and something he's going to do for his parents. Chapter 168, The Helmet Safety Issue Translator, Translation Nation Editor, Translation Nation When Luo Feng, his parents, and his brother reunited, Mingyu Sector became lively again, because the main city sector's chairman and three chiefs were about to arrive. Chief Instructor Wu Tong brought a few dozen fighters with him as he waited. How come the chairman and the three chiefs are coming? It's quite rare for the big four to come to our sector together, these fighters were discussing. They're here, Wu Tong looked towards the sky. Everyone quieted down and looked towards the sky. A flowing light pierced the sky and then decelerated. The light formed into a dark blue disc-shaped fighter jet as it hovered above Mingyu sector. It started to slowly descend. Go, let's welcome the chairman, Wu Tong brought the few dozen fighters to welcome them. As for the family of those fighters, they were prohibited from coming near. They were welcoming the chairman and the three chiefs, how can they have a bunch of random spectators around? Walla. The hatch opened and a staircase extended out automatically. With Chairman Zhou, who was wearing black, in the lead, the three chiefs followed. All of them walked down the staircase. I greet the chairman, the three chiefs, Wu Tong bowed. We greet the chairman, the three chiefs, the group of fighters bowed. Quite a few family members of the fighters who were watching from afar were extremely excited as they quietly discussed amongst themselves. These people were the big four of Jiangnan headquarters city. It's rare to see even one of them. Okay, Zhou Zhengyong nodded. The group of fighters held their breath. Back when Wu Tong brought Luo Feng to meet Chief Zhu Gutao, he was extremely respectful. Keep in mind. That a chief instructor of a sub-city can't even compare with a chief of the entire headquarter city. 
and don't even talk about comparing him with the chairman. In front of the chairman and the three chiefs, all the fighters were extremely respectful. Is examiner Luo home, smiled Zhou Zhengyong as he asked. Silence. Wu Tong and the few dozen fighters froze. Examiner Luo? Who is this examiner Luo? Luo. Examiner Luo? Wu Tong froze. Examiner Luo, as in Luo Feng, smiled Zhou Zhengyong. He didn't dare to boldly say that kid Luo Feng, since Luo Feng is his superior and Luo Feng's strength has been declared as invincible war god by the higher ups of the Dojo of Limits. How could Zhou Zhengyong, an intermediate level war god, mess with that? Luo Feng? Examiner Luo? Wu Tong and the group froze. Zhu Gutao smiled on the side, the world headquarters sent us a notice, war god Luo Feng has officially become the examiner of our Jiangnan headquarters city's Dojo of Limits headquarters. We came here this time to greet examiner Luo. Luo Feng, oh, examiner Luo is with his family at home, Wu Tongs responded the fastest as he replied, chairman, three chiefs, should I notify the examiner? I'll contact him myself, smiled Zhou Zhengyong as he dialed. Wu Tong and the group of fighters stared at Zhou Zhengyong. The call went through. Oh, examiner Luo, I am Zhou Zhengyong, Zhou Zhengyong's face was filled with smiles as he said respectfully, I have already arrived at Mingyu sector. The three chiefs are beside me. No rush, no rush. We'll wait here at Limit Hall for examiner Luo. After hanging up, Zhou Zhengyong looked at Wu Tong as he smiled, Wu Tong, go, let's take a look at your Yangzhou city's limit hall. Yes, Chairman, Wu Tong quickly followed. Soon enough, the entirety of Mingyu sector went into an uproar. Luo Feng was the new examiner of Jiangnan headquarter city's dojo of limits. This news spread from one person to the next. Other than those who weren't in the sector, everyone already knew. Everyone was excited and shocked and only came to realization after connecting this fact to the fighter jet they saw earlier. No wonder Luo Feng can afford a fighter jet, it's because he became an examiner. Call him examiner, stop yelling Luo Feng Luo Feng. The examiner is only 20 years old this year. If you count his exact age, he's only 19 years old. He hasn't even married yet. Does he have anyone in mind? Not that I've heard of. Some people have started to try to get closer to Luo Feng's family while others searched for a potential wife for Luo Feng. Anyways, all sorts of things were going on. Since an examiner. To become an examiner, you first have to be an advanced level war god. And within the advanced level war gods, you have to be quite famous. Such a person, even across the entire world, means business. If someone's family member can marry Luo Feng, then their entire family will have it easy. Limit Hall, First Floor's Living Room There were a total of five people in the living room, the big four of Jiangnan Headquarter City's Dojo of Limits, and Luo Feng. And right now, Luo Feng was sitting on a chair. After walking to Limit Hall from home, the attitude of a few neighbors and fighters in the sector confused Luo Feng. They seemed to be too passionate, and some people even yelled, Examiner Luo. Then Luo Feng realized his identity is out. However, it was going to be revealed regardless, so Luo Feng had time to prepare. Examiner Luo, let me introduce to you, Chairman Zhou Zhengyong smiled, these three, are the three chiefs of our Jiangnan headquarter city's dojo of limits. This is Zhu Gutao, this is Wang Kufan, and this is Yu Sun. We greet the examiner, Zhu Gutao, Wang Kufan, and Yu Sun all stood up as they said. Don't be so polite, relax. Everyone sit. All of you count as my seniors, and Zhu Gutao even helped me out back then, so I am extremely grateful, said Luo Feng honestly. He has met a few existences surpassing the war god level and even met the world's strongest fighter, Hong, face to face. Now that he's with Zhou Zhengyong, Zhu Gutao, and the others, Luo Feng was quite calm and relaxed. After a few minutes of talking, Luo Feng's relaxed manner erased a bit of the big four's worries. It seems like. Even though this young man's position is high, he isn't cocky and full of himself. The big four let out a big sigh of relief in their hearts. Chairman Zhou, said Luo Feng, of course, I'll do what an examiner is supposed to do. As for the various things in the Dojo of Limits in Jiangnan City, we should probably keep them the same way. I'm young and don't really understand this, nor do I feel like understanding this. After hearing this, Chairman Zhou and the others were overjoyed. However, I hope none of you step out of bounds, Luo Feng's expression became serious, since headquarters gave me the position of examiner, I still have to be able to carry my duty out for the sake of the higher ups. Even though he said that, Truthfully, Luo Feng hasn't even taken a look at the mail, which explained the duties of an examiner, sent to him from the Dojo of Limits headquarters yet. Do not worry, Examiner Luo, we definitely will not cause trouble for you, promised Zhou Zhengyong right away, if anyone steps out of place, I will punish them before Examiner Luo even says a word. Not that serious, smiled Luo Feng, I am still easy to talk to, although my temper rages a bit sometimes, since I'm young. Please take care of me, fellow seniors. I have a favor to ask for, Chairman Zhou, said Luo Feng. Please ask, Examiner Luo. Luo Feng took in a deep breath and said slowly, during the Grand Nirvana period, my parents were separated from their relatives. I want to ask Chairman Zhou to help me search for my parents' cousins from back then, and find out whether or not my parents' seniors are still alive. 
even though his parents were orphans. It was so chaotic back then. His parents were still young, so who knows whether or not his grandma or grandpa is still alive. This. Frowned Chairman Zhou, this is quite a difficult task. Luo Feng frowned. Chairman Zhou continued, mainly because many cities from back then were taken over by monsters. Internet databases were paralyzed and lots of information was lost. Many people lost their identification. That is why our dojo of limits cannot investigate this matter. We have to investigate through the Chinese government. The Chinese government's civilian data is quite detailed. There's no problem with asking the government to help right? Asked Luo Feng. For the Chinese government, examiner Luo's words would hold way greater weight than mine, smiled Zhou Zhengyong, yeah, but I will tell them when I get back. Once they know that examiner Luo wants a favor, they will definitely put their heart into it. Invincible War God. It's attractive even for China, one of the five countries. Okay, nodded Luo Feng. Since you just took up the position of examiner, according to the rules, we have to hold a gigantic welcoming ceremony for you. At that time, all the important people from the economic world, political world, fighters, etc. will participate. Even some important people within China will probably come, said Zhou Zhengyong, I don't know when the examiner hopes to hold this ceremony. Luo Feng froze. Becoming an examiner is something big, so of course he has to show himself, he can't just hide. Luo Feng knew these were the rules. How about this, I'll rest a bit at home first since I just returned, HM. The first day of the next month, which is September 1st, will be a good day to hold the ceremony and welcome our guests, said Luo Feng. He just returned, so today at Mingyu sector was extremely lively. At night, Luo Feng gathered with Chen Gu, Zhang Ku, and other friends and they all enjoyed themselves. Deep in the night, 11 p.m. Silence. Luo Feng sat on the sofa in the listening room as he held a teacup. He read the email on the large display of the listening room, which described the various responsibilities he had after becoming an examiner. Okay. This is quite easy, nodded Luo Feng. Beside him was a dark blue helmet that was currently sitting on the sofa. Luo Feng picked up the dark blue helmet. When using this consciousness sensor helmet, the most important thing is to make sure to keep yourself safe. Because once you put on the dark blue helmet, your consciousness will enter the virtual space. When this happens, it'll be a problem if someone wants to assassinate you. However, within the fighter sector of a headquarter city, nobody would dare to do such a thing. However, the manual still reminded the user to keep themselves safe. This consciousness sensor helmet also has a safety feature. It can detect whether or not someone enters within its detectable range. Maybe others are concerned about their safety, but I'm not. Luo Feng smiled as a black membrane covered his entire body. With his black god set protecting him, what is there to fear? Safety range, 5 meters x 5 meters, Luo Feng still set it anyway and the windows of the room were sealed. Once someone enters the safety range, Luo Feng's consciousness will be automatically kicked out of the virtual space. Whoosh! Luo Feng directly put on the helmet. The black god set even extended over the dark blue helmet. He sat there cross-legged, as if he was a black sculpture. Enter virtual space. The palace of war gods is in the virtual space, and he has to go in there to read his spirit reader basics. Chapter 169, Spirit Reader Basics. Translator, Translation Nation. Editor, Translation Nation. This was an extremely large and quiet room. Luo Feng, who was wearing a simple white robe, suddenly appeared in the room. What a large room, Luo Feng couldn't help but to gasp. With a glance, the length of the room was over 50 meters, and the width was around 20 meters. The ceiling was 5 meters high. In other words, the area of this room exceeded 1,000 square meters. In the middle of the room was a large, circular bed with a diameter of 3 meters. In front of the bed was an indoor pool with a length of 20 meters and a width of 10 meters. A bed, a pool, desks and chairs, an elegant dining table, a relaxer chair, a training section with yoga mats. In this gigantic room with over 1,000 square meters of space, the space was neatly divided into several sections. Hee <laughs> hee. Luo Feng let out a smile. Welcome, war god Luo Feng, an electronic sound suddenly rang, which shocked Luo Feng. This is your private room within the palace of war gods. Other than you, nobody else can enter the room, the electronic sound reverberated within the room, in the palace of war gods, you can order whatever you want to eat or drink. There are many delicious delicacies that don't exist in real life. Luo Feng froze. Advertising food and drink? On your desk are two books. One is the palace of war god rules and the other is the spirit reader basics. I hope you enjoy your time in the palace of war gods, the electronic sound disappeared. Have fun? Luo Feng laughed. This palace of war gods is a place to provide entertainment for war gods? The desk was closer to the window, and the entire southern side of the room was a gigantic French window. Through the window, he saw the extraordinarily beautiful, phenomenal sights outside. Paradise? Through the window, Luo Feng looked outside. The outside world seemed limitless. Mist emanated around and refracted the unending beams of sunlight, causing the light of the seven colors of the rainbow to shoot off. It was absolutely beautiful and stunning. Even though he knew this was virtual space, this 100% virtual modeling caused one to think it was real. 
one couldn't help but to be amazed at such beauty. Let's first take a look at the Spirit Reader Basics Instruction Manual, Luo Feng walked towards the desk where the two books were placed. One of the book's cover was black and had the four large words Palace of War God rules on it. The cover of the other book was black with a bit of starlight flashing from within, as if it was as mysterious as the starry sky. It had three large words on its Spirit Reader Basics. This one instruction manual is worth three stars, even more expensive than an Emperor-level fighter jet, Luo Feng picked up this instruction manual and started reading. Spiritual force comes from one spirit, one soul. The body is the foundation, the basis of one spirit. Spiritual force can only grow, become stronger, in one's body. Because the relationship between the body and spiritual force is special, once spiritual force comes into contact with a person or animal, it'll automatically go through. So spiritual force cannot directly attack an enemy's body. It must attack via special means, like knives or other weapons. After reading this part, Luo Feng couldn't help but to nod his head. Indeed. Just like when he sprints, his spiritual force is working on an external object, like his shield, the bottom of his battle boots, his arm guards, etc. and not on his clothes. Why? Because, from the atomic perspective, there are many holes on the battle uniform. When the spiritual force works on the battle uniform, a lot of it will naturally pass through these holes and go through the person's body. It is still a bit effective. But only one-tenth of what it potentially could be. And when you use it on places like the shield, the bottom of the battle boots, etc., 100% of the effect is brought out. Spiritual force can have form and be formless. Form allows it to possess astonishing power. It can control objects and kill enemies over 100 meters away. Formless allows it to slip into one's heart without notice and kill them without making any sort of sound. It is absolutely silent and never conforms to one state. All spirit readers are split into three categories. The first kind, controlling objects to kill enemies. The second kind, attacking an enemy's mind directly. The third kind, monster taming. Luofone continued to read. About half of the entire book was talking about, controlling objects to kill enemies. The second half mainly talked about, attacking an enemy's mind directly. As for the third kind, monster taming, not much was was written about it. Hmm, when Luofone continued to read about the first kind, controlling objects to kill enemies, a line caused his eyes to lighten up. Spirit readers that focus on controlling objects, once they become strong enough, have three categories they train, spiritual force strength, weapons, technique. This book is mainly going to discuss, technique. In terms of technique for a spirit reader, it is mainly about how many weapons a spirit reader can control at once while maintaining maximum power. For example, an intermediate level war god level spirit reader can reach up to 160,000 kilograms of impact power with one throwing knife. If he controls five knives, where each one has 160,000 kilograms of impact power, it will be 800,000 kilograms of impact power in total. Then what if he controls ten knives at the same time, where each one can reach its maximum? That'll be 1,600,000 kilograms of impact power. And what if he can control 20 knives at the same time, where each one can reach its maximum? That'll be 3,200,000 kilograms of impact power. Maintaining maximum power while controlling many weapons. The spirit reader will naturally be stronger that way. The next part will introduce to you, how to raise the number of weapons you can control at once while maintaining maximum power on each one inch. After reading this part, Luo Feng was stunned. Yeah, the number of throwing knives he can control. That phantom demon Catalan was only an intermediate level war god level spirit reader, and yet he could control nine daggers at once, where each of the daggers were at maximum power. As for Luo Feng, even though he was already a peak of the advanced level war god level spirit reader, can only control six throwing knives at once. The number of throwing knives he can control are too few. I can maintain an impact power of 500,000 kilograms on my throwing knives. So six of them would be an impact power of 3 million kilograms. If I can control 10 throwing knives, 5 million kilograms, 20 throwing knives would be 10 million kilograms, holy. Even an existence surpassing the war god level probably can't block that, Luo Feng was extremely excited. As he kept reading, Luo Feng realized the difficulty of maintaining maximum power on each of the objects he controlled. Under no special training, Luo Feng could be considered as talented for being able to control six throwing knives at once. Phantom Demon Catalan trained for dozens of years and only reached nine daggers. However, Phantom Demon Catalan doesn't have the Spirit Reader Basics Instruction Manual to guide him and had to figure things out himself. On Earth, the amount of spirit readers that can control over 10 throwing knives at once at maximum power won't exceed 5. 20 throwing knives. This is something that all the spirit readers on Earth look up to. No wonder this instruction manual is worth 3 stars and can only be read in the virtual space, the more Luo Feng read, the more excited and happy he became, it seems like going up by one throwing knife is difficult. However, as long as there's a way to train, then I'll improve eventually if I keep at it. After finishing the controlling objects section, Luo Feng's blood was boiling. He continued to read the spiritual attack section. Oh. In your own consciousness, your spiritual force is strengthened by a level. When your spiritual force enters someone else's, not only will it not become stronger, it will also be restricted by the enemy's consciousness, thus weakening it by a level. 
Luo Feng mumbled to himself, in other words, if you want to kill someone with just your spiritual force, you have to be three levels higher. If an advanced level war god level spirit reader's spiritual force enters a beginner level war god level spirit reader's realm of consciousness, the advanced war god level spiritual force will be restricted while the beginner level war god level spiritual force will be strengthened, thus making them equal. Only when you're higher by three levels. Can you kill them? What? Regular fighters have powerful spiritual force too? Luo Feng was shocked as he read the description. Regular fighters don't have the ability of telekinesis. But that doesn't mean they are spiritually weak. In reality, powerful fighters with solid wills have powerful spiritual forces. For example, an advanced level war god has a very small amount of spiritual force in his realm of consciousness. In terms of quality, it isn't much weaker than the spiritual force of an advanced level war god level spirit reader. It's just that the quantity differs by too much. Spiritual attacks are quite complicated. Apparently, people on earth aren't that good at it anyway. There are 18 attacks recorded in total in the instruction manual. There are illusory dream, phantom eye, spiritual all pierce, soul shaker. Quite a few famous techniques, and a full 18 of them. The way to kill people is. Use these techniques to distract your opponent and then kill them with objects. First use this technique and then control an object. Luo Feng sighed to himself, as he was a bit disappointed with this so-called spiritual attack. However, Luo Feng was still preparing to learn those 18 techniques anyway. He continued reading the third section, Monster Taming. In the book, your spiritual force is capable of taming monsters. As of now, there are nine spirit readers who have succeeded in taming monsters. However, there was only one method of monster taming recorded, spiritual communication. A very delicate way of becoming friends with monsters. He closed the book. Luo Feng let out a deep breath and then walked next to the window as he gazed at the infinite sky and ocean outside. A price of three stars, how expensive, Luo Feng let out a smile, but, worth it. Only after reading did Luo Feng understand why Hong treasures this instruction manual so much. You can say that after reading the Spirit Reader Basics instruction manual, Luo Feng completely understands how to train as a spirit reader. The book mentioned ways to raise the number of throwing knives you can control, and also has the 18 spiritual attack techniques. Just these techniques are priceless. Who knows how Hong even gathered all of these. If I got this instruction manual one year ago, then I would probably have twice my current strength. Luo Feng gazed outside the window, his heart filled with extreme joy. Keep training hard I guess. According to the descriptions in the book, once the number of throwing knives and advanced level war god level spirit reader reaches a certain point, he can even make a breakthrough and become an existence surpassing the war god level. I'll focus with object controlling and use a few spiritual attack techniques as support, thought Luo Feng to himself. Work hard. Now that he's an examiner, he can take it easy a bit and safely train this object controlling technique. Maybe he'll even be able to shoot past the war god level. Time to see the other war gods. All the war gods on earth are in this palace of war gods. Who knows how many of them there are, Luo Feng was curious about just how many war gods were on earth. Chapter 170, 3516 Translator, Translation Nation Editor, Translation Nation Luo Feng stood in front of his desk and opened the black cover of the Palace of War God Rules. There was only a single sheet of paper inside. Welcome to the Palace of War Gods. The Palace of War Gods was formed together by the first Chairman Hong and the second Chairman Thunder God to be the most powerful fighter organization. All the war gods and existences surpassing the war god level on earth are a member of the palace of war gods. Only existences surpassing the war god level have the right to become representatives of the administration of the palace of war gods, which is the palace of war gods committee. And in the committee are the five big chairmen, divided into first chairman, second chairman. All the way until the fifth chairman. These five people are the five strongest fighters on earth. Which is to say, the positions in the palace of war gods are split into three levels, regular member, representative, chairman. In the Palace of War Gods are stores, auction houses, competition plazas, training towers. Many functions that await for you to discover them. Just a short piece of paper. After reading this, Luo Feng laughed and then walked towards the cabinet. He put on some casual attire and then pushed the door open as he left the room. As he walked along the hallway, he naturally appeared at the external corridor of the Palace of War Gods outer wall. This external corridor was 9 meters wide. He stood on the external corridor that was like a castle wall as he looked below. Below was a gigantic plaza of the Palace of War Gods, which had a full nine arenas. What about outside the plaza? Rumble, huge black waves smashed into the surrounding wall of the plaza over and over again. The gigantic Palace of War Gods was like a huge palace hovering above an infinite sea. Who designed this? One side of the Palace of War Gods is an infinite mist while this side is an infinite sea. Luo Feng shook his head. Hello, a voice appeared from behind. Luo Feng turned his head and looked over. The man speaking was a tall, white man, who was currently smiling as he extended his hand, my name is Vladi. Luo Feng, Luo Feng smiled as he shook his hand and complimented, your Chinese is quite good. 
Thank you for the compliment, Vladi's face was all smiles, Mr. Luofone, you seem quite young, and this is my first time seeing you. If it's the only thing I, Vladi, am good at, I know 99% of the war gods on earth. So Mr. Luofone probably hasn't come here that many times. Luofone looked at the person in front of him with shock. 99% of the war gods on earth? Maybe it's an exaggeration, but it still shows his confidence. This is my first time here, smiled Luofone. Oh, first time, Vladi's eyebrows raised and had a mysterious smile on, you're going to have a surprise later then. Surprise? While talking, Luofone and Vladi, the two war gods, have arrived at a spiral staircase leading to the first floor's lobby. Luofone was currently at the third floor, so he was probably around 10 meters away from the first floor. And yet, the ceiling of the first floor was around 30 meters high and over 100 meters in both length and width. This lobby is bigger than most schools' gymnasiums. In this gigantic lobby were large amounts of sofas and chairs, at least a thousand of them. And now, there were nearly a thousand people sitting with their friends and chatting as they drank. So many war gods. Luofone couldn't help but to hold his breath. You have to at least be a war god to enter the palace of war gods. And now, there are nearly a thousand war gods in front of him. This was the first time he has ever seen so many war gods at once. Even at the elite training camp, there were only a few dozen war gods. And in Jiangnan city, meeting even one war god is a rare occurrence. Mr. Luofone, war gods are usually spread out, so they would rarely encounter other war gods. Because of this, many war gods frequently come to the palace of war gods to have some drinks and chat, which also counts as making connections, said Vladi. Yeah, Luofone couldn't help but to nod. This is where all the war gods on earth gather. As he walked down the spiral staircase, Luofone looked around. Other than the many chatting war gods, there were quite a few absolutely stunning waiters in the lobby, whether in looks or in elegance. There were probably over 100 of them who were here just to serve the war gods. There was also a gigantic display on the wall of the lobby. There was a number on it, 3515. What does this 3515 mean? Luofone was full of questions. Pa. At this time, Luofone and Vladi got off the staircase and Luofone stepped on the extremely shiny floor of the first floor's lobby. When he did that, the entire lobby suddenly went dark. The originally smooth, comfortable light became dim. The relaxing music instantly disappeared. Hmm. Luofone was extremely confused, and a smile appeared on Vladi's face. Whoosh. The originally chatting war gods virtually looked towards the staircase in unison. Their eyes glanced across Vladi and then stayed on Luofone. Ding. After a sharp sound that could make one's soul shake, the entire lobby rang with a ringing, passionate, and joyful music. This music reverberated around the entire lobby. The nearly thousand war gods in this extravagant lobby from all parts of the world stood up. Some of them even started clapping. Some of them work for the government. Some of them are special people hidden in the darkness. Some of them are mercenaries who live their lives killing. Some of them have peacefully retired and are enjoying their lives while teaching their students. They are the most elite group of people in all of human society. They are the most wealthy group of people who stand at the top of the pyramid of human society. Whoosh. A dim light shone on Luofone. The palace of war gods welcomes a new war god, his name is. Luofone. A thundering voice rang as if it came from the heavens. After this voice rang, a 3D hologram appeared above the lobby, which displayed some huge words. Name, Luofone. Country, China. Level, War God, Advanced. Just a simple three lines. Each of them are 3D and seem to be carved out of stone as it hovered in midair. The number of War Gods in human society increases by one more, it is now 3516, the thundering sound echoed around the lobby. At the same time, the gigantic 3515 on the gigantic display on the wall of the lobby jumped to 3516. Furthermore, the happy music started to quiet down until it couldn't be heard anymore. The light shining on Luofone also disappeared. Everything became silent again. This. Luofone didn't know whether to laugh or to cry. He looked towards Vladi beside him. This Vladi definitely knew about this, but just didn't remind him. The virtual space automatically introduces any war god that has come for the first time, Vladi's face was full of smiles, who would have thought that Mr. Luofone, despite becoming a war god recently, would be an advanced level war god. This is quite respectable. In the palace of war gods, the near thousand war gods sat on their seats as they discussed with their friends. Quite a few people were talking about this Luofone. There were only a few hundred advanced level war gods out of the 3516 war gods on earth. It is indeed rare for a new war god to be an advanced level war god. Luofone. Luofone. A few voices sounded and six shadows approached from a few faraway seats. Luofone looked towards them with shock. He actually recognized all six of these people. These six people were teachers from the elite training camp. Even though he didn't see his teacher Jiang Fang, he recognized everyone else. Within them was the war god that originally brought him to the training camp, Yang Hui. Teacher Yang, teacher wit. Yelled Luofone. Stop yelling teacher. 
You've already graduated, and the one who actually taught you was Jiang Fang, so just call us by our names, laughed Yang Hui. The other teachers from the elite training camp also nodded as they smiled. No matter how powerful the student becomes, they have to respect their teacher. However, every student in the elite training camp only has one teacher to teach them. Luo Feng's teacher was Jiang Fang. Now that Luo Feng graduated and his position is high, only Jiang Fang deserves to be called teacher. Even though the others know Luo Feng, they haven't actually taught him, so there's no need for Luo Feng to do this. Luo Feng, according to the old rules, I'll introduce you, Yang Hui smiled passionately. The other teachers also smiled as they stood to the side. Everyone. Yang Hui's voice instantly became loud, and it rang across the entire lobby. The near thousand war gods that were chatting and drinking in the lobby all turned their heads over and saw Yang Hui's group. Many of them watched on with interest. In this kind of place, war gods without a bit of background wouldn't dare to yell like this. Let me introduce to everyone, smiled Yang Hui as he spoke loud and clear, the one next to me is the new examiner appointed to Jiangnan City by the head of the Dojo of Limits himself. Uproar. A huge uproar. The Dojo of Limits is the world's most powerful organization. Just look at them, other than the head, Hong, being the strongest fighter on earth, he has three royal guards and five big investigators below him. That's a total of eight existences surpassing the war god level. You can say that the Dojo of Limits elites are the most powerful. Usually, an organization would be decent if it even had one war god in it. And there are tons of advanced fighters in the Dojo of Limits. To become an examiner in a large headquarter city like Jiangnan City means you have to be a powerful figure within the advanced level war gods. Not only that, but the higher-ups gave Brother Luo Feng the title of Invincible War God. Yang Hui's face was full of smiles, you all better get close to Brother Luo Feng. After saying this, the entire lobby was in an uproar. Invincible War God? There are only a few hundred advanced level war gods on Earth. Those at Yang Hui's level, probably around a hundred people. And those at Phantom Demon Catalan's level, not more than fifty people. Finally, only a few dozen people have the right to be called Invincible War God. These people either have their blade technique trained to an alarming level, or technique, or spiritual force. Anyway, they have ultimate moves that are practically invincible. Each of them are huge figures on Earth. Luo Feng said Yang Hui quietly to Luo Feng as he smiled, you won't blame me right. Luo Feng smiled. He knew the rules too. The Dojo of Limits usually take the initiative to advertise their powerful people. For example, the title, Invincible War God, helps get the name out. And nobody would doubt the strength rating of the higher-ups of the Dojo of Limits. Go, let's sit over there, smiled Yang Hui. Luo Feng, the food and drink here is absolutely amazing. It's the best, said the other war god teachers as they walked. In the palace of war gods, the war gods from the Dojo of Limits naturally formed their own group. The lobby was filled with discussions. Quite a few people started to look at Luo Feng in a different way. Luo Feng, invincible war god. The news of his first appearance in the palace of war gods will definitely spread across the world like wildfire. Chapter 171, Spirit, Resolve. Translator, Translation Nation. Editor, Translation Nation. A corner of the lobby. Luo Feng, get whatever you want. Since it's your first time here, it's my treat, smiled Yang Hui as he handed over a menu from the waiter to Luo Feng. Oh. Luo Feng accepted it with curiosity. He opened up the menu and took a look, every single dish and drink had English and Chinese descriptions. On the back, the prices were written in Earth Dollars, Chinese Dollars, US Dollars, Euros, Rubles, Russia, and Rupees, India. One glass of wine is almost $100,000. What is this, dragon liver, $880,000? HM, most of these dishes are fine, like 100,000 Chinese dollars for each one inch Luo Feng was shocked and couldn't help but to smile towards the war gods beside him. He smiled as he said, everyone, this is my first time here at the palace of war gods, but I have to say that the prices here are quite expensive. All the food and drink in the virtual space is virtual, but who would have thought that they would cost more than their real life counterpart? It is expensive, but there is no helping it, the war god teacher on the side, Brad, shook his head as he sighed in his twisted Chinese, there is only one place that sells food and drink in the palace of war gods, there is no other place to buy this. However, even though the food and drink in the virtual space is 100% virtual, it feels like you're actually eating it. As long as you aren't looking to fill your stomach and are eating it just for the taste, then it is worth it. Usually, when a few war gods randomly order some food and drink, the resulting bill is over a million Chinese dollars. If it's an extravagant meal, then it'll probably be over 10 million Chinese dollars. Only the most wealthy people on earth, the war gods, can afford to spend like this. The usual rich person wouldn't dare to be so extravagant. For war gods, even if they are serving some organization, a yearly salary of 5 billion Chinese dollars is normal. For elite war gods like Luo Feng, they just have to hunt a monster on the level of a T-Rex or steel armor dragon to earn 10 billion. Would they still care about some food? The taste is indeed. Luo Feng couldn't help but to compliment. As for taste, how can the real world compare to the virtual space, laughed Yang Hui. 
Luo Feng then asked the group, I have always been curious about just how many representatives are in the palace of war gods. If you're a representative, you're an existence surpassing the war god level. A total of 52 representatives and 5 big chairmen laughed Ji Tao on the side. 52 of them, so many. Luo Feng was a bit shocked. A lot? The war god teacher on the side, Wit, shook his head, under the 5 big chairmen, there are only 52 representatives. With a worldwide population of 7 billion people, there isn't even one representative for every 100 million people. And our dojo of limits 3 royal guards and 5 big investigators have already taken up 8 of them. And the Thunder Dojo. Even though they don't have as many as us, they also have 6 representatives. There are also those who aren't willing to work for others and have created their own mercenary groups. There are 7 or 8 people like them. 5 or 6 of them are at the HR Alliance. Just adding these together, 26 to 30 representatives are used up already, Wit's head shook a bit from speaking all this Chinese, after that are the 5 powerful countries and 23 headquarter cities to split up the remaining 20 or so representatives. And some of the representatives are prideful and prefer solitude, so they live a life hidden from the world, ignoring every organization. So how many representatives can those powerful countries receive? Luo Feng froze as he listened. The Dojo of Limits, the Thunder Dojo, the various mercenary groups, and the HR Alliance have already taken up over half of the representatives. As for representatives that are loyal and willing to serve their country, for example China, it would be nice if there were even three or four of them, smiled Yang Hui, of course, a country's power cannot be underestimated. For example, some of our Dojo of Limits investigators are Chinese. Even though they are part of the Dojo of Limits, if China asks for help, they will definitely lend a hand. Luo Feng nodded. A representative could be in the HR alliance or become a mercenary, but that doesn't mean that they won't help their native country when the time comes. Since it's their native country after all. So on the surface, a country has 3 to 4 representatives under its wing, but it can actually call up to 7 to 8 representatives when it has to. Luo Feng, how about we go to the stores of the Palace of War Gods in a bit? The things here in the Palace of War Gods are much cheaper than it is outside, suggested Yang Hui. Luo Feng's interest rose as he asked, there's an auction house here right? Of course. Ji Tao held his wine glass on the side as he said with excitement, the monthly auction is quite interesting. Over 90% of the world's war gods will come on that day. Keep in mind that. Even the largest auction on earth has trouble gathering people from every organization. Only the palace of war gods can do such a thing. Luo Feng nodded. Each of the large headquarter cities, especially on different continents, are separated by the ocean. The only form of transportation are the commercial airplanes, which is quite troublesome. However, the palace of war gods allows all the powerful fighters on earth to gather together. The auction here can gather so many people, so there are many interesting things, explained Yang Hui, we can also set up our own things for auction. However, there are certain conditions. The objects you want to auction off must be worth at least 1 billion Chinese dollars. There's no upper limit. Is there an elixir of life? asked Luo Feng directly. In the past 7 months, 5 of them had an elixir of life, introduced Yang Hui, if my memory serves me correctly, there will be an elixir of life in this month's auction too. Luo Feng was overjoyed, and then confused. How come there are so many elixirs? Didn't the American government want the elixir of life to appear to be rare? How come the American government is auctioning off so many elixirs? asked Luo Feng in a confused tone. The elixir of life only seems valuable in the outside world, scoffed Yang Hui, in the second half of this year, there will be a public auction open to every fighter. And there will only be one portion of elixir of life. However, this is the palace of war gods. In the palace of war gods, there are huge amounts of valuables to be auctioned off every month. Things worth billions and tens of billions are common. If the American government only sold off one portion of Elixir of Life a year, how much money would they make? The outside world doesn't even know about the auctions in the Palace of War Gods, so if they sell off more portions, wouldn't they make more money? Smiled Yang Hui. Luo Feng nodded. In the previous auctions, around how much did a portion cost? Asked Luo Feng. The starting price was 10 billion Chinese dollars. It eventually sold off for around 20 billion Chinese dollars, laughed Yang Hui, maybe it can reach 30 billion in the public auctions, but nobody in the Palace of War Gods is dumb. If the price goes any higher, nobody would want it. Luo Feng was extremely happy inside. Indeed, the way individual circles of society interact with things is different. The Palace of War Gods is the location where all the world's war gods gather, so it would indeed become a huge market. For example, if the American government wants to make money with its elixir of life, then it has to sell it within the Palace of War Gods. When does this month's auction begin? asked Luo Feng. In a few days, August 15th, said Yang Hui, auctions are every month, and they are always on the 15th of each month. Luo Feng nodded. On August 15th, his brother will finally be able to stand up. Just a few more days. In the lobby of the Palace of War Gods, people occasionally came down the staircase. Which one is Luo Feng? A white-haired old man walked towards a group of friends and sat down as he asked quietly. South, sitting with Yang Hui and the others, said a burly, bald brute quietly, see that? The War Gods of the Dojo of Limits are chatting with Luo Feng. 
Ever since Luofone revealed himself, people from every faction notified their men. That young man? The white-haired old man looked carefully and nodded, his aura is indeed different. Look at those eyes. The eyes are the windows of the spirit. If a regular person's spirit is good, their eyes will be bright. If their spirit is weary, their eyes will be dim. As for spirit readers. When calm, their eyes are deep like a swamp that cannot be seen through. When angry, just a glance from them could cause a weak fighter to shake and tremble. So all spirit readers have a unique aura to them, caused by their powerful spirit. Find a time to come into contact with him, said the white-haired old man quietly, in the future, we can also ask him for help when we're in trouble. Oh yeah. When I came here, I checked the dojo of limits and asked the government to help search for Luo Feng's parents' relatives. This case is a good chance to get near him, so we should do some work too. Yeah. The other fighters also nodded. Our 11th bureau will benefit greatly with Luo Feng's help, the white-haired old man let out a smile. Luo Feng received the title of Invincible War God from the higher-ups of the Dojo of Limits. This news spread extremely quickly. Even the couple Li Yao and Vanina all the way in Europe received this news right away from their friends. In a quiet, gloomy villa, the couple Li Yao and Vanina were quietly standing there as they waited. Will that senior meet us? asked Vanina quietly. Definitely, Li Yao's gaze was cold as he stood there. Vanina sighed as she witnessed this. Ever since the incident at the Misty Island, Li Yao has been hysterically drinking like crazy. After he becomes sober, he sinks into his hatred, constantly thinking about revenge. Even his gaze strikes fear into other people. However, they don't have the ability to kill Luo Feng. Sir, Madam. An old man wearing a suit on the floor above said without emotion, the master is upstairs, waiting for you too. Li Yao and Vanina were startled, and then went up the staircase to the second floor. The old man in the suit said coldly, come with me. He directly brought the two to a quiet room. After he lead them to a quiet room and opened the door, the old man in the suit quietly left. Li Yao and Vanina both took a deep breath before walking inside. The quiet room was mostly empty. Only the smell of sandalwood emanated in the air of the quiet room. A white-haired old man sat cross-legged in the quiet room. His long, scattered hair reached all the way to his waist, and he seemed like a piece of dead wood with no life in him at all. Senior, bowed Li Yao. Representative Yen, Vanina, also bowed. Sit, carried a low sound. The white-haired old man opened his eyes and looked towards Li Yao and Vanina. This old man's eyes were hazy, as if he was an old man that was about to die. He absolutely had no sign of being a powerful fighter, but Li Yao and Vanina didn't dare to be disrespectful. And Li Yao even directly prostrated himself on the ground as he smashed his forehead against the ground, his tears streaming down his face. Little vulture, what's wrong, what can make you cry, the old man was calm. Senior, Li Yao clenched his teeth as he said lowly, my only son was killed by a young man named Luo Feng. I want revenge, revenge for my son. However, Li Yao has only his incapability to blame, as this Luo Feng strength is at the invincible war god level. I am not his opponent at all. However, my son. Li Yao clenched his fists, his fingernails sinking into his palms. His entire body slightly trembled. Li Yao's parents have already died, I have no family. I do not care about anything on this world, but my son. Vulture Li Yao's voice started to shake. He was cruel, which was how he got the title of Vulture. When he was a child, the special experiences he went through during the Grand Nirvana period made him cruel and selfish. However, deep in his heart, he desperately wanted family. His only son. His only obsession. After raising him for around 20 years, those feelings have already been engraved into his soul. The more cruel, selfish, and cold a person is, the crazier they would become for a relationship they treasure, even more so than someone with strong feelings. Because, this is their only obsession. I beg. Senior, that you can kill Luo Feng. I am willing to become senior slave for the rest of my life in return, Li Yao tapped his forehead on his ground and buried his head. The old man silently looked at Li Yao. Li Yao just had his head on the ground like that as he waited for the old man's reply. Even Vanina tapped her forehead on the ground. You and I have been through some things together, so speak. Of the background of this Luo Feng, said the old man lowly. Li Yao's head remained buried on the ground as he replied, Luo Feng, peak of the advanced level war god level spirit reader, 19 years old, from Jiangnan City's Yangzhou City. Right now, he has become part of the higher-ups of the Dojo of Limits, appointed as examiner of Jiangnan Headquarter City's Dojo of Limits. The old man slightly frowned. I cannot help you, said the old man lowly. Li Yao ferociously raised his head as he looked towards this old man with disbelief. This was his final ray of hope. He and this super-powerful fighter have a special relationship, since they went through the Grand Nirvana period together. Li Yao might be selfish and cruel, but he is also very proud, so he has never begged the senior like this before. Because of Hong? Li Yao couldn't help but to ask. Yes, the old man did not hesitate at all. He is extremely powerful and even fought for a chairman spot in the Palace of War Gods, although he failed. However, not a single person on earth is Hong's opponent. Hong is a deity that looks down on all the fighters from above. 
Maybe only the second chairman, Thunder God, is a bit close to Hong. As for the third, fourth, and fifth chairman, none of them have the courage to even attack Hong. So don't even talk about Yen Hai. Even though he has a special relationship with Li Yao, it isn't enough for him to mess with Hong. A 19-year-old invincible war god, even a retard knows Hong will treat him with care. Li Yao's fists cracked as he clenched them tightly, his knuckles became pale white and blood dripped from his palms. He stared at the old man with unrivaled pain. When the old man saw this, he seemed to have once again saw that crazy young man from the Grand Nirvana period back then. He sighed to himself. You really want to kill Luo Feng, even if you will die in the process, said the old man lowly. Yes, Li Yao's voice was determined. Then surpass the war god level and become an existence surpassing the war god level, said the old man lightly, that way, you'll have a chance to kill him. Of course. You must face the wrath of Hong. Hong might treasure talented people and let you go. But he also might kill you out of rage. Li Yao's eyes were determined, Senior, please guide me. This is my training journal. The techniques I've trained are in there. At the same time, it also contains my breakthrough experience. The old man took out a handwritten book, I hope it will help you. As he said that, he threw it over. Li Yao extended his hand and took it. Remember. Breakthrough, and become an existence surpassing the war god level. The key is in your spirit and resolve, the old man closed his eyes, you guys can leave now. Li Yao and Vanina tapped their heads on the ground in thanks and immediately left. Chapter 172, Auction Translator, Translation Nation Editor, Translation Nation In the training room Luo Feng, who was wearing a loose white robe, sat cross-legged not on the ground, but on his soaring shuttle. The soaring shuttle kept a distance of around half a meter from the ground, and his entire body just hovered like this. Luo Feng's eyes were deep like the sea as he silently stared at the twelve blade pieces of the soaring shuttle in front of him. He was currently controlling them. The twelve grayish white blade pieces started floating around him as if they were dancing. As if twelve fairies were circling Luo Feng. If you record the trajectories of these twelve blade pieces, you will discover that they are drawing a delicate and complex shape of a maze. The weird thing is, the twelve blade pieces sometimes speed up and sometimes slow down. They crossed each other over and over again. Sometimes it seems like they are about to smash into each other, but they don't. The blade pieces sometimes decelerate and sometimes accelerate until their speed surpasses the speed of sound. Chi, two of the blade pieces scraped against each other. Failed. Luo Feng, who was hovering in midair, had a calm expression on the entire time. But now, he couldn't help but to let out a smile, I seem quite talented. I just started and am able to practice the second drawing of the Celestial Deity Catalog. However, having to complete the second drawing in a short 3.2 seconds sure is hard. It's only challenging if it's hard. The Celestial Deity Catalog is one of the training methods for object controlling spirit readers mentioned in the Spirit Reader Basics Instruction Manual. There are a full 99 drawings in it, but according to the instruction manual, the most powerful spirit reader on Earth right now can only draw up to the 18th drawing. Luo Feng was quite confused. If so, then where did the latter drawings come from? Training the Celestial Deity Catalog sure is tiring, Luo Feng shook his head as he yelled loudly, turn on the projector. Suddenly, a beam of light shot towards the white wall from the projector in the training room, causing a huge computer display to appear. Video chat, yelled Luo Feng, connect to Su Xian. Beep beep beep. The video chat was sending a request. It should be almost 10 a.m. right now and it's summertime, so Su Xian should be online? Luo Feng waited. Only after about half a minute did the request get accepted. Hua. On the gigantic display on the wall appeared Su Xian in her pajamas holding a coffee cup with steam rising from it. Her hair was casually let down and she seemed to be a bit sleepy. Luo Feng, Su Xian struggled to open her eyes. No way, it's 10 a.m. right now and you're still sleeping, laughed Luo Feng out of surprise. What 10 a.m., it's night right now, said Su Xian helplessly. Night? Luo Feng froze. Su Xian seemed to be a bit more awake now as she replied, I'm in America right now, not in the country. Even though it's morning in the country, over here it's already night time. Luo Feng came to a realization. Eh, Luo Feng, Su Xian looked at Luo Feng through the video chat with shock, seeing the background behind you, it doesn't seem like you're in a wasteland like the continent of Australia? In the continent of Australia, Luo Feng also video chatted with Su Xian before. However, that was through his tactical communications watch, and the video usually showed places like caves, mountains, and other wastelands. I'm back, at Jiangnan headquarters city, laughed Luo Feng. Back? Su Xian became even more shocked, didn't you say you would be at the continent of Australia for a month? If I knew you were going to be back, then I wouldn't have come to America. Su Xian seemed to be regretful. Indeed. Ever since Luo Feng went to the elite training camp, the two of them have never met in real life, they have only chatted via video chat. If Su Xian knew Luo Feng was coming back, why would she go to America? You miss me that much, teased Luo Feng. TCH. 
Su Xian frowned and pretended to not care as she immediately changed the topic, how long will you be back for? I'm going to be here in America for around another week. After that, I'll be able to join my family's group to ride the plane back. After I go back. My parents want me to participate in an important ceremony on September 1st. They said it's a ceremony to welcome the new examiner of Jiangnan Headquarter City's Dojo of Limits. School has already started by that date and yet my parents are still forcing me to go. Luo Feng blinked twice. It seems like... Su Xian still doesn't know who this new examiner is? The new examiner, what a feat Su Xian, do you know who the new examiner is? Luo Feng tried to contain his laughter as he asked. No idea, the new examiner. Probably some super powerful fighter I guess, but what does that have to do with me? Su Xian seemed to have no interest in talking about this examiner, as she continued, Oh yeah, I got so mad on this trip to America. Luo Feng, you don't know what I had to deal with this time. August 15th. The Palace of War Gods holds an auction every 15th day of the month. And on that day, over 90% of the world's war gods gather here. Time in China, 1945. In the auction room of the Palace of War Gods in the virtual space. The auction house was set up like an opera house, the seats were surrounding the center platform in a circular shape. The center platform was where the goods were displayed, and each side of the platform had a huge amount of seats encircling it, a total of 5,000 seats. As of now, there were tons of people in the auction house, and most of the war gods were chatting in groups. Relaxing music echoed around the entire auction house. Luo Feng. Luo Feng, over here. Luo Feng, who was wearing casual attire, saw a bunch of war gods from the Dojo of Limits in the auction house waving at him passionately. Hello, Mr. Luo Feng. Mr. Luo Feng. As he walked on the aisle in the auction house he noticed that most of the seats on both sides of him had war gods, whether they were black, yellow, or white, sitting in them. These war gods from all over the world seemed to be quite friendly to Luo Feng. Luo Feng also smiled and nodded in response. Soon enough, he arrived at the Dojo of Limits war gods huge sector. Awe-inspiring. The amount of war gods in the Dojo of Limits is indeed awe-inspiring, as they took up a huge area. With just the naked eye, you could tell that there were at least a few hundred of them. Just what you would expect from the world's most elite organization. They have the most war gods and representatives, thought Luo Feng to himself. Hmm. Luo Feng saw a beautiful image wearing purple and walked over, teacher Jiang Fang. Luo Feng smiled Jiang Fang as she looked at the student in front of him. She only thought that Luo Feng's technique and blade technique were quite good, but who would have thought that her student's most amazing ability was his spiritual force. Now he has become an invincible war god all of a sudden and even became the examiner of a large headquarter city like Jiangnan Headquarter City. Jiang Fang couldn't help but to be amazed at how quickly things have changed. Examiners differ depending on the location. Large headquarter cities have populations of 200 to 300 million people while smaller ones probably have less than 100 million. Five powerful countries around the world and 23 headquarter cities. In total, there's 52 headquarter cities. There's around 7 billion people, so on average, each headquarter city just has a little more than 100 million. Jiangnan headquarter city is clearly a larger headquarter city. Luo Feng, sit here, smiled Jiang Fang as she pointed to the seat beside her. Okay, Luo Feng sat there. After the auction ends, I'll introduce you to the other war gods in our dojo. Counting you, our dojo of limits has three invincible war gods, smiled Jiang Fang. In a corner of the auction house sat the vulture scorpion couple. Luo Feng is here, Vanina looked towards the distance. Seems quite popular, scoffed Li Yao. As of now, Li Yao's aura and face basically keeps everyone away from him. The war gods sitting beside Li Yao have known him for quite a while, but Li Yao's current aura and face causes them to frown too. There were tons and tons of people in the auction house as over 3,000 war gods have appeared. Everyone. The entire auction house swiftly quieted down and the original sounds of music disappeared too. Whoosh. A ray of light shone on the center platform where a Chinese man and a white man stood. One guy spoke in Chinese while the white guy quickly followed in English. We meet yet again on the 15th of this month, smiled the Chinese man. The white man also repeated that. The two of them waved their hands at the same time. Instantly, large amounts of varying goods appeared on the surroundings of the center platform. There were tons of them. In just a moment, they disappeared again. There will be 71 items to auction off this time, smiled the Chinese man, maybe there are things here that someone wants, so I won't keep talking. I officially declare the beginning of this auction. The first item is a piece of artwork. The famous painting painted by Vincent van Gogh in 1890, the portrait of Dr. Gachet. The opening bid is 1 billion Chinese dollars, right when the Chinese man's voice dropped, a huge painting immediately appeared in the air above. It slowly rotated so that every war god could see it. Below the platform where the Dojo of Limits war gods gathered, Luo Feng couldn't help but to be shocked as he heard this, Teacher Jiang, they even auction off antiques and artworks here? Of course, Jiang Feng kept her voice low as she quietly said, the Palace of War Gods auction is the largest auction on earth. Not just the war gods are participating in this auction. The war gods represent the organizations and powers behind them, so all sorts and types of amazing treasures make their way to this auction, like antiques and artworks. Only the most valuable ones have the right to be auctioned off. 
Most antiques don't even reach an opening bid of 1 billion Chinese dollars. Luo Feng nodded. The Grand Nirvana period dealt a horrifying blow to various historical antiques and paintings. Many of them were destroyed while humanity was trying to escape. So now, after humans have settled down in their headquarter cities, the prices of these antiques are extremely high. The sixth item is an A-grade genetic medicine, 10 portions. Opening bid of 1.2 billion Chinese dollars. Luo Feng just listened, not bidding at all. Finally, the 39th item, a portion of an elixir of life. Opening bid of 10 billion Chinese dollars, after this sound rang, Luo Feng's eyes flashed after being so calm this whole time. In the air above appeared a packaged portion of the elixir of life. It has finally come, Luo Feng's eyes locked onto the image of the elixir of life. Chapter 173, Dawn. Translator, Translation Nation. Editor, Translation Nation. The elixir of life has always been in supply, but since there aren't many disabled fighters that can afford it, there just hasn't been a lot of demand. So the American government sells a set amount of elixirs every year to earn money slowly. 11 billion, a voice rang from a corner of the auction house. Whoosh. An image of a war god immediately appeared in the center platform and a smile even appeared on this warget's face. Many sounds of discussions that were purposefully kept down instantly appeared. 11.5 billion, another voice rang and the war god originally at the center of the platform disappeared. An image of a black war god replaced him. 12 billion. After that voice dropped, another image appeared on the center platform, which appeared to be a Chinese youth. He seemed quite young. It was indeed Luo Feng. Suddenly, the quiet voices that were discussing instantly became louder. Many people were curious about this new war god, this new, invincible war god, Luo Feng. Twelve billion going once, yelled the Chinese man. The white man beside him also yelled. Twelve billion going twice. One portion of elixir of life, current bid is at 1.2 billion, any higher, yelled the Chinese man. In the past, elixirs can usually go for 20 billion Chinese dollars. Below the platform. Luo Feng was shocked and confused as he quietly asked, Teacher Jiang, how come nobody else is bidding? Jiang Feng smiled, making her appear quite beautiful, as she quietly said, Luo Feng, there are only around a dozen invincible war gods on earth. And this is your first time making a bid in this auction. So for the first time, everyone is willing to show you some respect. Unless they really want it, they won't bid against you. The Palace of War Gods is a place to make friends, especially with invincible war gods and extremely powerful war gods on the level of Phantom Demon Catalans. Other war gods would think twice before offending them. If you start bidding against Luo Feng's first bid, then you seriously aren't thinking correctly. 12 billion three times. Congratulations, war god Luo Feng, smiled the Chinese man. In a corner of the auction house, the vulture scorpion couple coldly watched. What are you pulling me for? Vanina looked at her husband with dissatisfaction. Vanina was about to bid just now. Humph. Vulture Li Yao scoffed as he quietly said, it's just a portion of elixir of life. What's the point of bidding? If it's too expensive, he won't buy it. After the auction he can just contact the American government and purchase it directly. At most, he just has to pay a few extra billion. No need to make Luo Feng notice us for just a few billion inch. Right now, this Luo Feng is full of himself, so just let him stay that way. Once I break through. Li Yao's voice was kept down. Vanina couldn't help but to nod. Yeah, as of now, the Vulture Scorpion couple can't mess with Luo Feng. They haven't even returned to their home in Jiangnan City as they just stayed in Europe. They are slowly preparing. Preparing to deal with Luo Feng. I finally got the elixir of life, Luo Feng was full of excitement. Maybe in terms of price, the Soaring Shuttle is over a thousand times more valuable than an elixir of life, but when Luo Feng received the Soaring Shuttle, his heart was filled more with curiosity and expectation than excitement. Twelve billion is nothing for Luo Feng right now. However, an elixir of life means his brother can stand up again. And can live like a normal person again. I have finally succeeded, Luo Feng was extremely enthusiastic. I'll see if I have a chance to get a second portion so I can give it to brother Zhang, thought Luo Feng to himself. His grudge with Zhang Zhe who back then caused Zhang Zhe Hu's squad to ambush his own, which lead to Zhang Ku's arm being broken off. Whenever he faces brother Zhang, there's always a bit of guilt in his heart. Now that he has the ability, getting a portion of elixir of life isn't much. Furthermore, he planned on spending 30 billion for a portion of elixir of life. Now that he only spent 12 billion, another portion would probably bring the total up to around 30 billion anyway. Item after item was auctioned off. Even though they sold off quite quickly, there were still a total of 71 items. So even if it took 2 or 3 minutes to auction off an item, it would still take around 3 hours in total. Now for the 58th item, the spider silk left behind by the spider type emperor level monster, Black Widow Spider King, Golden Spider Silk. It is 8.3 meters long and 6.1 meters wide. Opening bid of 5 billion Chinese dollars, after the Chinese man's voice dropped, a large piece of golden spider silk appeared above the center platform. 6 billion Chinese dollars. 7 billion. It seemed like there were quite a few bids this time. 
Luo Feng, who didn't want to bid anymore, couldn't help but to yell, 8 billion. Ever since his battle with Li Yao, Luo Feng wanted to make a net made out of SS grade materials. He estimated he would spend around 20 to 30 billion, but Luo Feng was still satisfied after discovering this golden spider silk. The golden spider silk is left behind by the spider type emperor level monster, the Black Widow Spider King. However, Black Widow Spider Kings are famous for their venom, not their spider webs. The golden spider silk that comes from it usually can't trap an emperor level monster, so it's worse than a net made out of SS grade materials. However, it's better than a, a net made out of 9th series materials. There are a total of two spider type emperor level monsters. One of them is the Goliath Spider King asterisk, which is known for its webs. Once caught in its web, even an emperor level monster will have a hard time surviving. The other is the Black Widow Spider King, which is known for its venom. Once venomed, even an existence surpassing the war god level will die. This is where the spirit of nature, Hundred Do Grass, comes into play. Of course, the Black Widow Spider King can spin webs, which is its golden spider silk. However, it's weaker compared to the web spun by the Goliath Spider. Even though the Golden Spider Silk can't contain an Emperor level monster, an Emperor level monster still has to work quite a bit to get out of it. Using it to deal with war gods and horde leaders is more than enough, Luo Feng was very satisfied. It's not as tough as a SS grade ingredient. But it's more comfortable to use. 9 billion. 9.5 billion, clearly, nobody bothered to care about Luo Feng this time. Showing their respects once is enough. 9.6 billion. 9.8 billion, the bidding prices of the war gods weren't increasing as quickly anymore. 10 billion, yelled Luo Feng. The image on the center platform also changed into Luo Feng's figure. Jiang Fang quietly said to Luo Feng, Luo Feng, a net made out of SS grade materials is around 20 to 30 billion, so this string is worth at most 12 billion. Any more and it's not worth it. 10 billion going once. 10 billion going twice. 10 billion three times. Congratulations, war god Luo Feng, the Chinese man reported the final results. The auction continued for around there more hours. Luo Feng received a portion of Elixir of Life and some, Golden Spider Silk, for a total of 22 billion Chinese dollars. After the auction ended, Luo Feng was dragged to the lobby by the Dojo of Limits War Gods, where he became acquainted with some extremely famous War Gods of the Dojo of Limits. Hello, Mr. Luo Feng, right when Luo Feng left his seat and was about to head back to his room, a white man with a large mustache smiled as he walked over. Hello, Luo Feng was confused. My name is Aurora, the manager of America's 11th Bureau. Mr. Luo Feng, I was the one who supplied the elixir of life you bought earlier, smiled the large mustached white man, how about we have a drink over there? Luo Feng's heart couldn't help but to skip a beat. He was the one who supplied the elixir of life? Oh. Okay, smiled Luo Feng. The big mustached Aurora couldn't help but to smile out of joy. There are way too many people who want to become friends with extremely powerful war gods like Luo Feng, so Luo Feng usually ignores most of them. Only because of the elixir of life is he getting close to Aurora. Both of them sat down and had a decent time chatting. Mr. Aurora, I would like to buy another portion of Elixir of Life from you. Is that okay? Asked Luo Feng. Oh, the Elixir of Life is the government's, so I need to hand in an application, hesitated Aurora. I won't make it hard for you. I am willing to pay 20 billion inch, said Luo Feng. Oh. Aurora smiled, Mr. Luo Feng is the friend of our 11th bureau. Even though it is a bit troublesome, do not worry and leave it to me. I will provide another portion of Elixir of Life using the price you used to buy the first portion, 12 billion Chinese dollars, how can he make Luo Feng pay 20 billion dollars, since even an official auction can only make the price reach around 20 billion. So only by offering a lower price can he build up their relationship. That would be great, thanks, smiled Luo Feng. Just a phrase to save 8 billion, only someone dumb wouldn't do that. Yangzhou City, Mingyu Sector. Dawn. The dawn of an August summer was still quite cool and refreshing. You could see fighters warming up in the sector everywhere. Even Luo Feng was taking a walk in the sector as he breathed in fresh air and adjusted himself. Morning, Uncle Wang. As Luo Feng walked, he would greet those he was familiar with. Mr. Luo Feng, a sound rose. Hmm. Luo Feng turned his head and saw two teenagers coming over. One of them even carried a backpack as he ran towards Luo Feng. The teenager with slightly curly hair said, Mr. Luo Feng, these are the two things you bought from the Palace of War Gods. Your fingerprint can open the alloyed box. As he said that, he took out an alloyed box that was completely black. Thank you, Luo Feng's eyes flashed as he took over the alloyed box. His finger swiped across the box, crack, the alloyed box opened. Inside it were two stabilized test tubes. There was even a manual beside it. In the test tube was a slightly green liquid. It's this, Luo Feng took in a deep breath as he headed home. In the lawn of the villa. Brother Luo Hua was currently sitting on his wheelchair, observing the flowers in the lawn. His pants had nothing in them and it hurt just to look at such a sight. Feng, back so early, Mother Gong Xian Lan smiled as she walked out the house. Yeah, nodded Luo Feng. Feng is here, Hongwa, let's eat breakfast, yelled Gong Xian Lan. 
Father Luo Hongwu peeked his head out the house and couldn't help but to look towards the alloy box in Luo Feng's hands with shock. Phone, how come a box appeared just from your morning walk? Gong Xian Lan glared, old man, how come you have to ask about everything? Luo Hua. But Luo Feng looked towards brother Luo Hua. Hmm, brother Luo Hua looked towards Luo Feng with shock on his wheelchair, bro, need anything? Go inside, Luo Feng let out a smile, prepare to throw away your wheelchair. Luo Hua's expression froze, bro. Luo Feng held up the alloyed box and tapped the surface of it. It's, it's that. Luo Hua's eyes were wide open and his body was slightly trembling. Almost instantly, his eyes became wet. The hands that were originally holding onto the wheelchair with strength started to shake. Luo Feng nodded. After seeing his brother nod, Luo Hua's tears flowed down. This day. Luo Hua has only dreamed about a day like today since he was young. And finally, the day has come. This day. Luo Feng has been waiting for this moment for a long time. And finally, the moment has come. Don't cry, smile, however, Luo Feng himself couldn't hold it in either as his eyes became wet too. Chapter 174, Hot Cakes Translator, Translation Nation Editor, Translation Nation Recently, not only does the entire Mingyu sector know the name Luo Feng, virtually all the residents in the surroundings of the Lotus Pond Park know that name. Lotus Pond Park is right beside Mingyu sector. It is a public park. Back then, Luo Hua met Nan at this park by pure chance. This park is very crowded and is also the main place where information spreads. Things about Luo Feng mainly spread from here. Legends about Luo Feng. The first one is about the special triangular shaped fighter jet parked in Mingyu sector. According to what others have said, this fighter jet was purchased by Luo Feng. People who are familiar with such things commented that the usual fighter jet used in the military is priced over 1 billion, and that's an estimate. Fighter jets that are able to venture in the wilderness alone usually cost more than 10 billion. Only a portion of war gods are able to buy it, and this fighter jet seems a bit special. So it's probably even more expensive. The residents of neighboring sectors thought to themselves about the meaning of 10 billion Chinese dollars and all of them froze at the thought. Secondly, it appears that Luo Feng has become the examiner of Jiangnan City's dojo of limits. What kind of position is the examiner you ask? A position that's even bigger than the chairman. There are barely any people in Jiangnan headquarter city who have more authority than him. Even the mayor of Jiangnan City and the general of the army has to be polite around him. You definitely have to raise your thumb when mentioning such people. The third legend is about the two famous handicaps in Mingyu sector. One of them is the brother of the genius fighter Luo Feng, Luo Hua. Because of his relationship, he almost killed himself in the lake of Lotus Pond Park. A handicap attempting to commit suicide. This topic was discussed for quite a long time by the people in the park. And this handicap was actually healed. He's grown two legs out. As for the other handicap, Zhang Ku. This is a warlord level fighter, quite respectable. However, many people saw. That Zhang Ku, who was once missing an arm, actually has two perfectly fine arms now. Afterwards, news spread from Mingyu sector, because of their relationship with Luo Feng, the two handicaps, Luo Hua and Zhang Ku, received some extremely valuable medicine to recover their legs and arm. People haven't been able to stop discussing about these three huge legends. Of course, a lot of people were envious of Zhen Nan's parents. Back then, Zhen Nan's parents' interference with their daughter's relationship almost caused Luo Hua to commit suicide. But now, Zhen Nan's parents are happily welcoming Luo Hua with open arms. According to the legends, Luo Hua even bought a villa in the sector that Zhen Nan's family lives in. The most amazing part is that Zhen Nan's parents were originally regular people. Who would have thought they would climb up to such a point? However, everyone knows that. All of this is thanks to that extremely mysterious person, Luo Feng. Only 19 years old, and yet he already stands at the top of the entire Jiangnan headquarter city. Even around the world, he is quite an influential figure. A lot of people in the surroundings became especially interested after hearing that Luo Feng apparently doesn't have a girlfriend yet. Getting with Luo Feng's brother brings so much already. If you can get with Luo Feng himself, then your next few generations will definitely be in happiness too. Mingyu Sector, a training hall in the first floor of Limit Hall. Luo Feng, who was sitting cross-legged on his soaring shuttle in a training uniform, hovered in mid-air as twelve blade pieces circled around Luo Feng like bees. They crazily danced and would sometimes accelerate and sometimes decelerate. These twelve blade pieces seemed to be playing with each other as they frequently zipped past each other. Perhaps even a 0.01 second difference would cause them to collide. Got it. Luo Feng let out a face of happiness as his twelve blade pieces stopped and hovered in the air. Luo Feng lowered his head and looked at his tactical communications watch that was currently acting as a stopwatch, 3.08, flashed past. Pass. The second drawing of the Celestial Deity Catalog is finally complete, Luo Feng was extremely happy, next, I'll start practicing the third drawing of the Celestial Deity Catalog. Truthfully, Luo Feng's spiritual force was barely enough to complete the second drawing, so that's why he completed it in just a few days. From the third drawing on. Is where the real test begins. Golden Silk Net. Luo Feng looked towards a net that was bunched up in the corner. 
This gold-colored net, under Luo Feng's watch, hovered and swiftly expanded. The small lump seemed small, but it became surprisingly large after expanding in the center of the training room. A length of 8.3 meters and a width of 6.1 meters. This net was formed by densely packed, thin golden strings that were around 5 millimeters thick. Cover. Luo Feng thought to himself. The golden net instantly descended to the ground below like a magic carpet. Capture, the golden net, like a palm, directly covered the fist strength testing machine to the side. The most important thing when using the golden net is speed, thought Luo Feng to himself, if I want to capture Li Yao with the golden net, then I have to control it quickly. Clearly, the speed at which he controls the golden net can't even begin to compare the speed at which he controls his throwing knives or the blade pieces of the soaring shuttle. Because, compared to those two things, its surface area is way too large, leading to an astonishingly large amount of air resistance. For the entire morning, Luo Feng stayed on the first floor of Limit Hall as he practiced in his private training room. Limit Hall is extremely spacious and not many fighters train there. So Chairman Zhou Zheng Yong and the three chiefs took the initiative to remodel one of the training rooms in the first floor of Yangzhou City's Limit Hall. They also sent over a lot of equipment to make it a training room suitable for war gods to train in. And so, this training room became Luo Feng's private training room. Hey, mom, is food ready? Luo Feng smiled as he pushed open the door of his home. Almost almost, in the kitchen, Gong Xian Lan was personally cooking as a maid assisted her. Mother Gong Xian Lan didn't have many hobbies, so she just cooked all the time. And since she was usually free all day, she plays some mahjong with the other housewives in the sector. Her days were quite comfortable. Luo Feng looked towards the living room, where his father was currently laying on the sofa as he watched the news on TV. Bro, you're back, a boy and a girl walked out a room to the side. The teenage boy's face seemed a bit pale and he was a bit skinny. However, he also seemed a bit handsome with his tall figure. The girl holding his hand also let out a slightly formal smile in front of Luo Feng. These two were indeed brother Luo Hua and Zheng Nan. Nan is here, Luo Feng smiled as he nodded, Luo Hua, you better take her out somewhere this afternoon. Got it, bro, smiled Luo Hua as he nodded, oh yeah, bro, I have quite a few photos of girls here, other people told Zheng Nan to bring them to you. Interested in looking at a few? There are quite a few beautiful girls. Luo Feng froze. Oh yeah, Mother Gong Xian Lan peeked her head out the kitchen as she yelled, Feng, when I went to exercise in the park this morning, quite a few people talked to me about this too. I also have quite a few photos of brilliant girls. I approve of some of them. Luo Feng smacked his head. Ever since he came back, too much stuff like this has been happening. Mom, didn't I say not to mention things like this anymore? Luo Feng shook his head with a bitter face. Bro, you won't lose anything by getting to know them. Some people don't even have the chance to meet with beautiful girls. All of these girls are quite brilliant. If they aren't brilliant, then they wouldn't be confident enough to send their information over, Luo Hua's eyebrows raised, AHH, Luo Hua looked towards his girlfriend beside him, since he was just pinched by her. Luo Feng shook his head. Mom, Dad, Luo Feng turned his head, I won't be eating dinner at home tonight, I have some stuff to do this afternoon. At 4 p.m. of the same day, Luo Feng rode on his auto jet and headed towards the main city sector from Yangzhou City. After parking the auto jet on the roof of the Dojo of Limits headquarters, Luo Feng rode on a Dojo of Limits private car to the airport. Airport. Luo Feng was wearing jeans and a black t-shirt. However, within the t-shirt was a black piece of armor, which was formed from the black god set. And within this black armor were the 365 blade pieces of the soaring shuttle, which were spread out around the armor. First, it's convenient, since wearing this armor is equivalent to Luo Feng bringing around his most powerful weapon, the soaring shuttle. Second, it's safe. In terms of defense, the black god set may be powerful, but according to the manual. The material making up the soaring shuttle is even more amazing than the black god set's material. Arrived, Luo Feng looked over. In the air, a dark blue light pierced the sky as it arrived. It then hovered in the sky above. This was indeed a large commercial plane. This large commercial plane slowly descended and then stopped. Hua. The hatch opened and a staircase extended out automatically. Including Luo Feng, there were six others who were here to welcome those who arrived. To able to come to the place where the plane landed shows that they are people of authority. Including Luo Feng, there were only six people. Most of the people welcoming those who arrived are waiting outside the exit. Su Xian, Luo Feng raised his head and looked over. Within the many passengers coming down the staircase, one of them was a girl wearing a light green collared shirt and jeans, which completely attracted Luo Feng's eyes. Under the refreshing summer day, Su Xian's figure showed clearly. Ever since she was young, Su Xian's unique aura caused her to be even more attractive. In high school, Su Xian was like a neighbor. When she was a manager in the HR Alliance's first floor's bar, she gave off the feeling of a professional worker. Luo Feng admits that he has been attracted to Su Xian ever since his freshman year of high school. Su Xian also looked down from the stairs and couldn't help but to smile as she saw Luo Feng below. The passengers continued to walk down. When Su Xian walked off the stairs, she directly headed towards Luo Feng. She had a bright smile on, and I thought you weren't coming. When did I ever go against my word, laughed Luo Feng. 
Su Exion, a sound carried from behind. Luofone couldn't help but to look over. A youth who appeared to be around 20 years old walked over. His clothes and shoes were clearly expensive, and the watch on his wrist also seemed to be of a famous brand. His smile gave off a feeling that he was naturally of high class. Luofone couldn't help but to ask Su Exion, your Su families? Not really, said Su Exion quietly. The teenager glanced at Luofone. Luofeng's attire was quite normal, like a random college student off the street. The youth elegantly extended his hand as he smiled, Hello, my name is Sun Chao, I don't know if you're Su Exions. Ah, Luofeng, an overjoyed voice rang. Luofeng turned his head and saw Su Exions' brother, Su Gang, in a suit as he ran over and smiled passionately. After seeing the youth beside him, he smiled, who would have thought that I would meet Luofeng right when I return. Ha, huh, this is great. Ah, Sun Chao, let me introduce to you. This is my sister's boyfriend, Luofeng. Chapter 175, Arrival Translator, Translation Nation Editor, Translation Nation Boyfriend? Su Exion looked at her brother Su Gang with her eyes opened wide. Does her brother not know? That she and Luofeng haven't confirmed their relationship yet? Boyfriend? Luofeng had an odd expression on as he remained silent. However, his image of Su Gang improved a bit. Even though this brother-in-law values position and authority too much, he can't blame him. Luo Feng was unamused during their first meeting, but truthfully, Su Gang did it for his sister. And now, he's actively promoting their relationship. It's not bad, having a brother-in-law who can grasp the situation. Luo Feng smiled Su Gang, I was quite disrespectful during our first meeting, I hope my younger sister's husband can overlook that. Within a blink of an eye, Luo Feng's identity raised from Su Exian's boyfriend to husband. Brother. Su Exian couldn't help but to yell. Ah, uh, Su Gang said in a weird tone, my sister is embarrassed. Luo Feng, I'll treat you next time. As for now, I'll head back with Uncle Bo and the others so we won't distract you two inches he said that, he pulled on Sun Chao's arm as he dragged him away, Sun Chao, go, let's return. Don't intrude on their world of two people. Sun Chao's expression was frozen and awkward as he was dragged away. Sun Chao, Su Gang, and their family stepped out the airport and were split into three cars. In an elegant, long limousine. Sun Chao and Su Gang sat in the back row. Su Gang wasn't as energetic as before as he calmly glanced at Sun Chao beside him, Sun Chao, you better not mess with my sister and Luo Feng's relationship, or else. We grew up together, so as your older brother, I'll remind you. Our Su family's higher-ups completely approve of and support my sister and Luo Feng's relationship. Whoever messes with that, even if your dad protects you, won't have a good future, said Su Gang quietly, the stuff between my sister and Luo Feng is currently our family's most important thing. Sun Chao remained silent, saying nothing. After a while, Sun Chao came up with the phrase, Su Gang, that Luo Feng. Could it be the Luo Feng from the Dojo of Limits? Oh, you know, laughed Su Gang. Two days ago overseas, my dad called me and mentioned this Luo Feng. He said this Luo Feng has quite the image in the Palace of War Gods. Sun Chao let out a deep sigh, at the airport just now, your words were enraging me. However, I felt like I heard the name Luo Feng. And I remembered after getting on the car. Su Gang laughed as he looked at him, still want to fight over my sister? Fight over what? Sun Chao glared at Su Gang, your sister always ignores me and never gives me even the slightest bit of respect. However, I didn't care back then. I just thought that I haven't spent enough time with her yet. That's why I came over with you guys this time. However, who would have known that Su Exian's boyfriend is this Luo Feng? I can't fight over that. If I really try to, my dad will probably break my legs. Sun Chao's father is a war god level fighter. One of the Su family's guest war gods. Because of his father's position, Sun Chao had the right to manage a business under the Su family in America. Sun Chao was quite clear. Even his father can't catch up to this Luo Feng, so would he dare to mess with him? Fighting over someone's girlfriend, and that someone is Luo Feng. Is he looking for death? And you? Su Exian has a boyfriend like this and you don't even remind me in advance, said Sun Chao with dissatisfaction. You're blaming me? My schedule was packed and I had to help look over our family's business in America. From beginning to end, I only met you three times in America. How should I know you only came back to the country to chase after my sister? Didn't you say? That you were homesick and wanted to visit your parents? Su Gang glared. Sun Chao was speechless. That was just an excuse. I guess I came back for nothing. Whatever, I guess I can go visit my parents. As for Su Exian, first, she isn't interested, and second, my heart becomes cold whenever I think of Luo Feng's legends. Fuck. That guy is an invincible war god, who can easily kill me with the amount of effort it takes to eat food or drink water. Around 8 p.m., night arrived. The dim light from the street lights scattered across the concrete sidewalk. Luo Feng and Su Exian walked side by side. They ate dinner together, and now, Luo Feng is walking her home. Rich people sure are different. Land in a headquarter city is priceless, and yet the place where rich people live is so quiet. Barely any people are here, smiled Luo Feng, if it was in the sector of another area, then the streets would be filled with cars and people by now. 
The rich people's sector barely has anyone. Su Xian speechlessly glanced at Luo Feng and then said, You're talking about rich people? You don't have money? Even if you take out all the usable money my family has, it still wouldn't be enough to purchase your auto jet. Even though the Su family is one of the country's 12 families and extremely rich, most of their money is invested in capital assets. The money they can actually use is indeed not enough to purchase Luo Feng's auto jet. How did you know about the auto jet? Luo Feng was shocked. When they were eating, Luo Feng knew that Su Gang and the others purposefully withheld his information when they were overseas. However, paper can't contain fire. After the incident at the Palace of War Gods auction house, Luo Feng became even more famous. Su Xian learned about this through the HR Alliance's internal discussion forums. Luo Feng the Great Examiner, your jet is parked in Mingyu Sector, but no pilot ever enters or exits it. Could it be, that you're a pilot? Su Xian started giggling. Luo Feng was speechless. A pilot? Every pilot of every fighter aircraft needs extensive training. No matter how much of a genius they are, they cannot become a fighter aircraft pilot without huge amounts of training. Luo Feng wasn't a pilot, the people of the HR Alliance were easily able to determine that. So, Luo Feng must be riding in an auto jet. Most regular fighters don't know about it, but the higher-ups of the HR Alliance were clear about it. Even the higher-ups of the dojo of limits like the examiners and investigators have to pay, after discounts, 180 billion Chinese dollars for an emperor-level auto jet. Other countries and the HR Alliance wants to purchase it? Sure. As long as you can pay the price. Buy it for 200 billion? In your dreams. How about, we ride on the auto jet, suggested Luo Feng. Su Xian wanted to, but she looked at her watch, it's late now, so if we rush over there to ride on it, it'll probably be 11 or 12 p.m. by the time we get back. It won't be long, smiled Luo Feng as he commanded, number one, come here. What are you doing, asked Su Xian in a confused tone. Luo Feng smiled mysteriously as he raised his head towards the sky. Su Xian, still confused, also raised her head towards the sky. A flowing light stopped in the sky above, which was indeed the dark blue triangular fighter jet. It slowly descended. Su Xian saw the triangular fighter jet in the air, mouth agape, so fast. The auto jet's top speed surpasses Mach 10. As long as I'm on Earth, I'll be able to send it a command, Luo Feng smiled as he pulled Su Xian's hand, come on, let's go up there. Immediately, blade piece after blade piece appeared from Luo Feng's neck. The 365 blade pieces quickly formed into the soaring shuttle. Luo Feng stepped on the soaring shuttle with one hand holding Su Xian's hand and the other hand holding her waist. Whoosh! The soaring shuttle flew up and the hatch of the hovering auto jet opened automatically. This, this. Su Xian looked downwards with shock. She's flying? After that, Su Xian reacted, Luo Feng was holding her. Su Xian, Luo Feng held Su Xian's waist as his body pushed against hers. He felt the temperature coming from Su Xian's soft body and couldn't help but to lower his head and look at Su Xian. His heart moved and he lowered his head. And kissed. While the wind blew in midair, Su Xian was absent-minded, her first kiss was stolen just like that. After their kiss, Luo Feng lowered his head and looked at Su Xian, who was bright red, as he softly said, From now on, you, Su Xian, will be Luo Feng's girlfriend. You're so forceful, Su Xian couldn't help but to glare, and what if I don't agree? Then I'll let go and let you drop, Luo Feng had a playful smile on as he purposefully loosened his hand a bit. Su Xian's body shook a bit and she was shocked as she saw the trees and streets below. She couldn't help but to say, be careful, the ground is like 70 to 80 meters away. Do you still dare to disagree, laughed Luo Feng. Humph, Su Xian giggled, it took you so long to confess that I thought you were too scared to. Indeed. Luo Feng and Su Xian frequently video chatted and their chats last for one to two hours. Even though none of them said it clearly, the way they acted was exactly like how people in a relationship would act. They were just missing the confession. Because, in the past, I didn't have enough power. I didn't want trouble you, said Luo Feng softly. Su Xian's eyes became red and couldn't help but to bury her head in Luo Feng's chest. Just like that. The auto jet hovered in midair. Beside the auto jet, Luo Feng was hugging Su Xian while he stood on the soaring shuttle. For a long time. This night was fated to be a special one. Outer space. The stars were plenty. This infinite universe is quite mysterious. Nobody knows what wonders the universe holds. Whoosh. A golden stream of light swiftly approached Earth from outer space at a speed nearing the speed of light. This golden stream of light swiftly pierced through the atmosphere and fell towards the Earth. Earth, Pacific Ocean. Around a few hundred miles away from the islands called the Hawaiian Islands, before the Grand Nirvana period. Whoosh! The golden stream of light directly flew into the sea. The weird thing is, even though it descended at a speed nearing the speed of light, it didn't cause the surface of the ocean to change at all. The waves were the same as always. Not only did the ocean not change at all, no satellite or apparatus was able to detect this golden stream of light. Deep in the sea. 
Around 3,000 meters deep, the golden light already dissipated, leaving behind a black, oval-shaped egg that was around 12 meters in diameter. There were peculiar golden markings on the surface of the black egg. Keep in mind that the dragon eggs of Earth only had a diameter of around 1 meter. At this moment, was complete silence. Every satellite from every country, and even the special devices from the archaeological ruins, were operating as usual. None of them were able to detect its arrival. Chapter 176, General of the Land Forces Translator, Translation Nation Editor, Translation Nation Ever since the Grand Nirvana period, the ocean has always been the territory of monsters. The area of the ocean far exceeds the area of the land. And thus, the boundless ocean gave birth to countless types of monsters. You can say that, if you throw someone in the ocean, only bones will remain after a few seconds, no matter how good they are in the water. Pacific Ocean, around 3,000 meters deep. The gigantic, black, oval-shaped egg sat there motionlessly. After 12 minutes it fell into the ocean, a fish-type monster with blue scales that was around 7 to 8 meters long swam to the egg and started circling it. This fish-type monster slowly swam. Having a bit of intellect. It determined that this egg in front of it probably isn't a rock. Suddenly. The fish-type monster opened wide. Each of its teeth in its mouth were huge and sharp. Two rows of teeth were intertwined like a saw. It opened its mouth and ferociously bit the black egg. Crack. The gigantic fish-type monster shook its head around in pain. Blood could actually be seen drizzling out the side of its large mouth, and a few cracked teeth fell out. Keep in mind that the force of its bite is quite astonishing. As for this fish-type monster, its bite can easily crush bedrock. Even a horde leader level monster's corpse wouldn't cause its teeth to shatter. In fear, the green-scaled fish swung its tail and, whoosh, left swiftly. As for the gigantic, black egg, it stayed there like usual. The surface of the egg's shell was still black with mysterious golden markings mixed in. The fish-type monster's ferocious bite from before didn't even leave behind a single mark. The humans on Earth continued to live their lives like usual. After Luo Feng and Su Exian confirmed their relationship, Su Exian no longer had class, since it was summer break. This young couple would frequently travel around the world. Every morning and night is Luo Feng's training time. As for the afternoon, that'll be the time for Luo Feng and Su Exian. After eating lunch, the two of them rode on the auto jet, which could fly to any headquarter city in China in a small amount of time. August 26th, morning. Yangzhou City's Mingyu Sector. Inside Luo Feng's private training room on the first floor of Limit Hall. He sat cross-legged on the soaring shuttle as he hovered in midair. The third drawing, Luo Feng closed his eyes. In his brain was a clear, yet complicated, drawing that seemed like a maze. Whoosh. 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 Thirteen blade pieces swiftly circled Luo Feng as they followed the tracks of the drawing in Luo Feng's head. And since that drawing had many intersections. Quite a few times, the blade pieces would barely manage to pass each other. Slowly. Faster, even faster. Not good, break. Luo Feng was so nervous that sweat could be seen appearing on his forehead. One of the dancing blades suddenly stopped, and three blades flew past from the front, side, and back. Accelerate. Got it. Luo Feng rapidly opened his eyes and scanned towards the tactical communications watch on the wrist of his left hand. The timer on the watch was moving swiftly. 5.11 seconds. Kind of slow, but this was the first time I managed to complete the entire third drawing. However, my break in the middle wasted a few tenths of a second, leading to this poor result. I'm at 5.11 seconds, but need 3.6 seconds to pass, Luo Feng couldn't help but to shake his head. The farther you go, the harder it is to shave time off your record. A completion time of 5.11 seconds versus a completion time of 4.8 seconds. The time difference doesn't seem big, but the difference in difficulty is gigantic. As for the 3.6 seconds required to pass, Luo Feng isn't even close to that point. The path was long, so he could only diligently move forward one step at a time. Continue. Luo Feng closed his eyes and continued. Usually, he can finish one drawing in a few seconds. So Luo Feng practices his celestial deity catalog several thousand times a day. His entire morning is spent on training the celestial deity catalog. After his training ends, his entire body becomes exhausted. As for night, Luo Feng spends his time training his fitness level, blade technique, technique, etc. The sun was high up in the sky and it was around 10 a.m. Luo Feng was still focused on his training. His powerful spiritual force allowed him to continuously training. The only part of him that gets tired is his mind. Even an invincible war god can't be in a state of extreme focus thousands of times throughout the morning of each day without enough willpower. If you want to become powerful, talent is important, but effort is even more important. Hmm. Luo Feng opened his eyes and looked outside through the window. A dark blue saucer-shaped fighter aircraft was slowly descending from the sky. It landed on a grassy lawn in the sector. Chief Instructor Wu Tong had a few fighters with him and was currently welcoming someone. The hatch of the dark blue saucer-shaped fighter aircraft opened and a total of three people came out. Sadly, Luo Feng didn't recognize any of them. Who are these three people, coming all the way to Mingyu Sector? 
Luo Feng's eyebrows slightly raised as he sat cross-legged on the soaring shuttle. It seems like they have some authority, since they are able to ride on such a fighter aircraft. Since Wu Tong didn't notify me to meet them, they probably aren't too important. As of now, Luo Feng is the investigator of Jiangnan headquarter city and is an invincible war god, so very, very few people can make him go out and personally welcome them. Continue. Luo Feng closed his eyes and continued training his celestial deity catalog. Luo Feng was clear. That his talent allowed him to shoot towards the peak of the advanced level war god level, like a rocket. After that, his dark golden ball shattered, and breaking through the war god level to the existence surpassing the war god level isn't even done through talent. He can only move forward step by step. Many people are stuck at the advanced level war god level, as they aren't sure what to do. But Luo Feng knows a path suitable for spirit readers. Celestial Deity Catalog Even though he needs to practice countless times, each bit of improvement brings Luo Feng a bit closer to his breakthrough. Beep! 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 After practicing who knows how many times, the tactical communications watch started ringing. Hu Luo Feng opened his eyes and glanced at the tactical communications watch, the alarm rang, it's 11.45. Time to go back and eat lunch. Whoosh! 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 The soaring shuttle instantly transformed into countless curved blade pieces. Each of them flew inside the black god set from Luo Feng's neck like fish. Luo Feng himself landed on the floor. Hmm. Luo Feng glanced at the fist strength testing machine, I haven't tested my fitness level for around half a month, so let's test it. After this private training hall was built, Luo Feng tested himself once. However, Luo Feng, who has consumed dragon blood and the thousand year willow heart, only absorbed a bit of their effects in the beginning. A lot of the dragon blood's power and the thousand year willow heart's vitality are hiding in his body, waiting to be absorbed. When Luo Feng trains, this energy is rapidly absorbed, so Luo Feng has recently been improving at an astonishing rate. Fist Strength Luo Feng turned on the fist strength testing machine. Pung. Like a shooting star, Luo Feng's fist smashed into the fist strength testing machine. The machine shook ferociously. And this is a top quality fist strength testing machine sent by Chairman Zhuo Zhengyong and the others. Beep. 239,881 kilograms, these numbers appeared on the display. Luo Feng let out a smile, not bad, I'll probably reach 256,000 kilograms in one or two months. Luo Feng's fitness level has been rising rapidly ever since his return. No wonder even Hong said that he doesn't need to consume any other treasure. As long as his body continues to absorb the leftover effects of the dragon blood and the thousand year willow heart, he'll improve rapidly. Speed Luo Feng turned on the speed testing machine and stood in front of the 80 meter track. Whoosh! Luo Feng accelerated like lightning and passed the speed of sound after his first step. After that, he continued to accelerate. After a few steps, he reached his top speed. Just like that, only his shadow could be seen as he flew past the speed testing machine. After that, he swiftly came to a stop. 583.6 meters per second. Luo Feng mumbled to himself as he looked at the numbers, not bad. As for reaction speed? As a spirit reader, does he even need to test that? He'll definitely reach a grade of superior for a peak of the advanced level war god level. After one to two months, my fitness level will reach the advanced level war god level. After around two years, my fitness level should be able to reach the peak of the advanced level war god level. Luo Feng had his loose training outfit on as he walked out the training hall. Click. The door to the training hall closed automatically. Investigator Luo, in the hallway outside the training hall stood a youth who was smiling. He slightly bowed, the commander is waiting for Investigator Luo in the conference room. Commander? Which commander? Luo Feng asked in a confused tone. He doesn't think he knows any commanders. The commander from the southeast military sector, smiled the youth. Let's go, nodded Luo Feng. However, Luo Feng was shocked. As of now, each headquarter city has military sectors in the surroundings. However, the usual military sector near headquarter cities are called military subsectors. For example, the military sector to the north of Jiangnan headquarter city is a military subsector. However, the southeastern military sector is different. This southeastern military sector was built to stop invading sea monsters from the eastern sea. It's a large military sector. A large military sector, in terms of power, is way more powerful than a military subsector. And of course, the amount of equipment they have way surpasses the amount in a military subsector. Inside the conference room. Right when Luo Feng stepped into the conference room, he saw three people inside, a middle-aged man. Even though his hair had some white hairs mixed in, he sat perfectly straight. His gaze was sharp like a panther's. Beside him was a middle-aged man wearing glasses. And the third was Chief Instructor Wu Tong from Limit Hall. Hello, Mr. Luo Feng, the middle-aged man stood up, and the man wearing glasses beside him also smiled as he stood up. Hello, Luo Feng was a bit confused. But he did have a nice image of him. Because he recognized that the three people who got off the saucer-shaped fighter aircraft were precisely these few people. They arrived almost two hours ago, but decided to wait quietly instead of interrupting his training. 
Just because of this, he has to show some respect. Luo Feng smiled Wu Tong on the side, let me introduce to you, this is Li Dewei, the commander of the southeastern sector, Commander Li, beside him is Executive Officer Wang Luo Han, Executive Officer Wang. Luo Feng nodded. Commander of the southeastern military sector. As the commander of a large military sector, his title is General of the Land Forces. As of now, it's the highest ranking military position in China. And commanders of military subsectors, like the commander of the military sector north of Jiangnan City, have the title of Major General of the Land Forces. One can imagine just how large the difference is between a military subsector and a large military sector just from their titles. To be able to lead the southeastern military sector. This Li Dewei is definitely one of the most highest ranking people in all of China. And such a figure actually personally came all the way here and would rather wait quietly for two hours than interrupt Luo Feng's training. Chapter 177, Personal Army. Translator, Translation Nation. Editor, Translation Nation. Spirit Reader at the peak of the advanced level War God level? You indeed are quite different, right? When Commander Li saw Luo Feng enter, he started observing this legendary genius. The Luo Feng in front of him was wearing a regular training uniform and had a few balls of sweat on his forehead. A seemingly formless energy emanated from Luo Feng, which caused him to seem like an extremely powerful beast. This caused Commander Li and Executive Officer Wang's heartbeats to accelerate a bit. They didn't know that this was because Luo Feng was practicing the Celestial Deity Catalog a few thousand times earlier this morning. Due to his exhaustion, he couldn't perfectly control his spiritual force, which caused quite a bit to leak out. You guys chat, I'll go out first, smiled Wu Tong. Thank you, Chief Instructor Wu. Li Dewei and Wang Luohan watched Wu Tong leave. Even though Li Dewei and Wang Luohan are of high status, Wu Tong is still part of the Dojo of Limits. The Chinese government still want to remain on friendly relations with the Dojo of Limits. Commander Li, Executive Office, let us sit and chat, smiled Luo Feng as he sat down. Li Dewei and Wang Luohan both smiled as they sat down. Li Dewei smiled as he said, I have long heard of Mr. Luo Feng's grand name. In the Palace of War Gods, I watched Mr. Luo Feng from afar. And now, after meeting face to face, I realized that Mr. Luo Feng seems even more extraordinary than he did in the Palace of War Gods. If Commander Li keeps complimenting me, I'll end up flying, laughed Luo Feng. Not a compliment, respect, smiled Commander Li, I will be 62 this year, but I'm still an intermediate level war god. This is my limit. According to our military's information, Mr. Luo Feng once defeated Phantom Demon Catalan, Blood Shadow Ethan, Great Bear Keita, and Vulture Liao, the four great advanced level war gods. And three of these four have black god sets. This battle score is outstanding. The highest title, Invincible War God, was given to Mr. Luo Feng by the Dojo of Limits, which also matches Mr. Luo Feng's strength. As a fighter. I truly respect Mr. Luo Feng. After hearing this, Luo Feng didn't let it get to his head. Truthfully, when someone is complimented, especially by someone with high status like the commander of the southeastern military sector, it would make them really happy. However, Luo Feng hasn't meddled around in the government. He is in a high position because of his ability, and also because of his personality. Just a few simple sentences caused Luo Feng to have a good impression. Since Li Dewei and Wang Luo Han were clear, even though they held high positions in the Chinese government, as Li Dewei is the commander of a military sector and the general of the land forces. Luo Feng is an examiner of the Dojo of Limits. And the Dojo of Limits is the Earth's most elite power. Of course they'll hold an extraordinary position. Even though they haven't formed a country, none of the five great countries are willing to mess with them. Instead, they would prefer to be on friendly terms. If they have a request for Luo Feng, they of course have to get Luo Feng into a good mood. Otherwise, if they get escorted out by Luo Feng, even if they are the higher ups of the military, they can't do anything about him. Mr. Luo Feng, if you don't mind, I'll disrespectfully call you Luo Feng. And no need to call me commander or anything. Just call me Li Dewei, Old Li, or even Brother Li, smiled Li Dewei. Huh, I'll call you Old Li, smiled Luo Feng, Old Li, feel free to say anything you guys came here for. In the envelope the Dojo of Limits gave to Luo Feng about the responsibilities of an examiner, things that the examiner would face and things that the examiner is responsible for. All of these were mentioned. So Luo Feng vaguely knew what these two people were here for. Alright, I'll be direct, Li Dewei's face became a bit more serious, even though our human society has powerful fighters and laser cannons, the monster hordes are too powerful. Not that I'm trying to lower morale. In terms of numbers, even the land monsters far outnumber us humans, sighed Li Dewei as he shook his head, if it weren't for the threat of the laser cannon, how could humans live peacefully in headquarter cities? Luo Feng slightly frowned as he continued to listen quietly. Humans and land monsters are in a stalemate. We won't use our laser cannons against the emperor level monsters. And the emperor level monsters won't join the monster hordes in their invasions against the headquarter cities. Both sides have an agreement Li Dewei sighed as he said, actually, about the agreement. Your head, Hong, was the one who negotiated with the emperor level monsters back then. Luo Feng froze. Negotiations between humans and monsters? Hong went to negotiate? The monster hordes on land and the monster hordes in the sky aren't too dangerous. 
Last year, our China had 1 grade 1 monster tide, 6 grade 2 monster tides, and 21 grade 3 monster tides. These are all within an acceptable range, said Li Dewei nonchalantly. Luofeng was shocked. These numbers were all confidential. Luofeng didn't know that the country was attacked this much every year. The most dangerous monsters to our country are the monsters in the sea, Li Dewei's expression was extremely serious, even laser cannons cannot threaten the powerful sea monsters that are deep in the sea. And the amount of monsters in the sea vastly outnumber the amount of land monsters and sky monsters. How could they give in and negotiate? Also, once in the sea, human fighters probably only have 20 to 30 percent of their power left. We cannot even initiate the attack, Li Dewei shook his head. Luo Feng nodded silently. Indeed, humans are weakened quite a bit in the water. Even that little lake by the misty island almost ended up killing Luo Feng. And don't even mention the vast, boundless sea. As of now, humanity has no way of initiating the attack against the sea monsters. We can only defend, Li Dewei's face had sadness written on it, the monsters in the sea can attack the inner parts of the country via the rivers. The sea monsters have peculiar powers, as long as there are enough of them, they can create their own rivers. So us humans cannot allow them to enter. We have to block them with terrain, laser cannons, and our army. Losses are big, Li Dewei shook his head. Even if we kill billions of sea monsters at once. Who knows how many sea monsters are born every day. The battles between the large and small monsters causes many of them to die. Whether or not we kill them. Makes no difference to the sea monsters overall, said Li Dewei helplessly. Luo Feng also felt helpless. Indeed. Monsters frequently kill each other, survival of the fittest. Whether or not humans kill some sea monsters makes no difference to the sea monsters overall. So, Luo Feng, I hope you can occasionally assist our southeastern military sector when we need it and deal with some of the more powerful sea monsters. Don't worry. Emperor level monsters wouldn't dare to enter the rivers. Our laser cannons are waiting for them, said Li Dewei. An invincible war god is sometimes more effective than an army of 10,000 in a battle against monsters. All right, I accept, said Luo Feng without hesitation. The battle between humans and monsters determines their survival, so he should help. Thank you, said Li Dewei thankfully. An invincible war god. And a spirit reader. In a battle against a sea monster tide with no emperor level monsters, is even more useful than 10 laser cannons. Luo Feng, according to the rules, the army will grant you the title of Major General. Even though it doesn't come with much power, it represents status. You can save yourself a lot of trouble if you ever go to the army from now on, smiled Li Dewei, this title is pretty good already. The title of a commander of a military subsector is Major General too. Huh. Old Li, to tell you the truth, I wanted to enroll into military school when I was in high school, laughed Luo Feng. Oh, how come you didn't then? Otherwise, a great talent like you would be in our military, followed Li Dewei. Nobody can predict the twists of life, smiled Luo Feng as he shook his head. He couldn't enroll into military school, but ended up as a Major General. Keep in mind that there is no navy anymore. Air Force? Just look at the price of a fighter jet and you'll know that the size of the Air Force is definitely small. So, as of now, the land army makes up most of a country's army. Which means that a title of Major General is indeed quite prestigious. Luo Feng, even though you don't have that much power as a Major General, according to the rules, your level of Invincible War God enables you to receive a personal army of 900 people, said Li Dewei. Oh, a personal army of 900 people? What about the Examiner of the Thunder Dojo, smiled Luo Feng as he asked. His is a personal army of 500 people, Li Dewei and Wang Luo Han, who remained silent the whole time, laughed. They were clear that the Dojo of Limits and Thunder Dojo are always competing with each other. Both huge dojos are spread across all over the world. As for their heads, one of them is number one and one of them is number two. Both of them are existences that quickly came to power after the Grand Nirvana period. And Thunder God even claims that his speed and fitness level are number one. Maybe in terms of strength, he's a bit off from Hong. But clearly, he is the closest man to Hong at the moment. Just from this chat, Luo Feng became a major general of China and now has a personal army of 900 people. Of course, his responsibility is to assist the southeastern military sector when they need help and deflect the sea monster's invasion. The days passed one by one and September 1st approached. The night of September 1st is the night where the Dojo of Limits in the main sector holds their welcome banquet for the new examiner. Night of August 31st. Listening room, Su Xian appeared on the wall's display. Luo Feng, how about I wear this? Would this fit for the banquet, on the display, Su Xian was wearing a light yellow evening dress. Pretty good, Luo Feng was smiling a bit as he nodded. Why do you always say pretty good, Su Xian started to get a bit irritated, answer me right now. Only three answers, not good, average, very good. Luo Feng touched his nose and smiled, okay, this one. Is average. Not as good as the purple one from before. Oh, then let me try the next one, Su Xian jogged away and disappeared from the display. Suddenly, Luo Feng's tactical communications watch rang, beep. Beep. Hmm. Mail? Luo Feng pressed the button and opened the mail. The title was Archaeological Ruin Discovered. 
Chapter 178, Archaeological Ruin Number 9 Translator, Translation Nation Editor, Translation Nation Archaeological Ruin? As if a bucketful of water poured onto his head, Luo Feng shuddered. He stopped his smiling and instantly became serious. His eyes were like lightning as they stared at the male. He said softly, open. Beep. The mail instantly opened, and a letter with Chinese on it appeared. Examiner Luo Feng. Please arrive at the world headquarters of the Dojo of Limits in Hongming Headquarters City before 6 p.m., 929th. Many war gods will assemble and head to Archaeological Ruin Number 9 together. Three reminders. 1. Archaeological Ruin Number 9 is one of the safer ruins. It is the only place to get a black god set. War gods have a 28% chance to succeed and a 72% chance to die. Please think carefully before deciding whether or not to enter. Once you enter, you cannot back out. 2. Everyone only has one chance to enter Archaeological Ruin Number 9. 3. Fighters who enter Archaeological Ruin Number 9 are forbidden from using special defensive gear like the Black God set. They are only allowed to use battle uniforms created on Earth. Please think carefully before making your decision. If you decide to enter, please prepare. Arrive at the appointed location before the specified date. Dojo of Limits. August 31st, 2057 inch. At the end of the letter was the emblem of the Dojo of Limits, which was shaped like a stamp. Just this simple letter caused Luo Feng to calm down completely. He lowered his head as he stared at the three reminders. He felt like the temperature around him dropped by several degrees. 72% chance of death. Luo Feng frowned, and a success rate of 28%. Which is to say, if you fail, you die. And this is too high. Three out of four people die. Clearly. Only confident war gods would dare to enter archaeological ruin number 9. However, even though they're confident, the death rate is still as high as 72%. This means that the humans on Earth have not found the trick to succeeding. If they knew, then the death rate wouldn't be so high. And you're not allowed to use special gear like the Black God set? Luo Feng frowned. What kind of bullshit place is this? They even forbid you from using certain gear. Deep into the night, Luo Feng sat on the sofa in the listening room quietly. He frowned as he contemplated. He knew absolutely nothing about archaeological ruin number 9. Knowledge is the key to victory. If he just charges into the archaeological ruin like a blind man, and is also forbidden from using the Black God set. Without enough defense, he might lose his life. Luo Feng, how about this one, on the display, Su Xian changed into another dress. Yeah, not bad, Luo Feng raised his head and squeezed out a smile. What's wrong? Even Su Xian in the main city sector could tell something was wrong with Luo Feng through the display. I still have some things to take care of, I'll tell you later, said Luo Feng. Oh, alright. Don't pressure yourself too much, you're already doing great, encouraged Su Xian. Beep. The projection turned off. The listening room returned to darkness. Luo Feng sat on the sofa alone. It was already deep into the night, so it was very quiet. After thinking alone for a bit, Luo Feng made his decision. Beep, beep, beep. He dialed the inner dojo of Limit's phone number. Even though it is a bit rash to do so, he definitely cannot go into archaeological ruin number 9 without knowing anything. Hello, the low sound rose. Even though he talked to this mysterious person a few times, Luo Feng realized that this mysterious person's voice almost always remained cold and low. Only when he said, thanks, mister, last time did this mysterious person's tone change as he laughed a bit. Hello, I'm Luo Feng, said Luo Feng. I know it's you, examiner Luo Feng. What do you need? The voice was cold as always. I just received a mail titled Archaeological Ruin Discovered. It said that this time's target, Archaeological Ruin Number 9, has a death rate of 72%. And, we cannot use the Black God set. Correct? asked Luo Feng. Yes, answered the low voice easily. Luo Feng continued to ask, I want to know, do war gods encounter the same challenges and dangers? Different. As long as your fitness level reaches the war god level, you can enter archaeological ruin number 9, the low voice didn't pause at all, beginner level war gods, intermediate level war gods, and advanced level war gods encounter different challenges and dangers after entering archaeological ruin number 9. Some advanced level war gods could lose their lives while beginner level war gods succeed. Luo Feng's face changed slightly. This was what he was most afraid of, different difficulties. Then it's up to luck. Even though he's strong, what if he gets into an extremely dangerous situation? However, according to the data, advanced level war gods have higher success rates than intermediate level war gods. And intermediate level war gods have higher success rates than beginner level war gods, said the low voice. Luo Feng frowned slightly. Back when he talked with the head, hum, it sounded like that he could easily get a black god set if he entered the archaeological ruin, as if there was no danger at all. But now that he looks at it, this place has a death rate of 72% and people are forbidden from using the Black God set. Why are we forbidden from using the Black God set? Luo Feng couldn't help but to continue asking. 
You cannot enter while wearing the black god set, answered the low voice simply. What are my chances of success if I enter, asked Luo Fong. Using previous cases of success as reference, the archaeological ruin is full of things that cannot be predicted, so I cannot give a precise answer. I can only give a guess, the chances of success should be over 80%, answered the low voice. Luo Fong went silent. Yeah, the archaeological ruin is an archaeological ruin because it is special. Humans as of now cannot understand them completely. When I talked with the head, the head made it sound quite easy, Luo Fong continued. I don't know, answered the low voice. Luo Fong froze. Usually, you have to apply to enter archaeological ruin number 9. As for examiner Luo Fong, the head chose you directly, said the low voice, as for whether or not it is easy to pass, from my data, I cannot guarantee you will pass for sure. Maybe the head has other reasons. You can ask the head. Luo Fong slightly nodded, sorry for bothering. Beep. The phone call ended. Luo Fong quietly sat inside the listening room. Luo Fong still had no idea what to do even after chatting with the mysterious person. This archaeological ruin number 9 was too unpredictable, nobody knows what will happen after entering. Everyone can only enter once, so even Hong probably can't enter a second time to investigate the ruins. Otherwise, there would be no need to send a group of war gods to their deaths. Since the head is letting me go, then I guess I'll ask the head when I go to headquarters on September 29th, thought Luo Fong to himself. Maybe other war gods would try their hardest to get a black god set. But to Luo Fong, there is no need. He needs at least a bit of confidence before he can take risks. He has no confidence at all right now, so what if he rushes in and, splat, dies? Wouldn't that be a waste? Only high reward can make people take high risks. A black god set isn't enough to make Luo Fong risk it. Night of September 1st, the sky was dark. In Mingyu sector, a group of armed, patrolling soldiers looked towards a lawn in the distance. A dark blue triangular fighter jet was parked on the lawn. Around the fighter jet were 30 armed soldiers. Luo Fong, who rarely dressed formally, was in a suit as he walked towards the fighter jet. Officer, the 30 armed soldiers saluted. Since he was granted the title of Major General, Luo Fong had a personal army of 900 people. Since Mingyu sector already had soldiers on guard, Luo Fong split his own personal army into three groups. The three groups take turns patrolling, so their mission was indeed quite relaxing. Yeah, nodded Luo Fong. Walla. The hatch opened and Luo Fong entered the auto jet like a breeze of wind. After that, the auto jet started to rise. It flew out the city's defense systems and transformed into a flowing blue light as it disappeared into the horizon. Jiangnan Headquarter City, inside the residential area in Limit Hall. Around 90% of the fighters in the headquarter city are here. The sound of music reverberated. In the residential area was a large, snow-white, three-story villa. Tonight, they are going to hold the banquet to welcome the new examiner here. So, long ago, they blocked off the surroundings outside a 100-meter radius with white fencing, blocking people from entering. A red carpet extended over 100 meters from the gate of the fence to the entrance to the white villa. And now. Many big shots of Jiangnan headquarter city arrived one by one, like commanders of military subsectors and sectors, representatives of various countries' special forces, and even high-ranking officials of the government. The people of the HR alliance were only allowed to participate in tonight's banquet because of their status. Anyways, this is definitely a banquet of the highest level in Jiangnan headquarter city. Ha, huh, Commander Li, welcome welcome. Examiner Luo Fong hasn't arrived yet, smiled Li Dewei as he asked. Examiner Luo is the main character tonight. This banquet is a banquet to welcome him. It's normal for him to be a bit late. Please understand, Commander Li laughed Chairman Zhou Zhengyong, excuse me. Zhou Zhengyong immediately ran to welcome other guests. Even if you only count the war gods, a ton of people came. And over ten people with the title of commander in the military have arrived. Li Dewei held his glass of wine and walked to an empty corner. A youth wearing a suit came up to him and said quietly, Commander, if everything goes according to plan, something huge will happen within an hour. Oh, a smile appeared on Li Dewei's face. Chapter 179, Competing Translator, Translation Nation Editor, Translation Nation Music flowed into every corner of the hall. Handsome waiters and beautiful waitresses served fragrant wine and food. In the hall, all sorts of famous people were chatting with each other. Oldly, what are you hiding here by yourself for, a deep sound rang. A tall, middle-aged brute was wearing a suit as he smiled and walked over. Li Dewei looked over and couldn't help but to laugh, Yi Zhong, even though you're a huge mayor, you sure came early today. All our old friends are gathered here for once, so how can I not come early, smiled the burly brute. Just from his appearance, this burly brute seems more like a fighter from the military than a mayor. After the Grand Nirvana period, there are only six headquarter cities across all of China. Each headquarter city's mayor is a high-ranking official, their position is way higher than the mayors, governors, etc. before the Grand Nirvana period. As of now, two people are in command of a headquarter city together, namely the mayor, who looks over the civilians, and the highest ranking military official in the headquarter city. And the highest ranking military official in Jiangnan city is Li Dewei. 
I heard you took a trip to Mingyu Sector a few days ago, smiled Mayor Yi, anything good? Luo Feng is patriotic, smiled Li the way. Suddenly, his eyes glanced towards the distance and couldn't help but to laugh, look, the people of the Su family have arrived. Mayor Yi also turned his head and looked over. While doing so, he even said, the Su family? I heard this examiner Luo is dating with that little girl from the Su family? Oh, that must be Su Exan. HM. No wonder Luo Feng likes her. This girl is quite nice. In the distance, three people from the Su family have arrived. The one leading was a slightly chubby, white-haired old man. Beside him was a middle-aged woman wearing a black dress who seemed like a noblewoman. The other was Su Exian in her purple dress. A woman's greatest weapon is her youth. Su Exian was already young, and after wearing this shoulder-revealing dress, it made her seem even more beautiful. Which could cause people's eyes to light up. You aren't satisfied with this little girl from the Su family being with Luo Feng, mocked Li Dewei, you can also find a pretty young girl from the Yi family to steal Luo Feng away from the Su family's little girl. This is a 19-year-old invincible war god who could become an existence surpassing the war god level. If you don't strike now, you won't have any chance in the future man. Mayor Yi couldn't help but to glance at him and laugh helplessly, an old man like you doesn't seem like a general at all. In the corner of the hall. Su Exian was currently holding a wine glass as she chatted with her aunt in the corner. Even though their Su family is one of the twelve families, everyone who came here today are extremely important people. Their Su family isn't conspicuous at all. As for Su Exian and her aunt are even more quiet since they are using their family's identity to come. Who's the one talking with grandpa? asked Su Exian quietly. The Thunder Dojo's examiner's son, Lei Yufong, her aunt also responded quietly. Yufong, your father hasn't arrived yet, the head of the Su family, Su Yungua, was currently smiling as he talked with a long-haired youth. Today is the day to welcome the examiner of the Dojo of Limits. That examiner Luo hasn't even arrived yet and my dad is the examiner of the Thunder Dojo. To come so early. Probably isn't such a good idea, said the long-haired youth. His voice wasn't kept quiet either, so quite a few servers of the Dojo of Limits glanced over with dissatisfaction. Chairman Zhou Zhengyong glanced over. Chairman, this Lei Yufong is too cocky, Chief Yu Sun couldn't help but to say quietly, even though this is a banquet to welcome the examiner of the Dojo of Limits, he is so disrespectful. Their Thunder Dojo has always been competing with our Dojo of Limits, so it would be weird if they were respectful, scoffed Zhou Zhengyong. Don't mind him, our new investigator is an invincible war god. Their fate has been sealed. As long as Luo Feng is here on the soil of Jiangnan headquarter city, they will be below us. Chief Yu Sun on the side couldn't help but to nod and let out a smile. The Thunder Dojo and the Dojo of Limits are the two leading fighter organizations on Earth. The Dojo of Limits is a bit stronger, but the Thunder Dojo isn't far off. Both dojos fight over regular students. If they encounter a particularly talented fighter, both dojos would send their invitations to recruit them. For example, Luo Feng also received the Thunder Dojo's invitation back then. Fighters are always competing. If you build a training camp, I'll build a training camp too. You have examiners. I have examiners too. You have investigators. I have investigators too. From the lowest ranking people to the highest ranking people, the two dojos have always been competing. They only have one competitor anyway, since no other power on earth can oppose them. Even the two powerful heads are eternal rivals. Thunder God, second strongest fighter on earth. World's best blade technique, and also claims to have the world's most powerful body and fastest speed. And Hong, is the indisputable number one fighter on earth. Usually, if your strength, speed, and reaction speed are all number one. With the explosive power of Thunder God's nine-stage Thunder Blade, he should be able to become the world's most powerful fighter. Many fighters think so too, but after all these years, Hong has remained the indisputable number one fighter. Old Su, this is. Lei Yufeng's eyes couldn't help but to flash after seeing Su Exian all dressed up. This is my granddaughter Su Exian, smiled Su Yunghua. Lei Yufeng actually went up to Su Exian and smiled, Lady Su, hello, I am Lei Yufeng. Hello, Su Exian was a bit dumbfounded. Nice to meet you, right when Lei Yufeng finished that sentence. The entire hall went into an uproar. Examiner Luo is here. That fighter aircraft is an autojet. Last time our organization offered 260 billion Chinese dollars, but the Dojo of Limits wasn't willing to sell us an autojet. Examiner Luo is coming out of the jet. Examiner Luo is so young. Discussions were everywhere, and quite a few people in the entire hall headed towards the entrance. Su Exian and her aunt also walked over. On that red carpet that was around 100 meters approached a young man in a black suit. He was currently smiling as he walked over. Everyone's eyes were on him. Right now, his formless aura was extremely formidable. As a powerful spirit reader, his eyes could cause one's heart to shake. Examiner, Chairman Zhou Zhengyong and the three chiefs, Zhu Gutao, Yu Sen, and Wang Kufan greeted him at the entrance. Chairman Zhou, Luo Feng directly stepped into the hall. Examiner, let me introduce to you a few important people, Chairman Zhou Zhengyong wisely brought Luo Feng to the area of the Su family's head, Su Yunghua. Luo Feng saw that white-haired old man instantly. 
He once saw this old man from a distance, so he recognized him. This is the head of the Su family Su Yunghua, Mr. Su, smiled Zhou Zhengyong. I am extremely glad to meet Examiner Luo. Examiner Luo's name has spread far and wide, and, after meeting, Examiner Luo's age is just absolutely jaw-dropping, Su Yunghua had smiles all over his face, as if a flower that has just bloomed, age and strength, with these. Examiner Luo's future, limitless, absolutely limitless. These compliments caused quite a few people to scoff. You're just making it clear that Luo Feng is your future grandson-in-law. Do you have to be so passionate? You praise me too much. It's my first time meeting old Su and I'm filled with joy, smiled Luo Feng as he said a phrase. Examiner, let's go there. Zhou Zhengyong was about to introduce another guest. No rush. But Luo Feng headed straight toward Su Xian. However, when he saw the long-haired youth beside her, he couldn't help but to frown. Men want to be in control, so when a stranger was standing next to his own girlfriend, Luo Feng naturally felt a bit irritated. Please move, Luo Feng looked at the long-haired man. Lei Yu Feng was being stared at by Luo Feng. Lei Yu Feng felt like he was going to suffocate just from the pressure brought by Luo Feng's eyes. His consciousness was becoming blurry and he instinctively moved back a few steps. After seeing Lei Yu Feng move back, Luo Feng stood in front of Su Xian and winked. Su Xian smiled brightly and put her arm around Luo Feng's arm. Let's go, Luo Feng and Su Xian walked next to Zhou Zhengyong. Zhou Zhengyong looked at Su Xian with shock, and then let out a face of amusement as he nodded, all right. This scene caused quite a few of the famous people in the entire hall to go silent with shock. Doing such a thing in such a place is basically announcing his relationship with Su Xian. This scene caused quite a few people to be disappointed, since many of them were trying to get close to Luo Feng via marriage. Su Yunghua and his daughter let out a smile. Humph, but Lei Yufeng's face was looking horrible. This is the mayor of our Jiangnan headquarter city, Yi Zhong. Examiner, this, is the director of the country's special forces sector 9, Lu Yen. This, is the director of the country's special forces sector 11 Lu Dekai, Old Lu. This, is the head of one of the 12 families in our Jiangnan city, Mr. Yi Yi Fang. This, is the commander of the northern military sector of Jiangnan city, Commander Tong Shui Zhu. Luo Feng came to know many special people under Zhou Zhengyang's introductions. These people had immense power in China. And all of these people were polite when talking with Luo Feng. Examiner, one more, Zhou Zhengyong kept his voice down, the last one's identity is absolutely amazing. He's the leader of the second squad in our military's most powerful special forces sector, Hua Shan. His teacher is the creator of the organization, Hua Shan, Jia Yi, who is in existence surpassing the war god level. Military's most powerful special forces sector? Hua Shan. Why would they call it, Hua Shan, how weird, laughed Luo Feng quietly. The creator, Representative Jia Yi, was the one who named it, who knows why, said Zhou Zhengyong quietly, Jia Yi is one of the few existences surpassing the war god level in China. He has tons of authority. And of course, the organizations he creates also has tons of authority. Chairman Zhou said no more, as he already brought Luo Feng in front of a middle-aged man. Right when Luo Feng was going to speak with the representative of the country's most powerful special forces sector. Ha, huh, Examiner Luo, I'm late, sorry about that, laughter which could rival the sound of thunder rang across the entire hall. Chapter 180, No Retreat Allowed. Translator, Translation Nation. Editor, Translation Nation. The originally noisy hall immediately quieted down. Everyone turned their heads over and saw a slightly skinny middle-aged man in a suit whose eyes were like lightning. He was currently smiling a bit as he looked around. He yelled, Luo Phone, Luo Examiner, where is he? Where? I have always wanted to meet Examiner Luo and see what kind of young legendary hero he is. Dad, Lei Yufeng walked to his father's side. This man is the examiner of Jiangnan Headquarter City's Thunder Dojo, Lei Meng. To be able to take up the position of a large headquarter city's examiner, Lei Meng is also a famous advanced level war god. In terms of power, he's even a bit stronger than Vulture Liao. Of course, he's a bit weaker than Phantom Demon Catalan. Phantom Demon Catalan's fitness level has reached the peak of the advanced level war god level, and he has spiritual force. And Lei Meng simply has his fitness level at the peak. Lei Meng is here, now things are going to be interesting. Who knows how things will unfold. Various famous people from all over were interested as they prepared to watch the show. Sometimes they would look towards Lei Meng, and sometimes they would look towards Luo Feng. Across the entire world, who doesn't know that the Thunder Dojo and Dojo of Limits are always competing with each other? Other people are too afraid to mess with the Dojo of Limits, but the Thunder Dojo isn't. And Hong and Thunder God remain silent when they see their people compete with each other. Luo Feng was currently standing in front of the representative of China's most powerful special forces sector. After hearing Examiner Lei Meng's words, Luo Feng didn't even glance over. Instead, he smiled towards the representative of the military special forces sector and extended his hand, Hello, I am Luo Feng. I have long heard of Representative Jia's huge name and have always been admiring him. I am glad to be able to meet Representative Jia's student. 
Jiang Long, I am also glad to meet a talented person like Examiner Luo, Jiang Long's feelings toward Luo Feng, whoosh, soared up greatly. Know that the person who was most frustrated with Lei Meng's sudden entrance was Jiang Long. Because Luo Feng was right about to talk with him. With Lei Meng's sudden appearance, if Luo Feng turned his head and went to talk with Lei Meng while treating him, Jiang Long, as heir. Wouldn't that be quite embarrassing? And now, Luo Feng's course of action is to treat that Lei Meng as heir and pretend he didn't even see him. After that, he kept smiling and chatted with Jiang Long. Of course Jiang Long would feel great. However, on the other side of the hall, Lei Meng wasn't feeling good. Examiner, Squadron Leader Jiang is one of Representative Jiang's most powerful students. Chairman Zhou Zhengyong woke up and also smiled as he introduced, as of now, he's already an advanced level war god and is one of the most powerful people in Huashan. When compared with Examiner Luo, there's still a difference, smiled Jiang Long. In terms of experience, Squadron Leader Jiang has way more than me, Luo Feng also smiled. If Luo Feng is respectful to Jiang Long, Jiang Long will also be respectful to Luo Feng. Excuse me, said Luo Feng. Please go ahead, Examiner Luo, smiled Jiang Long, we will talk later. Only after chatting with Squadron Leader Jiang from China's most powerful special forces sector, Hua Shan, did Luo Feng bring Su Xian with him as he smiled and headed towards Examiner Lei, Lei Meng. Examiner Luo, my father rushed all the way here just to congratulate you and happily wanted to chat with Examiner Luo. However, Examiner Luo pretended that he didn't even see my father, long-haired Lei Yufeng frowned as he said with dissatisfaction, this is seriously. Yufeng. Lei Meng waved his hand to stop his son from continuing. Luo Feng laughed in his heart as he saw this scene. If this Lei Meng wanted to stop his son from speaking, he would have stopped him a while ago. When he received the letter talking about the responsibilities of an examiner from the world headquarters, it mentioned, to protect the honor of the dojo of limits. Especially when competing with the Thunder Dojo, you have to defeat them. Competing with the Thunder Dojo has already become a kind of tradition. Since Luo Feng took up the position, he of course has to show some backbone. I am really sorry. I was talking with Mr. Jiang Long just now. Mr. Lei Meng's entrance was a bit sudden, so I could not just shake off Mr. Jiang Long to the side. Examiner Lei, am I right? smiled Luo Feng. Lei Meng frowned and said nothing. I am really happy that Mr. Lei Meng could come, smiles were all over Luo Feng's face, we will talk more later. As he said that, Luo Feng glanced at Chairman Zhou Zhengyong. Zhou Zhengyong nodded and headed towards the platform in front of the hall. On the platform. Zhou Zhengyong stood on top of it and looked down towards the important figures as he smiled. On this day, September 1st, our Jiangnan headquarters city's dojo of limits welcomes a new examiner. Who is he? He defeated Phantom Demon Catalan, Great Bear Keda, Blood Shadow Ethan, and Vulture Li Yao, the four advanced level war gods, all alone, these phrases caused the face of Lei Meng, Examiner Lei, to change for the worse, because even though Lei Meng is powerful, he still isn't at Phantom Demon Catalan's level yet. And Luo Feng fought the four of them. If Luo Feng really fought against Lei Meng one-on-one, -on -one, Lei Meng will certainly lose. Three of the four had black god sets. But even so, when they encountered him, they lost. Furthermore, he even received the highest title of our dojo of limits, Invincible War God. And he is also extremely young. Even if I do not name him, we all know who he is. Let us welcome. Jiangnan Headquarter City's Dojo of Limits New Examiner. Invincible War God. Luo Feng. Chairman Zhou Zhengyang's great voice echoed around the hall. The guests below also smiled as they clapped. At the same time, the music suitably rang. While the music played, Luo Feng told Su Xian he was going and then smiled as he walked towards the platform alone. Zhou Zhengyang walked down and Luo Feng walked up. On the platform. Luo Feng looked down towards the guests. As he glanced past that Lei Meng, Examiner Lei, his expression didn't change at all, he remained smiling. Everyone. Luo Feng looked towards everyone, Jiangnan Headquarter City, here, is my home. To be able to become Jiangnan Headquarter City's Dojo of Limits Examiner after growing up makes me feel extremely honored. I won't say too much, but, as an examiner, I will definitely perform my duties and responsibilities well. I will not lower the prestige of our Dojo of Limits. These words caused a round of applause. The people from the Dojo of Limits clapped especially hard. But Lei Meng and the others watched silently. China is my native country. If my native country is in trouble, I won't just watch. And the war between monsters and humanity will not allow me to retreat. Previously, I have accepted General Li Dewei's invitation, Luo Feng looked towards Commander Li Dewei below, and Commander Li Dewei smiled and nodded. All right, that will be it. The most important thing tonight is for everyone to be happy. Chairman Zhou, prepare the banquet, smiled Luo Feng. The various guests ate dinner together. Well, pretending to eat and mostly chatting. Since the people who came to this banquet are all major figures, they rarely have the opportunity to meet. For example, who can just meet the important members of the country's special forces whenever they want to? After the banquet, the various guests ate fruits as they chatted in groups. Soft music reverberated around the hall and the atmosphere was quite comfortable. Luo Feng was also chatting with squadron leader Jiang and Lu Dekai. Right when everyone was chatting in the hall. 
What? A loud exclamation rang across the hall, which caused everyone to stop discussing and look over. The one who yelled was actually the commander of the southeastern sector, general of the land forces, Li Dewei. Li Dewei was currently having a call. I'll be back immediately. Li Dewei's expression was serious as he hung up. Commander Li, what's wrong? Headquarters City Mayor Yi Zhong came over. Huge problem. The monster hordes from the sea have already come into conflict with the front lines of the southeastern sector, Li Dewei's expression was serious. After saying this, the entire hall went into an uproar. The sea monsters have formed hordes and are invading? What grade? asked Mayor Yi. Grade 1 monster tide, said Li Dewei. Everyone in the hall was stunned. Even Luo Feng was stunned. Keep in mind that war god Lu Gang lost his life to a grade 3 rat tide. That tide already had an infinite number of rat type monsters. Above the grade 3 monster tide is the grade 2 monster tide, grade 1 monster tide. And of course, the legendary disaster grade monster tide. However, a disaster grade tide has rarely occurred on earth. The label for a disaster grade is, when an emperor level monster is included. Which leads to disastrous results. A grade 1 monster tide already represents an unending wave of monsters. Now that there's a grade 1 monster tide, I need to go back immediately. I hope the war gods here can help when we need it the most. Li Dewei looked towards the guests, since there were quite a few war gods here. How can we retreat at a time like this, the Thunder Dojo's examiner, Lei Meng, said loudly. At the same time, he purposefully looked towards Luo Feng. Commander Li, there's no time to waste. Let's leave immediately, Luo Feng directly headed towards Commander Li. For cases like this, especially times like these. Lei Meng and Luo Feng are competing, so how can the two examiners retreat from a grade 1 monster tide? Wouldn't retreating harm the honor of their dojo? Since they have taken up the position of examiner, they naturally have to take up the responsibilities that come with the position. They have to bring honor to their respective dojos. Luo Feng, be careful, said Su Xian as she came over. Don't worry, Luo Feng smiled as he squeezed Su Xian's nose. After that, Luo Feng got on his auto jet. Lei Meng also got on his disc-shaped fighter jet. Other war gods who wanted to help also got on their fighter jets. They all soared and swiftly headed southeast. In the fighter jet Li Dewei was on. Commander Li Dewei and the youth from before were both sitting on a chair. Commander, some people might have guessed this move, laughed the youth beside him. Li Dewei's expression was serious, so what if they know? The sea monsters have been gathering. The amount of sea monsters in the Huangpu River region is starting to scare us. If we don't fight today, the monster hordes will probably attack after one or two months. We can't just always wait for the monster hordes to initiate the attack can we? We might as well start the battle earlier. We can attack before the sea monsters make sufficient preparations. And using this banquet, we can get quite a few war gods to help, smiled Li Dewei, especially Luo Feng and Lei Meng. One of them is an invincible war god while one of them has a black god set. If the two of them cooperate with our army, they won't be less effective than a huge army of 200,000 people. The youth nodded. Tell me, who will be able to kill more horde leaders later, Luo Feng or Lei Meng, smiled Li Dewei. Chapter 181, The War Between Humanity and Monsters Translator, Translation Nation Editor, Translation Nation Autojet Number 1, follow the disc-shaped fighter jet in the very front, commanded Luo Feng. The black suit on Luo Feng instantly started to change. Soon enough, it completely disappeared, revealing the white-collared shirt within. Luo Feng took off the white shirt and revealed the black vest within. Throwing knives danced as they flew out of the vest. Ho Hu they quickly assembled, forming the soaring shuttle. The amount of monsters in the sea monster horde will be uncountable, so my golden silk net will just get in the way, thought Luo Feng to himself. He didn't bring his golden silk net, because it is only useful in a 1v1 situation. The black membrane covered his entire body and swiftly transformed into the shape of a battle uniform set. A black helmet even appeared on his head. Fellow war gods, a sound carried from the tactical communications watch, I am lead away, I am lead away, 50 more seconds to arrive at the front lines. There are an uncountable amount of sea monsters ahead. Fellow powerful war gods, please enter the front lines and assist the army in fending off this time's monster tide. War gods with black god sets could try and enter the horde to attack within. We have arrived. After hearing this sound from his tactical communications watch, Luo Feng quietly said, Number 1, open the hatch. Walla. The hatch opened. Luo Feng, who had his black uniform set on his body, helmet on his head, and ghost blade on his back, stepped onto the soaring shuttle and directly flew out. After that, the auto jet closed its hatch and then hovered in midair. Fighter jets swiftly landed in the forward base below. This forward base was blocking a region of the Huangpu River. This region was completely clogged with large amounts of boulders and reinforced steel. A miniature military base built out of reinforced steel was built on top. Large amounts of cold light fired out of large, sturdy cannons. So this is a grade 1 monster tide. Luo Feng was hovering on his soaring shuttle around 1000 meters above the ground and was completely stunned as he looked below. 
The Huangpu River was an important passage for the limitless sea monsters in the southeastern sea to attack the mainland through. For dozens of years, tons of sea monsters caused the Huangpu River's depth and width to become even more astonishing than it was before the Grand Nirvana period. Who knew how many sea monsters were lying in wait in the Great Huangpu River? And the military base here was clogging up the entire Huangpu River. So the monsters can't get past. And now. Rumble, as if the sky was going to fall and the earth was going to shatter, the sound of cannon fire rumbled throughout the area. Densely packed sea monsters of all types covered the entire ground as they either flew out or crawled out from within the Huangpu River. Within these monsters were ferocious arthropod-type monsters, crawling-type monsters which were most familiar with the land, peculiar nidaria-type monsters, echinoderm-type monsters, and tons of tons of fish-type monsters. The monsters in the sea are at least ten times more horrifying than the ones on land. 1. There are tons of them. 2. They have extremely odd abilities. For example, just look at the shrimp-type and crab-type monsters within the arthropod group. Before the Grand Nirvana period, thousands of different species of shrimp and crabs have been discovered. If you count in the ones that haven't been discovered, there are probably tens of thousands of different species. After mutating, the shrimp-type and crab-type monsters have reached an even more astonishing number. And this is even more so the case for nidaria types and echinoderm types. Before the Grand Nirvana period, humans have predicted that there are over 2 million different species in the sea. And now? After the Grand Nirvana period, nobody knows. They only know that there are way too many horrifying monsters of all types. What happened to the various island countries from back then are an example of their power, so no country dares to underestimate the monsters in the sea. Holy shit! What types of monsters are these? Luo Feng was flabbergasted. Whoosh! Luo Feng's gaze turned cold and the membrane instantly covered his face, revealing only his eyes. After that, he soared downwards on his soaring shuttle. From the sky, the monsters seemed densely packed. After charging downwards, the monsters seemed even more formidable. Huge amounts of all types of fish-type monsters jumped to a height of 20 to 30 meters out of the Huangpu River. A seemingly infinite amount of fish-type monsters savagely revealed their teeth, which could even grind reinforced steel. Luo Feng, Lei Meng, please kill some of the Horde Leader-level sea-type monsters on the land, Commander Li's voice carried from the Tactical Communications Watch. Horde Leader Level. Luo Feng looked below. Right away, he saw a gigantic sea monster that was around 15 to 16 meters long with a huge turtle shell on its back. There were even some portions of the gigantic turtle shell that were sticking out and also had a faint gold color to them. Its head was like a dinosaur's head. It had a tough skull and even grew out a black pointy horn. Its gigantic sawblade-like mouth made none doubt its destructive power. It was currently swiftly moving without pause. Can't aim, it's moving too quickly, in a building around a thousand meters away, one of the operators of the laser cannon said in a panic, these horde leader levels have all become smart. After getting hit before, none of them stop moving after landing on shore. No matter how fast the laser cannon is, it still needs a human to press a button to command it. A human's reaction time, added with the time it takes to press the button, isn't fast enough. Boom. 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 The cannonballs fired from cannons with calibers of over 100 mm rained all over the front lines. The 200 meter region between the real military base and the sea virtually became a sea of fire. An uncountable amount of sea monsters crazily charged while the military base crazily fired all sorts of cannons. Whoosh. A black light flew through the infinite sea monster horde like lightning. Pooh. Pung. Because the firepower covered the entire region, quite a few large caliber bullets shot towards him. There was even a cannonball that flew straight towards him. However, it was controlled by a shapeless energy and ended up blowing up on a rampaging crab-type monster. Even though steel pieces flew everywhere, the black shadow's speed didn't drop at all. Die. Whoosh. 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 Six cold blades rotated as they flew in front of him. The blades flew across the neck of the gigantic turtle-type monster that was charging at the military base. Like cutting through an apple, the horde leader level sea monster's horrifying head was directly split open. Its huge body kept charging forward, smashing away quite a few other sea monsters in the process. After that, it stopped moving. Great. Nice. Examiner LUO is so powerful, quite a few people in the military base yelled in joy. Rumble. P.U. But now, a gigantic monster that seemed like a snake crashed into the military base. The walls of the military base shook violently. The wall had quite a few holes and cracks in it already, so after it shook, large amounts of concrete fell from it. And at the same time, without any sound or sign at all, a blinding white light shot out from one of the towers in the military base. It gave this huge horde leader level monster no chance to dodge as it directly incinerated it into nothing. The laser cannon. However, as the snake-shaped horde leader monster crashed into the wall, it also released an extremely powerful electrical attack at the same time. Pa. A twisted bolt of lightning rapidly spread out and even slipped inside the military base along the muzzles of the cannons. This horrifying bolt of lightning caused quite a few casualties in the military base. I can't believe there are so many horde leader level monsters, Luo Feng scanned around and locked onto another horde leader level monster. Whoosh! 
Even Luo Feng's own body is tough enough to ignore some cannon fire. Regular sniper rifles can only threaten low-level commander-level monsters. These huge cannons can usually kill medium-level commander-level monsters. As for high-level commander-level monsters, it is all up to luck. And for horde leader-level monsters, they can only rely on the laser cannon. But for Luo Feng, the toughness of the Black God set is even tougher than an emperor-level monster. You usually need an astonishing amount of impact force to kill a human wearing a Black God set by shocking him to death. Just like how Luo Feng couldn't do much against Liao. Since the Black God set can absorb 90% of the impact force and the remaining 10% spreads across the entire body, which means every part of the body can help withstand against the force of impact. Over 90% of the laser cannons in the military base on the front lines were used against horde leaders. Just that amount of power. Even if Luo Feng accidentally gets hit, it won't harm him. The third horde leader level. A gigantic monster that was around 30 meters long shook its black tentacles like crazy as it tried to kill Luo Feng. Against this gigantic being that seemed like a small mountain, Luo Feng got on his soaring shuttle and nimbly dodged the tentacle attacks again and again. At the same time, his cold throwing knives shot towards this octopus type monster. Inside the military base, operations room. All around were 3D holograms displaying the scenes of battle outside. Commander Li Dewei's expression was serious. Beside him stood other top officials in the military. As for the war gods, they have headed outside to assist the army a while ago to stop the monsters that are capable of charging into the military base. BEP BEP BEP. The alarm suddenly rang. A transparent jellyfish type monster entered the base, the alarm system immediately gave its alert. At the same time, the 3D holograms around them immediately displayed an image. Using infrared, they saw a transparent jellyfish with large amounts of soft tentacles entering the outer part of the military base. Thankfully, there were very few soldiers on the outer part. Squad number 3, head towards trap H21, Li Wei directly gave his command. Suddenly. Rumble. 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 The entire military base shook violently and the people in the operations room lost balance for a bit. There's an extremely powerful sea monster crazily attacking our military base from the water below, someone yelled immediately. The appetizer is over and now we're playing for real? Commander Li Dewei remained expressionless as he commanded, with the military base as the center, throw napalm bombs in the surrounding 1000 meter radius. Yes. The command was sent out. An old man wearing a military uniform in the operations room couldn't help but to ask, Commander, isn't it a bit early to throw the napalm bombs out? Even though the sea monsters are powerful, even after mutating, they can only stay on land for a short period of time. If time goes on for too long, they'll die from lack of water. Sea monsters need water, so even if napalm bombs can't burn these sea monsters to death, it can quickly use up the water in their bodies. So, fire is an extremely effective measure to use against sea monsters. Not early. Li Dewei let out a rare smile, this time we have an invincible war god to help us. I thought he didn't have a black god set, but he actually does. An invincible war god with a black god set has an astonishing amount of power. Contact Luo Feng, commanded Li Dewei. Examiner Luo Feng, please enter the water and kill the large sea monster that is attacking our military base from below, requested Li Dewei. Through the 3D hologram they could see. Luo Feng in his black uniform set just killed a horrifying Nidaria type monster. After receiving this message, he stepped on his soaring shuttle and with a whoosh, ignored all the various sea monsters and charged straight towards the Grand Wangpu River like lightning. Chapter 182, Sound Wave Attack Translator, Translation Nation Editor, Translation Nation Splash Luo Feng charged into the Huangpu River. With his naked eye, he could only see peculiar shaped sea monsters. When his spiritual force spread out, it covered the surrounding 100 meter radius. Within this 100 meter radius were over 100 different types of fish type monsters, and various other monsters of different types. There sure are a bunch of them, Luo Feng could feel the threat that sea monsters had against humanity. Keep charging downwards. As of now, plane after plane flew in the air and dropped large amounts of a new kind of napalm bombs like a celestial maiden spreading flower petals. With the military base as the center, the surrounding 1000 meter radius was covered with the weapons that the sea monsters hated the most. Even both sides and the surface of the Huangpu River were covered. Ho <laughs> ho. The surrounding 1000 meter radius instantly became a sea of fire. The monster's bodies aren't afraid of being burned. But. The water in their body is swiftly evaporating. Monsters like Nidaria type monsters, jellyfish, etc. can probably stay alive on land for 2 or 3 hours after their mutation. However, in a fire, they rapidly lose large amounts of water, so they can't even last for 2 to 3 minutes. According to the type, different monsters can last for different amounts of time. These napalm bombs, even after being dropped onto water, continued burning. Water cannot extinguish it. Dirt won't put it out either. Rolling around on the ground will do nothing. In fact, doing that will just increase the amount of flames on your body. Which is to say, even if you escape the sea of fire, you'll still be on fire. You can say, that this is the weapon that sea monsters hate the most. Without a doubt. 
In the Sea of Fire, the overall power of the sea monsters dropped by around 70%. But even so, it is still going to be extremely difficult for the military base to block off this attack. Huangpu River, 50 meters below the surface. Because the sea monsters have been swimming around here for dozens of years, the Huangpu River was indeed much deeper than it was before. Just these three big guys, under the light of the fire on the surface of the river, Luo Feng, who was at the bottom of the river, saw three gigantic beings in the distance with a glance. The shortest of the three gigantic beings was around 60 meters long. The largest one was at an astonishing 90 meters long. If you put it upright, it can rival the height of a 30-story building. The one thing they have in common is. They all have a sharp horn. The sharp horn on their heads crazily slammed into the foundation of the military base. Every time their sharp horn attacks, it can pierce into a distance of 7 to 8 meters. This caused the entire base to rumble. However, the horns can't pierce a large enough hole for their gigantic bodies to enter through. So, they can only attack over and over again to get the desired width, go in a few meters, and then go back to crazily attacking again. As of now, they have only moved forward by around 10 meters. Two mountain shaking whales. An. A roaring sky beast? Luo Feng was astonished. The largest one was indeed the roaring sky beast. The other two mountain shaking whales, determining from the size of their bodies, are probably medium level horde leader level monsters. And that roaring sky beast is probably a high level horde leader level. The current Luo Feng doesn't really care about high level horde leaders. But, this roaring sky beast. Even though Luo Feng knew very little about sea monsters, he still knew quite a bit about the extremely horrifying and infamous sea monsters. The roaring sky monster was indeed one of these extremely horrifying monsters. The roaring sky monster has a gigantic amount of power. Its strongest attack is the sound wave attack. Sound wave attack. Luo Feng slightly frowned as he immediately transformed his black god set into earplugs and stuffed his ears. His black helmet formed layers and layers of protection over the portion of his ears. I need to kill the roaring sky beast as fast as possible and then eliminate the two mountain shaking whales. Luo Feng stepped on his soaring shuttle and transformed into a black bolt of lightning as he charged. The fact that the soaring shuttle is amazing cannot be denied. Even the water can help it speed up. No wonder it's a treasure that even Hong deems important. Ang. The gigantic roaring sky beast suddenly turned its head and, without any warning, immediately let out an ear-piercing sound. The sound then disappeared. Buzz. A vacuum was immediately blasted out of the water of the river between the roaring sky beast and Luo Feng. The river water around Luo Feng completely disappeared, and the sound wave attack instantly hit Luo Feng. It was so fast that Luo Feng was given no chance to escape. The sound wave attack that countless war gods feared struck Luo Feng. However, after going through the special material that makes up the black god set, the attack rapidly weakened. And Luo Feng's ears were heavily protected, so the target of the attack, the obvious, head, was easily spared from disaster. Hmm. Luo Feng only had a slight headache and nothing else. He couldn't help but to let out a smile, the black god set is indeed powerful. It can deflect sharp attacks. It can weaken impacts. It can greatly decrease the effect of sound waves. This mysterious treasure originating from archaeological ruin number 9 was indeed mysterious. Whoosh. After deflecting the sound wave attack, Luo Feng immediately transformed into a bolt of lightning as he charged towards the gigantic roaring sky beast. However, at this time, the river water beside Luo Feng started rumbling and formless attacks struck towards Luo Feng. Whoosh. 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 Six curved blades immediately flew past the river water like moonlight around 70 to 80 meters to the left side in front of him. After that, a painful scream rang. The river water rumbled and a milk-white colored blood spread out. Humph, a transparent jellyfish-type monster actually tried to ambush a spirit reader. I guess it was tired of living, scoffed Luo Feng to himself. Out of the sea monsters, there are many types of jellyfish-type monsters. As of now, three types that are completely invisible to the naked eye have been discovered. Even though they attack in different ways, they have still been categorized together as the invisible jellyfish type. For human fighters, they pose a gigantic threat. But even if you can't see it via sight, Luo Feng's spiritual force detected it a long time ago. Roaring Sky Beast. Mountain Shaking Whale. Luo Feng seemed like he was going to slaughter some sheep as he charged towards the three gigantic horde leader level monsters. This battle between monsters and humanity was as tragic as always. It continued on until 8 a.m. of the second day. Even though the sea monsters never broke past the military base, quite a few horde leaders charged in by themselves. Large hordes of sea monsters capable of discharging electricity, and large hordes capable of spitting poison, and even hordes that can shoot air bubbles like shockwaves, all sorts of attacks from all sorts of peculiar sea monsters seeped into the military base, which caused quite a few casualties for the human army. Command Room of the Military Base High-ranking people of the military and the war gods that came to assist were gathered here. Everyone was in a good mood. Thank you, everyone. We were able to successfully defend against the wave of sea monsters. Within half a year, the sea monsters probably won't launch an assault of such a scale, Commander Li Dewei was in an extremely good mood. 
Even though losses were great, they are quite insignificant when compared with the losses in the past. The one who did the most work was Luo Feng. Luo Feng and Lei Meng were the only two people who possessed black god sets out of all the war gods, including the ones originally part of the army. And even though Lei Meng is powerful, the sea monsters can escape once they lose. So even though Lei Meng can defeat horde leaders, it is extremely difficult for him to kill them. But Luo Feng is different. With his soaring shuttle and blade pieces, which horde leader can escape such speed? They all died. And this battle. Lei Meng killed two horde leaders. He also fought back quite a few of them during critical moments, which helped the army quite a bit. Luo Feng killed 15 horde leaders. Fellow war gods, sell all your monster materials to our HR alliance, laughed an old man in the command room. Those preparing to sell them to dojos, ask me, laughed commander Li Wei. Even though the war gods risk their lives to fight for the army, they usually don't ask for anything in return. However, as long as they can find the corpses of the monsters they killed, they would usually sell them to the HR alliance, since the HR alliances offers better prices. The Chinese army also supports this process. Because the Chinese government receives a bit of profit from the HR alliance, since they allow them to spread across the country. This time, Examiner Luo Feng earned the most. Examiner Luo Feng, you're going to be rich. A group of war gods smiled as they congratulated. Because Luo Feng was blocking the front, none of the war gods in the military base died. So everyone was in quite a good mood. I have three horde leaders materials here. As for the other horde leaders, I don't need them, the huge black bag that Luo Feng was carrying automatically opened, and large amounts of monster materials poured out from it and dropped onto the ground. Even though he killed 15 horde leaders, he used his blade pieces to cut off the important parts and put them in his bag at the same time he killed them. He only stored the materials of three horde leaders, which were all high level ones. As for the other ones, he'll donate them to the country. Ha, huh, then I will shamelessly accept them, Li Wei didn't decline. Commander Li, you're not humble at all, a powerful war god started laughing on the side. Li Wei smiled, would a rich man like Luo Feng care about such a small amount? Out of the 15 horde leader level monsters, the most valuable materials are from the three that Luo Feng kept for himself. The old man that was currently examining the materials from the three high level horde leaders couldn't help but to glare at Li Wei, boldly, even though the other horde leaders are low level or medium level ones, there are a lot of them. I estimate that the total will come to 30 billion. A low level horde leader ranges from 500 million, 3 billion at the HR alliance. A medium level horde leader ranges from 1.5 billion, 9 billion. Out of the 12 that Luo Feng killed, most of them were low level horde leaders and not medium level horde leaders, so the total would indeed come to around 30 billion. Roaring Sky Beast. Nine headed snake dragon. The old man that was examining the materials was flabbergasted. The Roaring Sky Beast were extremely horrifying high level horde leaders. They were even more powerful than the Steel Armored Dragon. Since they are both in the sea, it is harder to kill them. I'll take these two for 20 billion. As for this one, I'll take it for 12 billion. In total, 52 billion Chinese dollars, smiled the old man. Okay, nodded Luo Feng. Luo Feng wasn't too happy with the results from this war. Money? After becoming an invincible war god, money is not as important. Real treasures cannot be purchased with money. Military base. Li Wei personally escorted Luo Feng outside. The two of them walked side by side out the base. How are the losses this time? Asked Luo Feng. Around 1,000 warriors died and almost 1,000 people are handicapped, Li Wei shook his head as he sighed, and these results are considered good. With you here, the most threatening horde leaders were killed off, so we had an easier time dealing with the monster horde. Just you alone can match a gigantic army of 200,000. In the past, Li Wei couldn't help but to shake his head. In the war against the sea monsters, human casualties are too great. Otherwise, he wouldn't purposefully use the gathering of war gods this time. And... Li Wei shook his head as he laughed helplessly, the billions of sea monsters we killed this time, to the countless sea monsters in the sea, is like a drop in the ocean. Just a drop in the ocean. Chapter 183, Cleansing of the Soul. Translator, Translation Nation. Editor, Translation Nation. A drop in the ocean, Luo Feng slightly nodded as he sighed. No, you don't understand, Li Wei shook his head, without personally experiencing the struggle for life every single day back then, there is no way you can understand. How my generation feels. Luo Feng froze. Li Wei sighed, I was born in a beautiful time. The year I was born in was during the transfer of sovereignty over Hong Kong, 1997. My family can't be considered rich, but we were well off. I grew up without any worries, I played online games and read web novels. My parents would always scold me a bit every day, which irritated me quite a bit. Luo Feng looked at Li Wei with shock. Online games? Web novels? In this age, all the students spend their free time from class in the dojo. Becoming a fighter is the dream of every young person. Don't look at me like that. 
Since you haven't experienced such a peaceful period, it is unimaginable, Li Wei let out a smile as his eyes looked back on his memories, during that time, we would even chat on online discussion boards and sheetpost. We could gather for dinner and go on field trips. There truly were no worries at all. However. 2015. It all started on January of 2015. We instantly fell from heaven to hell. That year was the year I was preparing for my high school exams. However, there were no exams. Nightmare befell. The virus spread across the entire world via air. Anything that needs to breathe was infected. My friends died one by one. The girl I had a crush on, the brothers I played basketball with, my neighbors, my guildies from my online games, all of them died one by one. I almost broke down. I thought I was going through a nightmare. Sadly, I realized that that was just the beginning of the nightmare. On the second half of the year of 2015, countless mutated monsters started attacking the cities where humans gathered. From a few scattered battles to full-blown wars. We didn't care about these primitive monsters, since we thought they wouldn't stand a chance against human weapons. But we were wrong. The real disaster began. Cities were invaded and humans started running for their lives. Almost six full years of running. I passed by the angel of death multiple times. I struggled for my life every single time, for failure means death. Because of that, I had to pull through. From a simple youth who never experienced pain, to a cruel, experienced warrior. Li Wei's voice became low, in those six years, I watched my father die for me. I watched the girl I love who escaped with me lose her life to the mouth of a monster. I could only clench my teeth and run away while wiping my tears. I trained bitterly and squeezed out my body's potential. Finally, humans relied on laser cannons and powerful fighters to end up in a stalemate between the monsters on land. And thus, the Grand Nirvana period ended. Humans entered the Headquarter City Age. And I officially joined the army. With a blink of an eye, around 30 years passed. Li Wei seemed to smile without worry, but Luo Feng felt like that smile contained too much bitterness to express. For 30 years, humans and monsters fought. Even though the scale wasn't as large as the battles in the Grand Nirvana period, it never stopped, Li Wei shook his head as he said, just counting the armies under my control, do you know how many people have died in the past 30 years? Luo Feng froze. A rookie replacing a veteran. I can't even say how many times that has happened. Death notices being sent to their families one by one. They died so humans can exist, sadness could be seen in Li Wei's eyes, however, I powerlessly realized that a new monster type will appear in each sea monster's assault every year. A stronger monster will appear every year. What does that signify? Li Wei stared at Luo Feng, it means that, the sea monsters are continuously becoming more powerful. I'm scared. I am very scared, a tear could barely be seen in Li Wei's eyes, humans can never go on the offensive, and the monsters in the sea can continuously evolve and become more powerful. I am scared that there will be a day. That humans will go extinct. Luo Feng's heart froze. However, for sea monsters to attack humans, they have to go through the rivers to attack the inland area. So. I will dedicate my life to blocking them. I will definitely not allow them to advance by a single millimeter. The farther they are blocked from the land, the bigger the buffer the headquarter city has. Ever since I became the commander of the southeastern military sector, for a whole 11 years, 6 months, and 3 days, the sea monsters have not been able to advance a single step further along the Huangpu River. As Luo Feng heard this, his heartbeat accelerated. From his heart, he truly started to respect the senior in front of him. Because of their sacrifice, young people like him are allowed to grow up in headquarter cities peacefully. I'm going to do everything I can against these sea monsters for the rest of my life. All I want is for my future grandsons to have a future, to have hope, said Li Wei softly. Future, and hope? Yeah. If the headquarter cities are invaded again, will the future generations have any hope? Luo Feng, Li Wei lightly patted Luo Feng's shoulders, in this age, humans can only rely on two trump cards to survive. One is the high-tech laser cannon, and one is the power of a fighter, fighters as powerful as Hong. For humans to survive, they can either invent a weapon more powerful than the laser cannon as of now. Or, another ultimate fighter like Hong and Thunder God can appear. Or even a fighter that surpasses Hong and Thunder God. Li Wei looked at Luo Feng, Luo Feng, when I was young, nobody taught me anything. Because of that, I went down the wrong path. I'm an intermediate level war god, but this is my limit. I have no hope of improving. But you are different. You aren't even 20 years old yet. Luo Feng, an existence surpassing the war god level can be compared to an army of a million people. And Hong and Thunder God are even more powerful, making them unrivaled. Humans are able to peacefully live in headquarter cities now because Hong went to negotiate with the countless emperor level monsters on land. So, one Hong is more valuable than a country's entire army. I hope. You can reach that level, or even surpass that level. As he watched Luo Feng's auto jet fly away, Li Wei had a complicated expression on as he silently mumbled to himself, I am already old, and Luo Feng. Your future is limitless. Luo Feng's thoughts were in disarray because of the words that Li Wei gave to Luo Feng at the Huangpu River's military base. 
He trained like crazy in the past mainly for the sake of his parents and brother. Ever since he became an invincible war god, even though he still worked hard, he didn't have much pressure anymore. Enemy, Liao? Hasn't cared about him for a while. Family? They're doing great. Money? Right now, money doesn't serve much of a function. Authority? Even leaders and heads of organizations, families, and armies are all passionate when faced with him. Dad, Mom. Minyu Sector. Luo Feng walked into his home. You're back. Breakfast is already ready for you. Maid, yelled his father who was reading. Your brother is jogging outside. Ever since he got his legs back, he loves to jog, his father's smile was bright, oh yeah, Feng, when are you planning on getting married? The only thing your mom and I want to do is to hug our grandsons. Luo Feng sat in front of the dining table. He drank hot porridge and listened to his father. Suddenly, he felt like. He was extremely happy. The warriors in the military base give up their lives in battle so the civilians in the headquarter cities can live peacefully. Maybe, this is why Commander Li Dewei and countless soldiers work so hard. Hey, Wei. He sat on the floor of the training room as he smiled while holding his cell phone, what, you're going to travel with your girlfriend this summer? How romantic. Yeah. Alright. However, I don't have much time now, since I still have to go out at the end of the month. I'll see you later. Yeah, okay, see ya. Luo Feng's face was filled with smiles. Wei was having a good life too. His parents were also happy and his brother's relationship was going great. Luo Feng recalled the words that Commander Li Wei said. All I want is for my future grandsons to have a future, to have hope. There's still a future. There's still hope, mumbled Luo Feng to himself. I also want my parents to enjoy the rest of their lives. I also want my brother to marry and have kids and have a family. I don't want all of this to be destroyed by monster hordes. I want the future generation to have hope. In this moment, Luo Feng was determined like never before. I also want to pursue the limits of life and surpass my limits. Become a representative, a chairman, and even more powerful than them. Continue to surpass. I also want to become like Hong and use my own power to make the monster hordes of the land tremble. I also want for the future generation to have a future and to have hope. Luo Feng's eyes were filled with determination. Hard work. Move forward. Surpass. When I close my eyes for the final time when I die, I don't want to have any regrets because I didn't work hard enough in the past. After this time's cleansing of the soul, Luo Feng's beliefs were hardened like never before. For the entirety of September, Luo Feng dedicated himself to his blade technique, technique, fitness level, celestial deity catalog, and other things he has to train. His dedication, instead of making him feel bored, made him feel a joy that came from within the deepest part of his heart. His body's genetics started to perfect themselves. His strength improved again and again. This physical change to his body made him feel great. Forcing himself to train leads to poorer results. If he enjoys his training and the feeling of becoming a more powerful being, the rate at which he improves becomes alarming. Dawn of September 29th, the time when Luo Feng tested himself. An. His fist strength reached 258,103 kilograms, which is over 256,000 kilograms. He has officially stepped into the advanced level war god level fitness level. Afternoon of September 29th, around 2 p.m. He wore a new blood red colored SS battle uniform which he bought at the cheapest price from the palace of war gods and had a SS ghost blade on his back. Luo Feng's body seemed like a polished jewel. As he stood there, he seemed like a blade that could shoot towards the sky as he possessed infinite fighting spirit. Dad, Mom, I don't know how long I'll be gone this time. Luo Hua, while I'm gone, take care of Dad and Mom. Got it, bro. Be careful out there, followed his parents. Luo Feng slightly smiled and then directly walked outside towards his auto jet. The hatch of the jet automatically opened. Luo Feng entered it and the hatch closed. Whoosh. The dark blue triangular fighter jet swiftly ascended and flew out of Jiangnan headquarters city's defense network. It then transformed into a stream of light and rushed towards the Dojo of Limits World Headquarters. Chapter 184, Archaeological Ruin Translator, Translation Nation Editor, Translation Nation Hongning Headquarter City The Dojo of Limits World Headquarters was an old, gigantic spaceship. At the parking area beside the gigantic spaceship landed a dark blue triangular fighter jet. Inside the auto jet, we can't use the Black God set in the archaeological ruins, so I have to leave it here, Luo Feng extended his right hand. Soon enough, the black membrane gathered on his right hand and transformed into a black glove, I still have to give up control. After the Black God set absorbs the blood of its host, it undergoes a transformation, it becomes tied to its owner's body like never before, as if it was its owner's skin. It could change into tens of thousands of different things and even hide below skin. However, there is one downside. Once it's on you, it is very hard to get it off. There are two ways to get it off your body. First way, death of the owner. Second way, force out the blood that the black god set absorbed. 
This way, the Black God set will automatically come off. Now, I'll get the Black God set off. I have to let it absorb my blood again later, laughed Luo Feng helplessly. In a moment, the black glove fell onto the seat of the auto jet. Number one, put away the black god set, after saying that, Luo Feng left the auto jet. Inside the gigantic spaceship. Right when Luo Feng arrived, he was led to a certain resting lounge. The lounge was huge and had a few dozen seats. Six people were already in the lounge. With a glance, Luo Feng determined that a man and a woman were of Chinese descent. The one sitting with his eyes closed was Indian. As for the other three, there were two black people who were also sitting silently and a white man with curly golden hair. Hello, Luo Feng, I am Ta Ba Yen from Kyoto Headquarter City, the Chinese man came over and introduced himself, from what I know, out of the eight people departing this time, only you and me are from China. Oh, Lady Li who I was talking to is from Hongning Headquarter City. Oh, Luo Feng slightly nodded, said a few words, and then sat on the side. To prepare to enter the archaeological ruin. Soon enough, the eighth and last member arrived. All the war gods of the Dojo of Limits headed to archaeological ruin number 9 have arrived. Everyone, please follow me. Under the lead of a man wearing a loose red robe, Luo Feng and the other seven war gods from all over the world arrived at a room made out of a weird purple-colored wood. Luo Feng and the others have never seen the purple wood that made up the room. However, it had a weird smell that could help someone gather their spirits like never before. A man wearing black was currently standing in the room. His back was faced towards Luo Feng and the group. Head. Luo Feng and the other seven people all slightly bowed. Only after that did the black clothed man turn around. He scanned across Luo Feng's group as he said emotionlessly, Archaeological Ruin Number 9, even though it's one of the safer archaeological ruins, its death rate is still very high. If any of you want to leave, you can say it now. Otherwise, it will be too late for regrets after entering the archaeological ruin. Everyone stayed silent. Very good, said the black clothed man calmly, Allure, come in. His sound spread out. Whoosh. A blurry image came together outside the door, which showed to be a mysterious girl who was wearing a golden mask and a black robe. Her black, long hair was spread out. Because the mask was blocking her face, you could only see her eyes, nose, and mouth. However, just from those, you could tell that she is an extremely beautiful person. Especially those eyes, it seemed to attract the deepest part of one's soul. She's mixed race, Luo Feng determined this from her eyes, allure of the three royal guards, no wonder she got that nickname. The three royal guards are the most loyal subordinates of Hong. Because they are always with Hong, the three of them are more powerful than the average strength of the five investigators. The eight of you will depart to archaeological ruin number nine in a bit. Allure will lead, commanded the black clothed man. Yes. Everyone heeded the order. Luo Feng stay, everyone else leave, commanded the black clothed man. Soon enough, only Luo Feng and the black clothed man, Hong, remained in the room. The black clothed man said calmly, Luo Feng, you asked the intersection about the archaeological ruins through phone? You don't want to go? Head. Luo Feng slightly bowed, I did make a phone call to ask about it. At that time, I thought that it wasn't worth it to enter the archaeological ruin, because after risking my life, the only thing I get in the end is a black god set. Because of that, I was quite hesitant at that time. You changed your mind, the black clothed man looked at Luo Feng with a bit of shock. Yes. Luo Feng nodded, the path to aim for the limits of life is filled with difficulty. Of course I can't shy away from any challenges. Pedestrians can get hit by a car. Even in a sector, a dropped vase could hit your head. Nothing is absolutely safe. I picked this path because I need the courage to fight. If it's absolutely safe, then there's no point in challenging it. Only because there is danger can my blood boil and fill me with the will to fight. And also, I was already told that my chances of success is over 80%, so what do I have to be afraid of? Luo Feng's eyes were bright. The black clothed man looked and nodded to himself. This young man in front of him is talented, but to become truly successful, talent isn't enough. This young man, compared to the last time he saw him, has at least double the fighting spirit. A flowing fighting spirit that seems to have been hammered repeatedly. If you truly want to break past the limits of life and become the most powerful fighter on earth, then you need an unstoppable fighting spirit that isn't willing to give in to anything. Good. All I want to tell you is. Even though, advanced level war god level spirit readers that entered the archaeological ruin number 9 have failed, none of them died, said the black clothed man. Luo Feng's heart skipped a beat. No wonder. No wonder Hong wanted him to go, as if Hong knew nothing would go wrong. Of course, there are barely any advanced level war god level spirit readers in the first place, so we don't have enough data to absolutely guarantee your safety, said the black clothed man, go join the group. Yes, head. Luo Feng left immediately. Whoosh. A universe level auto jet was currently soaring the air with amazing speed. Inside was indeed royal guard Allure and the eight war gods. 
You guys can just call me Mrs. Representative. It felt extremely comfortable to listen to Allure's voice. Our destination is Archaeological Ruin Number 9. Archaeological Ruin Number 9 is in the depths of the Amazon rainforest in South America and is one of the safer archaeological ruins. The white guy suddenly said with curiosity, Mrs. Representative, so there are other archaeological ruins? Of course. No one could see Allure's full facial expression, but you could see the ends of her mouth curve upwards, I can tell you of one. Archaeological Ruin Number 1 is the first archaeological ruin we found on Earth. It is located in the depths of the sea around Bermuda in the North Atlantic. Including Luofoam, everyone couldn't help but to gasp. Archaeological Ruin Number 1. First one found. However, as of now, there is no way to enter the entrance of Archaeological Ruin Number 1. Allure's voice was a bit evil, even the most powerful person and the hardest metallic weapon. After entering, will instantly be destroyed. Luo Fong and the others were at a loss for words. All the humans on Earth can't even get past the entrance of this Archaeological Ruin Number 1. Even Kong and Thunder God cannot enter. It seems that even SS grade materials and even higher quality materials will be destroyed. I probably shouldn't even bother thinking about this place. I need to bring up my skill first, thought Luo Fong to himself. Everyone, listen carefully, I'm only going to say this once. Allure's voice became slightly louder. Archaeological Ruin Number 9 is an archaeological ruin that uses a disqualification type of trial. When you enter, fighters usually continue through the Type A tunnel. Spirit readers will be arranged to go through the Type B tunnel. After Allure said this, everyone started listening carefully. It seems like spirit readers and regular fighters are treated differently inside. After entering the depths of the archaeological ruin, everyone will encounter different things. The difficulty will be different too. However, those who succeed will receive the ruin's reward, a the Black God set. Those who fail, even if they don't die, will become handicapped. Allure suddenly stood up and faced towards the control area of the Universe Level Auto Jet, Command. Ruin number 9 inch. Beep. Whoosh. 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 Eight red lights flew out of the auto jet and shot towards Luo Fong and the other war gods' tactical communications watches on their wrists. The group became confused. Don't panic, the sides of Allure's mouth slightly curved upwards, as if she was about to laugh. There are words inside archaeological ruin number 9. However, they are different from any language on earth, said Allure. If you don't understand what is being said and can't read the words in the ruin, you will waste a huge amount of time. Early on, nobody understood these words. There were war gods that spent a full seven months before coming out. Understanding what is being said in the ruins will save you guys a lot of time. So before entering, I will install a piece of translation software in your tactical communications watch. This translation software can translate everything in archaeological ruin number 9 to Chinese and English. After you guys come out, I will be responsible for uninstalling this archaeological ruin number 9 translation software. After 5 minutes, the installation process finished. South America, Amazon Rainforest. Night. The universe level auto jet was flying downwards. It then slowly descended. Hua. The hatch opened. Luo Fong and the other seven war gods and Balur walked out together. What was around them was a forest whose ends could not be seen. A few monsters could be seen too, but none of them dared to come close. A chi chi sound rang, and the dirt on the ground started rumbling. The ground unexpectedly split into two as it separated and revealed a tunnel towards the underground area that was five meters wide. Beep. A silverish gray elevator actually rose to the surface. The elevator doors opened and an old man wearing a red robe came out. Representative Allure, the red-robed old man slightly bowed. Okay. Allure looked towards Luo Fong and the other seven people as the sides of her mouth slightly curved upwards, all right, hurry and enter and then go in the archaeological ruin. Each of you will encounter different things. I hope all of you can come out alive. After that, Representative Allure directly flew into the universe-level auto jet, which quickly flew away. Everyone, please make haste. Archaeological ruin number nine will only be open this year for two more hours, reminded the red-robed old man. Chapter 185, Brain Vigor 21 Foot Translator, Translation Nation Editor, Translation Nation The final two hours? It seems like you can only enter this archaeological ruin number 9 at certain times, thought Luo Fong to himself. At the same time, he remained silent as he entered the silverish gray elevator with the seven other powerful war god fighters. The red-robed old man pressed the button. Beep! The elevator doors closed and the silverish gray elevator started to descend. Shishi, the opening quickly closed and the depths of the Amazon rainforest went back to silence. Even so, none of the various monsters roaming around in the Amazon rainforest dared to come near this place. Hua. The elevator doors opened. What appeared in front of them was a black hallway forged out of alloy. There were lights along the hallway. Everyone, welcome to the base of the human camp in archaeological ruin number 9, the red-robed man spoke fluent Chinese, and then followed up with fluent English, right now, we are kind of in a rush, so I won't go on. Everyone, please follow me. 
The red-robed man walked ahead and the other eight people followed behind. There were nine checkpoints along the black hallway. Finally, they arrived in an empty lobby that was around a few hundred meters wide. There were almost a hundred people from all over the world gathered in the lobby and most of them were in front of computers. Welcome, War Gods. War Gods, we will pray for your success. Go go go, we'll receive our fellow War Gods when they return. We will have absolutely amazing champagne. The various members in the underground base seemed to be overpassionate. However, Luo Fong and the other seven remained silent. The red-robed old man smiled on the side, ignore these guys. All of them have remained here for too long, so they get a bit excited when they see outsiders. Alright, are the eight of you ready? He said that in Chinese and English. Luo Fong and the other seven remained silent. They just stared at him. Very good. Open the entrance, yelled the red-robed old man loudly. Crack. An arc-shaped portion of the alloyed wall in front of the lobby split open and revealed a circular tunnel. What? Holy. The eight war gods who remained silent the whole time looked at the round tunnel with shock. Even their eyes were filled with complete shock. Luo Fong also couldn't hide his surprisement. When the tunnel first started opening, the first two to three meters were still made out of alloy. However, further in, was a weird dark brown color, as if tree branch after tree branch tied together to form this tunnel. At the end of the tunnel was actually a mirror that continuously emitted light. It's probably a mirror. Keep going forward through the tunnel and enter that mirror that's emitting light. That actually isn't a mirror, but the entrance to archaeological ruin number 9. Once you enter, there'll be no turning back. War gods, I pray that you can come out alive, the red-robed old man looked at Luo Fong and the other seven war gods. The people in the empty lobby also looked at Luo Fong and the seven others. After going in, their lives will be left to fate. The eight war gods remained silent for a bit. Everyone, Luo Fong walked towards the tunnel, I'll be going in first. Enter. Go. With Luo Fong in front, the other war gods also entered the tunnel one by one. Krayak, the alloyed wall behind them closed. There was no way back. After stepping on the dark brown tree branches that formed the peculiar tunnel, a weird smell emanated. Luo Fong smelled it, HM, this smell is coming from this tree branch? How come it smells like the, the black god set? Only after the black god set sticks to you can you smell its light, yet never fading, smell. The shining mirror? Is the entrance to the archaeological ruin? Luo Fong looked in front of him. Brother Luo Fong, I wish you good luck, yelled Ta Ba Yen on the side. Good luck to you too. Luo Fong laughed and then stepped forward into the shining mirror without hesitation. As if it was the surface of water, the mirror easily swallowed Luo Fong. I'll go next. The black man spoke his native language, clenched his teeth, and then stepped into the circular mirror. One by one. All eight people entered. This was a black lobby. The front part of the lobby was a semicircle shaped. The entire lobby was a few hundred meters wide. A dreamy light shone from the black lobby ceiling, causing the entire lobby to seem quite dreamlike. This is archaeological ruin number 9. Luo Fong stood inside the lobby and looked around him. His face slightly changed, where's everybody else? At the same time, Ta Ba Yen and the other war gods also appeared in their own black lobbies. These black lobbies were exactly the same. Just what you'd expect from an archaeological ruin. Right when I stepped through, everything was blurry, and then I appeared in this lobby. I'm even separated from everyone else. Ta Ba Yen looked at his surroundings with curiosity. Despite saying that, they all knew that each war god would encounter different things with different difficulties inside the ruin before even entering. Suddenly, a dreamy light encapsulated Ta Ba Yen. XXXXXX, a complicated sound rang in the lobby. Thankfully there's a translation software, Ta Ba Yen lowered his head and looked at his tactical communications watch. Just two seconds later, the tactical communications watch gave its translation, please enter the Type A tunnel. After that, a few words appeared on the display of the tactical communications watch matching the translated ancient ruins language. The black lobby was currently rumbling slowly. Only after about half a minute did a black tunnel appear. Beside the tunnel were a few complicated letters. Oh, the words are the same, so this must be the Taipei tunnel. This is the only tunnel here anyway. Ta Ba Yen directly walked towards the tunnel. After he entered, the entire black lobby instantly disappeared. You can say that, at the same time, seven of the eight war gods were headed towards the depths of the archaeological ruins along the tunnels. In the black lobby, a dreamy light encapsulated Luo Fong. What's going on? This colorful light has surrounded me for over 60 seconds already. How come there's no response at all? Luo Fong was quite confused as he raised his head and looked at the colored light. He had no idea that the other seven war gods were quickly released from the light and were already headed to their respective tunnels to the depths of the archaeological ruin. Only Luo Fong. XX, XX, XX. A piercing sound that had rhythm to it suddenly rang across the black lobby. Translation software, Luo Fong lowered his head and looked at his tactical communications watch. The software was running, and what came out of the tactical communications watch was the sound alert, alert, alert. Alert? Luo Fong froze. 
Luo Feng did not know that a situation like this has never occurred since humanity discovered archaeological ruin number 9. The dreamy light that was surrounding Luo Feng suddenly disappeared. At the same time, crystals that were as thick as a finger shot down from the walls of the black lobby. At least a hundred crystal ropes shot towards like lightning. They were even faster than the vines in the misty island back then. Not good, Luo Feng wanted to dodge. Sadly, these crystal ropes were unbelievably fast, so Luo Feng had no time to respond as they instantly wrapped around him. The crystal ropes wrapped Luo Feng into a dumpling. What's going on? How come I never heard that you get tied up right after entering? Luo Feng quickly controlled the soaring shuttle in his backpack. Six blade pieces flew outside of his backpack and slashed towards the crystal ropes like lightning. The blade pieces of the soaring shuttle that could cut through steel like tofu couldn't even leave a mark on the crystal ropes. Break open, Luo Feng struggled with all his power. P.U. 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 He continued to slash with his blades. Sadly, as if a tiny child was struggling, nothing he did could get him out of the crystal ropes. Luo Feng soon understood. That his strength is nothing in this archaeological ruin. Makes sense. Is an archaeological ruin that can grant black god set after black god set something he can oppose? Archaeological ruins are indeed filled with mysteries. Who would have thought that I would run into a situation like this right off the bat? However, these crystal ropes are merely immobilizing me. They don't seem to want to kill me, Luo Feng thought to himself. And at this moment, a flowing light flowed through the crystal ropes that were tying up Luo Feng and headed towards the ceiling of the black lobby. As if a machine was sending a signal. This process lasted for about 30 seconds. Suddenly, whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. All the crystal ropes quickly retracted and merged into the walls. XXXX, XXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXX
At this rate, even the greatest expert will get lost, Luo Feng carefully examined his surroundings. Around him were ancient tunnels formed by the black tree branches. Nothing stood out. In a path around 300 meters away from Luo Feng, a blurry black shadow seeped out of the walls in the path made out of the black tree branches. In a moment, as if water was dripping, the black shadow fell onto the floor of the path. It slowly came together, forming a black-robed person wearing a silverish-gray mask. The same thing was happening in the other paths. In the nine paths in front of Luo Feng and the nine paths behind Luo Feng. Each of the paths gave birth to a black-robed man wearing a silverish-gray mask. A total of 18 black-robed men started gathering towards Luo Feng. HM. People. Luo Feng saw a black-robed man come out of a faraway path with a glance. This black-robed man was wearing a silverish-gray mask and had green eyes. His eyes were revealing his unhidden killing intent. Another one. A black-robed man came out of another path. Three, four, five, six, eight, nine. Nine black-robed men stood in front of the nine paths, their green eyes filled with killing intent as they stared at Luo Feng. Roar, a roar carried from behind Luo Feng. There are nine behind me too. Luo Feng's spiritual force clearly discovered that there were nine black-robed men headed towards him one step at a time as they growled quietly. Suddenly. Whoosh. 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 The nine black-robed men behind charged towards Luo Feng along the tunnel like lightning. The nine black-robed men in front did the same. Each of the black-robed men were filled with killing intent. I can't get stuck between them in this tunnel, or else I'll be in big trouble from this two-pronged attack. Charge. Boom. With his foot on the soaring shuttle and his hexagonal shield and ghost blade in hand, Luo Feng charged forwards like a blood-red phantom. Breakthrough. Luo Feng's eyes became cold. Whoosh. 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 Six curved blade pieces danced like floating butterflies. They drew past an arc as they immediately charged towards the closest black-robed man. The black-robed man howled as the silverish-gray gloves on his hand actually tried to stop those extremely fast blade pieces. P.U., each blade piece held over 500,000 kilograms of impact force. All six blade pieces attacked the black-robed man at the same time. Like a cannonball, the black-robed man flew out. As he flew out of the tunnel, he even hit another black-robed man. Roar roar, the nine black-robed men in the tunnel behind were clearly not as fast as Luo Feng. However, the other eight black-robed men in front of him didn't charge alone. Instead, they blocked the path. Those who block me will die. Break through. Break through. Break through. Luo Feng's speed accelerated to his limit. A horrifying speed of 1000 meters per second caused a sonic boom. Even the air itself was curved under such speed. The six blade pieces in front of Luo Feng cleared all obstacles. Yet, the eight black-robed men howled crazily in front of the tunnel ahead as they waved their right hands that had the silverish gray glove on. Injuring ten fingers cannot compare to breaking one of them. Luo Feng's eyes were cold. Whoosh. At the instant he charged out of the tunnel, the soaring shuttle drew past an arc and charged towards the right. He only had one target, the black-robed man on the very right. And Luo Feng's left hand was holding the shield, ready to deflect any possible attacks. Ping. Piu, three heavy fists smashed into the shield that Luo Feng was holding. Each of the fists were as heavy as mountains, over 100,000 kilograms. Thankfully the three fists didn't land at the exact same time. Otherwise, Luo Feng might have died just from the vibrations. Piu. Fresh blood sprayed out, his left arm was completely broken. Die. Luo Feng's eyes didn't even look at the other black-robed men. He only stared at the black-robed man to the very right. The six blade pieces cruelly charged towards the black-robed man's head and neck. Roar, as the black-robed man on the very right roared with anger, he swung his two hands like lightning. Sadly, Luo Feng's blade pieces were too fast. Over Mach 10. Two of them successfully slashed the black-robed man's neck. P.U. The first blade piece couldn't even cut through one millimeter. P.U. However, the second blade piece slashed through half of the neck. Out of the way. Luo Feng, who was traveling over 1000 meters per second, roared as his eyes became red. The ghost blade in his right hand instantly transformed into a thunderbolt. Thunderbolt, quick to the extreme. Luo Feng was on his soaring shuttle, moving at a speed of over 1000 meters per second, completely using the fourth stage of the nine-stage thunder blade, and using his thunderbolt technique. This blade is the strongest attack Luo Feng has ever done. The blade directly slashed past the heavily injured black-robed man. Boom! First the blade slashed past, and then Luo Feng's entire body smashed into him. The black-robed man blew up. Roar, roar, the other black-robed men charged towards with rage like lightning. Each of them were sprinting at a speed of 800 meters per second, which is much faster than Li Yao's speed. Each of them rivaled Phantom Demon Catalan. Including the black-robed man that Luo Fent blew away earlier. A full 17 black-robed men crazily pursued. Too late for you guys, Luo Feng charged towards the very right tunnel like lightning. Whoosh. 
With a sonic boom, Luo Feng left behind an afterimage as his speed on his soaring shuttle reached 1,300 meters per second, which is 500 meters per second faster than the black-robed men. So, in just a few seconds, Luo Feng left those black-robed men behind. However, Luo Feng continued to fly down path after path for half a minute before stopping. Nine paths after nine paths after nine paths, never ending. They better be able to find me after all this, this maze's design shocked Luo Feng. In terms of complexity, this maze was quite simple. It's just that, how do you even construct such a huge maze? After running so much, I probably won't be able to find the way back for a while, Luo Feng shook his head as he laughed, at least I got through this part. Those 18 black-robed men were too hard to deal with, as each of them could rival a fighter at the peak of the war god level. The gloves they were wearing were also quite peculiar. Once surrounded by the 17 black-robed men. Luo Feng has no confidence in surviving without his black god set. All 17 black-robed men were at the place they were battling at earlier. The pieces of the dead black-robed man's corpse were scattered around the ground. Suddenly, as if it melted, the pieces of the corpse slowly sank into the ground and disappeared. The bodies of the 17 black-robed men became blurry as they transformed into a shadow and merged into the ground. In the depths of archaeological ruin number 9, the hundreds of thousands of thousands of transparent crystal ropes extended towards the same direction. At the same time, a flowing light flowed through them as they gathered towards the same point. The black tree branches formed a wide path. There were nine paths ahead. Another nine paths. Will I ever reach the end at this point, no matter how good of a temper Luo Feng had, he couldn't help but to stop. Every path was exactly the same. If I succeed, I can get a black god set. But, what counts as succeeding? Luo Feng looked at the paths in front of him and thought to himself helplessly. If he was directly told that. Defeating a few black-robed men counts as passing, then he could work hard and go for it. But right now, there was no sign at all. Luo Feng couldn't help but to shake his head. In a silent path, Luo Feng was still thinking about what to do. And without a sign. Whoosh. 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 Like rain, transparent flowing lights shot down from high above. These transparent flowing lights instantly formed a crystal house that was 5 meters high and 8 meters wide. It trapped Luo Feng inside. What's going on? Before I could even react, it formed a crystal house and locked me up. Luo Feng looked at this crystal house. With a thought, six throwing knives smashed towards a circle on the same crystal wall with a speed of over Mach 10. The crystal house slightly shook. Sadly. Not a mark was left on the crystal wall. What is this house made out of? Even diamond would have turned into powder from that impact, Luo Feng was a bit scared. A total impact force of over 3 million kilograms within a 5 centimeters diameter circle couldn't even leave a mark. XXXXXX. A mysterious sound reverberated within the crystal house for quite a while. Luo Feng was overjoyed. The archaeological ruin was finally giving a message. He quickly looked down towards his tactical communications watch and his translation software immediately translated the entire message. Elite student Luo Feng, your test, the death mission, has officially begun. For the duration, you will receive food and water. The instruction manual of the basic 312 moves of the spirit reader, controllers, will be carved onto the wall of the testing room. After learning these 312 moves, you will have a chance to break out of the testing room. Luo Feng scanned the wall of the crystal house. On the semi-transparent wall of the crystal house were large amounts of all sorts of complicated engravings, over 300 human body diagrams, and archaeological ruin words beside them for further explanation. Luo Feng felt like they were extremely complicated just by looking at them. This seems to be the basics of the spirit reader, controllers? Just the basics? The death mission requires you to break out of the testing room within three years. If you cannot break out of the testing room within three years, then you fail. Failure means death. Chapter 187, The News of Luo Feng's Death. Translator, Translation Nation. Editor, Translation Nation. In the half-transparent crystal house in the maze in the depths of the archaeological ruin. Failure means death. Three years? Luo Feng's face was looking extremely bad. He can't even contact the outside world within the archaeological ruins. And this special, death mission gave him a duration of three years. If he was actually stuck in these ruins for such a long time, what would the people outside think? They would probably think he's dead. And then they would contact his parents. Even Su Xian would know. What should I do, I'm not even dead. If I stay in here for a long time, I won't even be able to contact the outside world, Luo Feng was extremely anxious. When he thought of his family and Su Xian thinking he's dead, he couldn't help but to become even more anxious, fuck, can't believe I ran into this stupid test. I rather not have the treasures I receive from succeeding. Luo Feng couldn't think of what would happen to his family if he wasn't there for three years. Hurry. I need to break out of this testing room as fast as possible. Luo Feng scanned across the walls of the crystal room. There were large amounts of complicated engravings on them, but Luo Feng couldn't bother with them anymore. He clenched his teeth, whoosh. 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 
Six throwing knives transformed into six lights as they blasted within a circle with a diameter of three centimeters. Boom. 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 Again and again, Luo Feng crazily attacked with all of his power. Break. Luo Feng screamed from his heart. I don't want to stay here for three years. He attacked again and again. However, not a scratch was left on this weird crystal-like material. It's no use, no use, Luo Feng helplessly kneeled onto the floor of the crystal house. Logic told him that since this mission gave him a full three years, breaking out of this crystal house is, without a doubt, extremely difficult. If only. If only he could contact the outside world with his tactical communications watch to tell his family and his girlfriend that he's still alive, then that would be good too. But, he can't contact them. If something happens to his parents, then what's the point of these rewards? If I can't oppose this, then I can only accept it. Luo Feng's gaze was as sharp as a knife as he scanned across the diagrams and words of the instruction manual, if you give me three years, then I will break out of this testing room within three months. Click. Luo Feng pressed the button of the tactical communications watch. As if he was taking a video, he recorded all of the diagrams and words on the wall into his tactical communications watch and then translated it to diagrams and Chinese through his translation software. After around 20 minutes, the secret instruction manual for controllers, basic 312 moves, was complete. As of now, it was 2256 September 29, 2057 in Beijing, China. Luo Feng has already started studying the instruction manual for controllers, basic 312 moves. His desire to go home caused Luo Feng to focus completely into his studies. There was food and water in the archaeological ruin. If he's thirsty, he would drink. If he's hungry, he would eat. As for the rest of the time, it was completely used into studying these basics. After starting, Luo Feng realized how deep this instruction manual, basic 312 moves, was. In terms of complexity, who knows how many times more complicated this is compared to the Celestial Deity Catalog. The Celestial Deity Catalog is just a bunch of dull drawings where one has to model these drawings with throwing knives. This takes upon the idea of a practice makes perfect, as the person continues to push his throwing knife control to the extreme. From this, the person is able to improve his control. These drawings were created by Hong through an AI system. The drawings get harder and harder. However, the basic 312 moves is different. The ones who built this archaeological ruin number 9, which was built to contain the training method of the basics of the spirit reader, controllers, is a certain organization in the universe. This instruction manual gave birth to an uncountable amount of powerful people tens to hundreds of times stronger than Luo Feng in the distant past. The thing that Luo Feng bought back then that was treasured by Hong, spirit reader basics, was created with the knowledge that humans had over the course of a few dozen years. But the basic 312 moves was created with thousands of millions of years of testing. Once he began training, Luo Feng immediately realized the difference between the two. Luo Feng improved quite slowly after practicing the Celestial Deity Catalog for such a long time, but after practicing the basic 312 moves. His ability to control throwing knives increased with a whoosh. Even Luo Feng was surprised at his improvement. Boom. Still not enough, in the crystal house, Luo Feng, whose face was stubbled, stared at the crystal wall. There were no marks on the crystal wall, and the ten blade pieces that crashed into the crystal wall danced back to the soaring shuttle, ten whole blade pieces, each blade piece with an impact force of over 500,000 kilograms, is not even close to enough. Continue. Luo Feng yet again sank into the basic 312 moves. From six blade pieces to ten blade pieces, only two months and 21 days have passed. Keep in mind that after practicing the Celestial Deity Catalog for a month, he couldn't even go from six throwing knives to seven. When the two are compared, the difference is shocking. Underground base of archaeological ruin number nine. It's been three months. The red-robed old man shook his head as he sighed, three whole months, and Luo Feng hasn't come out yet. Notify the dojo of limits. Yes. The many members of the base quickly sent the message. Luo Feng had no idea how shocked the outside world was while he buried his head in his studies. As of now, of the eight war gods that entered archaeological ruin number nine, five people came out. Of these five people, two of them succeeded while three of them were handicapped. There were another three people that didn't come out. Usually, if you aren't able to come out of the archaeological ruin alive, then you would be determined as dead. However, keep in mind that one of the three people that weren't able to come out was the famous, invincible war god, Luo Feng. Nobody would think that Luo Feng would fail. Even if he failed, he should at least be able to escape with a disability. But no news of Luo Feng and the two other war gods could be heard. Dojo of Limits World Headquarters, in the gigantic spaceship-like structure. The black-clothed man, Hong, stood there silently as he looked outside through a window. Head, said Allure respectfully. I didn't think that, I really didn't think that. Hong sighed deeply. Of the eight that entered, five came out. The fastest one came out in just three days. The slowest one came out in 15 days. The last three never came out. Including Luo Feng. Usually, if they don't come out after three months, then they would be determined dead. 
Before the translation software was made, the longest time it took for a war god to come out was seven months, since they couldn't read or understand anything that was going on in archaeological ruin number nine. But after the translation software was made, efficiency was greatly increased. The longest time it takes for someone to come out is just half a month. The dojo doubled that time, making the final date three months. If they aren't able to come out of archaeological ruin number nine within three months, then they would be determined dead. Three people couldn't make it out, the black clothed man, Hong, said quietly, notify their family members of their death. Luo Feng is an exception. Notify his family that Luo Feng could be dead, but not confirmed. Yes, Allure bowed. But head, it's been three months. Allure couldn't help but to say. The black clothed man sighed, I still cannot believe that Luo Feng would die in this archaeological ruin number nine. Go. Yes, Allure left. The black clothed man, Hong, silently looked outside the window. He first saw Luo Feng in the elite training camp. At that time, Hong was shocked at Luo Feng's talent. After that, his hopes for Luo Feng increased steadily. He even handed the soaring shuttle over to Luo Feng. He thought that Luo Feng would become his right-hand man one day. But he didn't think that. Luo Feng would die in archaeological ruin number 9, one of the safer ruins. Dawn, Yangzhou City, Mingyu Sector. Hongwa, what is going on, in the kitchen, Gong Xian Lan yelled, we weren't able to contact Feng for three months. I've been panicking the whole time. Relax. In the living room, Luo Hongguo laughed as he looked at his newspaper, our son is one of the most powerful people on earth. He kills monsters like he's cutting through vegetables. The commander of the southeastern sector even came to thank our family last time. Suddenly. The doorbell rang. Maybe Feng is back, Luo Hongguo immediately got up, but Gong Xian Lan was even faster than him, she ran from the kitchen all the way to the door to open it. You guys are... The couple Luo Hongguo and Gong Xian Lan looked at the two people in front of them with confusion on their faces. Standing outside their door was an extremely beautiful woman, and another woman beside her. Below the steps to the door were four more people, the chairman and the three chiefs of Jiangnan Headquarter City's Dojo of Limits. The six of them had painful expressions on their faces. Hongwa, something isn't right, I'm a bit scared, said Gong Xian Lan quietly. Chairman Zhou? Quick, come in, smiled Luo Hongwa. The six of them came in. The woman in front bowed, Mr. Luo, Mrs. Gong, I am Luo Feng's teacher Jiang Fang. Oh, teacher Jiang Fang. I've heard of you, smiled Gong Xian Lan. I came today to notify you of something, Jiang Fang's eyes had a bit of sadness in them. She couldn't have imagined that the talented, yet hard-working youth would. Luo Hongguo and Gong Xian Lan exchanged glances. Our dojo suspects that your son, Luo Feng, has died, so they wanted us to notify you too, said Jiang Fang quietly. Holy. Gong Xian Lan's eyes widened as she immediately collapsed. Luo Hongguo's body froze, but he still went to hold his wife. Luo Hongwa's tears couldn't help but to stream down. Jiang Fang also held Gong Xian Lan. Gong Xian Lan's collapsed body froze as she looked at Jiang Fang in front of her with widened eyes. Her voice was shaking, Teacher Jiang, impossible, this is impossible. Our phone is definitely fine. Impossible, impossible. Gong Xian Lan's face was shockingly pale. We aren't sure, it hasn't been confirmed yet, followed Jiang Fang. Yes, not confirmed yet, Luo Hongwa held Gong Xian Lan, there won't be any problem. Phone will come back. But Gong Xian Lan cried without a sound. Not sure. What kind of power is the Dojo of Limits? The strongest power on earth. The Dojo of Limits sent a few war gods to notify the two of them. If they didn't have a clue, would they just come and randomly say something like that? Father Luo Hongguo was clear. That there is over a 90% chance that his son, Luo Feng, is dead. Hello, Chairman Zhou. Luo Hua walked in his home with a bright smile on his face, but after looking at his father and mother, he couldn't help but to panic as he ran over, Dad, Mom, what's wrong? Chapter 188, One Year and Three Months Translator, Translation Nation Editor, Translation Nation Ever since they heard of the news, Luo Feng's family was in pain. However, like someone drowning trying their hardest to grab onto something, they wanted to believe that Luo Feng was alive, since he wasn't confirmed to be dead yet. So they waited anxiously. They also couldn't bear to notify Luo Feng's girlfriend, Su Xian, about this. Time passed day by day. There are no walls on earth that can block all wind. Since Su Xian is part of the Su family, she kind of realized what was going on after Luo Feng went missing for five months. When she anxiously asked Luo Feng's parents, they could only tell her the truth. Even though they were extremely sad, they were all waiting. Without an absolute confirmation, they won't give up. Depths of the archaeological ruin, inside the maze's crystal house. Luo Feng had tons of facial hair, but his eyes were as bright as the stars. He lowered his head and looked at his tactical communications watch. A year, it's been an entire year. 
I've been in this archaeological ruin for an entire year, with a thought, his formless yet powerful spiritual force flew out like a dragon as it rolled up blade piece after blade piece. A full fourteen blade pieces started dancing around him. They then transformed into fourteen flowing lights as they smashed towards the same point on the crystal wall. Boom! Fourteen blade pieces, each one with an impact force of over 500,000 kilograms, which adds up to a total of over 7 million kilograms. Even an advanced level war god wearing a black god set will become heavily injured from the impacts. If they are attacked multiple times, then their organs will be completely destroyed. Rumble, the crystal house shook a bit. Not enough. Over 7 million kilograms of impact force isn't enough? Keep in mind that the usual, advanced level war god usually has a fist strength of 300,000 kilograms. With a multiplier of 3, their attacks will only end up at around 900,000 kilograms. Luofong is at least 8 times more powerful. This strength is definitely way beyond any advanced level war god. It could even threaten an existence surpassing the war god level. However, it is not enough. I definitely will be able to get out. Dad, Mom, Su Exaim. Wait for me, Luo Feng closed his eyes. Two tears couldn't help but to flow down his cheek, which were quite visible since Luo Feng's face was filled with dust. Virtual space, a huge conference room. A silver floor, silver walls, and a huge silver round table. There were only six chairs that were so black they seemed to be able to swallow up sunlight. As of now, there were five white-robed people and one black-clothed person sitting on the chairs. This was indeed the round table conference of the highest level of the Dojo of Limits. The head Pong and the five investigators were here. Head, it has been an entire year since Luo Feng has entered archaeological ruin number 9. Even people who couldn't understand and couldn't read what was in the archaeological ruin back then took at most 7 months. After people were able to understand, it took at most half a month, a white man spoke slowly, so we can confirm it? The black clothed man said softly, confirm Luo Feng's death. The expressions of the five investigators slightly changed. Transfer Luo Feng's property to his family, said the black clothed man, Hong, without emotion, keep the auto jet in the dojo. Yes. The five investigators heeded the command. However, they were a bit amazed that Hong cared about Luo Feng's family so much. For someone like Hong, dealing with Luo Feng's property is nothing important at all. And yet, he personally gave the command. Even though Hong said leave the auto jet in the dojo. Keep in mind that an emperor level auto jet is extremely expensive, over 200 billion. Nobody would say anything if Luo Feng uses an auto jet. But if Luo Feng's family has this auto jet, it would be a disaster. And since Hong personally ordered the transfer of property, nobody would dare to try to take some for themselves. Keep in mind that Luo Feng's property is worth a gigantic amount. Sadly, we can't even hold a memorial for Luo Feng, since he died in archaeological ruin number 9, side investigator Lu. Usually, a memorial will be broadcasted across the entire country for war gods that have died. Even the leader of the country and various war gods will participate. Citizens from all over the country will watch the broadcast. However, Memorials will not be publicly held for war gods that have died in archaeological ruin number 9. One reason is that they need to make up a cause of death to hold the memorial. Another reason is that, the Thunder Dojo once held a memorial for the war god that stayed in archaeological ruin number 9 for 7 months. But who would have thought that he would actually come out again? Wouldn't it be awkward for someone to come to life after broadcasting his death to the entire country? Ever since that incident, memorials were not publicly held for those who died in archaeological ruin number 9. Head, we should probably start discussing who should be the new examiner for Jiangnan Headquarter City. On September 30, 2058, a notice was posted on the website of the Dojo of Limits. The news of Luo Feng's death. The couple Luo Honggua and Gong Xian Lan received the news that day. Even though they also received a gigantic amount of wealth under Luo Feng's name that day, the two of them were still extremely sad. And when Su Xian received the news that day, she couldn't handle it. She directly quit school and left. She rode on a train alone and left Jiangnan headquarter city to a foreign place. Even though the people of the Su family were easily able to track her down, the head of the Su family gave his command. Let Su Xian stay outside. Just protect her secretly, and do not bother her. Jiangnan headquarter city, Jiangnan mountain water sector, a villa on top of Marvelous Mountain. After a year later, it welcomes its owner again. Inside the villa. Ha, ha ha ha, I am so happy, so happy, inside the villa, Li Yao raised his hands and then clenched his fists. He took in a deep breath and turned his head to his wife Vanina, the Dojo of Limits finally confirmed Luo Feng's death. Too bad I couldn't kill him myself. Vanina said quietly, no, doesn't he have family? He dared to kill our child, so we. Ya Li Yao's eyes seemed to have a horrifying green light in them. However, his family is still the family members of someone who was in the Dojo of Limits, sneered Li Yao, if we kill them, then we'll get in trouble too. The best way is to use civilians to torture his family. Make them break down and even. Kill themselves in pain. That way, nobody can blame us. Li Yao looked towards Vanina, now if I use the HR alliance, nobody will stop me right? 
Last time Li Yao tried to do something like this, the chairman of the HR Alliance's underground assembly stopped him. Luo Feng is already dead. Who would care about the family members of a dead man, laughed Vanina without a care. When Luo Feng was here. Even the HR Alliance has to fear him. But now that he's dead, what do they have to be afraid of? Then let's begin, smiled Li Yao. Let me organize it. There are tons of psychology experts. It will be quite a simple task to torture them and break down their minds, smiled Vanina. Minyu Sector. What? My mom got into an argument with someone at Lotus Pond Park and was injured? Luo Hua couldn't believe this, but even if she got hit, why would my mom cry so much? Nanny Tai quickly said, that the asterisk TCH said way too much. Even I was enraged. But she had so many housewives helping her. Luo Hua squinted. Even though Luo Feng was the one who stood out the most in the Luo family, Luo Hua is also extremely talented, especially in terms of intelligence. Even Luo Feng admits that he isn't as smart as his brother, since his brother was able to thrive in the stock market at such a young age. The stock market is the place that can reflect human nature, and Luo Hua was fighting in the stock market ever since he was handicapped. As of now, he definitely counts as an expert in the stock market. It's just that. He was always overshadowed by his brother. No matter how much money he makes, he never will be able to make as much as Luo Feng. However, he isn't dumb. Rather, he's extremely intelligent. I always feared that my brother's enemy, that Li Yao, will come back. Could it be him? Even though he might be overreacting a bit, Luo Hua didn't dare to relax. As of now, he manages the gigantic amount of wealth, tens of billions of dollars, that Luo Feng left behind. And he still has a thousand-year black crow root spirit of nature, which is said to be a treasure that cannot be priced. Two months later. What? Li Yao and Vanina's faces weren't looking good. We can't do anything either. That little Luo Hua of the Luo family actually hired six advanced level warlords as bodyguards. Whenever their parents go out, two advanced level warlords will follow them, said a young man respectfully, we do not have the ability to arrange war gods to help us, so we can't do it the hard way. So we tried a different approach that doesn't require force, but... Luo Hua has now become the eighth largest stockholder of China's ICBC, so he can use China's special forces to protect his family. Li Yao and Vanina were flabbergasted. ICBC, that is China's largest bank with assets around 10 trillion. They manage over 50% of the stocks of the country's financial sector, so the top 10 stockholders indeed hold an astonishingly high amount of authority. However, the top 5 stockholders are all huge organizations and not a single person. How can a little shrimp like Luo Hua become the 8th largest stockholder of ICBC? Even if he has tens of billions of dollars, someone has to be willing to sell him all of those stocks. It's virtually impossible to purchase so many stocks in such a short amount of time in the stock market. In China, our HR alliance cannot compare to the country's special forces. This is their territory, bowed the young man as he said. Get out, roared Li Yao. The young man didn't dare to make a sound as he left. Li Yao's face was looking horrible, Luo Feng was hard enough to deal with, but who would have thought that this normal person named Luo Hua would make it so hard too? What method did he use to become the 8th largest stockholder of ICBC? Humph, I can't beat your brother. But I don't believe that I can't beat you either. Luo family. Li Yao's eyes were flashing with a cruel light. And when Li Yao started doing all sorts of things to deal with the Luo family. On December 26, 2058, which is around one year and three months after Luo Feng got stuck in the Crystal House. In the maze, the Crystal House was slightly transparent and extremely beautiful. However, it was even tougher than an Emperor-level monster scales and has trapped Luo Feng for one year and three months. Boom. After a boom, flowing lights broke through the Crystal House's wall, and a large black figure walked out with large steps with excitement. I'm finally out. I'm finally out. Chapter 189, The Ruins Reward Translator, Translation Nation Editor, Translation Nation After one year and three months of hard work, he finally broke out of this crystal house. The crystal house with a huge hole in its wall suddenly let out a shishit sound. Soon after, it completely transformed into a dreamy light and then merged into the dark brown tree branches on the ground. XXXX A familiar sound rang in the maze. After one year and three months, I finally hear this sound again, Luo Feng lowered his head and looked towards his tactical communications watch, which quickly translated into. Congratulations. You passed the death mission test. Please go along the tunnel in front of you and keep going forward. See me to retrieve your rewards for completing the mission. While the sound was still reverberating, the solid wall formed out of the dark brown tree branches in front of Luo Feng started to make an opening. A tunnel that was three to four meters wide was formed. The tunnel was dark and there seemed to be a dreamy light at the end, the same kind of light that the crystal wall was letting off. I finally succeeded. So it's time to get my reward? Luo Feng turned around to put his bag on. And then his soaring shuttle flew up. Go! With a leap, he landed on the soaring shuttle. Whoosh! 
The soaring shuttle swiftly flew along the tunnel and quickly arrived at a palace shining with light. As if it was a gorgeous palace where angels lived, the dreamy light in here never disappeared. The palace itself was around a few dozen meters wide, it was like the size of a gymnasium. Meet him? Where? Luo Feng looked around him. It was all empty. Suddenly. A huge amount of light came together and quickly formed a blurry, tall person. It focused and became a crystal person with a bald head. The light formed a person? Luo Feng was a bit nervous. Everything that has happened in this archaeological ruin has long surpassed human capability. Even the most powerful fighter is nothing in this archaeological ruin. Naturally. Luo Feng would be a bit nervous in front of this crystal person. XXXXXX. The bald crystal person smiled as it talked. Its face was extremely detailed. If it was a real person, they would probably be quite beautiful. Luo Feng's tactical communications watch immediately translated, Hello, Luo Feng. The bald crystal person took a glance at the tactical communications watch. After that, one of the flowing lights of the palace instantly shot into the tactical communications watch. Luo Feng couldn't help but to be shocked, as he could tell from the tactical communications watch's display that this bald crystal person of the archaeological ruin was currently deleting a massive amount of information from the tactical communications watch. Relax, a slightly metallic sound left the bald crystal person's mouth. Chinese? Luo Feng looked at the person in front of him with shock. Don't be so shocked. I have observed how the humans on this planet have evolved. The evolution in your language, culture, history, everything. Of course, I understand your words and languages, the bald crystal person slightly smiled, to help you accept me, I'm talking to you in the form of a person. Luo Feng calmed down. Yeah, who knows how long this archaeological ruin has been around for. It isn't weird that they know exactly how the world has progressed. Humanity's technology is still in a primitive state, continued the bald crystal person, I know everything about you guys. Because of that, I am able to call out your name Luo Feng. Before you entered here, I called out to you once. Luo Feng froze. Yeah, one year and three months ago, he was called Elite Student Luo Feng when the death mission activated. At that time, he thought the translation software added that in. Now that he looks at it, the archaeological ruin indeed knew his name. Because you activated the death mission, I called out your name directly, said the bald crystal person, if you fail the test, then you will die. That way, the news won't go out. And if you pass the test, you have the right to enter Yun Mo planet and become a member of Yun Mo planet. You will also know that I am observing this planet. Yun Mo planet? Luo Feng froze. The bald crystal person slightly nodded, knowing is the same thing as not knowing. And now, I'll give you the rewards for passing the test. The bald crystal person waved his hand. Momentarily, a few objects from the depths of the palace were carried over by a colorful light. There were four objects in total, a black vest, a silver arm guard, a book that seemed to shine with a bit of starlight, and a hexagonal-shaped metal card. These four objects hovered in front of the bald crystal person. The first thing is what you people call the black god set, the bald crystal person pointed at the black vest. The second, this silver arm guard shaped thing is a mini quantum computer. The third, is a technique for controllers, soaring sky. The fourth, is a card that lets you enter Yunemo planet. The bald crystal person touched the last hexagonal shaped metal card. There were two complicated words on it. He sighed, I'm following the program that my master set, but sadly, even if you get this card, you can't get the people of Yun Mo planet to come get you. Which means, you can't enter Yun Mo planet. Why? Luo Feng's mind was in a mess right now, and what is this Yun Mo planet? Yun Mo planet is a mysterious place in the vast universe, the bald crystal person looked at Luo Feng, sadly, I can't contact Yun Mo planet, and you can't contact Yun Mo planet via the card. According to the program in this base, I must give you this card. However, you can't use it anyway. Luo Feng was shocked. Sounds like this Yun Mo planet is a mysterious and powerful organization in this universe. They set up this archaeological ruin a long, long time ago and observed everything that was going on here. They would pick out the elites and grant them access to Yun Mo planet. However, it seems like this archaeological ruin can't contact Yun Mo planet. Yun Mo planet is probably in trouble. Or maybe it has been destroyed. Nothing is eternal. No matter how powerful or mysterious the organization is, it won't last forever. This archaeological ruin is in perfectly fine condition, so if contact cannot be made, the fault must lie in Yun Mo planet. You can't use this Yun Mo card, and you already know the usage of this black god set. And this mini quantum computer is something that every genetic fighter and spirit reader wants. It is extremely useful, said the bald crystal person, not only can it perform every function that your tactical communications watch can, it also has various other functions. The most important one is that it can evaluate a target's strength. Evaluate strength? Luo Feng was shocked. Put it on, said the bald crystal person, and then seek your spiritual force into it. As he said that, the silver arm guard flew towards Luo Feng. Okay. Luo Feng first took off the arm guard that was originally on his left arm and then put on this silver arm guard. Right when a bit of his spiritual force went into it, the silver arm guard quickly attached itself to his skin. On the surface of the silver arm guard appeared a huge amount of pictures and words, which were all in Chinese. 
The mini quantum computer also has a translation function, said the bald crystal person. The translation software in your tactical communications watch will leak out too many of this ruin's secrets, so I already deleted lots of information about this ruin from your tactical communications watch, including the controller's basic 312 moves. Luo Feng nodded. Who cares if it was deleted? Who knows how many times he has bitterly practiced those basic 312 moves over the course of a year and three months. He has those basic 312 moves memorized backwards and forwards. Press the most bottom left button on the mini quantum computer, and then point the mini quantum computer toward someone to evaluate their strength, said the bald crystal person. You can also control it with your voice. Luofone lowered his head and looked. The so-called most bottom left button was just a button formed by a few markings, since the entire surface of the mini quantum computer was smooth and flat. Luofone slightly pressed down onto the bottom left button and then pointed the mini quantum computer to himself. Momentarily, a few words appeared above the mini quantum computer, battle strength, spiritual force, student level 9. Genetic energy, student level 9. What does student level 9 mean? Luofone looked at the bald crystal person. Since you are already part of Unimo planet, you have the right to know about this, said the bald crystal person, there are an infinite amount of life forms in this wide, vast universe. Most of the life forms have the strength of student level. The so-called student level, using the terminology of your world, basically means an average civilian. Luofone froze. An average civilian. He's just a regular person. Just a civilian. The student level is split into nine different levels. Level 1 is the lowest and level 9 is the highest. Level 1 is equivalent to your beginner level warrior level and level 9 is equivalent to your advanced level war god level, smiled the bald crystal person, the strongest fighter on your planet, Hong, has received a few inheritances from a few archaeological ruins. That's how he came to know about the nine different levels. Maybe because he thought those nine levels didn't sound good, he changed them to warrior, warlord, war god. However, across the vast universe, this level is labeled as student. Luofone took in a deep breath. Above the student level is the star traveler level. Only after reaching the Star Traveler level can you be called Genetic Fighter, Spirit Reader. Before the Star Traveler level, you're just a student with no right to be called a Genetic Fighter, Spirit Reader, after the bald crystal person said this, Luofone was speechless. He is called an Invincible War God, but it turns out he doesn't even have the right to be called a Spirit Reader. The Star Traveler level is also split into nine levels. On your planet, existences surpassing the War God level are Star Traveler level fighters, said the bald crystal person. Luofone came to a realization, so all those mighty and great representatives are Star Traveler level fighters. After becoming a Star Traveler level fighter, you can wander around in space and at least keep your stomach full. You have the basics to survive, smiled the bald crystal person, but your planet doesn't have the technology to allow you to wander around in space. What about strength? Luofone asked, how powerful are they? Luofone was curious as to how powerful the existences surpassing the War God level, Hong, and Thunder God were. Most of them are at the Star Traveler level 1 stage, only a few of them are at the Star Traveler level 2 stage. Two of them are at the Star Traveler level 3 stage, said the bald crystal person, the most powerful fighter, Hong, is at the Star Traveler level 6 stage. And Thunder God is at the Star Traveler level 7 stage. The two of them are much more powerful than the rest. Luofone froze. Hong is at the Star Traveler level 6 stage. And Thunder God is at the Star Traveler level 7 stage. Wait, Hong should be more powerful than Thunder God, Luofone couldn't help but to say. I am talking in terms of level, which is the power of their body, genetic energy, and spiritual force. That is not their true battle power, said the bald crystal person, Hong's fitness level and genetic energy is indeed weaker than Thunder God's. However, true battle power doesn't just rely on fitness level or genetic energy. Like you. The bald crystal person looked towards Luo Feng, your spiritual force is at the student level 9 stage. But, your battle ability amplifier is 16. Your genetic energy is at the student level 9 stage with a battle ability amplifier of 3.5. As of now, Luofone can simultaneously control 16 throwing knives at maximum power. Both at the student level 9 stage, but is a battle ability amplifier of 2 and 10 the same thing, the bald crystal person looked at Luofone. Luofone froze. Yeah. The mini quantum computer only looks at the basics of your body. When he first came here, his spiritual force could control 6 throwing knives, but now he can control 16 throwing knives. The difference in power is gigantic, but the test still labels him at the student level 9 stage. Student level 9 stage, battle ability amplifier of 16. Is equivalent to a star traveler level 1 stage, battle ability amplifier of 4, said the bald crystal person, most star traveler level 1 fighters have battle ability amplifiers of 3 to 4, so your current battle power can compare to most people at the star traveler level 1 stage, which is your so-called existences surpassing the war god level. The bald crystal person pointed at the hovering book with a bit of starlight shining from it, however, you have an instruction manual teaching an attacking method for controllers, soaring sky. This soaring sky teaches you how to use the weapon for controllers, the soaring shuttle. In the past, you didn't even understand how to use the soaring shuttle and actually used it as a regular throwing knife. That is a disgrace to this weapon built for controllers. What is a controller? asked Luofone. 
The fighters in the universe are split into genetic fighters and spirit readers. These are the two large categories. Genetic fighters are further split into smaller categories, and so are spirit readers. You are in the controller type category of the spirit readers. Using the words of your planet, it is simply telekinesis. Luophone was shocked. It looks like the universe has long established a perfect system about training. Spirit readers in the Star Traveler level all wish for a weapon for spirit readers. Who would have thought you actually obtained one inch said the bald crystal person, so you are quite lucky. Even though that Hong knows about the treasure, one, he isn't a spirit reader, and two, he doesn't have the manual that teaches him how to use the soaring shuttle. So that's why he gave it to you. Luo Feng was overjoyed. No wonder Hong seemed a bit reluctant and said that he purposefully lowered it to 30 stars. Even spirit readers of the Star Traveler level wish for a weapon like this, and he actually got it. If they don't have a weapon built for them, how much of their strength can they actually use? And now that you have the Soaring Shuttle and the Instruction Manual Soaring Sky, you can unleash the Soaring Shuttle's true potential. Without the Soaring Shuttle and Instruction Manual, you can already compare to a Star Traveler Level 1's battle power. But with them, it's like giving wings to a tiger. Your strength will increase dramatically. As to how much it will increase, it depends on how well you can use the Soaring Shuttle, said the bald crystal person. Luo Feng's heart rate accelerated. Even though he hasn't broke through to the Star Traveler level yet, with his Battle Ability Amplifier, Soaring Shuttle, and the Soaring Sky Instruction Manual, the usual existence surpassing the War God level won't be his opponent. Usually, you need to be able to control 12 throwing knives at maximum power to break through to the Star Traveler level. But you are talented, as your brain vigor is 21. So your breakthrough requirement is higher than the normal person's. You need to reach 16 throwing knives to be able to have a chance to break through, said the bald crystal person, right now, you can break through at any time. I left the method for your breakthrough in the mini quantum computer. Take a close look at it when you get back. Luo Feng was excited. No wonder the Crystal House's toughness setting was set so that he needed 16 throwing knives to break it open. He had to reach 16 throwing knives to be able to break through to the Star Traveler level. You are the first person on Earth to become a member of Unimo Planet in the past 5,000 years, said the bald crystal person, but you can't get proud. In terms of battle power, that Hong is way more powerful than you. He has his own domain already. You can say that he is invincible in the Star Traveler level. As the first person in 5,000 years to become a member of Unimo Planet, even though you can't enter Unimo Planet anymore, I still hope for you to surpass them and become the strongest fighter, said the bald crystal person as he looked at Luo Feng. Chapter 190, Luo Feng is back. Translator, Translation Nation. Editor, Translation Nation. The bald crystal person was the central AI of the entire archaeological ruin. However, it's not the type of AI that Hong makes, but an AI with human intelligence and even a bit of human emotion. Its original program was to serve Yunemo Planet, so it thought of itself as a member of Yunemo Planet. Yunemo Planet, only those with true talent, perseverance, and intellect are able to join. Otherwise, even a Star Traveler level fighter doesn't have the right to join. Luo Feng is extremely talented. To be able to finish the test in one year and three months, his perseverance and intellect is clearly displayed. Only someone like this has the right to enter Yunemo Planet. Sadly, something happened to Yunemo Planet. All these years, this central AI hasn't been able to contact Unimo Planet, so it could only guess that something has happened to Unimo Planet. However, it is an AI, so it must obey the program it is following. Year after year it continued its mission on Earth. Now that there's finally someone who was able to become a part of Unimo Planet, its tiny, emotion, hoped for Luo Feng to surpass everyone on Earth. Yeah, I'll work hard, nodded Luo Feng, I wonder if there is anything above the Star Traveler level? Of course. Star Traveler level fighters are only able to survive in space while they wander around, said the bald crystal person, above the Star Traveler level is the Star level. Star level fighters are also split into nine stages. And above the Star level is the Universe level. Star Traveler level, Star level, Universe level. Luo Feng kept that in mind. Star Traveler level fighters can fly between the stars. And Star level fighters, to you fighters on Earth, have the ability to destroy the sky and Earth. They can fly in space without a spaceship, but only for a short time. They cannot survive for a long period in space. Universe level fighters can wander around in space with just their body. Each of them are truly powerful. For your Earth, universe level fighters are deities that you cannot oppose. Even Hong and Thunder God are ants in front of them. They can just exhale a breath and the resulting shockwave would kill Hong. They can fight with battleships in the universe. Each of them are extremely powerful. Reaching the universe level counts as joining the ranks of the powerful fighters in the universe, smiled the bald crystal person, of course, just merely joining them. If they choose to, a universe-level fighter can easily have a few dozen stars, a countless amount of beautiful women, authority, servants. And, only above the universe level can you truly cause the many countries in the universe to fear you, said the bald crystal person. Luo Feng held his breath. A countless amount of beings in the universe are at the student level. Star traveler level fighters merely exist, star level fighters are kind of powerful beings. Universe level fighters are large, respectable figures. 
It takes a countless amount of stars to give birth to one universe level fighter. And there are barely any fighters above the universe level. Even countries around the universe have to respect those fighters, said the bald crystal person. Luo Phone was flabbergasted. It takes a countless amount of stars to give birth to a universe level fighter? One can imagine how rare universe level fighters are. Not bad, looks like Earth isn't doing too bad. Keep working, Luo Phone. You have hope for the star level. If you work hard, get lucky, meet famous people, etc. You still have a sliver of hope of reaching the universe level, said the bald crystal person. Luo Phone didn't even know what to say. Does this AI even know how to comfort people? He has to work hard and get lucky and meet famous people to just have a sliver of hope. That's basically saying, Luo Phone, you have a 1 in 100 million chance to reach the universe level. Well, the bald crystal person can't be blamed. It takes a countless amount of planets to give birth to a universe level fighter. Even though Luo Phone is talented, you cannot measure the amount of life forms in the universe. There are probably hundreds of billions of more existences that are more talented and are more determined than Luo Phone. The chances of becoming a universe level fighter? They are indeed extremely small. That is an existence that can fight against a battleship with their bare hands. Extremely powerful. You aren't encouraging me, you're making me lose confidence, said Luo Phone helplessly. Go. Earth is your home. Keep working hard. If there is a day where this location is discovered by other countries in the universe, then the stronger you become, the better it will be for you. You might even be able to help out your home planet, after saying that, the bald crystal person dissipated and became a countless number of flowing lights, the tunnel is open, you can return home. Go back home. Luo Feng's heart was beating quickly. The palace walls moved and then formed a tunnel made out of a huge amount of dark brown colored tree branches. At the end of the tunnel was a shining mirror. Back then, he went through this mirror to enter the archaeological ruin. I can finally go back. Dad, Mom, Sue Exayan. Luo Phone put the soaring shuttle and the other things into his backpack and then took large steps as he headed towards the mirror through the tunnel. After that, he stepped out of the mirror. Archaeological Ruin Number 9, Underground Base This base was formed by various different organizations on Earth. Whether the five great countries, two dojos, or the HR Alliance, all of them have the right to send people into Archaeological Ruin Number 9. The various people here also come from various different organizations. Ah. Uh. Zhang Qing, who was wearing a white robe, stretched in front of the computer, Man, I'm bored. Sai, this novel still hasn't updated yet. The members of this underground base indeed had very little to do. Other than the basic operations of the base, they just had to receive war gods and contact their organizations. Other than a few notebooks for work, there were various computers here for entertainment. After I play some games, I'll be off work, Zhang Qing suddenly froze. Rumble. Zhang Qing rapidly turned his head. The near hundred members of the entire underground lobby all turned their heads towards the large door. That door is the door to the tunnel that leads to archaeological ruin number 9. Other than manually opening it, the door also automatically opens when the sensor sends a war god coming out. Someone is coming out? Wait, the war gods this year already came out two months ago. Another batch of war gods were indeed sent in again on September 29, 2058. However, the slowest one came out on October 25th. Now it's already December 26th. Ever since the translation software was created, nobody stayed in the ruins for a duration of three months before coming out. Damn, someone stayed in for three months. OMG asterisk. Oh lord. All the members stood up and looked towards the slowly opening door. They all wanted to see which war god stayed in for three months before coming out. Crack. The door was mostly open and someone who was completely black stepped out. A black person? They all froze as they looked at the person in front of him. This person was black and his mustache was dirty, so he really seemed like a black person. Beep. A beam of light scanned past Luo Fong. Welcome back, War God Luo Fong. This was the electronic sound of the underground base. Luo Fong? It's Luo Fong. Holy, one year and three months. Luo Fong is still alive. The entire lobby went into an uproar. Luo Feng's death back then was a huge incident. Even the head of the Dojo of Limits, Hong, treated that case seriously. Many people didn't think that Luo Fong would die, but who would have thought that one year and three months later, Luo Fong would come out of the archaeological ruin again? Welcome, War God Luo Fong, someone came up to receive him. However, most of the people in the lobby were still going crazy. Holy. He stayed in archaeological ruin number 9 for a year and three months. Ever since the translation software was made, the longest it took for someone to come out is half a month. How could this happen? Report, Luo Fong is back. Reporting to headquarters, the Chinese war god, Luo Fong, is back. The various members of the underground base started to do their work as they notified their respective organizations. This was definitely an earth-shaking piece of news. The genius, an invincible war god, stayed in the archaeological ruins for an amazing one year and three months. Dojo of Limits World Headquarters, inside the gigantic spaceship structure. Top floor, in an empty room. 
The black clothed man, Hong, held a spear as he closed his eyes. He stood there silently, and then slowly began to practice his moves one at a time. He did them extremely, extremely slowly, but the weird thing is that once he started to do them, the surrounding space itself seemed to curve. The space became so curved that the spear became blurry. Knock, 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 an anxious knocking sound rang from outside. Hmm, the black clothed man, Hong, slightly frowned. Everyone is banned from interrupting his training sessions. The only ones allowed to even reach this area are the five big investigators and the three royal guards, nobody else has the right. But none of these eight people are dumb. So unless something extremely important is happening, nobody would distract him. Come in, said the black clothed man, Hong, coldly. The door opened automatically. Three people came in, which were two royal guards with black robes and golden masks, and Investigator Lu. What's going on? Hong was extremely shocked. It was really shocking that three people came in together. Head, Investigator Lu was a bit excited as he said, Luo Feng came out. What, Hong froze. Beside him, the royal guard with the beautiful figure said quietly, Head, Luo Feng, who stayed in archaeological ruin number 9 for one year and three months, came out alive. Even Hong was surprised. Too extraordinary. One year and three months inside an archaeological ruin that even he doesn't understand. Since Luo Feng stayed in there for such a long time, he must have had some special rewards. Depart right now, I'll personally go welcome war god Luo Feng of our dojo, the black clothed man, Hong, let out a comforting smile. The five powerful countries, two dojos, and the HR alliance received this piece of news at virtually the exact same time. All of those powers were stunned. The archaeological ruins are something that even modern age technology cannot understand. Despite that, even though Luo Feng had the translation software with him, he actually managed to stay in there for one year and three months. Something special must have happened. Jiangnan Headquarter City, Jiangnan Mountain Water Sector, in the villa on top of Marvelous Mountain. Not bad, Luo Hua, you managed to save your old dad's life from that, Li Yao sat on the sofa, his eyes shining with a fierce light while he held a glass of red wine. Whoosh. Someone charged into the living room like lightning, it was indeed the blonde-haired Venina. What are you so in a rush for, frowned Li Yao. He took a sip of red wine and closed his eyes in extreme satisfaction. Luo Feng is back, said Venina in a rush, he came out of archaeological ruin number 9. Li Yao, who had his eyes closed in satisfaction, widened his eyes out of disbelief. The glass slid off his fingers and crash. Smashed onto the ground. It split open and the red wine that poured everywhere seemed like fresh blood. Chapter 191, 50,000 Years Translator, Translation Nation Editor, Translation Nation Human Underground Base of Archaeological Ruin Number 9 War God Luo Feng, here is a clean set of clothes. War God Luo Feng, do you need anything else? Luo Feng, who looked like a black person, took a glance at the two girls at the door and waved his hand, no need. With a thud, the door to the room closed. Haven't had a bath for a year and three months. Luo Feng swiftly took off his battle uniform set and his clothes and then charged into the tub in the bathroom. Hot water continuously came out of the faucet. When Luo Feng went in, the tub of the water swiftly became black. There's no helping it, Luo Feng only had water to drink in the archaeological ruin. Want to take a bath? In your dreams. As he lay in the tub and allowed the hot water to wash his body, Luo Feng couldn't help but to use his mini quantum computer to make a call. The mini quantum computer has already copied all of the phone numbers and other crucial data from his tactical communications watch. It's been a year. I wonder how my parents are and if they're doing well. Actually, Luo Feng wanted to make this call right when he came out of the archaeological ruin. But since he was blocked by the massive amount of workers in the underground base, Luo Feng could only find a room to take a bath and then make the call from there. Beep beep beep. The call went through. Jiangnan Headquarter City, Yangzhou City Mingyu Sector. In a quiet room. Luo Hongguo was laying on a bed, his face pale white. Beside him was a hanging plastic bag since he was receiving for treatment. Two nurses were currently with him in the room. It's a phone call from Luo Feng, it's a phone call from Luo Feng. The ring tone rang. Luo Hongua, who had a pale face and closed eyes, instantly opened his eyes and ferociously turned his head towards the cell phone on the counter. He couldn't care about anything else as he struggled to turn his body and extend his left hand to reach for the cell phone. This scene caused the two nurses beside him to jump with shock, one of them quickly said, Mr. Luo, you cannot move your waist. Let me do it. No problem. As if he had infinite power and the waist that was hurting was somebody else's, Luo Hongua actually managed to swiftly pick up the phone. As he looked at the display, Luo Hongua was in disbelief, it's actually phone. Who is calling, Feng? Keep in mind that the Dojo of Limits has already confirmed Luo Feng's death. Luo Feng's parents didn't know that Luo Feng was in archaeological ruin number 9, so they thought that the Dojo had a way to absolutely confirm Luo Feng's death. After taking a deep breath, Luo Hongua accepted the call. Beep. 
Hello, Luo Hongwa's voice was hoarse, low, and had a bit of worry and a bit of expectation in it, as if he was holding a piece of tofu and scared that it would break at any time. Dad, it's me, the voice filled with energy and power that rang in Luo Hongwa's dreams who knows how many times, that familiar voice that was so familiar it couldn't get any more familiar. Caused Luo Hongwa's eyes to widen. Luo Hongwa's hands started to shake, Phone, Phone, is that you? It's me, Dad, said Luo Phone. Why don't you hurry up and video chat so I can see you, followed Luo Hongwa. He was scared that someone was pranking him, since it isn't hard for modern technology to mimic someone's voice. Dad, I'm taking a shower and I have a huge mustache, Luo Phone was a bit embarrassed. Beep. The video started. Luo Hongwa stared at the screen of his cell phone. Within the heat of the bath was a human figure. His long hair was wet and he had a huge mustache. However, the shape of that face, and especially those eyes, caused Luo Hongwa's eyes to light up. In the video, a throwing knife flew up and swiftly flew past Luo Fang's face, quickly cutting off that big mustache. What was left was a handsome young man. It was indeed Luo Feng. It was indeed the Luo Feng that he, Luo Hongwa, has raised for 20 years. Feng, Feng, you aren't dead, great, this is great, Luo Hongwa's eyes teared up. He and his wife were extremely saddened because of what happened to their oldest son over this period of time. Dad, sorry, I was stuck in a place and couldn't come out. I just came out, and now I'm in South America. I'll be back home in a few hours, said Luo Feng. Okay, okay, no rush. Your things are more important, said Luo Hongwa. Suddenly. Crack, the door to the room opened. Luo Hua, who was in a cotton sweater, came in with a cup of fresh milk. Don't worry, Dad, everything has been dealt with. I will be home soon. Is everything fine at home? The voice from the phone carried over, which caused Luo Hua, who was bringing in some milk, to freeze. Bro. Luo Hua widened his eyes in disbelief, and his tears practically started streaming down instantly. The two nurses on the side were flabbergasted. They were clear about how capable this Mr. Luo Hua was. He is the eighth largest stockholder of China's largest bank, ICBC, with property worth over a hundred billion. People who go in and out of his home are people with extremely high authority in the stock market and agents of the country's special forces. Even they are nurses arranged by the country's special forces to take care of Luo Hua's father, and such a person started crying all of a sudden. Everything is fine, everything at home is fine, everything will be fine when you come back, followed Luo Hongwa. Okay, I will be back soon. The phone call ended. Luo Hua walked towards his father and said with disbelief, Dad, that's a phone call from bro? Bro isn't dead? In just a few hours, he'll be home, followed Luo Hongwa. Ha, ha, ha. Luo Hua seemed to be crying and seemed to be laughing, I knew bro would be fine. I knew it. Ever since he was young, Luo Feng was like a gigantic tree that was protecting him. He even became a fighter to earn money to help him stand up again. In his heart, Luo Hua is extremely grateful to his brother. In his life, his brother is extremely important. When the news of Luo Feng's death spread around, not only were his parents sad, he, Luo Hua, was also sad. However, he had to hold up the family. He isn't even 20 yet, but he had to fight against Liao's schemes and deal with all sorts of sly foxes. Luo Hua was indeed very, very tired. In a cafe in Kyoto headquarter city. Su Xian was currently sitting on a couch in the cafe. There was an extremely thin laptop in front of her. The desktop photo of the laptop was a photo of her and Luo Feng together. In the photo, Luo Feng was smiling extremely dramatically, as if he was a child. Su Xian tapped the screen and opened a folder. As she held her cup of coffee, Su Xian silently looked at the photos inside the folder. Hello, may I borrow your cell phone for a bit? A handsome young man smiled as he walked by. Su Xian glanced at him. Her eyes were cold. After that, she looked back to her laptop without making a sound. The handsome young man slightly frowned, but when he saw out of the corner of his eye the photo that Su Xian was currently looking at on the laptop, which was a photo that Su Xian and Luo Feng took together on top of a building in the wilderness, the handsome young man couldn't help but to walk away and curse in his mind, damn, she already has a boyfriend. The cabbage is given to a pig. Eh, uh, wait. The background of that photo seemed to be a ruined city, and there were monsters? A couple taking a romantic photo in a city in the wilderness? I saw the wrong thing, I saw the wrong thing, the handsome young man couldn't believe this. And at this time, an extremely sad song rang, which caused the handsome young man to turn his head in confusion, using such a sad song as a ringtone. Su Xian's body shook on the sofa. She set this song as the ringtone for Luo Feng's number. She took her cell phone out and accepted the call. Su Xian, it's me. Instantly, the layer of ice sealing Su Xian's long frozen heart melted. Exit of the underground base. Luo Feng, who was wearing a black casual outfit and holding a gigantic backpack, smiled as he watched two flowing lights fly towards him in the sky. After making the two calls, Luo Feng's heart became much more relaxed. The two flowing lights in front of Luo Feng was Luo Feng's Emperor level auto jet. After he came out of the archaeological ruin, Luo Feng gave the command to his auto jet, which instantly came flying over. HM. That's Luo Feng saw the other blood red triangular shaped fighter jet beside it. 
The two fighter jets descended simultaneously. The hatch opened and a staircase extended out. The black cloth Hong stepped out first, whereas Royal Guard Allure, an investigator, Lu, followed after. Head, Luo Feng slightly bowed. Good, you didn't let me down, the black cloth man, Hong, directly walked in front of Luo Feng. His eyes seemed to see straight through Luo Feng, and I feel like, Luo Feng, you're different from before. You must have received quite a bit this past year and three months. Go, let's talk on the fighter jet. Yes, Luo Feng clearly knew the head strength, Star Traveler level 6 stage. But because he has a domain, even those at the Star Traveler level 9 stage probably aren't his opponent. He is invincible in the Star Traveler level. The difference between the representatives at the Star Traveler level 1 stage and the head strength is like the difference between a beginner level warrior and an invincible war god. And the difference between him and the head is also very huge. The prehistoric level auto jet was in front while the emperor level auto jet was behind. Inside the prehistoric level auto jet, the black cloth hung, Luo Feng, Allure, and Lu Ha sat on a chair that formed a circle. Luo Feng, you have the translation software, so why did you spend a year and three months inside archaeological ruin number 9? The black cloth man, Hong, looked at Luo Feng, did you discover some secret in this archaeological ruin number 9? As the number one man on earth, he also received some technological inheritances from the ruins, so there are barely any things left that can pique his curiosity. Archaeological ruin number 9 happens to be one of those things. Yes, nodded Luo Feng. What secrets, can you tell me? The black cloth man, Hong, looked at Luo Feng. Luo Feng knew in his heart that the reason why the bald crystal person took the initiative to delete all that information from his tactical communications watch was to prevent the people on Earth from knowing them. Only members of Yunmo Planet are allowed to know them. My brain vigor is higher, so I triggered a special death mission, said Luo Feng half truthfully. Death mission? The people on the seats were astonished. The black clothed man, Hong, continued asking, did you receive the same rewards as the other war gods? There must have been something different. In the past, as long as they entered archaeological ruin number 9 and succeeded, they all received a black god set. I did receive something extra. Not only did I get a black god set, I also got an instruction manual for spirit readers, said Luo Feng. Oh, the black clothed man, Hong, was a bit disappointed. He is a fighter. All of his energy is put into his training. As of now, according to what Hong knows about the universe, even though he is at the Star Traveler level 6 stage, his true power is way higher than that. Many star level fighters don't have their own domain. With a domain, he is invincible in the Star Traveler level. With such a high state in his fighter abilities, of course he won't waste any more time on training spiritual force. Inside Archaeological Ruin Number 9, in the Dark Brown Maze. The bald crystal person, whose entire body was shining, walked forward step by step. Luo Feng indeed didn't say anything about what happened in the ruins. The bald crystal person could barely feel a feeling that humans had, a sliver of sadness, as he sighed, Master, it's been 50,000 years. I haven't been able to contact you for 50,000 years. Even after 50,000 years, as an AI, it could only obey the core program and pick out war gods. Chapter 192, Anger Surges, Intense Hatred Rises. Translator, Translation Nation. Editor, Translation Nation. The Emperor level auto jet and the prehistoric level auto jet were both hovering in midair. Luo Feng took out a black god set from the Emperor level auto jet, got on his soaring shuttle, and then flew back into the prehistoric level auto jet. Head, the black god set, Luo Feng put it on the seat. Yeah, the black cloth man, Hong, slightly nodded his head. However, in his mind, Hong, for once, didn't know whether to laugh or to cry. Because the AI of the auto jet he sold only has a simple AI that listens to Hong's commands. Hong commanded that auto jet to listen to Luo Feng, so of course the fighter jet obeyed. If Luo Feng and Hong gave a command at the same time, then the auto jet would actually listen to the one with the highest authority, Hong. After the news of Luo Feng's death spread around, Hong took back the auto jet and also took away the black god set. After knowing that Luo Feng came out, Hong hurriedly put the black god set back in. Oh my gosh. When has he, Hong, ever been so embarrassed before? Good thing nobody knows about this. Luo Feng, let's split up here, said the black clothed man, Hong. Yes, head. Without caring about anything else, he said goodbye to the two existences surpassing the war god level, stepped on his soaring shuttle, and flew into his auto jet. Number one, go home, commanded Luo Feng. Whoosh. The dark blue auto jet instantly accelerated to over Mach 10 as it headed towards China's Jiangnan headquarter city's Yangzhou city. The sky was gray, there was no sunlight. The cold breeze carried up a few fallen leaves. There were quite a few children in Mingyu sector. The teenagers ignored the cold as they did some strength, agility, and blade exercises. Many people take the way of the fighter seriously in Mingyu sector. Around the teenagers were quite a few parents, and some of them were fighters that were guiding these teenagers. Look, a fighter jet. Oh. It's dark blue, like war god Luofangs. It does look like it. It basically seems identical. 
Quite a few people in the sector looked towards the sky with shock. The dark blue triangular fighter jet was currently descending. It landed on the lawn. Hua. The hatch opened. A youth wearing a casual black shirt who was carrying a gigantic backpack ran towards one of the villas. The various adults and children in the sector looking from afar were all stunned, stunned at the face of that youth. Luofone? It's Luofone? Is this a ghost, I thought the dojo of limits announced his death. The dojo in our headquarter city even held a memorial. Quite a few people were flabbergasted. Brother Chen, I'll see you later, Luo Feng, who was still running, smiled towards the stunned Chen Gu. Luo, Luo, Luo. Chen Gu looked towards Luo Feng with shock as he pointed at Luo Feng. However, not a single phrase could leave his mouth. In the memorial, the original Fire Hammer Squad members were extremely, extremely sad. And fuck, now he's alive. Mingyu Sector was definitely going to be in an uproar today. Jiangnan Headquarter City was definitely going to be in an uproar today. In Luo Feng's home's backyard. Brother Luo Hua and Mother Gong Xian Lan all stood there. Beside them were a few bodyguards and servants. Feng yelled Gong Xian Lan. Mom, Luo Feng ran over. His mother was visibly much more older than she was a year ago. Luo Feng couldn't help but to glance at Luo Hua as he said lowly, What's going on? How come you didn't boil the thousand-year black crow root into a medicine and give it to mom and dad? Luo Feng told his brother a long time ago that the he and his parents should drink the medicine made out of the thousand-year black crow root. But Luo Hua and his parents said no rush. They wanted to see if they could find other relatives first and then split it between all of them. Bro, Luo Hua shook his head, I'll tell you later. Where's dad? Luo Feng was confused. After going missing for a year, with his dad's temper, he should have came out by now. Your dad is in the room, Gong Xian Lan pulled his son's hand as she headed towards the room. In the quiet room, Father Luo Hongguo lay on the bed. When Luo Feng opened the door and went in, Luo Hongguo's eyes contained an excitement never experienced before. His son, that he thought was lost forever, is standing in front of him. Luo Hongua even wanted to get up from bed. Mr. Luo, you cannot move. Please watch your waist, the two nurses were shocked and then ran over. Dad, what happened to you? Luo Feng's face instantly changed. He sat beside the bed and grasped his father's hand. He started to frown deeply, Dad, wait, your face is so pale. How come you can't even get up? No problem, the doctor said I just have to rest for about a year and a half, Luo Hongguo let out a smile, a smile that came from the bottom of his heart, if dad can see you, then it doesn't matter how injured I am. I am really, really happy today. Really happy. Extremely happy, as he said that, a joyful tear started to appear in the corner of his eye. Luo Feng nodded, but his heart was filled with a bit of anger and confusion. Not right. Luo Hua, what is going on? Luo Feng looked towards his brother. You two go out, Luo Hua waved his hand at the two nurses. The two nurses swiftly left, leaving the four members of the Luo family in the room. Luo Hua looked at his brother, bro, I'm useless. Can't blame your brother, Father Luo Honghua stretched his arm from the bed to stop Luo Hua, Feng, over this period of time, especially the three months after the Dojo of Limits announced your death, our family has never had peace. All sorts of methods were used to deal with us. They even used some of the residents in the sector. Your mom has had to consume sleeping pills every single day to be able to sleep. Luo Hua's face turned green as he clenched his fists, his gaze was as sharp as a blade. Luo Hua, Luo Feng looked towards his brother and said lowly, tell me. It's Li Yao. Luo Hua took in a deep breath, starting from three months ago, Li Yao has been using all sorts of methods to deal with our family via the HR Alliance. Even though he didn't dare to directly kill the family members of a fighter in the Dojo of Limits, but certain methods are even worse than death. I could only do everything in my power. I even used the Thousand Year Black Crow Root and contacted a major figure through Bro's friend, Commander Li Dewei, to transfer 120 billion worth of ICBC stocks to me. I became the 8th largest stockholder of ICBC, which gave me the authority to arrange members of the special forces to protect our family. But Li Yao never gave up his revenge. All sorts of methods against the mind, the body, no matter how underhanded they were. He used everything, Luo Hua shook his head, now mom and dad can only stay at home. I have no other way. Last time, dad just crossed the sidewalk and ended up getting in a traffic accident. Luckily, he had bodyguards protecting him, or else he wouldn't be alive anymore. The more Luo Feng listened, the uglier his face became. Shi Shi. The left hand he was holding the steel edge of the bed with became powder. He actually, actually. Luo Feng's face turned green, I can't believe this Li Yao is this shameless. It's all his fault. Ever since Li Yao hid in Europe like a turtle, he couldn't be bothered to deal with him after he became famous. However, after the news of his death was confirmed, this Li Yao actually came to unleash his revenge on his family members right away. Luckily his family had the family members of a fighter in the Dojo of Limits identity, so Li Yao couldn't come and attack them himself. If his brother was just a bit less capable, then... Bastard, Luo Feng's body was shaking a bit. Anger surges, intense hatred rises. His killing intent couldn't be controlled. After a few minutes. 
After comforting his parents, Luo Feng was in the training hall upstairs. I made a mistake once, but I won't make the same mistake again. Luo Feng touched the ice-cold, dense blade pieces of his soaring shuttle, his blade-like gaze caused one's heart to go cold, Li Yao, you think I'm too scared to touch you because you keep hiding in a headquarter city? There are indeed laws that ban people from killing each other in headquarter cities, and killing a war god in a headquarter city is even more serious. But. Luo Feng understood that the so-called law was to keep the country in order. As of now, his true power can compare to someone at the Star Traveler level 1 stage. Once he seriously begins to study Soaring Sky and brings out the Soaring Shuttle's true potential, he will become even more powerful. More powerful than the average representative. An existence surpassing the war god level killing a war god. That might anger some people, but the consequences won't be too major, Luo Feng can still accept them. Beep. Luo Feng looked towards the mini quantum computer and turned on the Palace of War Gods sharing system. Back then, Li Yao and Vanina used this system to track down Wang Tong and the other Wargod's position. The Palace of War Gods wanted War Gods to use this system to help each other when they're in trouble, so every War God has this system installed. And today. It is going to be used by Luo Feng to track down Li Yao. Oh, he's still in Jiangnan headquarters city, the skylight above opened. Whoosh. Luo Feng, who was wearing black, stepped on the soaring shuttle and soared into the sky. He flew along an arc as he charged towards the auto jet. Voila, the hatch automatically opened. Golden Silk Net. Luo Feng looked inside the cabin in his spiritual force, like a formless gigantic hand, directly grabbed the Golden Silk Net. Luo Feng gazed towards the southwest, his gaze was like a blade, L-I-Y-A-O. Jiangnan Headquarters City's HR Alliance Building, 32nd floor. Li Yao and Vanina were currently talking to the manager of the HR Alliance's building. Still three more hours before the passenger plane takes off, Vanina lowered her head and looked at her watch. Don't panic, said Li Yao lightly, what are you scared of? That Luo Feng is going to be back, frowned Vanina, I said a long time ago that we should have just rode a plane back to Europe. Wouldn't that solve everything? A plane? Li Yao shook his head, that plane worth only about 10 billion? If we fly a short distance around the headquarter city, then there would be no problem. But for long distances, there are many flying monsters around uninhabited areas, like the land and sea in the wilderness. Once an accident happens, only passenger airplanes are able to travel over long distances, or auto jets, or extremely advanced and expensive disc-shaped fighter jets that are priced at around 50 billion. Furthermore, this is a headquarter city, and you're still scared that Luo Feng will mess around, sneered Li Yao. Hmm. Li Yao froze as he looked outside the French window. Look outside. Mr. Zhu was shocked. What could be seen was a black image in midair with his foot on the soaring shuttle as he charged towards this window like a bolt of black lightning. It's Luo Feng, exclaimed Vanina. Luo Feng. Li Yao's entire body was instantly protected by the black membrane as it formed into a black battle uniform and a black helmet. Only his two eyes were revealed. Boom. The glass was smashed apart. Luo Feng you dare, Li Yao roared as he smashed towards the window to his side and directly leaped into midair outside. From Li Yao's perspective, the area outside could be easily captured by all sorts of surveillance cameras, so Luo Feng wouldn't dare to mess around. Humph, Luo Feng swiftly passed through. Whoosh. 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 Flowing light after flowing light instantly shot out. A full 16 flowing lights, like 16 roaring dragons, caused powerful sonic booms that shattered the entire floor of the elegant lobby. Even Mr. Zhu was blown off to the side. Luo Feng only stared at Li Yao, his eyes seemed to be burning with fire. The 16 flowing lights followed an arc. They were so fast that Li Yao had no chance to dodge, and they all simultaneously smashed into Li Yao's body. Humph, throwing knives, a bit of disdain crossed through Li Yao's eyes. Boom. The incredible destructive force instantly carried through the Black God set. Even though it was weakened by 90%, the incredible impact force was still alarmingly large. Each throwing knife had an impact force of over 500,000, so 16 throwing knives combined to a total of over 8 million kilograms. Even after 90% of it is taken off, there's still over 800,000 kilograms of impact force left. Which is to say, Li Yao, with nothing to protect him, has to handle over 800,000 kilograms of impact force with his bare body. Back when Luo Feng was inside archaeological ruin number 9, he relied on his shield to dissipate the large impact force of nearly 1 million kilograms from the mysterious black-robed man's attack. Even so, his arm still broke. Just his shield was able to dissipate half of the force, and his broken arm also took away quite a bit of it. The actual force that hit Luo Feng was 300,000 to 400,000 kilograms, but that still made Luo Feng spit out blood in pain. And Li Yao has to deal with an impact force that exceeds 800,000 kilograms. Usually, Li Yao would be killed. But luckily, the Black God set spread the force of impact to every location of his body. And his fitness level is at the peak of the advanced level War God level, which was quite a bit more powerful than Luo Feng's fitness level when he first entered archaeological ruin number 9. P.U. 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 Li Yao's face became flushed red as fresh blood sprayed out of his mouth like a fountain. 
Just from this horrifying impact force, just this one time. Caused Li Yao to lose most of his battle power. Impossible, impossible. Li Yao roared in his heart, I am at the peak of the war god level and I have a black god set. Even representatives surpassing the war god level can only damage me in one hit. Barely any representatives are able to kill me in one hit. But Luo Feng, he. Could it be, that he made a breakthrough and is now in existence surpassing the war god level? War gods all knew that advanced level war gods with black god sets cannot be killed by war gods. Even representatives would have trouble killing them in one hit. There were many pedestrians below on the plaza of the HR Alliance building. Quite a few tourists were even taking photos for memories in the plaza. Rumble. As if a cannonball fiercely smashed into the plaza, the stone pavement of the plaza instantly blew up. The surrounding patrolling soldiers were shocked and were panicking. The tourists in the plaza taking photos from afar were also shocked as they started screaming. Some of the flying rock even smashed into people. Pedestrians also panicked as they screamed and a few rocks even flew onto the street. Many cars on the street abruptly stopped, causing a traffic jam. Quite a few drivers angrily honked their horns. Holy, many passers-by stared at the plaza. What they saw was a youth in casual black attire on his soaring shuttle as he amazingly hovered in midair. From the hole in the plaza came flying out a man who was covered in black. The gaze of the youth on the soaring shuttle was ice cold as he waved his hand. The golden silk net that was focused into a ball in his left hand instantly struck Li Yao in an instant like lightning. It then automatically spread out and trapped him, as if he was a pig waiting to be slaughtered. Chapter 193, Luo Feng, Death Penalty Translator, Translation Nation Editor, Translation Nation The rock pavement of the plaza shattered and rocks flew everywhere. Golden Silk Net When the golden silk net came towards him, Li Yao, who was already getting beat up like a dog, dramatically changed his expression and fiercely roared, open. What could be seen was Li Yao's black arms ferociously expanding, expanding to a length of 3 to 4 meters long. They tried to grab the two ends of the golden silk net and burst it open. Chi. At the instant the golden silk net trapped Li Yao, as if there were a pair of hands tying up the ends, the eight openings of the golden silk net were swiftly sealed. And Li Yao also instantly attacked with a force of over 1 million kilograms. Shi Shi. Even though the golden silk net was tight, Li Yao still wasn't able to break it open. Since he has already been completely tied up, how can he escape? This is what the Emperor Level Monster, the Black Widow Spider King, uses to trap Emperor Level Monsters. Even Emperor Level Monsters have to try super hard to break out of it, so how can Li Yao break it? Not good. Li Yao, who couldn't escape, saw out of the corner of his eye Luo Feng's eyes that were filled with intense killing intent as he stood on his soaring shuttle. He also saw 16 flowing lights. Whoosh. 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 16 flowing lights, like 16 roaring dragons, directly flew towards Li Yao. I can't die, roared Li Yao in his heart. Chi. Chi. Li Yao, who was stuck, instantly decided to do something in this crucial moment. His black legs started to extend and become longer and thinner. They became half of their original width. Those skinny black legs were able to slip through the holes in the golden silk net and step on the ground of the plaza. Li Yao now had two long black skinny legs that were two meters long. Boom. The sixteen flowing lights yet again smashed into Li Yao. <laughs> Li Yao clenched his teeth and his eyes became blood red, I can't die, I can't die. When that horrifying impact force of over 8 million kilograms smashed into him, even though the black god set cancelled out most of it, Li Yao couldn't help but to crazily spit out blood. He felt like all of his organs were going to rip apart. However, his powerful will helped him hold on. Whoosh. Using the powerful impact force of the 16 blade pieces, Li Yao's black skinny legs started running. He was already fast enough, and with the impact force of the 16 blade pieces, he flew out like a black shooting star, smashing sculptures on the plaza into pieces in the process. Those black skinny legs then suddenly changed direction as they charged towards the crowds on the streets. Not dead yet? Luo Feng's gaze became cold as he stood on his soaring shuttle. Crazy, Luo Feng is crazy, I can't believe he's trying to hunt me down in a public area like the HR Alliance Plaza. Crazy, he doesn't want to live anymore. As long as. As long as I can grab a bunch of ordinary people to become my shield, I still have a chance to live, Li Yao crazily charged towards the street with his two long skinny legs formed by the black god set. There were tons of people on the streets, and many people stuck in the traffic jam got off their cars. Over 10 million people were staring and each of them seemed to be quite excited. The process where Luo Feng was chasing after Li Yao was as fast as lightning. Before most people even reacted, Li Yao was already charging towards them. A.H. What is that thing? Li Yao, who was completely black and had two long skinny legs that were two meters long, indeed seemed so peculiar that he was horrifying. The way he charged towards the crowd like lightning caused many people to panic. And at this time, Luo Feng, who was on his soaring shuttle, instantly reached a speed of over 1,300 meters per second. He brought a horrifying sonic boom with him as he directly landed in front of Liao. You can't escape, Luo Feng stood in front of Liao, his 16 blade pieces hovering beside him as he coldly looked at Liao. 
Luo Feng, you can't kill me, roared Li Yao as fresh blood continuously flowed out of the side of his mouth. Luo Feng's two attacks greatly injured Li Yao. The only reason he was able to sprint was because of his will to live on. Luo Feng gave an ice cold smile. Suddenly, Luo Feng's expression slightly changed. A blonde haired girl in the packed crowd on the streets filled with people and cars raised a tiny controller in her hand towards Luo Feng. She revealed a weird smile Luo Feng, let go of my husband. Vanina? Luo Feng slightly frowned. With a thought, the golden silk net hovered, making Li Yao look like a pig waiting to be slaughtered as he was hovering in midair, unable to escape. And Li Yao couldn't use the ground to help him in the air. Vanina, yelled Li Yao in the golden silk net. Why should I let go of your husband? Luo Feng looked at Vanina calmly. Instinct told Luo Feng that directly killing Li Yao could lead to grave consequences. Luo Feng has always ignored the Vanina in front of him. Because in Luo Feng's heart, Li Yao was the one doing everything behind the scenes. But Luo Feng didn't know that Vanina was the one who sent out the astronomical bounty. The laser cannon used to hunt down Luo Feng in the continent of Australia was also something Vanina got. And even the idea of destroying Luo Feng's family was suggested by Vanina. Li Yao is nicknamed Vulture, because many people who know him use this nickname to show his violence. And Vanina is nicknamed Scorpion, because she is poisonously cruel. Dogs that bite don't bark. Luo Feng didn't know that. The truly cruel one in this couple that is always scheming is this woman. Vanina looked at Luo Feng while she stood in the crowd. Luo Feng, Vanina held the small controller, in the villa sector beside the HR Alliance and on this street, I've planted T-111 bombs. If I press this button. The surrounding crowd went into an uproar in an instant. Many people were screaming and running around in every direction. Then boom, tens of thousands of people in this sector will lose their lives, Vanina's voice sounded like a demon from hell as it reverberated around every surrounding person's ears. Fear. Panic. And Luo Feng focused his eyes and stared at this woman in front of him. Cruel enough, said Luo Feng lightly. If you want to kill my husband, then, let's just all die together, Vanina's voice was soft. However, Vanina had no other choice. She and her husband have antagonized too many people back then. Thankfully, Li Yao risked his life and managed to receive a black god set after entering archaeological ruin number 9. After that, the couple was able to live a peaceful life. If her shield, Li Yao, dies, then Vanina's life will be ruined. Everyone stop. Stop. Put down your weapons. The army stationed near the HR Alliance's building swiftly rushed over. A few agents of the country's special forces also swiftly came. The one leading them was a middle-aged man wearing a traditional Chinese robe. The middle-aged man cursed in his heart, fucking sheet, three advanced level war gods fighting together. If they want to fight, then fight, but they even dragged in regular people. Now tens of thousands of people could die at any time. The power of the T-111 bomb is extremely powerful. You all. War god Luo Feng, Madame Vanina, let's talk this out peacefully, the middle-aged man squeezed out a smile, afraid of angering any of the two parties. He has more authority, but the people in front of him are advanced level war gods. I would suggest you guys not to search for the T-111 bomb, Vanina glanced at the middle-aged man, I placed it in a position that is extremely hard to locate. Even if you can find them, you should know how hard it is to defuse this bomb. Once you begin to defuse it, I will know instantly and will directly press the button. The middle-aged man in the traditional Chinese robe broke out in a cold sweat. He hates messing with figures like these with both power and authority. An advanced level war god and the director of the HR alliance in China, messing with such a figure would lead to grave consequences. Luo Feng, Vanina stared at Luo Feng. Either my husband and I and tens of thousands of innocent Chinese civilians die together, Vanina's voice echoed around Luo Feng's ear, or, you let go of my husband and nothing happens to anyone. The choice lies in your hands. Luo Feng was expressionless, but his gaze became colder and colder. War God Luo Feng. Madam Vanina, the middle-aged man in the traditional Chinese robe started to panic a bit, but he thought to himself, why isn't Mr. Lan here yet? Whoosh. The temperature of the shattered HR Alliance Plaza started to drop. It was already winter, and now the temperature dropped below zero. The fountain instantly froze, and the air started to become chilly. A middle-aged man with slightly green hair flew down from the sky. Representative Lan, Vanina, Li Yao, and Luo Feng recognized the person who came. Humph, even if you guys have a grudge, don't drag in regular people, as if he has been frozen for a thousand years, Representative Lan's gaze caused one to shiver. Representative Lan, Vanina shook her head, I had no choice. This Luo Feng wanted to kill my husband inside a headquarter city, so I had no other choice. I am not his opponent, so this is the only path I can take. If my husband is going to die, then let those tens of thousands of innocent civilians die with him. Furthermore, the choice lies within Luo Feng's hands. If he lets go of my husband, everyone is happy. There are 52 representatives on Earth. There are over 10 existences surpassing the war god level of Chinese descent. Even though only 3 or 4 of them are completely loyal to the country, quite a few of them still live in seclusion in the country. They would occasionally help the army in the country, or the HR alliance. Anyways, they can help whoever they want to and still live in seclusion peacefully. 
Ice Blade Lan Ran is one of the representatives living in seclusion in Jiangnan headquarter city. Only when a major event occurs will Lan Ran show up. And this time, Lan Ran has to intervene. Luo Feng. Representative Lan hovered beside Luo Feng. Luo Feng, you should know the laws of the country and the rules of the Palace of War Gods. Quite a few rules in the Palace of War Gods are absolute. Nobody is allowed to infringe upon them. Killing the family members of someone in the dojo is one rule. Openly killing a fighter in a headquarter city is also one rule. War gods are not allowed to fight each other in a headquarter city is also one rule. Representative Lan said lowly, powerful war god fighters are the wealth of humanity. Each one of them is important. And the fact that you dared to openly hunt down a fighter in the plaza of the HR Alliance while over 10 million people are watching means you deserve the death penalty. But the war god you want to kill is part of the palace of war gods. So your crime is even worse. Even if you kill him, you still get the death penalty. The laws are set by the five chairmen. Are you really going to give up your life for Liao's? And also kill tens of thousands of innocent Chinese in the process? Some of them are teenagers that are still growing, and some of them are just naive babies. Is it worth it? Representative Lan stared at Luo Feng. Chapter 194, Representative Luo Feng. Translator, Translation Nation. Editor, Translation Nation. Many fighters in the HR Alliance building watched through the window. The soldiers surrounding the plaza also watched Luo Feng. With Luo Feng's speed on the soaring shuttle, even Representative Lan cannot save Li Yao from his hands. The choice is in Luo Feng's hands. Yes, it isn't worth it, Luo Feng's expression was calm. Pa. The golden silk net dropped from midair and untied itself, releasing Li Yao who was so heavily injured that he wasn't far from death. The golden silk net quickly shrunk into a ball and flew towards Luo Feng. Luo Feng extended his arm to grab the ball and then glanced at Li Yao. After that, he glanced at Vanina in the distance and couldn't help but to sneer, Vanina, I admit I underestimated you. Whoosh. With his foot on the soaring shuttle, Luo Feng turned his head and transformed into a flowing light as he flew away. Few, the soldiers in the surrounding squadrons let out a sigh of relief. They knew that there were T-111 bombs on the street. With the power of the T-111 bombs, they would be affected too since they were on the plaza. Averted this crisis, the middle-aged man in the traditional Chinese robe secretly let out a sigh of relief. Few. Vanina also let out a sigh of relief. Vanina ran to her husband Li Yao and supported him, are you okay? Yeah, I'm not dead, Li Yao looked towards the direction where Luo Feng left, his face extremely pale. While on the soaring shuttle, Luo Feng was moving at over 1000 meters per second. With this alarming speed, he flew out of the main city sector and entered the food storage sector between the main city sector and the surrounding cities. A headquarter city is split into a main city sector and eight large cities. Why would they split up a perfectly fine headquarter city? Because, the large amounts of land between the main city sector and the eight large cities are used to produce food for the humans in the headquarter city. I underestimated Vanina. If I got rid of Vanina from the start, none of this would have happened, Luo Feng was as fast as lightning on his soaring shuttle as he flew past field after field, however, thankfully Representative Lan's words reminded me of, yes, the rules of the Palace of War Gods. Since I can't kill Li Yao myself, I'll use the rules of the Palace of War Gods to kill them. In the end, it's the same thing. He was stuck in the same place for a year and three months. And right when he came out, he saw his father injured and lying on a bed. The resulting anger blinded Luo Feng. As his anger filled his entire chest, he directly went to kill Li Yao without thinking about anything else. Yes. A war god that kills another war god in public in a headquarter city will receive the death penalty. Representative Lan is correct. However, he, Luo Feng, can just completely reveal his strength. As of now, he can completely compare to an existence surpassing the war god level. A representative who kills a war god out of anger for the sake of his family's safety will at most receive a punishment like sitting in jail for a few years. War gods and representatives have completely different amounts of authority. If a chairman kills a war god, there won't even be a punishment. If the first chairman, Hong, kills a representative or chairman, nobody would dare to call for Hong's punishment. Li Yao and Vanina, the importance of your lives don't even come close to the importance of the lives of those tens of thousands of civilians. Well, this is good too. I don't have to risk sitting in jail for a few years to kill Li Yao, because of the words, Palace of War God Rules, Luo Feng was swiftly thinking of a plan. A plan that results of the death of Li Yao and Vanina. First, I need to make sure everyone knows my strength, know that I have strength comparable to an existence surpassing the War God level. After that, Ming Yu Sector. Luo Hua, Luo Feng walked to his brother's room. Luo Hua, who was sitting in front of a computer, turned his head and had a look of confusion on his face. Luo Feng said directly, which special forces sector did you ask last time to protect dad and mom? Contact them and tell their director to come to our home. Okay. Even though Luo Hua was confused, he immediately made the call. Within a minute, a disc-shaped fighter jet landed in Mingyu sector. Three directors of the country's special forces arrived at the living room of Luo Feng's home. 
Hello, Mr. Luofone, we have met before, smiled the old man with white hair. Sector leader Lu Yen, smiled Luofone, director of Sector 9. Ha, huh, Mr. Luofone sure has good memory, after shaking hands, the old man Lu Yen said, I wonder what kind of business Luofone has after finding us in such a rush. It's like this. Luo Feng's expression became serious, for a while, Li Yao and Vanina used all sorts of tricks to deal with my family, and my brother requested for your help back then. Yes, such a thing has happened, the old man Lu Yen nodded. You guys should have enough evidence to prove that it was Li Yao and Vanina that were behind these schemes right, asked Luo Feng. Lu Yen smiled, this is Jiangnan headquarter city, territory of China. Most of their actions are within our surveillance. We indeed do have enough evidence to prove that Li Yao and Vanina are the masterminds behind the actions used against your family. Lu Yen leaned towards Luo Feng's side without hesitation. Very good, I need you guys to supply me with sufficient evidence, said Luo Feng seriously. No problem, the evidence will definitely be absolute. You have to believe that in our territory, we have absolute control, smiled Lu Yen. The reason why Lu Yen is being so cooperative is because he received a phone call when he was flying over on his disc-shaped fighter jet, Old Lu, that Luo Feng has the strength of an existence surpassing the war god level. China, Kyoto Headquarter City in an elegant lobby were the leaders with the highest level of authority in China, the highest ranking military personnel, and even an existence surpassing the war god level a middle-aged man wearing leather clothing of the previous century style. All of these people are major figures that can shake the country of China. A display was projected onto the wall of the lobby as it played a video. Everyone was watching. Yes, the middle-aged man in the old leather clothing nodded, look, this Luo Feng is controlling 16 small weapons. With Li Yao's advanced level war god level fitness level and the black god set, a huge amount of force is required to make him spit out so much blood in midair with just one attack. And in two attacks, Li Yao was rendered defenseless. The amount of impact force is definitely greater than 6 million kilograms. And, Luo Feng was originally a spirit reader at the peak of the advanced level war god level. A spirit reader at this level can usually control things like throwing knives with a limit of 520,000 to 560,000 kilograms of impact force. Luo Feng is controlling 16, and he clearly won't control more than he can just for the looks. 16 throwing knives would result in an impact force ranging from 8 million to 9 million kilograms. Luo Feng's strength has definitely reached the level of an existence surpassing the war god level, after saying that, the middle-aged man took out a pack of cigarettes from his pocket, lit one up, and started smoking. Smoke emanated within the lobby. Within this lobby were the top people of China, but none of them would call this person an old guy. He seems to be around 40 years old, but he's actually almost 80. I can't believe our country of China has yet again gained another existence surpassing the war god level. I suggest we contact Luo Feng immediately. This news was indeed first grasped by the country of China. However, the incident at the HR Alliance's plaza was huge, so how could it be hidden from everyone else? The Dojo of Limits and the Thunder Dojo just had to give a phone call to the Chinese government to immediately receive the most accurate recording. All 360 degrees of the scene were clearly recorded. You could even clearly see Luo Feng, Lan Ran, and everyone else's faces. The Dojo of Limits, the Thunder Dojo, and even the HR Alliance swiftly received the news. From the video, with each organization's capability, Luo Feng's strength was easily estimated, 16 throwing knives with a total impact force of 8 million to 9 million kilograms. These numbers shocked everyone. A regular advanced level war god level can only unleash an attack with 800,000 to 900,000 kilograms of impact force. Luo Feng's power is 10 times that. Definitely comparable to an attack from someone at the Star Traveler level 1 stage. When the powerful fighters of the Thunder Dojo received this piece of news, they got so angry that they started yelling swears. They were raging about the Dojo of Limits bullshit luck. They actually got yet another powerful representative fighter. And when the HR Alliance received this piece of news, they swiftly prepared a strategy pertaining to the matter of Luo Feng, Li Yao, and Vanina's conflict. Mingyu sector seemed calm, but tons of things were actually secretly happening. Mr. Luo Feng, Lu Yan pointed at the laptop, the evidence is currently transferring. After 10 seconds, all sorts of documents, videos, etc. will finish transferring. Luo Feng stared at the laptop that Lu Yan personally brought. Even with Lu Yan's identity, he doesn't have enough authority to bring around all those classified documents with him. Transfer complete, smiled Lu Yan. Good. Thank you, old Lu, Luo Feng felt much more relaxed. While Luo Feng was still in the HR Alliance's plaza, he instantly thought of a simple plan. The plan had three main steps. 1. Get enough evidence to prove that the masterminds behind the attacks on his family are Li Yao and Vanina. 2. Broadcast his strength and become a representative. 3. Use his identity as a representative to Su Li Yao and Vanina through the Palace of War Gods. Suddenly, his cell phone started ringing. Luo Feng took out his cell phone, hello. Luo Feng, it's me, Lu Ha, a gentle voice carried over. Investigator Lu, smiled Luo Feng. Ha, huh, still calling me investigator. Luo Feng, oh Luo Feng. You sure hid your strength well. 
When the head personally headed over to the Amazon rainforest to pick you up, you didn't even speak about your strength. And now, the head and the rest of us have already seen the video where you publicly heavily injured Li Yao in Jiangnan headquarters city, laughed Luha, the head said right then that your strength has reached the level of a representative. Luo Feng froze. He was planning on taking the initiative to broadcast his strength, but who would have thought that the Dojo of Limits already knew about his strength before he started? Well, it's good if they know. Once he sues Li Yao and Vanina, they will definitely not get off lightly thanks to the sufficient evidence he has. A war god that dared to attack a representative's family, would such a person be let off lightly? A war god attacking another war god already results in a huge punishment. Sometimes even the death penalty. And to attack a representative's family undisputably results in the death penalty. From now on, you are also in existence surpassing the war god level, Lu He's voice was filled with joy, soon enough, our dojo of limits will publicly announce a day to the entire world where the head will personally grant you the title of investigator. You will be the sixth investigator of our dojo of limits. Luo Feng, in the future, people will have to call you representative Luo Feng and investigator Luo Feng. Lu Ha started laughing loudly. Chapter 195, Arrest. Translator, Translation Nation. Editor, Translation Nation. The sixth investigator of the Dojo of Limits. Even though he has been prepared for this, it would be a lie to say he wasn't excited. But now, he has more important things to deal with now to make Li Yao and Vanina die. Old Lu, Luo Feng held his cell phone and waved his hand towards Lu Yan. I'll be going out first. Lu Yan took the laptop with him as he left Luo Feng's room. Luo Feng was the only one left. There were other people in your room, laughed Lu Ha. Luo Feng walked towards his window, yeah, one of the directors of the Chinese Special Forces sectors. I asked him for some concrete evidence just now. I'm preparing to go through the Palace of War Gods to Su Li Yao and Vanina and prove that they are the masterminds behind the plots to kill my parents. Lu Ha, what would the final verdict be for those two? Oh. The vulture scorpion couple dared to move against a fighter's family? Lu Ha was shocked. Yeah, otherwise I wouldn't go out of control and chase them down in public, nodded Luo Feng. No wonder. These two are too cocky, Lu He's voice that carried from the phone was filled with anger, attacking a fighter's family has always been strictly forbidden. Lu Ha, what do you think the final verdict will be, followed Luo Feng. The death penalty. No doubt about it, the death penalty. And a death penalty where it is executed immediately. Lu Ha said with anger, Luo Feng, don't worry. Your identity is different now. The Palace of War Gods will immediately raise your identity to representative. As a representative, you have a completely different amount of authority. Since the Vulture Scorpion couple were the ones pulling the strings to attack a representative's parents, they will definitely receive a huge penalty. Luo Feng, keep in mind that the Palace of War Gods committee is formed of 52 representatives and 5 chairmen. The committee decides the result. Harming the family members of a representative is forbidden. This is equivalent to challenging every single representative, so the representatives must decide to sentence them heavily. Only this way can they set an example for everyone else, said Luha, this is an unspoken rule. If something challenges the position, authority, etc. of all the representatives, all the representatives will come together to give their punishment. So, as long as there is enough evidence, there is only one outcome for the Vulture Scorpion couple capital punishment, immediately enacted. Luha said all of this in practically a single breath, which clearly showed how angry he was. Luo Feng secretly let out a sigh of relief. Just like he thought. Actually. When he attacked the Vulture Scorpion couple, Luo Feng wasn't a representative or investigator yet. However, the verdict the Vulture Scorpion couple will receive immediately changed precisely because of the change in Luo Feng's identity. In the room, there were a bunch of documents and videos displayed on the laptop. Luo Feng read through them carefully. Humph. Such disgraceful and underhanded tactics, Luo Feng's face turned really bad as he read through the large amounts of documents and videos. All the tactics and tricks Li Yao and Vanina used from the beginning to end were all crystal clear. Luo Feng was also scared. If his brother was just a bit less capable, his parents would definitely be ruined. Thankfully, his brother was straightforward enough to directly rely on the Thousand Year Black Crow route to become the eighth largest stockholder of ICBC. Keep in mind that in the headquarter city age, buying a huge amount of stocks of the largest bank in China, ICBC, is basically impossible. Huge organizations usually wouldn't be willing to. Even if you have money, you can't buy them. Only with something like the Thousand Year Black Crow route, which is also something that cannot be purchased with money, can you exchange for them. All of this evidence is more than enough. Even if I supply only a tenth of this, it would be enough to prove their guilt. Luo Feng immediately closed the video files, Word documents, etc. He zipped the evidence up and then entered his personal webpage as he transferred them over to the Palace of War Gods. In the mail he sent, he wrote the names of the people he's suing, their crimes, etc. In just three minutes. His cell phone's ring tone rang and Luo Feng picked up his phone. Hello, Representative Luo Feng, a gentle voice rang, we just received your mail. May I ask if Representative Luo Feng himself wants to sue Li Yao and Vanina Paulinus? Yes. Luo Feng nodded. All right. When we determine the time and location of the court session, we will notify Representative Luo Feng. 
After confirming via phone, a few members of the Palace of War Gods started organizing this. There were indeed many documents. It took Luo Fong around two hours to read through all of them. By the time this news carried to the ears of the head of the Dojo of Limits, Hong, it was already midnight. Dojo of Limits World Headquarters, in the gigantic spaceship-like structure. In a quiet room. The black-clothed man, Hong, was currently holding a cup of hot tea as he surfed through some information on the internet. Master. A low voice reverberated around the quiet room, Representative Luo Fong has provided evidence that Li Yao and Vanina Paulinus are the masterminds behind the actions to kill his parents. Is the evidence sufficient? The black-clothed man, Hong, slightly frowned. The evidence is sufficient, responded the voice. The black-clothed man, Hong, slightly nodded, notify the three best lawyers in our dojo of limits and tell them to accept this case. Also, arrange for Star Traveler level fighters to personally arrest Li Yao and Vanina. As of 15.30 tomorrow afternoon, we will hold the court session in our headquarters. Luo Feng is about to openly become the investigator of our dojo of limits. I want this case to be executed beautifully, commanded the black-clothed man, Hong. Yes. After the low voice said this word, the quiet room returned to silence. Mingyu Sector, Night Time. All the lights in the homes were lit up. Luo Feng stood on the balcony as he gazed the infinite starry night. Hmm, his cell phone rang. Luo Feng took out his cell phone and saw that it was a call from Su Xian. He accepted the call, hello. How come you didn't come pick me up, asked Su Xian. Sorry, I've been busy dealing with some stuff. I just finished. How about I go to Kyoto Headquarter City now? Luo Feng felt a bit guilty, since he devoted all his time into the case of his parents since he got back and didn't even think about picking Su Xian up. I'm here, in front of Mingyu Sector. Pa. The phone call ended. Luo Feng slightly froze. Su Xian already rushed to his home from Kyoto Headquarter City. I'm such a bastard, Luo Feng cursed himself in his mind and then directly leaped off the balcony. As if a mirage crossed the sky, Luo Feng leaped across a distance of 100 meters with the help of his spiritual force before landing. After a few leaps, he was 30 meters away from Mingyu Sector's main gate. With a glance, Luo Feng saw a slightly skinny young girl silently standing in front of the Sector's gate under the dim light from the streetlights. This scene caused Luo Feng's heart to ache a bit. After becoming his girlfriend, not only did Su Xian not receive anything good, she had to go through some bitter times instead. Ever since he came back, he hasn't been able to be with her and made her come all the way over here from a few thousand kilometers away. Su Xian looked inside the sector through the gate and couldn't help but to shiver a bit. It was winter right now, and nighttime. Even though Kyoto Headquarter City was also cold, the air there was dry while the air in Jiangnan Headquarter City is humid. And after Su Xian received Luo Feng's phone call, she quickly got on the earliest train to Yangzhou City without remembering that Jiangnan Headquarter City is colder than Kyoto Headquarter City. Su Xian, a voice rang beside Su Xian. Su Xian froze and then turned to look beside her. That familiar image, her first boyfriend. This past year, and especially the past three months, Su Xian spent every day in sadness. Luo Feng. Su Xian's voice was a bit hoarse and couldn't help but to cry after saying that. She directly hugged Luo Feng, tightly hugged him. Sorry, I'm really sorry, Luo Feng hugged Su Xian and felt her tears go through his clothes. Under the dim light and the cold wind of winter. Luo Feng and Su Xian finally meet each other after a year and three months. Compared to Luo Feng and Su Xian's feelings, which were filled with a bit of sadness but also the joy of reunion. Li Yao and Vanina's feelings, even though they were together, were in disarray. On the passenger plane headed to Paris Headquarter City from Jiangnan Headquarter City. Li Yao and Vanina grasped each other's hands. Now we're in big trouble, Vanina glanced at the surrounding passengers and then lowered her voice, he became a representative. In the future, if he wants to deal with us, then. Don't worry. Li Yao lowered his voice, we only had to wait for two or three hours for the passenger plane in Jiangnan Headquarter City, and he didn't come find us within that time span. After we return to Paris Headquarter City, we will be in our territory. My senior and our HR Alliance's representatives are there, so everything will be fine, everything will definitely be fine. Who knows whether he was comforting Vanina or comforting himself. How could this happen, how could he become a representative? Vanina started clenching her teeth a bit. A fierce light lit up in Li Yao's eyes. Damn. Endure, endure, we can only endure, Li Yao kept his voice down as his sentence came out one word at a time. The passenger plane finally arrived in Paris, Europe. Paris was a bit dark as of now, but the sky wasn't completely dark. Paris headquarters city's airport. The passenger plane slowly landed. After stopping, the hatch automatically opened and a staircase extended outwards. The passengers came off. Back. Finally back in Paris, Vanina let out a smile. Li Yao also let out a rare smile. This is the first time he smiled since he learned that Luo Feng became a representative. The vulture scorpion couple were mixed in the crowd as they walked down the staircase. Li Yao, Vanina, a sound rang. 
The vulture scorpion couple was shocked as they turned their head. What they saw were four people walking over. One of the two people leading in front was a middle-aged man with brown curly hair wearing a black robe. His lightning-like gaze caused fear. And the one beside him was a man whose white, long hair was spread out. He seemed like a dead piece of wood. Representative Yen, Representative Bonnet, Vanina was surprised. Senior, Li Yao looked towards that old man. That old man, Yen Hai, was indeed the one who had deep ties with Li Yao. Representative Bonnet's gaze was ice cold as he looked at Vanina and Li Yao and then said lightly, We represent the Palace of War Gods to officially arrest you too. If there is any resistance, we have the right to kill you too inch. Li Yao and Vanina's eyes widened. They thought they were safe in their territory, but who would have thought that this would happen right when they came back? Senior. Li Yao quickly looked at Yen Hai. Yen Hai sighed, little vulture, this is the highest command of the Palace of War Gods. Nobody can help you. You. Were too reckless, too reckless. Go, if you don't resist you might have a chance to live. If you resist the arrest of the Palace of War Gods, you are opposing the entire Palace of War Gods. The Palace of War Gods is a power that has all the War Gods and existences surpassing the War God level gathered together. Resist? Want to die? Click. Special handcuffs were put on Vanina and Li Yao. Both of them were a bit dumbfounded, but didn't resist at all. Senior, Senior, Li Yao looked at Yen Hai. Yen Hai sighed and said nothing. Take them away, Representative Bonnet coldly gave his command. Chapter 196, The Way to Reach the Star Traveler Level Translator, Translation Nation Editor, Translation Nation That night, Li Yao and Vanina panicked while they were arrested. They were directly sent off to the Dojo of Limits World Headquarters on that same night. Meanwhile, Luo Feng and Su Xian were snuggling together while they talked about what happened over the past year. Sleeping here tonight? Luo Feng hugged Su Xian as he smiled. You wish. Su Xian said in a displeased tone. After that, she looked at the time on her watch, it's already 12, Luo Feng, send me back. Okay, smiled Luo Feng. The two of them chatted for such a long time, so they have calmed down quite a bit. They rode the auto jet and left Yangzhou City's Mingyu sector and headed towards the Su family's place in the main city sector. In just a few minutes, the auto jet arrived at the skies of the Su family's home. Inside the auto jet that was in the sky. Luo Feng, I need you to promise me that, whenever you do something dangerous in the future, you have to tell me first, Su Xian stared at Luo Feng, I won't stop your work or your goals. But, I need to know about your situation. Su Xian, Luo Feng nodded, okay. I will tell you in the future. In the past, I just didn't want you to worry. I am willing to worry about you. I want to worry about you. Su Xian stared at Luo Feng, but what I am most afraid of, is you not telling me anything. Luo Feng slightly nodded, his heart felt warm. Even though his girlfriend comes from a big family, the family's elite education made his girlfriend smart and considerate. On the internet, he read that some girls are always sticking to their partners, not giving them any space at all. And some girls will dwell on even the smallest, insignificant things. But Su Xian isn't that kind of person, which makes Luo Feng glad. Oh yeah, can you still re-enroll after quitting school, asked Luo Feng. I arranged to quit school, not take a break. It will be hard to re-enroll the normal way. I could use our family's special connections. Su Xian shook her head, but I don't care about the little paper degree. While in university for two years, I have basically finished learning the basic knowledge I need. I have also experienced the university life, so that is enough. I am preparing to start my own company. Start a company? Luo Feng froze. Yes. Su Xian nodded, the family prepared to have me take over some things, but, I didn't want to take over them immediately. No matter what I do, I want to start from the bottom and go forward one step at a time. I want to first start a company and get some real world experience. After that, I'll take over my family's business. Oh, Luo Feng's girlfriend sure is a capable girl, laughed Luo Feng. You don't like that? Su Xian looked towards Luo Feng. I do. Since as a fighter, there will be many times where I won't be able to be with you. Even if we marry in the future, I don't want you to be a housewife without a business, said Luo Feng. As of now, all the young couples think this way. The husband and wife usually both need jobs. Without a job, there isn't much to do. Thank you, respectable representative Luo Feng, for understanding this young maiden's thoughts, Su Xian smiled and did a bow like the girls of the ancient times used to do. After doing that, Su Xian herself couldn't hold it in as she started laughing. After sending Su Xian home, Luo Feng was in a good mood. Yangzhou City's Mingyu Sector, Luo Feng's home's training room. Deep into the night, Luo Feng sat cross-legged. Such high efficiency, Luo Feng looked at the news he received on the mini quantum computer, they arrested Li Yao and Vanina so quickly. Okay, tomorrow afternoon, 15.30, Dojo of Limits World Headquarters court case. Li Yao, Vanina. Tomorrow, we can finally end this. Luo Feng closed the message. As of now, Luo Feng really hasn't considered the Vulture Scorpion couple as his opponents. After his position changed, his view changed too. 
Maybe the youth back then that was running around in the wilderness in panic was afraid of the vulture scorpion couple's astronomical bounty, as he had to be extremely careful in everything he did. But after experiencing the elite training camp, Misty Island, and archaeological ruin number 9, the youth grew. As a result, the vulture scorpion couple was no longer this youth's opponent. The so-called archaeological ruin, as the bald crystal person said it, was left behind by a race in the universe. Like archaeological ruin number 9 was left behind by the master of Yun-Mo planet. And that Yun-Mo planet is just one planet in the wide, vast universe Luo Feng felt a bit of danger for some reason. The fact that a race in the universe can leave behind this ruin represents that this race in the universe will arrive one day. When that happens, who knows whether that would be a blessing or a curse for the humans on Earth. And the bald crystal person also said that, in the future, when Earth is discovered by the countries in the universe, the more powerful I am, the better off we would be. I can even potentially help my country, Luo Feng subconsciously stop treating the monsters on Earth as his opponents. The real danger for Earth lies within the universe. When compared with the powerful countries and races in the universe, Earth as of now is indeed very fragile. Even Star Traveler level fighters were rare. And Earth's so-called, high technology, is a joke compared to the rest of the civilizations in the universe. What I need to do now is exactly what the bald crystal person said to do, train. First, I'll set, Hong and Thunder God as my targets, then I'll train hard to surpass them. And become the world's most powerful fighter. Luo Feng's eyes were determined. Back then, the bald crystal person said that the method for Luo Feng's breakthrough was left in his mini quantum computer. But after coming back today, he first had to deal with Vulture Li Yao and then comfort his girlfriend. He didn't have time to look at it again. Now that he's free, Luo Feng immediately started looking through it. An effective method for breaking through the Star Traveler level that cannot even be found on Earth now, Luo Feng was filled with curiosity. Soon enough, he found the method in the mini quantum computer on his arm. He started reading carefully. Student levels are infinite across the universe. From the student level to the Star Traveler level is the most important step, and also the most basic step, for a life form's advancement. Once past that step, the life form officially goes from the student level to a genetic fighter or a spirit reader in the universe. This instruction manual will describe the method as to how to become a spirit reader of the Star Traveler level 1 stage. Spiritual force, which can actually be called the power of your spirit, power of your soul. The body is divided into body and spirit, or body and soul. The spirit and the soul is the same thing. Spirit, soul, is divided into the power of your spirit, power of your soul, and consciousness. When the power of your spirit becomes powerful enough, it can leave the realm of consciousness, control materials in the outside world, seep into other life forms realm of consciousness, etc. A strong enough power of the spirit is spiritual force. How can the spiritual force of someone at the student level a 9 stage breakthrough to the star traveler stage? First, your spiritual force needs to reach the peak of the student level 9 stage. Next, out of your consciousness and spirit, namely, consciousness and spiritual force, your spiritual force has to spread across your entire realm of consciousness. It is something with form. And consciousness is an intangible existence without form. Consciousness, what is it? What purpose does it serve? You can say that spiritual force represents the soldiers while the consciousness represents the general. The entire combat power of an army depends on both the soldiers and the general. Simply put, when a regular person's spirit is vigorous, they can lift up heavier objects. And when the spirit is lethargic, they might only be able to lift half of the usual weight. In these two situations, the body's power stays the same. But the two states of the spirit, vigorous and lethargic, could lead to different levels of battle power. Just like how the consciousness is important to a fighter, the consciousness is also important to spirit readers. Capable generals will be better at commanding the soldiers. If two people are both at the student level 9 stage, the one with the more powerful consciousness can accurately control 10 small weapons, or even more. And the one with the weaker consciousness might only be able to control 4 or 5 small weapons. This is the difference. There are many ways to train the consciousness. For example, going through painful and difficult times will strengthen a fighter's will. Actually, a solid will is one way to represent a powerful consciousness. Of course, that is a very primitive way. There are many ways in the universe to train the consciousness. The main way of our UNMO planet is the secret instruction manual of the controllers, basic 312 moves, the secret instruction manual of the illusionists, basic 186 moves. Out of the two branches, one of them is direct while the other is indirect. Both of them are effective. Of course, students have varying talents. Some of them have low brain vigor while some of them have brain vigor of over 20, and even over 30, over 40. Higher brain vigor makes their breakthrough requirements harder too. But a powerful consciousness will allow them to reach greater heights. So, when both your consciousness and spiritual force reach the requirements, then the next step is your breakthrough. When you reach the border and feel like you can break through at any time, you do not know the amount of time it actually takes to break through. When this happens, there are three ways. The first way is to wait for your chance or a special situation. When your emotions are stirred up, your consciousness will become invigorated and you could break through. 
But there also exists the chance of waiting for three or five years and no breakthrough opportunities come. The second way is to continue to strengthen your consciousness. A powerful consciousness could let your spiritual force instantly break through. The third way is the method this instruction manual is going to describe, 81 spirits forging, which is a process split into 81 steps. Each step requires 1.5 hours. When undergoing this 81 spirits forging, stopping in the middle means you have to start from the beginning again, so you must finish it in one go. Once you finish the 81 steps, you can break through to the star traveler level. Below is the specific way of doing the 81 spirits forging. Luofone was extremely excited as he read this. This instruction manual the bald crystal person left for him is definitely an extremely valuable treasure. Way better than the spirit reader basics Hong gave him. After it was translated, the words were super easy to understand. It basically described the source of a spirit reader's power spirit. Which is the soul. This spirit is split into two things, spiritual force and consciousness. Consciousness is the general and spiritual force is the soldier. Yeah, according to what the bald crystal person said, my consciousness and spiritual force have reached their limit and can break through at any time. But, if I just foolishly wait, who knows how long I'll have to wait for. Luofeng instantly decided, I'll just follow the 81 spirits forging. Luofeng didn't even know that, even across the vast universe, the instruction manuals for breaking through the student level 9 stage to the star traveler level are all extremely valuable. Some powerful races and countries in the universe are not willing to share them. Every step needs 1.5 hours and there are 81 steps in all. Which means I need a little more than 5 days, Luo Feng took in a deep breath, the court session is tomorrow, so I don't have enough time. After the verdict is given and the vulture scorpion couple is executed, I'll finish this 81 spirits forging in one go. Next, I'll take a look at the soaring sky instruction manual. According to what the bald crystal person said, only through the soaring sky can I truly unleash the power of the soaring shuttle. Maybe my power will raise by quite a bit tonight, with a thought, an instruction manual with a bit of starlight shining from it floated out from the surface of his black vest. This was indeed the Soaring Sky instruction manual that he received from the archaeological ruin, which Luo Feng has always left in his vest formed by the Black God Set. Chapter 197, Three Forms of the Soaring Shuttle Translator, Translation Nation Editor, Translation Nation Soaring Sky, Luo Feng lowered his head and looked at the book in his hands. He has never seriously read this instruction manual after receiving it. The pages of the book were made out of a special black material, unlike any material on Earth. And the bit of starlight on the cover had a fear-inducing aura that couldn't be detected unless carefully observed. Even a book is made like this, Luo Feng flipped open the first page. This is the instruction manual passed along the controllers of Yun Mo planet. Those who read this cannot spread its contents to other people. If you pass its contents to other members of Yun Mo planet, you will receive a punishment of 60 years of hard labor. If you pass its contents to people outside of Yun Mo planet. Death with no exceptions. Just these short phrases shocked Luo Feng. Clearly, this Yun Mo planet is an extremely strict organization. You can't even pass its contents to other members of the planet, and passing its contents to the outside world is absolutely forbidden. I passed the death mission, so the bald crystal person clearly treated me as a member of Yun Mo planet, Luo Feng flipped to the second page. The Soaring Sky Instruction Manual is a unique instruction manual for using the Soaring Shuttle. The Soaring Shuttle is one of the spiritual weapons created by the master of our Yun Mo planet, Hu Yen Bo. However, only when combined with the instruction manual Soaring Sky, can the Soaring Shuttle's true power be unleashed. The Soaring Shuttle can allow the controllers of Yunemo planet to defeat enemies that are more powerful than them. The Soaring Shuttle has three main forms. The first main form can be trained when your battle ability amplifier reaches 12. The second main form can be trained when your battle ability amplifier reaches 30. The third main form is the Soaring Shuttle's ultimate form. You need to have reached the universe level, have your own domain, and have a battle ability amplifier of 48 to train it. The contents that describe the first main form of the Soaring Shuttle in the instruction manual, Soaring Sky, can be flipped to immediately. To read the contents describing the second main form, your battle ability amplifier has to have reached 30 to have the ability to open that page. As for the contents describing the third main form, your spiritual force has to have reached the universe level to be able to open that page. The next part describes the first main form of the Soaring Shuttle. After reading this page, Luo Feng didn't know whether to laugh or to cry. It looks like it isn't even possible for him to read through the entire instruction manual right now. Let's try, Luo Feng tried flipping through the pages one at a time. He flipped through the pages made out of the special black material one at a time. However, after he flipped through about a third of the pages, Luo Feng wasn't able to flip anymore, as if the rest of the pages were stuck together with glue. On the last page Luo Feng could read was a complicated, mysterious diagram. Beside it was a line of words. Seep your spiritual force into the diagram to read the contents of the Soaring Shuttle's second main form. Looks quite mysterious, Luo Feng stared at this diagram and, with a thought, his spiritual force extended into the diagram. Instantly, his spiritual force fell into a new universe. At this time, Luo Feng himself was like one of the planets in that vast universe. As if the end of times has come, a countless amount of planets started crazily flying towards Luo Feng. Over thousands of billions of them. 
An infinite amount. This Armageddon-like scene shocked Luo Fong. He tried to use his spiritual force to control the planets and block them away. Rumble, not even a second has passed and Luo Fong has already been smashed into pieces by the infinite amount of planets. The spiritual force he extended into the diagram was directly destroyed. Huff, huff. Sweat appeared on Luo Fang's forehead as he looked at the diagram in front of his eyes, his heart still shocked. What is this thing? An illusion? Luo Fong was flabbergasted. He hasn't even heard of any spirit reader on earth who could create such a realistic illusion. Looks like it's just like the instruction manual says. My battle ability amplifier has to reach the required level to read the second main form's contents. And now, my battle ability amplifier is only 16, which isn't even close. Luo Feng figured out in Archaeological Ruin Number 9 that the maximum amount of small weapons you can control at once represents your battle ability amplifier. Luo Feng's battle ability amplifier is 16. Across the entire Earth, not a single spirit reader is more powerful than him. Of course, across the vast universe, Luo Feng's skill is nothing. He can only brag a bit on Earth. The soaring shuttle is split into the attack form, defense form, and flying form. The flying form of the first main form is the soaring shuttle itself. The attack form is the mountain drill, and the defense form is the mountain bulwark. The first main form is split into three stages. The first stage can be trained when your battle ability amplifier reaches 12. The second stage can be trained when your battle ability reaches 18. The third form, when your battle ability amplifier reaches 24 inch. Soaring Sky is split into three main forms, where each main form has three stages. Which is to say, there are nine stages total. As of now, Luo Feng's battle ability amplifier is 16, so he can only train the first stage of the first form. Amazing. This master of Yunemo planet, Hu Yen Bo, is fantastic. How did he even think of this, coming up with ideas like these, as Luo Feng continued to read, he praised the master of Yunemo planet more and more. According to the instruction manual, Soaring Sky and the Soaring Shuttle is just one of the various creations that the master of Yunemo planet, Hu Yen Bo, has created. That archaeological ruin number 9 was also left by Hu Yen Bo. So that's what the complicated engravings on the 365 blade pieces of the Soaring Shuttle are for. But how do they work? Luo Feng didn't understand some of the latter contents. Take an assault rifle for example. The instruction manual tells you how to use an assault rifle, but it won't tell you how to make one. And there were no principles of the soaring shuttle written here. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Luo Feng was a bit excited, I'll go to the wilderness right now to test out the first stage. Deep into the night, Luo Feng stepped on his soaring shuttle and directly flew out of Mingyu sector. He transformed into a flowing light as he swiftly flew out of Yangzhou city sector and arrived at the wilderness. Around 300 kilometers away from Yangzhou city. An image fell from the sky and completely spread his spiritual force out, which caused the scavenging monsters on the ruined highway to run away in fear. Luo Feng looked towards a hill around 100 meters away. The soaring shuttle in its original form instantly split into 365 thin blade pieces, which hovered in front of Luo Feng. Combine. Mountain drill. Luo Feng focused his eyes. Whoosh. The 365 blade pieces instantly gathered together and became a single entity as it formed a round drill. There were even spirals on the surface of the drill. It seemed like an electric drill workers used to drill through walls. Not sure if it'll work on the first try, Luo Feng swiftly recalled how to operate the mountain drill. Break. Luo Feng stared at the hill in the distance. Twelve golden thin lines reached their maximum power as they were controlled by Luo Feng's spiritual force. They immediately went up along the engravings of the mountain drill. Immediately, golden thin lines appeared on the originally gray soaring shuttle, each thin line carrying an astonishing amount of power, as if they were going to split the sky and earth. A total of 12 golden thin lines extended from the bottom of the mountain drill to the top as they extended towards the tip. One of them arrived first. Chi. The 12 golden thin lines immediately dissipated and the mountain drill returned to its original gray color. Failed, Luo Feng shook his head helplessly. Again. Chi. The 12 golden thin lines dissipated again. In terms of his power, Luo Feng's current limit is 16 small weapons. So controlling 12 portions of spiritual force to activate the mountain drill isn't that hard. However, it is hard to get all 12 engravings to perfectly reach the tip at the exact same time. Thankfully, Luo Feng's amplifier has reached 16, which makes the first stage a bit easier. If his amplifier was 12, that would mean he just reached the requirement, so he would probably have to spend a lot of time to succeed. Time passed slowly. Luo Feng tried over and over again. A bit of light started to appear in the originally dark sky. The winter mist emanated. In the ruined highway of the wilderness, the shadows of monsters started to appear. When these monsters saw the corpses of other monsters surrounding a mysterious person, they didn't dare to come near. The sky became brighter and the clouds towards the east started to become red. Finally, the sun started to appear from the east. Break. Luo Feng's eyes were focused on the mountain drill in front of him like lightning. 
Twelve golden thin lines were instantly conjured from the complicated engravings on the surface of the silverish gray mountain drill. Like snakes made out of lightning, the twelve golden thin lines instantly extended to the tip of the mountain drill. As they arrived at the exact same time, it seemed as if the twelve golden thin lines were calling upon the forces of nature. The twelve golden thin lines instantly started rotating. On. The mountain drill transformed into a golden light as it rotated and pierced the air. Its speed accelerated to an unbelievable level. The golden light that the mountain drill formed directly pierced into the hill, as if it had limitless power. Rumble, smoke and dust spread out, and the mountain crusher flew back from the other side of the hill. After the dust cleared out around the hill in the distance, half of the hill was missing. Under the destructive force of the mountain drill, the hill was only half of its original height. Such high speed, such powerful piercing power. It's at least 50% faster than my original attacks. According to the instruction manual, the first form, mountain drill, has around three times more power than my normal attacks. And a Star Traveler level 2 stage has around two times the power of a Star Traveler level 1 stage. Which is to say, with the mountain drill, I am stronger than a regular Star Traveler level 2 stage, Luo Feng's heart was filled with excitement. This is the difference between an elite with a background, and a fighter without any guidance. Almost all of the fighters and spirit readers on Earth have no sort of inheritance. All of them train bitterly without understanding anything. Even if they receive a spiritual weapon, they don't know how to use it. And Luo Feng? After becoming a member of Yunemo Planet, he immediately received the instruction manual basic 312 moves, which greatly increased Luo Feng's battle ability amplifier. After that, he received the Soaring Sky instruction manual, which increased his attack power greatly. Both sides were greatly increased, which allowed him, an elite at the student level 9 stage, to skip a level and be able to fight a Star Traveler level 2 stage. This is the benefits of receiving guidance. Luo Feng spent 5 hours to successfully complete Mountain Drill first stage, and another 3 hours to successfully complete Mountain Bulwark first stage. As of now, even when compared with elite students from large organizations from other parts of the universe, Luo Feng isn't much weaker. With the inheritance of Unimo Planet, after I reach the Star Traveler level 1 stage, the other representatives will pose no threat to me, rapid increase in strength caused Luo Feng to become excited. However, he was also a bit worried. He just received the entry-level teachings of Unimo Planet and instantly became so powerful. Once the powerful races and countries in the universe actually arrive, will Earth really have the ability to fight back? Chapter 198, Death Penalty Translator, Translation Nation Editor, Translation Nation December 27, 2058, Afternoon Outside of the Dojo of Limits World Headquarters were large amounts of parked, disc-shaped fighter jets and auto jets. Each of these fighter jets were extremely expensive. Luo Feng's Emperor-level auto jet could only count as an average jet here, it didn't stand out at all. Because, over 30 representatives have come here today. 1510, over half of the powerful representatives, and an extremely small amount of war gods with a lot of authority, were gathered inside the court in the gigantic spaceship structure. Luo Feng, let me introduce to you, this is Representative Bygrave under the introduction of Luo Feng's friend, Investigator Luha, Luo Feng met a few famous people one by one. These representatives were also respectful towards the soon-to-be sixth investigator. This is Representative Zhu Shi, smiled Li He, he is also from China. Hello, Representative Zhu Shi, Luo Feng extended his hand. Hello, Representative Luo Feng, the skinny man with an aquiline nose, Zhu Shi, shook Luo Feng's hand. This scene seemed to be exactly the same as the other scenes he just experienced when meeting the other people, but Luo Feng's heart was full of amazement right now. Back then when war god Lu Gang died, Representative Zhu Shi also attended the memorial. The scene of the large figures from the government, economy sector, military sector, and fighter circle respectfully greeting Representative Zhu Shi greatly shocked Luo Feng, who was still in the Fire Hammer squad back then. And after a blink of an eye, he also has become a representative. Luo Feng, look, at that guy with white hair and seems to have no life to him at all, that's Representative Yen Hai, Lu Ha lowered his voice, even though he is also from China, he has an extremely good relationship with Li Yao. Since Li Yao is going to die because of you, things between you two are irreparable. It will be hard to be on good terms with him. He is extremely powerful and has the right to go for the spot of the fifth chairman. But don't worry, he won't dare to mess with our dojo of limits, said Lu Ha quietly, of course, don't mess with him for no reason. Luo Feng glanced at him and then simply smiled. Representative Yen Hai. Not just Yen Hai, even the third, fourth, and fifth chairman won't be his opponents after he practices 81 spirits forging and steps into the Star Traveler level 1 stage. Yen Hai glanced at Luo Feng from far away without an expression and sneered. The time he spent with Li Yao together back in the Grand Nirvana period was an experience on the border of life and death. After that, Yen Hai treated Li Yao as his own son. After all, going through an experience like that indeed forges a deep relationship. Sadly, his opponent is part of the Dojo of Limits. Even though Yen Hai has a grudge, he can only keep it in. That's Luo Feng. It is said that he can control 16 small weapons at once. His most powerful impact attack can reach around 8 million to minus 9 million, which can indeed compare to some representatives. So what if he can compare to them? He still hasn't become a representative yet. 
His movement speed on land and various techniques in combat cannot compare to us. If he really had to fight against a representative, he probably wouldn't even be able to defeat one inch. Some representatives can control fire while others can control ice, so their attacks are indeed more flexible than his. Some representatives were quietly discussing in a few corners in the court gallery. While they discussed, they formed a barrier around them to prevent their voices from spreading out to Luo Feng. After all, these Star Traveler level fighters don't want to antagonize Luo Feng, they're just slightly looking down on him. And their negative feelings were born from jealousy. They were jealous of Luo Feng's potential. To have such attack power at the peak of the War God level, Luo Feng will definitely stand out when he breaks through to the Star Traveler level. So what if he has high potential? If he fights with us right now, he's still not enough, quite a few representatives were thinking this. After chatting with many representatives, Luo Feng noticed that these representatives were keeping a bit of distance with him. Only the investigators of the Dojo of Limits were approachable and kind to Luo Feng. The first and second chairman are here. Hong and Thunder God. The powerful representatives and war gods in the gallery all quieted down. From the side door of the court walked in one black clothed man and one bald monk in a white robe, one in front and one in back, towards the front of the gallery. The black clothed man, Hong, seemed to swallow all the light around him, while the bald monk gave off a feeling that made one's heart shake. Hong, Star Traveler Level 6 Stage. Thunder God, Star Traveler Level 7 Stage. Luo Feng looked at these two people. The black clothed man, Hong, cold and expressionless. The white robed Thunder God, filled with warm smiles but seemed a bit fearful. These are the two most powerful fighters on Earth. In terms of fitness level, Thunder God surpasses Hong. But since Hong has his own domain, he completely overwhelms Thunder God. When Hong and Thunder God arrived, court quickly went into session. Luo Feng sat at the plaintiff area while Li Yao and Venina stood at the defendant area with handcuffs on. The judging of two advanced level war gods is quite a rare event. 1620, afternoon. The court made their decision. Li Yao, Venina Paulinus, instructed other people to kill the family members of a representative. Their guilt is clear, decision, death penalty. Immediately. The faces of Li Yao and Venina at the defendant area slightly changed. Truthfully, they have long prepared themselves for this result. Luo Feng. Li Yao and Venina glared at Luo Feng at the plaintiff area. Luo Feng just glanced at them coldly. The vulture scorpion couple actually tried to harm his family. He already messed up once, so he definitely cannot mess up again. He cannot allow these threats to exist. Letting these two live means he is being irresponsible and ignoring the safety of his family. Li Yao, hand over the black god set, two powerful representatives stood in front of Li Yao. Li Yao at the defendant area scanned the court. There were over 30 powerful representatives in this court and the first chairman, Hong, and the second chairman, Thunder God. You can say that killing Li Yao would be as simple as a hand raise. Even though Li Yao didn't want to, he could only force the black god set of his body and hand it over. Bring the criminals to the wilderness and execute their death penalty, said the judge of the court. The ones responsible for executing the penalty were two representatives, one of them from the Dojo of Limits, Lu He, and the other from the Thunder Dojo, Amuhan. Under Luo Feng's request, Luo Feng was allowed to go along with them. Inside a prehistoric level auto jet. Li Yao and Venina had cuffs on their hands and feet and were being watched by the three representatives Luo Feng, Lu He, and Amuhan. Luo Feng, Venina, stared at Luo Feng, her Chinese a bit accented, as she grinded her teeth, if you're capable, you would have killed us directly in the headquarter city yesterday. But who would have thought you were underhanded enough to judge us through the court of the Palace of War Gods, you disgraceful bastard, even in death I won't. Shut up, Lu He, who sat in front of her, scolded with dissatisfaction. I'm about to die, I'm not scared of you, sneered Venina. Venina is European. Even though she knows Chinese, she clearly is not good at using Chinese to insult people. Luo Feng simply looked at her coldly. He basically ignored what Venina said. She's just a pitiful bug about to die anyway. But Vulture Li Yao simply stared at Luo Feng, not making a single sound. Even though you were trying to hunt me down in the continent of Australia, I never did anything to you. I let you stay in Paris headquarter city peacefully, Luo Feng looked at Li Yao coldly, but I never would have thought that once the news of my death went out, you immediately made your move against my family. Li Yao, oh Li Yao. I'm not human if I don't kill you. Li Yao stayed silent as he stared at Luo Feng. Wei, I wasn't able to avenge you. I'm useless. Over, over, everything is over. Luo Feng, Luo Feng. If an afterlife exists, I won't let you go, even though Li Yao said nothing, he kept roaring in his heart. But no matter how angry he is, everything will disappear when he, Li Yao, dies. I can't accept this, I can't accept this. I don't want to just die like this. Li Yao roared in his heart, his teeth were clenched so tightly that blood started seeping out of his mouth. The prehistoric level auto jet slowly landed. Get off. Li Yao and Venina were depressed as they walked down one step at a time. Since their feet were cuffed too, they could only walk tiny steps. Li Yao and Venina stood in the vast wilderness. Lu He, said Representative Amuhan on the side, you kill Li Yao, I kill Venina. 
No problem, smiled Luha. Amuhan walked towards Vanina one step at a time. Vanina's face was indeed beautiful, but this beautiful woman's eyes were full of hatred and even had some tears in them. When Representative Amuhan neared, the scimitar on his waist instantly unsheathed. A light drew past, and Vanina, who wanted to dodge, stopped moving. Walla. A head directly rolled down and a headless corpse fell onto the ground. Vanina, Li Yao stared at Vanina's body and couldn't help but to close his eyes in pain. If I die, everything will be gone. It doesn't matter how angry I am. It's all useless, useless. I don't want to die like this. But, everything will disappear when I die, Li Yao's emotions were in disarray as he closed his eyes. He was angry, unsatisfied, depressed, and saddened. Death itself isn't too scary, but waiting for death like this seems to take an eternity. Li Yao's body couldn't help but to shake a bit due to these emotions that were stirred up like never before. Li Yao, Vanina. Vulture Scorpion couple, Luo Foam glanced at Vanina's corpse and then looked towards Li Yao, let's end this. Luo Foam, do you want to do it? Lu Ha looked at Luo Foam. You can do it, said Luo Foam. Lu Ha smiled and then walked towards Li Yao. Li Yao's entire body was slightly shaking as his eyes were closed. Tears seemed to appear in the corner of his eye. Li Yao, die. Smiled Lu Ha as he spoke. Chi. The surrounding light suddenly curved. Li Yao, who was standing there motionlessly, furiously leaped back over a hundred meters, H -h 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 -h. Li Yao raised his head and roared. He pushed with his hands, bang, and broke out of the handcuffs. His feet also moved, bang, and the leg cuffs shattered. Luo Feng. Li Yao furiously soared into the air, I will kill you, I definitely will. You're not getting away. Luo Feng ferociously roared and then stepped on his soaring shuttle as he swiftly flew into the sky. Chapter 199, Li Yao's Death Translator, Translation Nation Editor, Translation Nation Chase after him Lu Ha and Amuhan didn't hesitate at all as they also soared into the air. Star Traveler level fighters can all fly. This is the biggest change resulting from the student level to Star Traveler level transformation. However, you can't use your legs when flying in the air, so their flying speed is way slower than their sprinting speed on land. So fast. Luo Feng is also very fast. Lu Ha and Amuhan looked at Li Yao and Luo Feng in the air, one in front and one in the back. Both of them were soaring at an extremely high speed and quickly disappeared from Lu Ha and Amuhan's field of view. This Li Yao's special ability is probably, light, frowned Lu Ha, like the head, those with the special ability of light will be able to fly much faster than us. We can't get him. The reason why the universe deems Star Traveler level fighters as, true fighters is because once they reach the Star Traveler level, fighters obtain their true abilities. Contact the head, Lu Ha commanded the tactical communications watch. Contact the head, Amuhan also wanted to contact Thunder God. The call quickly went through. Head, right in the crucial moment where Li Yao was about to be executed, he broke through to the representative level. And his special ability is probably, light, so he's extremely fast. He just flew into the air and Luo Feng is currently chasing after him. Amuhan and I haven't been able to chase them, Lu Ha immediately reported. Amuhan also reported. After their report. Go, let's chase on the auto jet, Lu Ha called the universe level auto jet. However, Lu Ha and Amuhan were clear that even the auto jet wouldn't help. The auto jet's flying speed is way faster than the speed of the representative level fighters. However, once the auto jet catches up, Lu Ha and Amuhan have to get off the auto jet to kill Li Yao. But since they are slower than Li Yao, there's no point in chasing him. Dojo of Limits World Headquarters, Banquet Hall Of course the Dojo of Limits wouldn't make all these representative fighters come over here for nothing, so they held a banquet in the banquet hall just for these 30 representatives. For representative fighters, the deaths of two war gods is but a small matter. The only one who would actually care about this is probably Yen Hai. What, in the banquet hall, the face of the black clothed man, Hong, slightly changed. He broke through, the bald monk thunder god was also shocked after receiving the report. The entire banquet hall immediately quieted down. The black clothed man, Hong, gave his order right away, Allure, Vladimir. Yes, royal guard Allure stepped forward. Yes, a black man also stepped forward. Get on my prehistoric level auto jet and immediately assist Luo Feng in killing Li Yao, commanded the black clothed man, Hong, Li Yao has already broke through to the representative level. His special ability is, light. Depart quickly. Yes. Allure and investigator Vladimir quickly left the banquet hall as they rode on the prehistoric level auto jet towards the wilderness. The entire banquet went into an uproar. Li Yao broke through. Breaking through before his death. This Li Yao sure is powerful. And his special ability is, light. The representatives discussed with each other quietly. The old face of Yen Hai, who was in the corner of the group of representatives, had a rare smile on as he thought to himself, Little Vulture, you definitely must grab onto this chance and escape. The first chairman ordered Vladimir and Allure to assist Luo Feng. Could Luo Feng be chasing after Liao? 
Li Yao's special ability is light, so he is much faster than most representatives. Luo Feng dares to chase after him. This Luo Feng is way too cocky. His attack power rivals a representative, but this Li Yao's attack power isn't any weaker than him right now. And with his special ability of light, his agility is extremely amazing. Luo Feng is doomed this time. Some representatives felt bad for Li Yao. If Li Yao made his breakthrough before the court session, he definitely wouldn't receive the death penalty. And now, it's too late. Some also thought that Luo Feng was too cocky. All he has is an attack of over 8 million kilograms with 16 small weapons. Just with that, he dares to chase after a representative. Brother Hong, this Luo Feng fellow is a bit too courageous, smiled the bald monk thunder god. A bit reckless indeed, frowned the black clothed man, Hong, right now, he isn't Li Yao's opponent. Vengeance and hatred has blinded his eyes. Sigh, he still has to be raised, since he's too young. Yeah. This Luo Feng fellow is a good seedling. If raised properly, his future will be bright. If we run into something big in the future, he might be able to help us, smiled Thunder God. The black clothed man, Hong, slightly nodded, he has high potential. He might be able to become the third chairman in 10 or 20 more years, assuming he works hard enough. In the eyes of the two most powerful fighters on earth, Luo Feng has potential. But now, he isn't enough. This time, he was reckless, the black clothed man slightly shook his head. Clearly, Luo Feng's actions this time has disappointed him. In the sky, stratosphere. This is the power of an existence surpassing the war god level, the power of a representative. Li Yao, who was soaring in the sky, couldn't help but to laugh loudly with excitement. His laughter blasted around like a shockwave. The light around him was slightly curved. Sometimes his body was blurry and sometimes it was unclear. The tattered clothes on his body were torn apart by the swift wind. Revealing his powerful body. Such great power. My agility and power is way higher than before, Li Yao waved his fist and the air burst apart, using the energy of the transformation to assist with the impact clearly makes strength exertions way easier. No wonder the representative level fighters are all so powerful. And behind him. Whoosh. A flowing light swiftly approached. Liyao, a roar came. Luo Feng. Li Yao glanced at Luo Feng out of the corner of his eye. A cruel light shined in his eye and he actually hovered in midair as he watched Luo Feng. Luo Feng stopped on his soaring shuttle as he hovered in front of Li Yao. All because of you. Because of you, my son is dead. Because of you, my wife is dead. Today, I will let you know the power of an existence surpassing the war god level, under Li Yao's tattered clothes, the muscles of his body seemed sculpted, the curves were perfect. His eyes were full of killing intent as he stared at Luo Feng. Luo Feng was cold towards Li Yao as he stood on his soaring shuttle, the black god set on his body transformed into a battle uniform set and a helmet. An existence surpassing the war god level? Just a star traveler level 1 stage. Li Yao, you are still fated to die by my hand, Luo Feng looked at Li Yao coldly. Too cocky, roared Li Yao. And at this time, the universe level auto jet that the two representatives Lu Han and Amuhan were riding on was hovering in the distance. However, because Li Yao and Amuhan were slower than Li Yao, they didn't rush to come out. Since even if they rush out, they wouldn't even be able to touch a corner of Li Yao's clothes. They were only responsible for chasing after him. As long as they don't lose him, when the people sent by Hong arrive, they can easily kill Vulture Li Yao. Luo Feng, Luo Feng, get in the fighter jet quickly, Lu He's voice carried over. But Luo Feng and Li Yao continued to watch each other. Luo Feng, you're too young, too cocky. Today. You die because of your arrogance, sneered Li Yao. After that, he slightly extended his hands. A ray of golden light slowly started to appear on Li Yao's hands, as if they were two blades. His hands also started to become blurry. Luo Feng's soaring shuttle was already hovering in front of him. Black footboards extended from his feet, which allowed him to hover in midair. He silently watched Li Yao prepare his ultimate move. Even though the Black God set is powerful, your body is still at the advanced level War God level, Li Yao let out a peculiar smile as he closed his eyes. Light slowly appeared from his entire body, and he seemed to be covered in a layer of golden light. This scene shocked Lu Ha and Amuhan on the auto jet. Going all out right off the bat. Lu Ha was shocked. This Li Yao indeed has a gigantic grudge with Luo Feng. He's willing to heavily injure himself to kill Luo Feng, as Star Traveler level fighters, Lu Ha and Amuhan were clear as to what Li Yao was doing. Li Yao, whose entire body was coated with the golden light, suddenly moved. Whoosh. He shot towards Luo Feng like a rainbow. Li Yao, die, Luo Feng slightly waved his hand as he hovered in midair. Whoosh. The soaring shuttle instantly transformed into the mountain drill. Twelve golden thin lines were born when twelve portions of powerful spiritual force merged into the engravings. They immediately rushed towards the tip of the mountain drill, forming an incredible piercing power. It seemed that the mountain drill contained an impact force formed from hundreds of billions of tons of dynamite. Ong. Um. As if the soaring shuttle drilled through space itself, it formed a golden light as its speed reached an incredible level. 
Even a Star Traveler level 9 stage probably wouldn't be faster than the soaring shuttle in the The Mountain Drill form. What? Li Yao's mind only had enough time for shock, there was no time for anything else. Boom. Under absolute speed, Li Yao, who was preparing to unleash his ultimate move, had no time to think nor dodge as a huge hole was drilled through his chest by the The Mountain Drill. And the powerful rotation power of The Mountain Drill instantly shred Li Yao's corpse into pieces. Blood and flesh was scattered everywhere. Hua. The mountain drill instantly disassembled into the soaring shuttle and returned to Luo Feng's feet. Li Yao, dead. Right when he became an existence surpassing the war god level and was preparing to have his revenge, he was directly killed by Luo Feng. Just like that. The soaring shuttle is split into three main forms. In the soaring shuttle's first main form, it can transform into the mountain drill and the mountain bulwark. And the second main form of the soaring shuttle requires a battle ability amplifier of 30 to start training it. As for the third main form of the Soaring Shuttle, you need to have reached the Universe level, have a Battle Ability Amplifier of 48, and have your own domain to start training it. Maybe the second transformation of the Soaring Shuttle is even more absurdly powerful. However, the first form's transformations, Mountain Drill, and Mountain Bulwark, just the power of the first stage has completely satisfied Luo Feng. Holy! Lu Ha froze in the distance. Great Buddha, I, I. Amuhan was also stunned. A representative fighter was killed by a golden light. Luo Feng's movements were too fast just now. He instantly transformed the soaring shuttle to attack. Even Lu He and Amuhan weren't able to see what the golden light Luo Feng sent out was. They only saw that before Li Yao's seemingly powerful attack was able to reach Luo Feng, Li Yao himself was blown to smithereens. Head, head, Lu He quickly contacted. Head, Amuhan did the same. Both sides connected. Lu He, Luo Feng is fine right. Hurry and let him in the auto jet and tell him to calm down and stop being reckless, right when they connected, Hong immediately gave his command. Head, Li Yao was killed by Luo Feng, said Lu He after clearing his throat. Chapter 200, it's called the Soaring Shuttle. Translator, Translation Nation. Editor, Translation Nation. On the other side of the tactical communications watch, the head, Hong, went silent for a moment, and then couldn't help but to ask, you said Li Yao was killed by Luo Feng? Yes, head, Lu He was also extremely confused. Luo Feng can control 16 small weapons and the fact that an advanced level war god level spirit reader is comparable to a representative level fighter can be accepted by them. But no matter how powerful he is, for him to kill a representative? That's sleep talk. Unless he saw it for himself, Lu He would never believe this. Head, I'm sure I saw it. Luo Feng transformed the soaring shuttle into a golden light, which pierced through Li Yao and killed him, said Lu He. Soaring shuttle? Golden light? On the other side of the tactical communications watch, Hong went silent for a bit and then commanded, Lu He, bring Luo Feng back to headquarters immediately. Yes. Lu He heeded the command. Also, your auto jet probably recorded the battle just now right? Send a copy to me, commanded Hong. Yes, Lu He heeded the command. Besides Lu He, that investigator from the Thunder Dojo, Amuhan, has also finished his report to Thunder God. Lu He and Amuhan exchanged glances and then turned their heads towards Luo Feng, who was still hovering in midair. The hatch was already opened. Li Yao was killed by me. Luo Feng gazed upon the infinite sky, his thoughts in disarray. Ever since he completed the first stage of the first main form of the Soaring Shuttle, Luo Feng stopped taking the regular Star Traveler level 1 fighter seriously. Even though Li Yao made his breakthrough, Luo Feng had absolute confidence in killing a Li Yao without a Black God set. However, at the instant he actually killed him for real. Luo Feng's feelings were in disarray. His grudge with Li Yao has been going on for a long time. When he was still a rookie fighter, Li Yao was like a gigantic mountain that stood in his path that struck fear into him. Step by step. As he grew, Li Yao's threat drastically lowered. This time, because of what happened to his parents, his rage decided that Li Yao must die. Which is why he killed him. Luo Feng, what are you thinking about? Huh, is it because killing Li Yao in an instant made you feel accomplished? Lu Ha yelled from the auto jet far away. Coming, Luo Feng smiled and then flew over with the soaring shuttle. After he entered the plane, the hatch closed. Returned to headquarters, ordered Luha. The auto jet immediately turned around and flew back. In the plane, Luo Feng could feel that Luha and Amuhan's eyes were different than before. He couldn't help laugh and say, Luha, what are you guys looking at me like that for? Powerful, powerful indeed. To be able to kill a representative level fighter, Luha stared at Luo Feng. Respect, twisted Chinese came out of Amuhan's mouth, and he even gave a thumbs up. It's nothing. That Liao didn't have a black god set. If he had a black god set, it would be hard for me to kill him, Luo Feng slightly smiled. Lu He and Amuhan were secretly shocked. How many existences surpassing the war god level are there on earth? All the other representatives don't have the record of killing up a representative. After killing a representative fighter, Luo Feng is still so calm. 
Lu Ha and Amuhan were of course shocked by Luo Feng's maturity. Killing a Star Traveler level 1 stage. Luo Feng shook his head to himself. On Earth, this is an incredible thing. But after going through archaeological ruin number 9, Luo Feng was clear, Star Traveler level fighters in the vast universe can barely survive. He, who has received the inheritance of Yunemo planet, indeed has nothing to be proud of over killing a Star Traveler level 1 stage. After a moment, this universe level auto jet landed at the apron. Luo Feng, Lu Ha, and Amuhan. These three representatives entered the large spaceship structure. All the other representatives are at the banquet hall, smiled Lu Ha as he said, this way. Under Lu He's lead, Luo Feng and the others quickly arrived at the banquet hall. The large door to the banquet hall was dark red. Beside the door that was 3.6 meters tall and had detailed engravings on it stood two servants. The two servants slightly bowed, please enter, three representatives. As he said that, he pushed open the huge heavy door. The door slowly opened and the sounds of discussion within immediately spread out. Luo Feng, Lu Ha, and Amuhan directly walked in. At the instant when Luo Feng, who was wearing a black casual outfit, stepped in the banquet hall, all the existences surpassing the war god level, whoosh, turned their heads and looked over. All of their eyes landed upon Luo Feng. Hmm. Luo Feng was slightly shocked. Over 30 powerful Star Traveler level fighters were staring at just him. Luo Feng. Luo Feng. Vladimir, Wang Yu, and the other investigators from the Dojo of Limits came up with a smile and greeted Luo Feng. As for the other representatives, they were all discussing quietly together. However, most of them formed a barrier around them so their voices won't spread out. Clearly, the things they were talking about were not appropriate for others to hear. That Luo Feng still needs to step on a weapon to fly, which means he hasn't broke through yet. He's still at the peak of the advanced level war god level. He, a spirit reader at the peak of the advanced level war god level, was actually able to kill Li Yao with a golden light. Luo Feng must have got an extremely powerful special weapon. Representatives discussed quietly with their good friends. Previously, Li Yao's breakthrough shocked everyone here. Many representatives were talking about that. And after that the news of Luo Feng killing Li Yao spread. The various representatives of course wanted to know how Li Yao was killed. When faced with over 30 representatives worrying about the same thing, Hong and Thunder God can't keep hiding it. So, they played the video of Luo Feng killing Li Yao. Hong and Thunder God didn't put the video on, slow, rather, they played it at the regular speed. All the various representatives only saw that the special weapon hovering beside Luo Feng instantly transformed into a golden light and shot out, blowing Li Yao into smithereens. Luo Feng's weapon is too powerful. Didn't he stay in archaeological ruin number 9 for a year and 3 months? He must have got some special rewards. He probably got that weapon from the archaeological ruin. He, at the peak of the war god level, can bring out so much strength with this weapon. Then if a powerful fighter who has truly broke through to the representative level, uses it, he could probably become even more powerful. Everyone wants good things. If a kid is hugging a piece of gold and walking down the street, it would be weird if someone didn't steal it. One thing is for sure. These representatives are all a bit envious of that special weapon that can transform into a golden light, but Luo Feng is no child. In fact, he's a powerful fighter that can kill up a representative. That's why these representatives are still able to show some self-control. However, these representatives still had confidence in themselves, since they are different from Li Yao. When Li Yao was killed, he didn't have a black god set. And all the other representatives have black god sets. With a black god set, their defensive abilities go up by over 10 times. Luo Feng was with the other four investigators. How come I feel like quite a few representatives are looking at me in a weird way, said Luo Feng quietly. You made such a big scene. The investigator named Wang on the side said quietly, you, a spirit reader at the peak of the war god level, was able to rely on a weapon to kill a true representative level fighter. Clearly, this weapon is powerful. You tell me. How can all of these representatives not be envious? They are barely able to control themselves. However, once there's a chance, some of these people will make a move. Luo Feng couldn't help but to laugh. A bunch of representatives? He seriously doesn't care about them. There are only two people that he is aiming for on Earth, Hong and Thunder God. As for the others, they're seriously not much. After going back, he'll start the 81 Spirits Forging and directly become a Spirit Reader at the Star Traveler Level 1 stage. At that time, the representatives that dare to come after him will end up giving up their lives. However, these representatives probably aren't that daring. Rumble, the door to the banquet opened once again. Everyone turned their heads. The black-clothed Hong and the bald monk, Thunder God, walked in, one in front and one in back. All the representatives quieted down and didn't dare to speak any further. Everybody. The eyes of the black-clothed man, Hong, scanned across everybody in the room. The formless pressure caused everybody's heart to shake with no will to resist at all, I heard your discussions just now nice and clear. Who would have thought that after just a mere ten years, people have started to forget about the Yahan case? Bunch of trash. Thunder God also sneered on the side. 
The faces of many representatives went pale. The Vyahan case was when Hong struck down a representative fighter, Yahan, back then out of anger. Not just Hong. On Earth, not just Hong, Thunder God is also a fighter who has killed a representative fighter. Of course, today, Luo Feng will be added to that list. However, unlike Luo Feng, the representatives Hong and Thunder God have killed were representatives with Black God sets. I created the Palace of War Gods with Thunder God so everybody can come together. I wished for the elites of humanity to work together for humanity's survival. Unity. You must remember this one word. Otherwise, in the battle between humans and monsters, humans might end up being eliminated, the black clothed man, Hong, said coldly, the amount of monsters in the sea are many times more numerous than humans. They also have way more emperor level monsters than us, and they have two grand emperor monsters. Luo Feng, who was in the banquet hall, froze when he heard this. Grand emperor? Two of them? However, the other representatives weren't shocked, as they clearly all knew this already. Unity is the most important thing. I don't want to see something similar to the cases of Yahan and Lian Sheng happen again. If they do happen, I and Thunder God wouldn't mind getting rid of them. These kinds of people are just ruining everything for everyone else, the black clothed man, Hong, spoke with a cold voice. None of the representatives dared to say anything. As for Luo Feng's case, Luo Feng's weapon is called the Soaring Shuttle. A bunch of representatives started listening carefully. That is something I gave to Luo Feng, said the black clothed man, Hong, coldly, of course, one point is because Luo Feng has enough talent. Another point is that Luo Feng gave me all of the huge amounts of spirits of nature he got back at the Misty Island, which was why I exchanged them for a soaring shuttle. I am a fair man. If you want something, then you need to give something of equal value. The black clothed man, Hong, looked towards Luo Feng, Luo Feng, come with me. The rest of you continue the banquet. After saying that, the black clothed man, Hong, turned around and headed outside. The bald monk thunder god also followed. After Luo Feng heard the command, he also followed them and left the banquet hall. Rumble. The huge door of the banquet hall closed once again. Only then did all of the representatives let out a sigh of relief. All of them exchanged glances with a bit of fear in their eyes. Hong and Thunder God have not shown their anger in front of the representatives for an extremely, extremely long time. Humans are a forgetful species. Roughly ten years was enough time for them to forget about Hong and Thunder God's cruelty. In that scene before, everyone felt that in front of Hong, their lives were no longer their own. This feeling scared all of them, and none of them dared to think of any twisted ideas.